I'm not ready. So wait five minutes. It's too late. It's too late. It's already. You have to leave. Jay, run. Run. Damn, I wanted. To, I wanted to feel powerful, but now I don't. Your power is weak, old man. <laughs> you have no power. Yeah? I don't get that reference. What's it to? Oh, you do, but you pretend that you don't <laughs> because you haven't yet seen the movie Tech and Clarily. There are a lot of movies I haven't seen. Name one. Trungo's Adventure. Doesn't count, not a real movie. Have you, have you never heard of Trungo's Adventure? I, I wrote directed it, but it doesn't count because it's not a real movie. Actually, I have to admit, uh, I've never seen um, the, the Sheen's uh, motion picture. Well, yeah, but that's... I don't think many people have. Uh, the show I was searched way more for Trungo's Adventure. And um, uh, how'd that go? Well, I found Trungo's. It's a restaurant in... Where is it? Give me a location for Trungo's. Is that like a... It, what does it sell? It's in Virginia. Oh. Well, like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, bro. Wait, thanks, man. Um, see if I can get information on, on the menu over at Trongo's. Um, Speaking of uh, uh, explicit content, have you guys been enjoying that uh, new explicit content filter on Twitter? People have been memeing the hell out of that. I, I clicked every single it. one of them because I knew what I was about to be memed with. I was very well aware <laughs> none of them were not safe for work. <laughs> I did not know about this. What's happening? Are they, are they like, oh no, boobies. Well, it, well it, the they thing let will you... be like, oh yes, boobies. Oh, explicit content, and then you click on it and it's like a cute doggo or something. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, it lets you uh, self self censor your basically self censor your image, so it's all blurred out and says like, you know, they get tired of doing it for you. Just yeah. do it yourselves. Fuck off. But <laughs> people, have been, <laughs> people have been uh, memeing it with like anything from you know, aha, you fell for one of my secret blunders or whatever, right. you know, or one of these things. But I, one I of think the classic that, drapes. I think the problem will be that people will just click on a mall and eventually they'll get like you know, porn or something, death death images. I don't know. Death right. porn. This is uh, this is cool from the um, good old you know, big old into How the cool art of it? cinema uh, profile from Twitter. Breaking. Robert Pattinson confirms that the Batman will include a sequence where Batman furiously masturbates for a couple of hours. Matt Reeves and I wanted to capture an intense sadness that only men who do such a thing understand. We both knew that feeling. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I've never <laughs> furiously masturbated for a couple hours. Well, apparently you can't. You, you're not. Um, you don't have intense sadness, so you can finally see like what that um, experience is. Uh. They make antidepressants. Do they just make depressants so that I could know what that feeling's like, and then I could furiously masturbate for? Well, you no, I'm sure that you could around. find a drug that is a depressant that just like makes you really sad. There are depressants. There's a whole yeah, bunch of them. Yeah, it's called alcohol. <laughs> That's not the same. Well, speaking of alcohol, <laughs> Trungo's uh, offers, a craft, off, offers craft beers and local wines, plus American Bar Eats in a windowed vintage storefront. Sweet. Do they offer craft mac and cheese? <laughs> in a wine say. glass? Uh, in a wine glass. It's like a, a rest a high class restaurant for children. Like, if anyone in if anyone in Virginia is listening right now. Right. I wonder who the closest person to Trungos is, <laughs> and Trungos? if they could go down and and, and have He's a. Got to be someone, right? Like, oh well, yeah. Tr so yeah. So right. So where is it? What? It's near Baltimore. We um, could go on Google Maps and and all uh, this, measure our our driving distance. Especially on the re-upload, there will be at least one person who's like, yeah, yeah, I know Trungos. This uh, this is not the right place. Yeah, I've been it's there. Near Dickinson. It, someone the, out there, if you I, went to Trungo's and you ordered mac and cheese in a wine glass and took a picture of it, you would be an actual hero. Yeah. <laughs> Please, just, just someone say, go to Trungo's. You would actually be a hero. Well, you would be like Odysseus. Yes. What is this town? I can't see um, what it's Trungo in. Trungo town. It's like Trungo's Odysseus. You, you have a book called Trungo, which is just about the adventure of going to Trungo. <laughs> You might be closer, Rags. I'm about 13 hours and 48 minutes away, so he might be a bit closer. If it's in what state again? Virginia. 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 Uh, oh, I'm pretty far away. 
we drove there once for a, for a family vacation, but it's a long way. Did you record it and turn it into a movie called The Rags Family Vacation? It's a movie in my head, Aww. and every time I play it back, it's a little bit different, and particular parts are highlighted. Mm -hmm. Wait, is Washington... Washington is not in Washington. No, Washington no. is in, in Washington the District is a state. of Columbia. Washington, D.C. is yeah. different than Washington State, yeah, who like, is also you... different than the person, George Wait, Washington. Did, yeah, did you not know that? Did you not know that, I mean, Jay? I think I had it Washington, vaguely in Washington. here, but... It was still confusing me. It was like well, actually New York, New York, right? So that's that's uh, it's, that's, it's that's possibly the most infuriating thing ever because it's actually a district that's kind of in Virginia, but well, I, I grew up, I grew up in Washington State, and it's on the other side of the freaking country. Bethesda, and I, and... that's yeah, a Bethesda, place. Yep, Bethesda is a place. You know, ironically, they started in Bethesda, but then they moved to Rockland like twenty years ago. Why didn't they rename the company to Rockland? What the fuck. Why didn't they rename the place to De Bethesda? <laughs> they rename Rockland to Bethesda. Rename it to Dirtville. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's actually funny. Right next to, right within, or right next to Bethesda, there's a place called Somerset as well, which I uh, actually talked to some of the creators of Elder Scrolls, and they they didn't seem to say that that was the inspiration for the name Somerset, but I think it might have been. Well, cause there, isn't there's, there's also Somerset in the United Kingdom, right? Right, right. Really? I just. There is, but they but they were living right next to a place called Somerset. Ah, yeah, well. that oh, is kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was interesting, but it's like if you're based in New York and you call your fantasy land Brooklyn, it's like oh, that was just a coincidence. I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, chat. I mean, if you Google Trungos, right? <laughs> Trungos Trungo. is the first thing that comes up, and it, yeah, that's the first thing that came up for me. And I'm in Scotland, right? I'm not in Virginia, so I want everyone in chat to Google Trungos. And whoever's nearest to it, I want you to go there. <laughs> I want, and I want ever, I want anyone who's near near enough to Trungos to to tell us that it, it's well, possible for you. So they're just gonna do this free for you, just for your own amusement. You're not gonna give them anything in return. Well, they they get the joy of eating at Trungos. That is what really right. that and, and that's reward. its own reward, is it? Yeah, <laughs> that is its own reward. I'd and go, but I'm too far away. But if points. I ever find myself there, imagine how sweet Trungos would taste if you went, Jay, traveling it all the would way taste across pretty the world. To sweet, visit. wouldn't it? To tell them where imagine, you're from and that you've heard like, all about Trungos. Imagine, like, I get there and I'm like, yeah, I came halfway across the world because I was trying to think of a silly sounding word and I Googled it and that word was Trungos. And I was like, oh, it's well, the yeah, name of a bar in Virginia. <laughs> Trungo does sound like a wombo word. Oh yeah, it does. It's pretty close. I almost think that they stole it. I'm sure they've only been a franchise for recent times, you know. Dude, right. they had downtown trick or treating. Someone says, someone says they are an hour away. Go, go to Trungo's. <laughs> <laughs> go to Trungo's. Report your experience. Live Take a photo stream of the, the entire meal. Of the title of the, the thing outside and post it to Twitter. <laughs> I want to see the Trungo's label. I want to eight to minutes Trungo's. away. Go to fucking Trungos! You're, You're eight, eight minutes, minutes from away. Trungos? You can go to Trungos, have a full meal, come back, and we'll still be streaming. Yeah, you can tell us all about it. That's, that's true if the person meals. lives an hour away. Yeah. That's true, yes. That's true that's if the person who lives a state away, probably. <laughs> they can come back oh, they have schnitzel. <laughs> oh. Have the schnitzel at Trungos. <laughs> that sounds like I'm, a, I'm six glebs away. That Sing sounds like a, um, like a like a like a Audrey Hepburn movie. Uh, schnitzel? schnitzel at Trungos. <laughs> I thought you meant six glebs away. Like that's the name of the film. Six glebs away. <laughs> I mean, six glebs <laughs> away sounds like a pretty dramatic. Uh, yeah, that's an Oscar bait movie. That is absolutely an Oscar bait movie in one Blood way. The trailer has in. Audrey Hepburn crying in a car while slamming the wheel. What? <laughs> <laughs> Because you can't get a glimpse. <laughs> they have schnitzel and the blood wars. So Dude, numb. they're, they they're legends. Now. Yes, they do. To be fair, yeah, they do. Yeah, they oh, do. Yeah, right. It's winter over there. <clears throat> it's winter, it winter most places you? except Australia well, and it, the other it's south it's places. It's summer it's, for you. It's winter in, in half of the world, but <laughs> okay, so literally half. So well, no, but as in, but like the top half of the world has most of the land in it. 
Yes, but the top half of the world is the top half of the world, you understand? The top half of the world is fucking Chad half. Chad Dude, what's wrong with water? The bottom half is, uh, well... I don't know what's... Oceans are cool, there's stuff in them. Yeah. What do you call the Chad hemisphere, the Chadosphere? I think so. Uh, Gasto? Someone's yeah. so saying EFAT meet up at Trungo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if that were like one of 17 options in the area or something, we'd be like, we have to. We have to meet up yeah, at Trungo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had just unlimited time and funds. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do it for the meme. I'll go there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> there is someone listening. There's one, at least one that's like, ah, I got nothing on. Fuck it. Let's go see what Trungo's is. <laughs> Accidentally make Trungos like the most Trungos. popular. I'm not, oh my god! Imagine like tomorrow, two people meet at Trungos who both watch <laughs> EFAP. They're like, like so they, like, I don't know, maybe like one of them's got like the plush in their bag or something, or they like, put it on the table, and then someone else walks in the and they go, "Hang on, <laughs> where are you from?" Or like one of them is listening Sweden? to the podcast <laughs> on their phone while they're walking around. The other one's like, "Oh my god, you, you came to Trungos too." <laughs> <laughs> Let's I heard food. about it on the podcast. <gasps> Me too. <gasps> oh my goodness! And then if they anyone, love. if people are asking what Trungos is, you just have to Google Trungos, and it will come up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a bar in Virginia called Trungos. You don't think there's a lot of competing search results for Trungos? <laughs> Fallout Trungo. What? Right now, right now. That's Fallout <laughs> Trungo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it, all right, it's, you, you know, you gotta go find Trungo, that's the objective, like a, you get out of the vault. It's a really poignant moment in, in, in the game where you find what remains of Trungos in the Fallout world, and you're just, like, real yeah. sad. You're like, look, that, what this remains of Trungos? Lost. This is what, this is what war has <laughs> cost us, Trungo. Yeah. You, go, you, go in, you go into the ruin, you go into the ruin, and there's a ghoul there, and you're like, who are you? And he's like, I am Trungo. <laughs> That's right. If, you, if you're wondering if you're at the correct place, it's very close to the Tally Ho Theater and the Plum Grove Cyclery. Oh, no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the Plum what? Grove Cyclery. Plum Grove Cyclery. <laughs> <laughs> they cycle Plum Grove. <laughs> There's also that sounds like bullshit. Like, what? <laughs> I zoomed into the place on Google Maps. There's a Plum Grove Cyclery. I shit you oh, not. Man. The Plum Grove Cyclery. I have to look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> I see it. Kick you in the Plum Groves. <laughs> there. Sound like a dark, this is starting to sound there like a is. dark There it is. Plum Grove Cyclery. <laughs> at Faradgeschaft. Faradgeschaft. I just want oh, to see what they're doing with those plums, man. It's just it's a cyclery. It's just a bike ride away from Trungos. <laughs> it's just, they knew. no coincidence that the Plum Grove cyclery would be so close to Trungos. This place just needs to be called Wombo Town, and I'm, I'm, I'm Wombo -town. anti happy. <laughs> Wombonia. Wirt. Trungos is by Wirt Street. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you guys? There's an oyster bar. Do you guys have oyster bars? Typically not, I don't think. Over here. I've never seen an oyster bar. I've had oysters, but not an oyster bar. The Buford's Biscuits. I've never seen an oyster Biscuits. Would you like to go? You come to Senor Ramon's Taquera? Taqueria? Taqueria? Oh, we like to go to Senor Ramon's Taqueria, man. Fireworks pizza? I feel like they've combined two things that aren't supposed to be combined, but all right. Senor Ramon and Taquera? It's also King Street, both coffee and uh Oh, what can I have a look at the Trungo's menu? Ooh. Yeah, you can. I oh my god, that. what the fuck is this file? It just Oh wait, no, when I copy and paste I'm sorry, wait, the, the menu like the, the image of the menu seems to um stretch to fit whatever screen you're viewing it on. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <clears throat> So if I make my window narrow narrower, it sh yeah. If I make my uh, my browser window narrower, it gets smaller. Um, like it gets narrower the, the image. So what I'm what I'm gathering is that this is the icon for Trungos. <laughs> <laughs> is that like the digestive? Yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like some 
gastrointestinal. <laughs> thing. What were they thinking? Why is this their icon? <laughs> what is this logo? Is this like a flame? Do they think it's a flame? I think they think it's Maybe a flame. It's smoke. Yeah. Well, it looks like an it looks like a stomach that's just been <laughs> cut out. <laughs> you can picture like it like mm, tasty. It's for the you know, it's for the male stomach. It, it makes sense. People will like this. I like that in just the menu. A, it's like see throughs. Like uh, it's like the ghost of your stomach. It's like your stomach's gonna die by going there or something. <laughs> I kind of want to call and ask how they got their name. I don't know who I designed mean, their icon. I mean, <laughs> someone might now. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll do it. Let Just me, a hint of smoke is the tagline. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how they don't, name. Guys, don't call guys. Don't call Trungos because if we oh, encourage please. you to call Trungos, they'd get like a thousand calls, and yeah, it would be really not, annoying. Yeah, for them. Not actually please do not actually call no trung one, Trungos not, unless, unless it's to make a reservation you yeah. intend to fulfill. Yeah, then I mean, go to Trungos because they'll, yeah, they'll eat that. Go eat that, but don't bother them, right? But yeah, don't don't actually bother them. Rungos is uh, pretty chill, right? Cool. Love honestly, their icon. Honestly, they've, honestly, they've got pulled pork, grilled cheese, and nachos. That's pretty good. And this is the Trungos in Leesburg, Virginia? Yeah. Wait, like is the there only... more than one? <laughs> well, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> just, I didn't want to... I thought that said the thing. chickpea grumbo. <laughs> The chickpea grumbo. <laughs> that sounds like a character in Star Wars. <laughs> That's like a bounty that Mando has to bring in. The criminal chickpea grumbo. <laughs> Trunk goes up. The special chickpea grumbo. Everyone wants to buy it. <laughs> grumbo. So that'll be the next uh, Boba Fett episode. Oh man! Really is, like, I really want to find a Wumbo restaurant in Germany now. I'm very upset. Grumbo. I love it if they had all crazy names. It was just grilled grilled cheese was also there. <laughs> like the only normal thing. They're like, yeah, it's just grilled cheese. <laughs> it was just oh, like cheese. Hey, give me a second. Uh, I'll call them. Ask them what their name is. Uh, <laughs> No, go away! You can't call Trungos me. Trungos is this calling is you. Trungos, <laughs> like, <laughs> would you fucking dare call me? Scary, the fucking like scariest thing ourselves. in my life. <laughs> you just see, you just see the, the logo on your phone. It's like, oh shit, Trungos. <laughs> you know? No, it's not even. It's not even Trungo. Trungos. The name is Trungo. He's calling me. Him specifically. <laughs> it's right. Lord Trungo. It's like Rag answers the phone. It's just like, did you order the uh, the chickpea grumbo, sir? We're gonna deliver it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get him uh, right here. I'm going to turn this on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I got it. Really need Rich Evans to answer this. Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Hello, is this Trungos? <laughs> I guess I'll try again. It should be. It's it's one thirty on a Saturday. It should be. Hello, I'm trying to contact to Trungos. Please put me. <laughs> Please put me in contact with Trungos. I need it. Hello. Hello, is, is there anyone there? Is this Trungos? At the present time, we are not taking reservations, but if you call 15 to 30 minutes in advance, we'll make sure the next table is available for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, is that... I guess it's a... Please yeah. Message. Oh, I guess it's... <laughs> you can't just like call it like a restaurant, I suppose. I guess it's a... We'll have One to second. go to Trungos to find out. That wasn't on speaker. <laughs> We're located at okay. 2C Loudon Street Southwest in historic downtown Leesburg. Our normal hours are Thursday and Friday from 4 to 9 and Saturday from noon to 9. We do host special jazz events on the first and third. Jazz events. Oh, nice. It makes I'm sense really that they're fully booked. They are Trungos. Trungo <laughs> jazz events. appreciating That's the person amazing. in chat. First in the chat, he's just saying you got trungoed. <laughs> <laughs> What's amazing is that, like, if they're not taking reservations, then I guess business is so good that they don't. They're just, or yeah. maybe it's bad. Maybe it works both ways. I don't know. Like, maybe <laughs> I can't make a call based on that. Maybe they just don't. Maybe they're not so hoity-toity. They're very down to earth. That they're they're not about that reservation life. 
It's what just a... you walk in, you get food. You go, you walk in, you get grumbo. That's how it works here at Trungos. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real simple. Like, just none of that pretentious shit. I top wouldn't eat here, you know. I top yeah. would not eat here. He definitely wouldn't eat here if he learned that Spider Man worked at Trungos. That's very true. <laughs> what? A lot of restaurants around where I live, uh, they they don't really bother with reservations because they know they'll get a pretty much full business anyway. So people yeah. just kind of will wait. I figured that might be what happens, which is good. Good on do good on Trungos. Good on yeah. Trungos. Good but job. I mean, I guess I guess if they're always full and you can't book, book a reservation, maybe don't drive twelve hours for Trungos. Yeah, that's true. You might not. That would like, suck to drive twelve hours I, to Trungos and. I picture their passion would mean they would wait. They would just wait, however long it takes, Jay. They would, they would sleep in the car, they'd True. be like, I need to eat at Trungo's. Imagine driving 12 hours to get to Trungo's, and oh. then you get there and they say, oh, we're full, it'll be a 30-minute wait, and you're just like, ah, I'll just go somewhere else. It's not too far from an airport, so, you know. I would personally um, just wait however many hours it took to catch new Grumbos to cook up, you know? Someone Dude. just sent me this. <laughs> <laughs> Wombology <laughs> photography. Wombology <laughs> photography. Where is it located? Where is it located? Don't call them, by the way, please. <laughs> Don't call Wombology photography. <laughs> wombology. Unless it's to schedule an appointment that you intend to keep. Please. Why the Don't, fuck would they call, call it wombology? <laughs> wombology? I don't know. I don't know how that happens, but that's amazing. There's no directions to Wombology photography. Do they truly exist? Well, it might be. Um, it no might directions. be. Uh, it might be the uh, a reference to SpongeBob. Maybe. Uh, well, I've got, um, Open yeah. twenty four hours too. I mean that that's dedication. I can't see it listed at all. Where is it? <laughs> and it's close to Palm Beach Gardens. Um, Florida, I think. If I see that. No, close to One... Miami. I don't know. It's not one bomb marking it properly. Photography. Get a quote. <clears throat> one bow bounce, bounce out. Bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, five stars have a twelve reviews. People really like Wumbo Jumbo. Oh no, it's Marvel. Oh no, it's the Avengers on the Wumbo Jumbo bounce house. It's where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> the Wumbo Jumbo I can Bounce imagine Bounce. all of the Avengers inside just jumping up and down, uh, having a good time. Yay! They all Wumbo they Jumbo are... to you. Man, this Mar is not what I expected today. That was amazing. The MCU is a Wumbo Jumbo to your writing. <laughs> right Where is it? Oh, it's open. Where? It's open twenty four hours a day. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I can have a, I can have like, a two a.m. Wumbo Jumbo bounce. You the fucking bounce house at three a.m. We've got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Order. read some of the reviews. Can I get some jump live at eight fifty? No. <laughs> Rachel says, "Holy smokes, these guys are amazing, professional wow. and kind. I will be using this company again." Kids and adults loved it. Timely drop off and pick up. The guys who delivered it were the best. What if wow. these guys are like FBI plants and they just like look for people trying to rent bouncy ounces at 3 a.m.? <laughs> there, <are laughs> there are 12 reviews and all of the five stars. You, I mean, do you think that they pay for? Do you think that maybe this is? You think the Wumbo Jumbo Bounce House and in Inflatables Emporium or whatever it's called? Do you think it's maybe uh, like the front for the mob or something? Yeah, and giving it a bad rating gets you a bad rating. Let's just say that. Oh my goodness! We'll make like, sure you never bounce in this town again. <laughs> well, once they put up the little MCU poster on it, I think that was it. Sealed it. Everyone was like, "This is the greatest fucking Wumbo Jumbo I've ever seen." <laughs> I bet what if, I bet what they do is they um they like tape your nose closed and then they stick the inflatable thing in your mouth and and, and until you explode. Well, yeah, it keeps filling until you change the review filling. to five. You're ready to talk. Trungos like is also incredibly talking. highly rated. It's uh, four point six out of five from hundred and ninety two reviews, which is pretty good. Um, wow, that is really that is really good. There That's why they don't have one, to worry about renovations. There was one one-star um, review of Trongos, and I, I'm curious to know what it oh, says. Oh, fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> what oh does my that guy God, know the about review, food? The, the review comes from an account called Whole Healthy Living. Well, the, who wants healthy living if you can't eat at Trongos? Here's, here's what they say about Trongos. 
the chicken waffles had a very little piece of chicken and little sauce on two huge waffles. My children ordered lemonade and got sour mix on ice. And the mussel salsa verde were nothing but steamed mussels in a watery butter broth. Mm. And half of the mussels were empty or closed shells. Very expensive and looked to be more of a bar Uh catering to the whatever that word is. Oh, delirious. I can't read. Um, Are you You know nothing about dining. Maybe they didn't eat a trungos than they thought they did, you know? It's a, it must be a mix-up, I think. That's probably it. I think they probably reviewed the wrong restaurant by mistake. Yeah. I think that's probably the case. Um, because, like, an overwhelming mm. majority of these are five-star reviews. The trungo sounds- patrons seem very happy. Let's put it that way. The sounds trungo like a, patrons. Sounds like a grumbo oh, hater oh. to me. My company hosted a casual networking event at Trungos, and we couldn't be happier. Such an amazing experience. The beverage options were top notch. Um, the food was delicious, and the logistics were wonderful. Logistics. That's the so logistics. Weird thing. I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, as Thunder just pointed out, you got the Trungo salad. Um, it's hard to read all of it, but it ends with garnished with wholesome nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like our podcast. <laughs> There's also a section. There's a section called guiltless mini dessert. Guiltless mini dessert. Yeah, I guess you could have no guilt. Totally not a front for the mob, guys. You can have your pot de creme chocolat and your peach cheesecake without guilt. Wholesome, wholesome nuts is a company that sells well nuts. They call wholesome nut company. By the way. Oh my god! Look at this! Look at these! Look at the sausages they serve. These are these look great. I can't copy paste the image though. Why not? I don't know. It's print screen. Like do the do the do now. light shot. Yeah. I don't have a light shot. I just wow, have you should. Uh, fucking what the idiot. Fuck is light shot. You fuck. Light shot is a tool that you need to have, and if you don't ever have, you're a bad person. That's what I would say. Oh, that is accurate to reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad we've had this conversation. A larger portion of creamy mac and cheese. All right. Well, you know, uh, that's probably it for Trungos then. I, I, oh, oh, look is at that those from sausages. Trungos? That is from Trungos. That looks delicious. That from Trungos. That's a big, juicy sausage. Yeah, but look at look the size of those tastier. sausages. Jeez, that's huge. Yeah. God damn, that's a big sausage. They got some chickpea grumbo. That's it's a, wild. It's a girthy sausage. It would, it would, it would fill you right up. You know? it's, it's not quite, just it's not just long, girthy, it's but it's long. It's mm-hmm. it, it's both. It looks like it's a that's a that's a hefty piece of meat. Jeez, girthy flavor. <laughs> Grumble. <laughs> um, what were we gonna talk about today? Was that it? <laughs> no, I think we're good. Yeah, I think sorry, that's I, it. I'm that happy with that. EFAP. EFAP. This is the Trungo EFAP. Trungo EFAP. Just trying to raise some awareness. You know, I, I hope that Trungos becomes the most successful restaurant going forward. Um, yeah, and, and to branch out, go to all the countries. Yeah. Please, genuinely, if you are nearby, go to Trungos and let us know how it was. <laughs> go to Trungos. Bring a friend. Yeah. Send, Send me some friends. Trungos. I want Trungo schnitzel. Yeah. If you're a lover of Grumbo, go to Trumbo. Yeah. Tell, tell, tell them we sent you. <laughs> I got a, a couple of memes and artwork I'm going to throw in today. Just to mix it up, Fine. Okay. crazy. I'll I know, allow it. but um, I feel like yeah. myself yeah. and Fringy are probably the only people who will understand this. I think you 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 have the off chance everyone else will, but I just I think it's neat. I like it. <laughs> is that Trungo? <laughs> That's a good name. It is not Trungo, but um. Oh my goodness! Ten Why pooch is points. The tea, just a little penis. Or I guess ten ten mutually points if you can guess what it's from. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from just Mario Sunshine. Okay. Um, it's done now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it? Was that where it's from? It, I, 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 I was thinking to myself, is it obvious because of the M, or do you guys I not mean, really? It's obvious to me. I played the game like the, twice. The, you've you know? never played games. The red do, M do we, with do, the two shut up. thingies over it. Yeah. Is that supposed to be Mario's signature? His artistic signature? The no, Shadow that's Mario's. Bowser Jr.'s. Yeah, it's evil. Oh, I see. So I'm not too signature. familiar with him. Ain't this great? <laughs> the reference to whenever you go robot, ranks. Whenever I go robot, <laughs> R4. Oh, really Jay muted. Awesome. Jay's the only person here who really appreciates this. Ow. P. 
piece of shit. Gotta wait until Jay's back now, so. Do, oh, do, 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 do. What those buttons do? Don't push my buttons, mm -hmm. all right? Oh, hey, that's cool. There you go. Why is I it did. cool, Jay? Explain to the, the class. Yes. This is a dog, and this canine is a dog, and Rags is a dog, and they've combined them into one uber dog. You say canine like, like it's canine more than just a canine. Like, what, what's, what's the reference? Is there a reference there, Jay? No. Oh, yeah. it's Are a, you lying to us? Yeah, it's from that really shitty nudie show from like the 1912s or whatever. No, it's from uh, it's from the 19... It, no, sorry, I think it's an early 2000s show called K9. <laughs> that's a real show, just to be clear, Mola. That's That happened. It has an entire season of 24 episodes. Oh, really? I thought that they didn't make it or whatever. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. There are two K9 shows. One of them is just a pilot. That's from the 80s. It's literally the most 80s thing you've ever seen. It's hilarious. Watch the title sequence. It's called K9 and Company. Then they actually got one off the ground in the noughties. I don't know why this character needed his own TV show twice, but... In the didn't, um, Was it Russell T. It was, Davies it who said, Australia. like, he found him annoying or something? And so when bringing him back in the new series was like, I gotta try and make this not cringe. That might have been Russell T. Davis. I can't remember if it was him or someone that. else, but yeah. Um, maybe a way to make him not cringe is to have Rags play him. Who knows? Yeah. That's a very real possibility. Rags, this <laughs> meme was made for you is when I picked it up and I was like, oh, that seems, that seems nice of them. <laughs> The Book of Babu Frick. Oh my god! I would watch I the Book of Babu Frick. I don't. Wow, that, that does too. look. That looks. That looks like something out of the early '90s. That was ahead of its time. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. That's, just... that's not the '80s one. That's the um. That's the 2000s one. Oh, that is not ahead so of its it, time. <laughs> it's not ahead of its time. It, it is behind the times. <laughs> this can this this series one volume one canine show is behind what what's the the world's Favorite robot dog returns across space and time. This is the 80s one. I feel like they could have made a better looking dog. Well, let's see if the 80s one is better. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with a, a big no on that one. Still, right. lasers out of your snoot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right? You can, like, you can mid all kinds of people like that. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> Before no, we pew. get to, in, uh, to, I guess, to into the EFAP, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go get myself a beverage and I'll return Very momentarily. Well. There's also a canine movie. Goes. There's also a canine movie back in the 80s. Uh, about a guy and a like a policeman and a dog, and they made a sequel, K nine one one, I think. Possibly others. I thought you were doing a, robots like a joke. There, I guess that's real. Oh, yeah, that's no, real. Oh, yeah, John Belushi, Jim Belushi's uh, underappreciated brother. I see. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, it's it's actually a rags meme. We have to wait until he comes back from to react to these sorts of things. I wish Nickelback was in Lord of the Rings so he could say. Look at this wizard staff. staff. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this graph. How many people back doing these days? Do they still make songs people like? I, I think they're still about. They probably have their audience. I just popular culture mocks them. Doesn't mean that they're not successful. What was their last album? Heimers say. Did you guys follow that uh, whole Tolkien Society thing that happened a few weeks ago? Well, that was hilarious. Wait, which thing? Where, where well, basically tried... somebody shared a photo of J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, and then the, the yeah. Tolkien Society is like, do you have ownership? Do you, do you got a license for that photo, basically? Oh, no. <laughs> and that's... No, no, it's even funnier. Uh, they, <laughs> it transpired that they'd bought the the distribution rights to the photo for like twelve thousand dollars or something yeah and, and it's just like your average photo of tolkien uh, and then somebody kind of innocent replied it's like uh <laughs> no i thought it was free for use and it's like could you tell me or, or, or that like i was i thought it was free for use and i've seen plenty of other people use it and then tolkien society replied again and said can you tell us where so we can oh my god it. and then of course everybody uh, who had seen it started sharing the photo more and more. It was this right oh, yeah. all over, yeah. Just everyone people... changes their profile picture to it. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I posted the picture on my timeline. Wow, <laughs> I stole it. I did a Nickelback style thing where I replaced the photograph in his hand with the with the Tolkien. <laughs> Look at this Tolkien. And people started doing like <laughs> fake uh, fake uh, Tolkien NFTs using the photo and called it a uh, non fungible Tolkien's. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you you, you once said you would watch Lord of the Rings before episode one hundred. Will you watch it before episode two hundred? That's entirely possible. <laughs> Sounds like a no to me. It sounds like a no. <laughs> so that's something that could indeed happen. It is possible within the realm of our dimension. Let's see. What... NF Tolkien? No. Um. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, Phantom Menace meme. Look at this. It's great. It's like the reverse of the Attack of the Clones meme. Yeah. <laughs> that is a bit of an awkward element in Phantom Menace. Just like, you'd think there would have been a conversation, right? Like, sorry, we just can't do anything for her. What do you think Yoda would be like? That would be about attachments. Let it rot. It's like, oh. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, the fact that like a princess couldn't buy a single slave in Tatooine was kind of I'm weird, back. right? Oh, Ooh, yeah. Maybe memes. she didn't want to support the slave market. Maybe she was like, hey, if I pay these you know, her. Oh, no, he turned into K9. Yeah, he turned, yeah. Into, he turned into R4 for me. <laughs> did I, did my robot? <laughs> I wish Nico it's okay, what I was saying wasn't that important. Oh. I didn't expect that to be, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to punch you, Metal. Ooh, Try me, Jay, you'll like bitch. this one. Ew. Oh, what the fuck that. is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <from> the creature? <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck. Holy, holy fuck. That's a great meme. That's a great meme. That's the sprite creature <laughs> that we get our sprite <laughs> from. The, the sprite nipples from. of the sprite. <laughs> the sprite it looks milk. so terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and you got Ronald McDonald just crashing. Yeah. The way he's crouching as well. It's really funny too. Yeah. Just imagine you're at McDonald's. It's like, okay, oh, can, can I have a sprite, please? Like, oh, wait, I need to put a new keg in. And you just hear the background. <laughs> 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 You're like, oh my god, people, someone milk the sprite. It needs to be milked every morning. <laughs> Yeah, they have like <laughs> absolute silos from like one creature at a time. <laughs> it's like connected to a pub. <laughs> Look at its face. <laughs> oh no. It looks like it's just a creature built for screaming. <laughs> yeah. The it's eyes. Got, like, it's got the lemons. eyes. <laughs> it's got lemons and limes like embedded in its back too. Oh. Yep. As would be expected. God damn. It's like a it's like a fucked up mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> but I well, I mean, uh. it kind of explains why Sprite is what Sprite is, I, I think. Uh. You were right to share that meme with us, Smaller. I was right to do that. <laughs> That's by the <sighs> way, I appreciate that Star Wars. And now to go meme. back to something a little bit less insane, you know? Uh. Check that out. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that oh, one. That's neat. Cool. It's awesome. I still, this is an amazing piece of art. The sprite thing? Yeah, but also, and also, yes, also Van also. Helsing, also, uh, this, this red and black and gray style EFAP picture of the hosts. I'm holding a film Mahler reel. And Drags and uh, uh, Frungo. Mm -hmm. Bring looking pretty stylish, I would say. Ready for an adventure, as per usual. So I know that, that that's uh, Fringy in a nice loose coat, but my brain tells me he's dummy thick. He's just got a giant ass. But... <laughs> oh, goddamn. <laughs> and that is okay. That is okay. I saw this one as well. Um, I'm assuming it's a reference that I am a little unaware of. I know that... It's Anna. Well, I know that Anna is, uh, likes gasoline, but I, I don't get the, the outfit. Well, that, that's from... She's a robot? Well, to be, here, right? to be to from be. Neo Automata, and uh. she's a robot. That's... I think that's, that's oh. it. Oh, yeah. 
you get it. You see, we get it. We understand. We're, yeah. I think the, we the what liking like the smell of gasoline? well, she likes the smell the of smell. it. Right? I think which, it's by the way, the smell of it. it's probably the most normal part of the things she said. Yeah, I like the smell of gasoline, and I'm perfectly normal. I yeah. like the next day. I was about with my dad, and, and he had to go to the gas station, and that's all I could think about when he drove <laughs> in the gas station. <laughs> Yeah, why does gasoline smell good when it's like actually toxic? That's so weird, right? There's a lot of things that smell good well, that are I mean, bad for you. It smells good, but it's not the kind of smell that's like, hmm, I'd like to eat this. No. I like it's to eat it's, just, it's like of... a clean car. Like when you get into a car and it's just straight off the factory floor. You're like, yeah. man, I mean, this I car like, smells great, like but I wouldn't want to eat it. I feel like yeah. there is a difference between those two. Smelling and eating? I feel like, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Gasoline, I agree. Yeah. gasoline is like a musk. I agree. Gasoline is like a musk. It's the musk of the earth. Is yeah. that like the Wumbo vision of a mask? It's the musk of industry is gasoline. And ironically, Elon Musk wants to eliminate gasoline. Isn't that weird? Oh. He wants everything to be I powered also, by memes. I also have a pleasant <laughs> natural musk <laughs> that is inviting. <laughs> powered with memes. So Jack, check out this this little lad here. Look at, look at this boy. <clears throat> Ooh! Oh, 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 that's oh, cool. That's cool. Oh, this is I the one. I haven't seen with, that one. Yeah, yeah. This is. Oh, yeah, I know that's this great. one. This is good stuff. <laughs> and they um, they actually said when I think when they they posted this. Can you spot the cameo? I can. I can spot the cameo. I don't want to give it away though. I feel like Metal should be the one to point it out. I think um, so. I mean, uh, I need to make it bigger because it's loopy. Copy link. Give me a second. Okay. I can spot a cameo. I can't tell who it is. I can't quite tell either. Oh, really? I'm assuming Rags really, has got you can't? it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, can, I know. I can I know see it, is. but I I'm struggling for and some chat, reason. Chat oh. has got it. A oh, bit. got it. Jay thinks oh, he has it. Yes. <laughs> Metal, are you, are you nearly there? I mean, I. I, I, I saw what I was looking for, but I can't see it. <laughs> it looks kind of like chair. But yeah, I already saw in chat that there's a chairly. Well, that was it. Chairly, yeah. the chair lurking around. Well, so funnily like enough, there was equal feet. assumptions that it's Hassan's chair. <laughs> like... Yeah, I mean, to me it was like half and half. It was like, you know what? It's ambiguous. It could just be both. Well, because yeah, there's no googly <laughs> eyes, right? And that's what yeah. gives chairly the chairly factor, so... Yeah, probably that's what would confuse me. Maybe this I, is last year, I don't know. Because I looked like right at it. I was like, is the, I'm not sure. But, um, Maybe you're just easily confused <clears throat> and stupid. What Shut a, the fuck what a up. style, though, you know? Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. I want to cool. see this movie slash TV show. It reminded me of Amnesia, actually. Yeah, oh, kind of. Yeah, that's what, it, yeah. Looks like some Silent Hill stuff. Kind of got some Bloodborne vibes, actually, for me. Of yeah, Franny. all all of those things. <laughs> Combined ball. It, looks, it looks like a grimy PS2 game. Yeah, the best kind. Era. Yeah, it, it definitely feels like it would be a game more so than a show or a film. Oh yeah, um, like a the kind of uh, survival horror PS2 title, Resident Evil Four era kind of stuff. It needs those liminal spaces, like music over. Like this, this is a piece of this is a piece of art that needs one of those. Those kind of creepy Minecraft sound effects, like when you're in a cave. Yeah. Oh, I love those sounds. Yeah. I love Ambient when you're sports. on a call with people and, um, and the sounds they punctuate whatever's happened in the call. That's fun. Um, yeah, I'm I guess pretty sure so. this is not Charlie, because the chair looks way too different. But it does look pretty much like a sans chair. Maybe it I is a sans chair then. If, if, if you look at the tweet Jay sent us with the. AI, 12 hour AI with the general frame or the average frame. Because I know the, the tweet you're talking about. I know that one yeah. too. And you can see the chair there and it looks pretty similar because there's like the two things below the headrest. I was going to say the lack of googly eyes makes me think that actually. Also probably, that, yeah. 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 Um, I had to double check. Well, I thought maybe it was just a grittier version of Charlie to fit it the aesthetic of the. It could be. <sighs> I thought it was a possessed pork at first, to be honest. A possessed <laughs> pork? Porg from uh, oh. Last Jedi. Oh, okay. From, pig, from pork, from pig. 
Um, anyway, uh, Rags, time for our ad read. So if you want to just take care of it, I'll give you give you the link you need. Just Absolutely. Right <laughs> All right, uh, I'll get it let on the screen. Our, let me pull this up for everybody. Everyone, we didn't let you know, but we had to. We, we finalized this. We thought it was the right thing for the right thing for the channel. Mm -hmm. Got to pay the bills after all. And so I am very, very pleased uh, to announce, and it's quite a privilege for EFAP, that we have recently partnered with Punto. Mm -hmm. Now, Punto, which can be found at Punto. You can Google them, you find them out. We'll put a link in the description. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I'll just, it's, it's real simple. Punto.tomgits.repl.co. Yeah, <laughs> punto at tomgits.repl.co. Uh, punto is a local whale irrigation service related to anti-planetary bombardment systems. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, there are multiple, um, there's, there's multiple things that Punto does. Punto is a multifaceted entity, uh, uh, but this is the Code Red era, what we like to call the Code Red era of human civilization, which is that asteroids are heading for us right at this moment, and it is time for us to protect ourselves. Yeah. All right? So Punto features all new technology, and if you purchase a subscription to receive one of their state-of-the-art backpacks, it will come with built-in defense technology and you can find more uh -oh. information on your website regarding mm -hmm. the new technology and it's important to note that we were talking about this being a code red era that wisconsin was hit very hard uh recently eastern wisconsin has been under brutal attack by pelting asteroids from space um you can just click any of them to read more yeah absolutely all the links uh there. we you know, we don't want to give it all away we want to encourage you to go to the website and check out all the information mm -hmm. um now, the money that you give to Punto through the subscription service goes towards producing more of their advanced defense backpacks, as well into research for more reliable, large-scale defensive systems for the future, because Punto definitely sees themselves as investing in the future of Earth in terms of safety and security. Yeah. Um, and because of these subscription services that have been given to Punto <laughs> so far, uh, they've been able to give out backpacks free of charge as a uh, as a charity, essentially, to people all across the world, including Uganda, uh, Wisconsin, Wales, mm -hmm. uh, certain orphanages in Canada, yeah, as well as of course Nazi oh, Germany. orphans, yeah, of course. Well, it's not orphans; it's orphanages. It's different. Orphanages. People. The people who run the orphanages need the safety equipment. Um, research is a there's a broad research wing over at punto yeah and they have detected that asteroids are being flung from a distant galaxy at speeds that are much faster than light which means they could be here any moment and we don't know who's doing it yet but that's another thing the research team's it's going of. faster mm -hmm. than light then you can't see it until it hits you that's the really well, scary you part, would think yeah. that you'd think that right yeah uh now punto says that the research department suspects that a highly advanced species is behind this bombardment whom they have nicknamed the Big Gay, uh, TBG. Clint, I think uh, was taken. Sorry. Yeah, uh, we are finding out as much as uh, they're finding out as much as they can about these life forms to try and get a better understanding of how to prevent the asteroids. Uh, so they are using deep space scanners, which I think will Standard. allow them to detect these mm -hmm. faster than light uh, you know, objects. Uh, they have long range orbital telescopes, uh, 5.8 a uh, million square feet of research facilities in order yep. to house these telescopes, scanners, etc., uh, as well as a new large backpack production line that is a part of those research facilities. And they are promising new defensive items coming soon. A lot of people because, like, as we stated, it's not enough. It's like they're making more. Like this is, you know, just start this is up. an investment in the future and the yeah. safety of the future, not of not just of ourselves, but on the planet that we're on. Um, but you might think that Punto, after reading all of this, could they do more? Yes, they could. And not only could they, they are. With Punto help. offers many services. Many services. They offer high-quality, long-lasting backpacks with built-in asteroid detection and removal features. Not just the backpack, because those are the straps, but the asteroid removal features. These backpacks also come with a shield that deploys if Punto service detects an asteroid bombardment in your area if you are currently subscribed to Punto. Yeah. 
The backpacks can be thought of as an insurance service against asteroids where you will pay a certain subscription to avoid any trauma, death, misery, pain, and of course, post-traumatic stress disorder that results from any asteroid bombardments from the big gay, TBG. Um, you have advanced asteroid detection, connection to Punto service to ensure this protection, and it is supported by prestigious longman, Mahler 93. As well as EFAP. Absolutely. Frequent security updates, and in addition to all of these other features and services that these anti-asteroid backpacks provide, they also double as a normal backpack. Which people to love. To keep things in. Like storing stuff and in. moving things around without carrying I love backpacks. Yeah. They're really good. Mm -hmm. If you keep scrolling down, there's obviously the, the point of this. We are going to save Absolutely. ourselves from doom. Um, the aims of Punto are to educate people. Uh, well, the aims of Punto are to educate people about the dangers of asteroids, and to protect those who are vulnerable, and to develop new and effective defense technology. And Punto sees themselves as worthy of having a code of ethics as well for their asteroid defense production line. Our employees have a very, and this is from their website, of course, I'm not particularly, other than sponsorship, I'm not part of Punto myself. But Punto employees have a very high satisfaction rate. Australian slaves are used. However, since no one cares, uh, they figure that that is a good part of the workforce. It's pretty, uh, and yeah, it's top notch. Punto, yeah, Punto does offer warranties for all Punto approved products. And I think they stand by that. Mm -hmm. I think I, I like to hear that people are willing to stand by their products and offer warranties. So one of so the reasons if you ever... this was chosen as well, as you can see, they actually mm -hmm. had their first research facility in Wales. Pretty cool. It's true. Humble beginnings. Yeah. <laughs> Humble beginnings. Just like Apple. Just like Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Just like each and every one of us. Humble beginnings. I, my beginnings weren't humble. My beginnings were oh? egotistical. Your, hum, after, your beginnings were trying to go? The, um, the rucksack development began, which is obvious. Obviously, that's like step one. After realizing that some defensive measures must be created, we set about to design a state-of-the-art solution. Um, mm -hmm. Our researchers finally found the civilization we believe to be firing these asteroids. Code Red Era announced. So this is this was big news, if you guys remember. It was all over Reddit. Very big Twitter. news. I remember when this was announced. Um, but obviously, um, Punto were at the cutting edge of all of this. Like the A lot of people didn't even realize Punto were the reason that we found that out. Yeah, I remember originally the Code Red subreddit uh, was uh, it was initially censored by the United States government for fear of creating a national panic, a, yeah. a global panic about uh, TBG and the asteroid bombardments. But since then, the truth has been found out and discovered, and I think we have Punto to thank for that. Testing phase for the defensive rucksack begin, and they actually... Who was the first backpack sold to? Was it Obama? I can't remember. I, I'm not sure who it was sold to. I think the first um, honorary backpack was given to... I'm not sure it was. It might have been Obama in one of the uh, one of his later uh, one of his later uh, fundraising events, but mm. I'm not I'm I'm not actually certain. That video had wasn't it the most views on YouTube? I think in history. I think so. I think it was. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. And so yeah, first asteroids taken out, and uh, then they reached the 1K backpacks sold. I think that um, you guys aren't very shocked that of course Quib Gift is still sponsoring us, but uh, look at Punto's satisfaction rates compared to Quib Gift, And that, of course, I, I wasn't even going to bring Amazon up, but we all know that that's a failing company at this point. They, if you're going to buy stock, don't buy stock in companies that are doomed to fail, like Amazon. Does anyone even buy use stock Amazon in, anymore? No, I've, I, the last time I even heard Amazon was, oh, it's been weeks since anyone even brought it up. And when they did, it was to talk about how it was just an unsustainable business model that was just, it was not going anywhere. It was mm -hmm. all in the short term. I bought some Amazon Amazon earlier program. today. What was Amazon again? Is that they deliver to sell your stock? Is it deliver movies or whatever? Uh I don't know. Something of uh, something about a river. I'm I'm not sure. Um, like food but, delivery, like do get yeah, like, bubs and shit. I think the idea it's is like, like a, whatever isn't movie like a you want to watch. River or some shit. Rags just said that you. Oh yeah, I wasn't listening. Oh. Yeah. Well, I find Jesus, I find him un fucking, uninteresting until fucking Christ. Thanks for ruining the entire fucking sponsorship. Reason. Jesus Christ. Well, Everyone go subscribe to Punto, please. It's very important that you subscribe to Punto. So we are anti asteroid defensive backpacks and you'll thank yourself later. Don't do it. Don't do it for me and don't even do it for EFAP. Do it for the future self who will thank your past self for investing in Punto and if invest in your need future. Any more convincing. Safety. Look at this graph.
Um, Look at this graph. Got amount of Punto <laughs> subscribers versus death by asteroids. Uh, that seems pretty damn conclusive, wouldn't you say? That's yeah, incredible. I mean, there's really no arguing with that. It's incredible. Because um, these That's asteroids, the they've been getting in the way, to put it lightly. Uh, Punto is actually making a fucking difference about that. You got asteroid survival rates compared with Punto is 97%. 6% without. That's insane. 97% of people who are subscribed mm -hmm. to Punto survive asteroids. That's insane. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's nuts that they have that ability. That kind of safety rating. I bet cars aren't as safe as Punto backpacks. Now getting in on the ground floor of Punto is the best idea, obviously. So we're all looking to be pretty okay in that regard. But it's not too late. The stocks are still just climbing for Punto. Projected growth rates are still Staggering. So get in Staggering. now, and, uh, well, life is gonna get a lot more fun, let's just put it that way. That's right. Remember, asteroids are falling down, but Punto is on the rise. Absolutely get in. it is. Get in on Punto. Get in now. Oh yeah, the, um, infinite battery life probably they said to mention. That's pretty cool. The backpack doesn't stop working at any point. It's, um, I can't remember if it's solar power or wind power, or, but it's, it's, um... Revolutionary, obviously. It's That's the backpack. You can get any color you want. It's, it's uh, obviously the space inside it. Um, in unique colors you won't right, find. They with double other as an act. They double as a normal backpack. That's true. And unlike a lot of products, this one made with passion and care, handmade each one, which is pretty impressive. I would say absolutely by the all the uh, the Australian slaves. That's correct. Each one gets the attention that it deserves. It's endorsed by Greta Thunberg and Fringy. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. that is, that's incredible. Both uh, sides man, of the spectrum. So. I would endorse my endorsement. You know, what a... What a, what a, what a cross-section of people. Well, I figured you know, that if they're going to choose two, it would make the most yeah. sense. So, I mean, of all the people who have endorsed it, you know, they can only fit so many on their website, right? Um, but yeah. There's only so many you can list in one go. If you uh, if you looking to buy a package, I would recommend the uh, the hundred pound one. That's where you'll get the most asteroids uh, taken out and protecting this planet is pretty important. But um, yeah, I actually was just I was actually just told uh, that this was just sent to me by a a Punto representative. Uh, let me show you here. I think this is really worth showing off because we got briefly into the styles and this the aesthetics of some of these backpacks. Mm -hmm. uh, and there there are actually they're, they're in the works. Right now, they've got some prototypes up. Um, if you if you subscribe to Punto, and you put in the referral code EFAP E F A up uh, E F A <laughs> E F A P <laughs> EFAP is difficult to spell. It is. Uh, it if is. you type in referral code E F A P for EFAP, you can be one of the first few to sign up and reserve your very own uh, Wolf and Rags plush uh, style cool. backpack. Very, very cool. Very cool. I think they're more very, effective very cool. than the regular ones, too. So I think that's very possible. Very possible. This is a very advanced prototype. Uh, they do run a premium price, but you know what they say about Belch. about paying for a quality product. You only cry once when you buy something that's high quality, right? And this is your life. And this they, is your life. They are Would limited. You so cheap out on that. They are limited. very limited. Limited time run. Limited time offer. So that's Punto. Uh, I don't really see how it's not going to have a shit ton of subscribers in, this, in a sec. Uh, possibly the most, it's set to be the most successful service ever, and I think it's actually changing the world, saving the it world. It is already, I thought. If projected market trends continue in the direction that they uh, are, are supposed to, I, I think it's very, very possible that Punto will be overtaking uh, Amazon and Walmart uh, within within about two years. There is the uh, film is staggering growth. The film staggering adaptation. Growth. Once this comes out, especially with Bruce Willis headlining it, uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna like who won't have heard of Punto at this point. Uh, Michael Bay set to direct, which is pretty damn cool, I think, for Punto. It's gonna bring like a, a style to it that I think helps out with the more corporate end of it, where it comes across as very uh, stiff. I think this will this will give it a bit of life. Lots to look forward to with Punto. I'm excited. And Quib Gift. I wouldn't want to say that that's not worth it. You need those socks. Um, 
And that I takes us to exactly an hour. <laughs> so. Wow, that's incredible. That, been... that was a long Ponto ad read. Well, that, was a, uh, that was a long They paid us a read. lot. I don't we think you're supposed about... to say that. I don't think you're supposed to we say that. We talked about... Yeah, no, 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 they're, they're, but it's, we're, it's... Partnered. we're partnered with... Uh, I, I, sorry, I meant they paid us in gra like happy uh, service, good services. I, I subscribed. I, they paid me in... Uh, backpacks yeah, full of money. In backpacks. And exposure. But... Yeah. But it's really about the importance of, like, you know, saving the planet from asteroids. That's really why you're doing this. Well, I was going to say, yeah. like, I don't see how there's an argument against that, you know? Like, asteroids, they're not good. Right? I mean, really, they're morally indifferent because they're just rocks, but... but they I mean... hurt. Well, okay, um, bullets are morally indifferent because they're just metal. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey. Well, Matt, yeah, Matt was right here, and he's yeah. a German, so he's not well, morally that's indifferent. That's not morally indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we I guess we talked about Trungo, we talked about Punto, we talked about Wombology photography. Mm -hmm. All that's really Wombo left Jumbo now. Jumbo inflatable bouncy castle emporium. Is to talk about the thing that we were supposed to talk about today. How about that? That'd be crazy. Oh um, my goodness we gracious, not? but if we did that? We could not, but we also could can yeah. I watched a uh, recap of the first two uh, suicide, suicide Squad movies and my god I forget how convoluted and stupid the first film is this film's great shut up <laughs> yeah shut up <laughs> my favorite release thing the, release the, the mind cut. flare cut my, mind I really flare. want to watch that <laughs> the mind the, flare cut release the trungo cut I oh, really yeah. want to see like a super dark and broody, edgy version, though. That the one that uh, Iyer was trying to get through. Like, I wonder how different it would be because if it is like he says, where it's just like that first trailer where it's like super edgy and dark and brooding. I think like, it's worse. <laughs> so you know, honestly, watching um, watching Suicide Squad 2016. The one thing that was like, my thought is, you know what would make this better if it was edgier? That's not what's going through my brain. <laughs> what? If, it, if this, uh, this would be better if it took itself more seriously and it <clears throat> thought it was. Yeah, oh, God. I, felt I definitely like that think was that... was missing. I wanted more of uh, Leto's Joker. I know that. <laughs> Did you see that alternate version of Leto's Joker that he posted? I think it was on Twitter or Instagram or something. No. Oh, um, God. I need to find oh, it. Oh, I think I. I could if it might be the th yeah if you can find it um so I remember I didn't David Ayer be of he was like like this this is what we could have had or something or something like, like yeah you know, and it's just like oh god <laughs> oh I, wait, let's I, wait. Found, Where, I found it I found it I found it oh my god oh, <laughs> David Ayer posted this oh god that Jesus <laughs> Christ uh, oh. It and the eyebrows, the I let me try to the find the eyebrows that are made of laughing. Uh, yeah, here we, black here we go. teeth, here's, and then the oh fuck me. Yes, they're zoomed in on the eyebrows. Oh god. Oh. Hey, it doesn't say damaged on his forehead though. No, this that's is, pre, this pre damaged. Is somehow, yeah. somehow, this is more subtle. Why? It's, why tacky Joker? Why did you do like, this? It's like. Joker fell down the hot topic tree and hit every branch. That's what they want. They like this. This like a hot topic movie, where it's like everything in the movie was just designed to sell merch in hot topic. Hey, it was chain. the whole point of the film. And multiple it was, chains. It was his vision. Okay, this is the kind of thing that would be posted, and then hot topic, you know, official Twitter account would retweet it and say cringe or something. <laughs> oh yeah, even Hot Topic tweeted like, cringe. I feel like Jared Leto's Joker is one of the few things in life that sort of goes past cringe. Like cringe is just not even close to the words. That just, just like it's not powerful enough to describe what this is. You think Jared Leto's Joker has a TikTok account? Yes. It's a it, it transcends. It transcends cringe. It's transcringional. Let's put it this way: I hope that Jared Leto's Joker does not subscribe to Punto. Oh God, no! I just. It's amazing that this would be seen as like, see, you guys want this, right? It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody really, wants really this. Hard. No, anyway, release, release the air cut. This this image is the litmus test for people with taste. <laughs> you show them this, you're like, good or bad? They're like, well, I think you're just like, die. 
Yeah, bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. There's no place for you in the new world. But yeah, you have to leave um, behind the old ways. I, mean, I assume there's no chance the AA cut is coming, but who knows? And if it does, I'm sure we'll check it. Uh, uh, like, it's amazing how I that. actually shivered when you said those words. That's, <laughs> in, that's incredible. I'm sorry. Uh, I'd yeah. much rather watch... Um, what was that King Arthur movie? Um, King of the Sword. Sword of the Legend. Legend of the Sword. Legend of the Sword. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. I'd rather watch King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Well, hopefully that's going to be a fun, nonsense movie, you know? Instead probably, of watching... Wait, King Arthur or... I'm an idea. <laughs> no, no, no. He says, I'm an idea. I'm sorry. You I didn't include to, the clap. To, yeah. You got to have the clap. I'm an some idea. Of, some of Suicide Squad was a fun nonsense movie. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, well, it, I, I, liked, I liked the bit where, like, Margot Robbie's butt was in it. Hey, that's not fun I nonsense. Do. That's very serious, great content. I enjoyed true. that part as well. Because, yeah, Fringer, remind Fellow me, when gamer. we watched um, Suicide Squad, you found it much more boring than remembered, right? Like, I, dull? Yes. I, it was, I was bored. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was, it was like, way more boring, less engaging. Yeah. Because, like, it was harder to laugh at than remembered. Um, I feel like Justice uh, well, League was way easier to laugh at. I think it's the problem of, like, if you're, you know, it's the thing of... Su Suicide Squad is like trying to be funny, and but it's not. So it's like it's really painful. Yeah. I, a I bad mean, comedy the, is the worst. Slipknot blo getting blown up. I don't think that was meant to be funny. Um, <laughs> that was hilarious. There's <laughs> no listen. There's nothing funny about the man who could climb anything dying. While he's climbing. <laughs> yeah. Things. What a such poetry, you know. Like of the all man died doing what he loved. He died. Yeah. Exploding. Yeah, oh god, things. is that thrombos? Thrombos. <laughs> no, no, but honestly though, every time it goes off, I do look at the location and I'm like, <gasps> is that Trungos? Are they calling back? That's the kind of service you expect from yeah. Trungos. Um, so what we're gonna start with before looking at the video is just just some interesting comments, I feel like. Um uh, because we'll oh, get, we is this get... comment showcase? Kind of, yeah. Kind Yay! Of, so I love da, da, comment da, 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 da. showcase. Oh yeah, sorry guys, no comment ba, showcase ba, da, in the next Boba Fett because I forgot. Ba, 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 ba. It's still uh, fucking like an hour and ten minute video though. That. Yeah, it's a long video. We have wow, that's to complain good. about. Woohoo! We also have a big old tangent about McDonald's for a while. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we did. <laughs> enjoy that when it comes out. Um. Anyway, mm -hmm. so this is in regards to what is it. What does it mean to criticize a Cinema Sins video? All right. So Jay, do you want to do the honors of reading this? Sure, I'll read this. I've read a lot of comments about criticizing Cinema Sins in my time. Fun fact: uh, who, some sorry, people who, made, who who made who wrote this comment? Who is this? Slytherin Ginger Witch. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I I get all my um I get all my good uh movie takes from Slytherin Ginger Witch. Well, yeah. that's four hundred and seventy thumbs up. Wow. So a that lot of people get all their good um good. Good takes from Slytherin Ginger Witch. Anyway, funny, funny. I want to slither fact. into her DMs. Whoa. Nice. Rags, she's 11. So to warn her about pedos. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact some people believe that CinemaSins is a serious channel and believe in the sins it makes. So that's that's true. Some people believe that. It's all a joke. Some people, right? fun fact: some people believe that Cinema Sins is a serious channel and believes in the sins it makes. Well, no, I think yeah. I think this person is saying like, it's true. as in like those people are dumb because they think that the things that Cinema Sins not not that they're being serious, but they think that they're being true. Like the things that Cinema says, Sins says are true. I think that's the point. Which sometimes they are. Sometimes it's one of the problems with the format. Sometimes they're being serious, and sometimes it's a meme, and you can't well, tell. No, it's it. literally it's that's the whole thing. Yeah. It's, yeah, when it's when it's wrong, it's a joke. That's when it's true, it's actual meaningful criticism. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think the comment is actually saying that um, some idiots believe that Cinema Sins believes in the sins that it makes. And by the way, I think it's fair to say that there are some joke ones, but you can never tell. Yeah, that's yeah, the fun sure. part. Yeah. Well, the most telling ones are when they um. When it's not a CinemaSins video and they reference something that they think is a joke and it's like really obviously a joke. Um, that's the thing that always gets me. I've, I've done a video about this. It's called CinemaSins Response to Criticism by Ignoring It. And that was one of my first It's a Big Hit videos. I remember that. Good times. Yeah. 
fucking you basically you're like Hassan. You just stole other people's content and sat there it's reacting to it. It's a big hit. True. You're just like, oh, Simpsons is bad, Very and then true. all the views trickled in because you stole Very his clout. True. I mean, there was an era when that would just happen on YouTube, um, but I was kind of too late for that. But then I was like looking at other ones, and it's like, oh. My only issue, Daniela Melkor deserved a sin off for her performance as Ratcatcher 2. The soul she brought to the character in the fact it was her first English speaking role, a sin removal was way more deserved. It's like, wait, so it's the understanding of the audience that when the, the movie is doing something good, it should have less sins. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. More specifically, a sin removal, which is just basically a point of praise. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean it should have fewer sins overall. Because, like, what if they add more sins as jokes, you know? More sin, a sin removal is, is almost seen as a separate... I know, I'm very deep in cinema sins culture. <laughs> yes. A sin removal is almost seen as a separate thing from just the same character in general, where it's mm -hmm. just, you know, taking some time out to acknowledge a good thing that the movie did. But it would just, it would just seem the audience understand that uh, sins coming in and sins going off do mean something more than nothing at all. Yeah. Well, I think especially that's the case with sins coming off, because... Taking off a sin as a joke is is something that you don't really ever see. That's not something that they've ever really done. Whereas adding a sin because like a scene doesn't have a fucking lap dance or whatever, that's you know something they do all the time. They that's stopped doing like, that. Uh... They did. They did. I, I know. But you know that kind of thing where it's just like, okay, I'm not sure. What are you? That's not. That's not a criticism. So it must be a joke, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that's how you identify their jokes. It's like not. Oh, that was funny. I'm laughing. It's that's not a criticism. I guess it's a joke then. <laughs> he used to, I haven't I haven't watched him for years. I, I cringely used to watch a lot of his videos, but uh, you know. I mean, well, I think a lot of people at least checked him out for a while because it was like, oh, that's an interesting idea, and maybe it'll make me think about the movie and some things I missed, you know. But yeah, yeah. I mean, the idea wasn't wasn't bad. I mean, it, it made you think of uh, more critically about movies as much as it was for comedy. It did bring up occasionally some pretty good points it's like all oh, right i didn't think about that well but and but it the i think the the whole premise of it was kind of got really messed up when like the the, the sin economy as it were got really messed up when he oh, would just no, do no. these like bonus rounds where it would like multiply and multiply and multiply ah. all the previous sins and so what was like 20 good points became seventy thousand points or something like that didn't we oh um, no 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 we remember we um Mola Fringy, we we did a stream a stream where we examined the whole Cinema Sins used to be good, but then got shit over time argument. Where we watched a very early Cinema Sins video and, Avengers, a, and then right? a recent one. It was Avengers. I remember the highlight from that is the Cinema Sins comment. Um, why are the Avengers attacking the alien army? They've not killed anyone on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I think didn't we conclude he made like five good points or something like that, or am I over exaggerating? I don't, I don't remember. But you know that stream is like that's also on my second channel. I don't know. If I said also, I'm not reference to anything else on my second channel, but it's there you go find that. Yes. Um. And so this one says, I don't care what anyone says. This movie's excellent. Was excellent rather. Which again just implies to me like people are coming here to see how bad the thing was. Not just for the jokes and memes of it doesn't mean anything, which I, I, I'm pretty sure it does mean stuff. That's the thing, that's they, they just enjoy the benefit of not declaring what the content actually is and where the jokes stop and where the criticism starts, so that basically anyone can watch it, look at it, and go, huh. Um, but what? they don't, basically, they're free from all kinds of criticism because if it's wrong, it's, if you think it was wrong, then it's a joke. I posted a quote in chat uh, from I think 2013, and uh, basically they they constantly would say comedy first was their priority, but they also specifically said that they tried to get all the actual critics. This episode is sponsored by as correct as possible. So they did they did consider some of it real critique, but it was just so obfuscated, and I don't know if it was necessarily intentional, but they definitely use the comedy angle as as a uh, shield basically for criticism of their criticism mm. so kind of weird that way mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. like i i'm sure if they could probably do a pretty good uh, serious analysis for the most part but they they throw in so much comedy and superficial shit that it just it becomes so muddled and i i'm almost wondering if they do that i mean obviously they do it intentionally because they wouldn't get as much viewership otherwise but 
uh, yeah, if they didn't have that whole comedy blanket, they would have, I think they'd be a lot more open to be well, criticized. The, uh, the really interesting thing that you can go and see if you want is the, um, when the screen, the screen junkies team took over uh, a cinema sins episode once yes. and it's by far the best fucking cinema sins episode. And it just goes to show, oh, wow. um, the, the versatility of the format and what you could do with it if you had talented writers behind it, because it's just a really entertaining, funny, and insightful, <gasps> like, 20 minutes just roasting the shit out of Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is a shit film, by the way. <laughs> um, and it, it's, just, it's just a great video, um, just making fun of that film. And it just goes to show, like, yeah, you can... It's, a, it's such a fucking versatile format that works so well. And it's a real shame that um cinema sins did it first yeah because like shame he did it first because they've ruined it for everyone else now if anyone else does it there are cinema sins rip off just cinema sins yeah there's like such a subculture of doing cinema sins ripoffs now that i guess it's fair game yeah but I, I think it's fair game because you'll do it better than they will probably that they do probably go with our blessing Pitch meeting yeah. is also better than cinema since as a format. Well, maybe not a format, just as execution. Um, I wish I could watch them. I can't stand their goddamn thumbnails. <laughs> the thumbnails piss me off with the giant, gigantic eyes. Faces. You, just gotta, you just gotta, you know, That's not hilarious. look at the thumbnails. You'll be fine. Yeah, um, th you don't actually have to look at the thumbnail while the video is playing. It's true. I, I feel it like I say, it's a, it's a protest against terrible thumbnails to not watch them. <laughs> You take a principled stance against those thumbnails. Yes, fine, exactly. thumbnails, I think the thumbnails are fine. No, no, no he's he's right, Jay. <laughs> oh. I see. I mean, if if you say so, I, I, they do all have giant. Yeah, I'm not okay. I'm not that much of a fan. Looking at them, it's like eh, they're a bit. Fringy, what's your opinion? We really need you oh, to weigh no. in. I. Which ones? The cinema, the cinema since thumbnails. No, the screen junkies ones. Oh, the, or sorry, the no, pitch, no, meeting. The pitch, pitch meetings. meetings, which is on screen yeah, ran, which giant, is like the worst shit ever. The giant googly eyes. Yeah, I'm not a fan, really. They barely googly eyes. Why. Some of them what are about just you? like. What about you, metal? They're like voids into a uh, Lovecraftian dimension eyes. They're like mm. gigantic, just so incredibly distorted that they just no longer look human. We have to we have to get what metal uh, metal's opinion is so that we can we yeah. sorry so we'll I was, know what I was, I was distracted yeah. the last ten minutes sorry uh what what, what was happening wow. what's your opinion on the Ponto. pitch meeting thumbnails on YouTube I've never seen them legitimately well, look at them fool you, type in I, pitch could you look meeting at them? and then look at all the yeah thumbnails. could could you look at them real quick I, I'm curious what your opinion is on them if you like them or not what the fuck is this. Well, they're, they're good videos. I don't oh, care. I know. The thumbnail's atrocious. Oh, well. <laughs> Jay, I just wanted to let you know that... If I would if see ever, this in the wild, then my recommends... An island, it doesn't have to be big because you're the only one on it. Damn. That's okay. If I would see this in my recommended, I wouldn't I click they're good. I, th I think you just think they're acceptable. Like, they do their like, job. They're fine. The Matrix Resurrections one's really bad. Uh, Matches the movie. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but like what they're trying to achieve yeah. with the whole eye thing, it's just like some of them are fucking almost creepy because you're like, did you mean to do it that way or is it all right? Yeah, that one's really particularly bad. I sent a link in the EFAP chat, uh filmschoolrejects.com. Uh Anna Swanson, whoever that is, gave the Matrix Resurrections movie of the year. That's fair. There's always gotta be someone, right? Yeah, there's always gonna be someone. There's always gotta be someone. That there's film some, is shit, guys. There was some fairly like major uh, movie brand of some type that gave it film of the year as well. I don't remember what it was, but I I now know. Well, some people it, adore it. Yeah. Why? It's weird. If you want to you know how bad it is, go watch my Metal is Fortunate. <laughs> you guys never actually did a video on it. I I like. No. It's so it's so depressingly bad. I don't even know if it, it has the. We almost didn't <clears throat> finish it. Mahler and I were. We were about. Oof, what was it 15 it was 20 minutes in and it was, it was i think yeah. it was about 20 or so minutes in we were ready to bail we were ready to say no nope, i don't i don't blame you i watched it all alone i was like oh. fuck me i wanted to cover it on metals forge the one day and i was like i need to move 
because I, I can't finish my notes in one day. Out of just, Germany. <laughs> I need to move out of Germany. I need to move out of Germany. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have five people in the watch together. What the fuck's that about? Hmm? Yeah, what's going on? This is this production, man. Oh, I, you, you, I can fix that. I, I'll share the link with chat, and then we'll definitely get more. <laughs> um, Maybe we could ask Trungos to join us in the watch together. The reason oh, yeah. we're checking out this video, by the way, is because, and I feel like at least one of the person here has probably watched it, right? Uh, Bob Vids did the, the Cinema Sins breakdown video that's pretty popular, and he did another yeah. one recent-ishly. And I think one of his sections is like, has CinemaSins gotten any better? And this is the video he looked into, and some of the things that I heard, I was like, no way that he actually said that about this movie. So, yeah, it'd be, it'd be fun to check out. Bob Vids, by the way, excellent videos on CinemaSins. I actually haven't seen that video. You know, he, um, you know he's one of the people who did the, um, the objectivity meme, right? Of, um, of going, this is an objective review. This film is a film. It came out in this year. That's it fine. It did this. That's fine. He, that he's well, he fine. can be. A, he he's can just be on my list of examples. If I ever do a uh, of, of the argument, if ever I do a um, how not to understand what an argument is. Mm. Well, yeah. If I ever do an objectivity video, um, just talking about that concept. Yeah, because that, which I'm interested in doing, because I think that there's a lot, yeah, I think so. a lot there of nuance is. to that concept. It was like that argument is shit, guys. Like, yeah, no, you can say a lot more objective facts about a movie than. It came out, and it is a movie in this year. Like, and it stars you can, people. It speaks to your lack of understanding and imagination. Yeah, you can say tons of stuff while being objective. You can talk about influences. You can talk about visual style similarities. You can talk about uh, production design. Uh, you can talk about what editing. makes what is coherent and not. Even like, you could talk you can, about the images um, on the screen. It's like the Corridor Crew, I think, are great examples of this. Because like when they review CGI, most of the stuff they say is just that's an objective fact. Yeah. Um, like uh, when they're reviewing the the they CGI don't, wait, they and don't like just... the end battle in the Black uh, of Black Panther, they talk about the actual like okay, so if this was real footage, it would look like this, and they haven't actually added this effect into the CGI, which would make it look like real footage. And that's why it doesn't look like real footage. It's like, n those were just all facts. So it's you're like, just saying they didn't sit down on a couch and all say that this is CGI? No, they didn't do that. They didn't. That's not what they did. Corona oh Crew my is goodness. pretty good. I, I really enjoy their videos. Yeah, they're I've, seen their, uh, I've seen their stuff pop up every once in a while. Pretty engaging. Right, like, on little action scenes. I, I keep on getting their name mixed up with like the really, really bad, uh, you know, kind of podcast formats like uh I don't corridor looper looper and like the the other like uh, uh watch mojo like the guys that red red. like the the le red letter meter makes fun of the the kind of guys that they're like uh, I collider their names are all... yeah collider that's what i think of i think of like collider and all these other kind of you know very cool you know Hip, just very cool cool. podcasts for the yeah very, just very that, cool. that youtube Ooh. fodder kind of that kind of content yeah. Just the super shallow uh, consumer brain content. It's like the one we covered on um, Book of Boba Fett. Oh, what, what was that called? I don't know what that one was called, uh, but yeah, you're right. The ones who like soy faced at the the seismic charge. Yeah, the no, yeah, the the ones who defended slavery. Yeah. No, oh, those. <laughs> I don't even know which ones those were. Those were like what was it like Game Beavers or something? I, or, game Beavers. Game Beavers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what their name is. It's like it's like Game Crash or Screen Screen Mega Generation Tech hot Top Generation Tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, they're the Generation Hope of Tech videos. How'd you get Game Beavers out of that? That's that's my. <laughs> hmm? I didn't say that. You didn't say that. Ooh. Trongo, 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 Trongo. 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 Yeah, it's it's pretty well, funny. No, no, no. If, no, no, no. Just to be clear. If anything we uh, said today you agreed with, that wasn't a joke. But if yeah, that was real yeah. criticism. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, anything However, you, you don't agree with, it's a joke. Satire, don't worry. Yeah, it's satire, exactly. Right? It we're playing characters. Yeah, we get stuff wrong satirical. sometimes, ambiguously. Yeah, satirical. So, are you guys ready to be satirical? I'd yeah. love to be. I mean, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah. Let's I do it. it. Now that I gave it a little bit of thought, I really am ready. Woohoo! Was, oh, I yeah, this episode well, is ah. Oh god, ah, that's, that's fucking loud. Ah. With, <laughs> with in, this episode is sponsored by oh, it's this wine company that I'm sure sellers. his oh, his yes. demographic of like movie the wine pickers. connoisseurs who well, watch cinema sins. Yeah, I happen to know from the Bob Vids video that this is a service that a lot of people do not like and isn't good uh, apparently. Uh, at least that's the the assessment. Oh, that's fun. Any reason? Do you know um, why? Um, I guess I'm tempted to just find his video and play his segment on it because uh, he's just going to explain it way better than me, and he has like sources. You can't do that. Well, I can, I can say, hey, this is right a really good... Is wait, 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 so when you say play a segment, you mean we would all be silent and then we wouldn't credit him, right? And then I'd walk away and make some nuggies. Yeah. I, no, yeah, no. I could go and do something. Um, <laughs> do something. They didn't even do it. They didn't even do a teaser. They just went right into the ad. That's, that's, that's wild. I yeah, he's no Lindy Beige. Furiously <laughs> masturbate for a few hours. <laughs> Only are you sad enough to do? Well, you are crying all the time, so I suppose exactly. So I'm all right. Yeah, primed. I feel like we'll just comment on his fightings because that's the best way to probably do this. But instead of me trying to awkwardly remember what exactly he said, um, but yeah, first of all, check out Bob Viz's video on Cinema Sins because my goodness, it's a it's a riot. Yeah, that's a good one. He um he made a follow up recently where I think he's ma he's he's talking about the problems that still exist, how they don't deal with criticism, and then how um, nothing has changed as a section, and and so he takes on this video specifically, and so we'll just look at his section on the on the ad read, which begins at seven. We'll have a look at the actual one when we get there, but this Damn. was this was Mr. Bob's take. Let's grab a what recent you... example of an everything. If anyone in chat, video. by the way, everything... I think some people are confused. No, it's not Movie Bob. No, no. Bob Vids is a different person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, apparently Bob is some kind of common name. Uh, <laughs> what? Know. It's like a lot of people end up with it. Wrong with Suicide Squad in 17 minutes or less. Yeah, they're still it doing the Sounds kind of like Tonald. Oh, this, yeah, there's a bit of a thing there. It does kind of sound like Tonald. And it's her last Oops. thing after cheekily experimenting with variations of it. Everything wrong with Catwoman in meow minutes or less. No idea why they stopped making- Yeah, apparently that was like an attempt to work in with uh, SEO or, or like clickbait? Every literally everything that SEO? CinemaSins ever does is an attempt to optimize SEO. Yeah. There was no other aspect to their content. What is SEO? Search it's engine like optimization. Search. Mm. It's the thing that I... helps you get- just algorithm yeah, optimized and searches. And more I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I think that that wouldn't really affect SEO. I don't think people are searching for meow and Catwoman. I think they're more. Well, the, the old reason that, that, um, more that like minute, the idle like, engagement really well recommended and everything else. It'll. I, I'm trying to encompass it all into the same thing rather than uh, specific. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it would, it would affect search uh, search accessibility so much as it would. Uh, human title engagement, really, but I don't. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a blanket term to cover all that. So, right? Like people who capitalize words seemingly at random in the titles and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, there's actually yeah. a proper way of doing that if you follow. <laughs> that is. Like, yeah, yeah, and I. Um, I if anyone I, is ever confused about it, if you go to just convert case a website, it's, it'll do it automatically for you. Um, I, I do a title capitalization. They have like the AP standard. They've got a bunch of other standards, but. I personally prefer the AP standard. It's it's pretty. You don't love it good. randomly. You, that in no um, in that video, in that video title, by the way, that we're seeing there, um, the in and the or probably shouldn't be capitalized. Yeah, I right. yeah, I said that earlier. That's that's right. I'm glad you picked up on that too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's, I'm yeah, always happy to repeat a point you've made, Rags. <laughs> that's right. It's it's a good yeah. I I enjoy hearing other people independently come to the same correct conclusions I have. True. This comedy good, gold. So, you know how CinemaSins had a running gag complaining about X seconds of logos at the start of movies? This Suicide Squad video starts with 55 seconds of an ad for a wine loot crate. <laughs> a wine loot crate? <laughs> okay. Be, okay. Well, yeah, at first you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds yeah, interesting. Okay. That, that is, that is, sort, of, that is that. sort of hypocritical, though, isn't it? Um, I would love to hear what their response is, because I imagine they'd be like, Having fucking title intros is fine. We're just pointing. No, out of course like a it's thing. not. No, no, no. Jay? They wouldn't respond. They don't respond to criticism. I said they, if. They, 
No, no, in, in plus no, but they don't. Day. If their their response to criticism, like if you genuinely got them in a conversation saying what their actual rationale is, would it would be this makes more money? No, it they would be that was just they don't satire. have a perception of no, like they don't they genuinely don't have a perception of making their content like better. They have a concept <laughs> concept of making their content more pro profitable. So if you're actually if you're like the only that's the only level they're going to engage on, and they're like, well, this makes it more profitable. So it's yeah, that's you know why we did it. Like one, one is just a purely, which is fine, I guess. If it's like not hurting anyone, it's fine. I just don't dress it up as anything else. Well, well, I mean, yeah. they have to dress it up as any as other stuff, right? Yeah, and their shitty wouldn't... work does like affect, like if they if they're out like like mis selling a movie's uh, storyline. I think that's there's harm there to some degree. Which you know is the like something they do in that, most sure. of their videos. Yeah, and if if the complaint is just a, a lot of. Uh, time spent before you get into the meat of a piece of entertainment they're both you know on equal terms but <laughs> one having an ad uh, a full ad before your movie or your video in this case starts is a lot more just capitalist well, that's, and, and, the, and well, cynical no, those are the people who than, made it than, this is like this the, the people who made it the more obvious thing to point out, though, is that the ratio of seconds to content yeah. is much yeah. worse for it's a much 55 worse. second ad in a video and than 55 seconds of logos yeah, and at least for a film. With the movie, the it's logos, the people who made it, you know, being yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. we exactly. are the ones yeah. who spend all this fucking money to make this shitty movie. That's what I was going to yeah. say, because, like, uh, from a movie standpoint, sometimes you need, like, five production companies to get involved from special effects to yeah. shooting locations to more getting than different happy studios to involved to, to rights well, and stuff like, like that like i think there's like three or well, four companies that all collectively I, own the rights to blade runner for example so they have to show every well, single one of those logos accreditation. like i just so, don't I, yeah. I'm even totally then like um logo or you know the logo of whatever production company was involved it's it's on, really fine yeah on so top like, of we, that like um he sends the fucking like infinity war opening marvel logo which is like very clearly tone setting it has the um you know oh, yeah, Thanos audio cool under it that's yep. a great one that's like um and you couldn't really do that with anything other than logos right it's it's just well something yeah, has to be on screen while we're tone setting with the audio before we cut in and it's really effective and he still what? fucking makes the 45 seconds of logos when it's like just part of the film and I'll, I'll say that logo reveals have gotten way better over the years like it used to be like they just cut to the clip, the music and everything of the Paramount or the, you know, uh, TriStar or the uh, Universal logo or Orig Origin or whatever it was. Uh, all, all of the just like as is. But over time, uh, editors and uh, the VFX guys got a lot better at merging it and blending it and integrating it into the movie like much the better. Matrix. Like, yeah, I think the Matrix is probably the first one to do it really, really visually well where it it fades into like the green and the code and stuff like that. Um, but I remember distinctly, like I think uh, Mad Max Fury Road, the logo kind of uh, gets all rusted and aged and kind of kind of melts away, kind of like a, a kind of wasteland like, you know, yeah. a lot of movies at the, the, the soundtrack of the movie begins and plays throughout the logo reveals to kind of build up the soundtrack and the score and the, the tone of the film. So they're way, way better embedded into the movie than they ever used to be. Yeah. And in, in Infinity like, War... Um, go ahead. Hmm? Well, the Incredibles ones um, that he sends as well, those are fucking awesome. Um, like, the, the, I mean, I'm about to praise Incredibles too, but the logo, <laughs> at the logos at the start of the film are very tonally consistent with the uh, aesthetic of the movie. Uh, they've basically, they've, you know, they've just done a redesign of this Disney logo to fit the um, Incredibles aesthetic, and it instantly gets you essentially feeling that that incredibles vibe um it, it, it's the same style as the end credits of the original film which is one of my favorite films of all time and instantly in the cinema watching that i was like holy shit here we go and then well the rest of the film which i didn't <laughs> hate on my first viewing um me and mel did oh. yeah first viewing i enjoyed it Whereas Infinity War has 45 seconds of logos, EFAP has eight hours of logos. 
I guess the the core argument here. <laughs> that, I, I mean, I got um, it. It's just, yeah. right, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I think what I found interesting was that I know that you were about to say that like two minutes ago before the conversation continued, and you were just sitting there waiting. To, <laughs> you know, <a> joke. <laughs> so it's not only amazing, but just the sheer restraint, just the inc it, it really is incredible. While still being able to pay attention to the conversation as it goes on. Just, just, knowing, like, just fighting my time, just waiting. Conversation. Just, just what Yet did. It's it's directly thing. revolved to a thing that Jay had said. No, it was the exact same thing that you were saying. Like you were about to say the same thing as you were going to a couple of minutes earlier. And then I waited to until Jay finished, yeah, but, and I listened to but, him, and yeah, yeah. But the conversation didn't factor into it, right? Well, I was listening to the conversation. Yeah, what everyone no, had but, to say. but that yeah. that would be that's that's just yeah that's but that's just being courteous and everything. Yeah, I'm, which I'm I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discount the courteousness of waiting and letting everybody say their piece. I, it's just an observation, that's all. But I, that I waited. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess the core criticism here, though, is that uh, with all of like years, honestly, almost a decade or more of this uh, complaining about logos and length of logos between starting the film and actually, I don't think I've ever cared about it. Film, uh he obviously doesn't really give a shit about it because he's willing to do it if it makes him a buck so yeah doesn't really doesn't really care about it that's i guess that's the point it shows a... remember the the joker one where they used the the old warner brothers logo yeah i do that i really neat. like that the old there are a lot of ways one. that you can be creative with uh opening logos but like i don't know they just, well i mean but you just dismiss no one's mentioned um no one's mentioned spider verse yet I, I, I gen Spider Verse one actually. You know what? Uh, well, the Spider Verse logos are fucking awesome. Um, they are incredible tone setters and they're works of art in their own right. Um, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go and look at the Spider Verse CinemaSense videos to see what he says about it. You know what, Jay? They're all works of art. So fuck you. Hold on. I, I yeah, actually was curious because uh, I wonder what he said about the Wally one, where Wally fixes the uh, the light bulb of the little Pixar. Sure, he uh, hates Luxo it. Thing. I well. I'm gonna give him a little bit of benefit of the doubt. I wonder if he actually praises it. Let's oh, see. Oh, he literally just says 58 seconds of logos for the Spider Verse. Oh, oh God. So he doesn't. He doesn't talk he makes, about makes the opening a... for Wally. He he skips the logo. He doesn't even. He doesn't complain about it. Wow. So I mean, all right, I guess. Is, is anyone in this call like remember the the the, the Spider Verse logos? Jay, because this is such no. a good fucking production. I've got it on the screen right now. Oh yeah! yeah. That's really good. <laughs> oh, that's great. It looks fucking amazing. Yeah, that's such a creative, mm -hmm. creative movie. Well, everyone likes Into the Spider Verse, right? It's good schlemes. Yes. Even cinema sense, that? maybe. Have you oh. ever uh, guys covered it in like a critical sense? No, we haven't covered this. I think we've done an episode on it, but no. uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. An interesting no? thing to come no, out there. we have not. I'm sorry, Freddy. Wait, no. did we? No, oh, I, I'm forgetting. No, I? we've done like five on fucking Homecoming. <laughs> Maybe uh, we should do it to the Spider Verse someday. <laughs> that might be worthwhile. Yeah. Things like no one disagrees that Spider Verse is amazing. It's like what's Pretty much. the. Sure, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, maybe it's because the worst film ever. Like, um, e fat breakdown, Some... right? Is that I guess the, the thing? Is that, um, part of the conversation would probably be about the animation, which is probably more technical, and there might be other people who are better, even better suited to. No, no. Well, I mean, actually, we, no, we, we, we all we all know how the, like the we all know that the conversation now about the animation now is very. Um, it's just hey, they animated him on twos when he's um uncomfortable and nervous, but when he finally gets into the swing, they right, stop doing like that. It's unfortunately become one of those things where it's like, you know, it's kind of like the same effect that that every frame of painting video had on Edgar Wright films, where like everybody just says the things that he said. Yeah. Yeah. It's that one thing that everyone knows about that film now. He's animated on twos, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's, there's so much more that animation does. Um, no. Like using... Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Okay. You can tell me. You can pretend uh, like I don't know. I'll I'll tell Jay, you. Jay, what do you mean? Works. What what other aspect of the animation do you think people might not know? I uh, like the way they do depth of field with the um, print effect, rather than by blurring stuff out. They um, defocus so, it in a way that would happen with misaligned printing. 
uh, and oh, a comic that's book very page. Interesting. Like a comic, nice yeah, lot. that's really nifty. Thanks for letting um, me know that, Jay. In the in the Cinema Sins video on Wally, he says it's lucky that Wally finds proof that plants can grow on Earth just minutes before Eve shows up. A robot built to detect and report such things. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, they send those out regularly. I was going to say, I saw, <laughs> there's several things to that, but that's one of them. Yeah. So isn't it implied that uh, Wally's never seen one before? A Wally girl or a plant? A... Yeah. Both. <laughs> Wally and Incel. Well, yeah, both, yeah. <laughs> <Wally> <laughs> he works picking up garbage like all incels. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the point? Oh, just, just bad. I just got arguments. lost. Like I just, okay. I don't know. I just <laughs> I got bad. lost talking about incels. I'm just guessing that if I watch uh, the whole the whole video, it's going to be frustrating, and it would just be like, "Was that satire?" That's or cinema did you need sins. That? Watching <laughs> it will frustrate you. And Are we're you about to do good? that for like the rest of the day. It's, it's our really job, Fringy. This is the 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 life we've locked ourselves into sacrifice. doing. The this is our choice. We, make, yeah. we could have done anything with our lives, and here we are. Yeah. Watching Cinema Sins. Jay, you sound like you had something to say there. I forgot what it was. Oh, all right. No, uh, no. Are we, oh, right. we going to continue with the. Uh, well, I was going to say, it's a perfect segue, now. right? We're just talking about how bad Cinema Sins is. Now let's see how bad Cinema Sins is. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like poetry, it rhymes. ...of logos at the start of movies. This Suicide Squad video starts with 55 seconds of an ad for a wine loot crate. That's nearly nice. a full minute chilling for a wine subscription service that, by all accounts, seems to suck ass. Reviews... <laughs> yeah, two and a half stars out of five is like, ooh. That's bad. Damn. You have to fuck up bad. Also, Big Business Bureau 1.4, trust me. Oh, two, three, shit. Four. How Ugh. do you fuck up putting wine in a box? Well, let's find out. <laughs> it's a real shame, because like, I watched a CinemaSins video a, a, a little while back, and I saw this ad, and I was like, oh, that seems like a lot of fun. I could go for some wine. Uh, it's like, apparently they, uh, apparently the service, what it does... You are you a tell winer, which, Jay. You tell them which of the nice. wines they sent you are your favorites, and, and they will send you more that they think they, you might like based on that. And you keep doing that until you find yourself your perfect wine. Uh, I was like, Jay, well, what is your preferred kind of wine? What what kind um, of wines do you like? Like a good, really whingy, nasally wine. I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> I do. Um, I'm I'm going for the double <laughs> meaning of wine, where it can mean mm. like complaining in an annoying way. That's the that's the gag. Oh, you think I Rags like would have like hit that Thanks, immediately? Rags. I thought you would have. No, I was so invested in 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 Jay's alcohol <laughs> preference that I didn't even. I was just so far, I was so problem. ready <laughs> to see if Jay was like because maybe Jay's like me. I not. I don't really like the reds. I like. Oh, no, the, I prefer the, the reds. And, oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, um, thing is, I just don't. I just don't know about wine. That's the thing, right? So I thought, hey, you know, but I I, I like it a lot. So I thought, hey, this is you know the, maybe the kind of service that would. Uh, Help me learn about what actual kinds of wines I prefer, rather than just being like, yeah, you know, I go for some wine. Yeah, you get all of the varieties um, and see what you like. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but I guess you know that it did not end up being that service. Although the thing that put me off first was just the price. I was like, mm, maybe not. How much That's was it? Do you remember? I don't remember. It was more than I was willing to pay every month for wine. That tells me very little, but. Hmm. <laughs> um. Well, I guess also there's the point if I don't. Can, I don't um, plan on drinking four bottles of wine a month. Loser. Um, because I guess if it's just you, I assume you're alone. Yes, I yes. All right. I mean, um, it's just me in my apartment. Um, and no, I, it's fine. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not going to invite people <laughs> over to just drink wine regularly, I guess. My God, you're an incel like Wally. Like <laughs> Wally? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I personally I like the the I don't like really I don't like reds. I like Chardonnays and Moscatos. I like the fruity stuff. Um, that that's the that's just the kind of wine that I like. So bad wine is no good, as they say. I don't like wine at all. Go oh, are you gonna have me go. complain about it? No, I just don't wine. like it. I like wine that tastes as little like wine as possible. <laughs> This review says bad wine, not a good start. Not, <laughs> not a good start. Good start. Yes. <laughs> not a good That's start. honestly, oh, no. I failed there. The one thing you need to get right, you idiots. Would have been better if it said <laughs> wine. It bad. needs to be good wine, damn it, not <laughs> <My> bad <laughs> wine. I told you, just ask me, god damn it. Mediocre wine from a small set of winemakers that you can't okay, we're find. Already, we're already improving. It's gone from on. bad to mediocre. That's a step up. That is technically, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I rated by one the end wine. Of this movie, it'll be great. 
she I rated one wine undrinkable, well, and no, they sent it, wait, another wait, wait. bottle from same wine. It's gone really far down now. Bad to mediocre to undrinkable. undrinkable. No, that, that's, just, that's just one bottle, though, right? So you know, maybe the, the average is out that. to bad or mediocre, and then mm. they just had this one undrinkable bottle that I guess they got sent again. This is well, this has been a roller coaster of a review in yeah. only two sentences and a blur in, in the title. Oh, we're reviewing I guess, the review but... now. Oh my god. Can we, um, can we, like, in terms of like, the EFAP mini, EFAP movies, uh, EFAP gaming, can the, the new kind of EFAP, maybe like with a, like, and maybe a, a nice yellow cover, can that be EFAP wine reviews? Are we <laughs> just reviewing reviews? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. EFAP wine review reviews. No, we could review yeah, things okay. we have absolutely no knowledge in whatsoever. Oh, that would actually be really fun. I would enjoy doing that. Uh, we just like have people stream, send just... in reviews from all over the world. Yeah, of, of like different funny mechanical things. equipment. Like, and the, the rule is that we have to give tools. our take. We have to give our genuine take on whether or not we think that this sounds reasonable or not. <laughs> yeah, um, you, could have a, you could have a drinker on. He'd be perfect. Yeah, like why, electrician why and plumbers genuine, equipment. Jay? Why would we joke on something so important? Well, it's like mechanical parts, wine. Yeah. That would be really... Can we oh, do that? That's Please. why the audience are here. They're, they're here to listen to our opinion on we'll mechanical parts. We'll put that parts. in our back pocket for later. Please, can we make I that an, an EFAF episode? I, I wish, like we, got, I I wish we got more specifics from this review, because, like, was it just so bad he didn't want to drink anymore? He or she didn't want to drink anymore? Mm -hmm. Or... Was it like literally just like a block inside? Of the yeah, I want to know what undrinkable like, means. <laughs> was it, was maybe it was a maybe block of wine. Was maybe when solid... they say bad wine, they mean that it was like vinegary, like it had gone bad. Hmm. It maybe. wasn't stored properly. No, I'm, I'm like, with the way he says undrinkable, it's like I'm imagining it's no, it's not even a liquid, it's a solid. So like he just literally like, couldn't. Oh, like, like it's not possible to drink physically because it is a solid. <laughs> 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 I tried. Or, I could or not gas. drink it. Blend it. You could I had to eat this wine with a knife try real hard. or a hammer and chisel. <laughs> uh, I think it would actually be harder to drink a wine if it was a gas. Um, you, you could suck it in. I mean, yeah, it yeah that's true. You could breathe it you in. Be yeah, but that, that's not it would be, You don't drink the fucking air. You could. Well, air is a fluid. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, the theoretically, you could find the uh, liquid temperature lower to that temperature, and it would eventually turn to liquid. What if that right? temperature? There is like minus five thousand, which you know is literally impossible. But well, that depends on what scale. I guess that's true. What? If... Well, how? What is? What is that? What is zero Kelvin in Celsius? Let me. Uh, minus is... one hundred and seventy-three. I want to say. Isn't it minus two hundred and seventy-three? It is minus. Ooh, good. Good on you. It is minus two hundred seventy-three point fifteen. Very good. Oh, so he was uh, well, completely so inaccurate. Not a... So minus, so it was wrong, but very close, yeah, friendly, uh, very good. Um, very close minus, to the right answer is the wrong answer, though. <laughs> minus five thousand Celsius is not even possible. No, yeah, it's no, below absolute, absolute zero. Absolute zero is the coldest temperature possible in the universe, right? Is so. it even possible? Is zero Kelvin even possible? Uh, I think that is the absolute lowest that is possible. Well, no, that's uh, the lowest that's conceptually possible. It's not. Clear, I don't, I don't exactly think if it's possible, actually possible right? to lower something to that temperature. Because there has sure. to be some atomic action in a thing uh, by virtue of it being a thing, right? So, well, does it? Yeah. Um, do like, this has been a roller coaster zero of an EFAP. Absolutely. <laughs> two sentence uh, wine review. Temperature. <laughs> no, of course, it was a, it was a wine review <laughs> just that got us here. Of course. <laughs> Good old Trungos. Yeah. yeah. How long are we going to be here for? Like 12 hours or. Yes, <laughs> at this rate, well, yeah, a we short will be one, here yeah. for hours. Oh my god. Yeah. But I, love I was almost that. about to say that we're almost eight minutes into the video, but I'm like, oh yeah, no, this is the other video that isn't the video, video that we're yeah. actually covering. We're, we're two videos deep and we haven't even started. <laughs> we're like, ooh, we're like a fourth of the way through. This is a third of the way through. This is great. Right, well, let's, let's, let's see about this, this uh, wine. Well, the, no, the Rack last... hasn't finished reading it yet. Jeez, hold your horses. Well, um, I rated one wine undrinkable, and they sent another bottle from same winery. You can do better buying $20 bottles locally. Oh, boy. Well, what I love about that last line is it's missing, like, a word or an S or something. So I, I imagine bottles. it's, like, Russian. So it's like, you can do better buying $20 you can do bottle locally. $20 <laughs> bottle yeah. locally. He's Maybe better Russian local. person made this uh, review. Bed wine. Bed wine. Not... <laughs> Mediocre. This was drinkable. Wine bed. <laughs>
and tastes like nothing to I can't unsubscribe from their incessant emails. Oh, that's oh, no. always a fun that's one. Spammy always... company, mm. spammy advertising. <clears throat> Especially when you're already right. paying them. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. If you have, if I pay you, I don't want to get fucking ads. I hate it when uh, you get ads from fucking anywhere and you're just like, who sold my email, you piece of shit? You bastards. Huh? Yeah, Which one of you did it? <laughs> Entered my email on a questionnaire while bored. And of course got spammed. I figured that will happen when you give out your email. No biggie, just unsubscribe. But just like illegal scammers, hitting unsubscribe just seems to confirm your address is legit and nothing else. They will not stop filling my inbox with spam. From the reviews, and frankly the business model in general, I can tell this is also how they react to cancellations from their services. Stay far away. Oh, that's a good, that's good. It's enticing at that point, right? You, you just want to mm -hmm. jump in. Well, I want to sign up and unsubscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Too numerous, they won't let me cancel my membership and keep charging my credit card. Oh, that's oh, great. Fun fact. Oh, that's. Ooh. Oh, that's. Oh, goddamn, dude. dude. Let's avoid. You know, I, avoid I, I, I feel so I now. feel so vindicated in my comments earlier. If no, CinemaSins don't care about quality. It's literally <laughs> just can they make more money? That's their only. That's the only question they have when making content. Can Who's I someone... make more money? Like, oh, I have to cool. use a service to be able to recommend it. It just seems like a thing that I would have to do. The baseline is I have to be able to personally vouch for something yeah. that I'm Brown advertising. Table did. Brown Table did. Brown Table did the best. He had an equivalent, right? What was it? Was it a cocktail He service? made the cocktail. He made the, yeah, the, the alcohol. They, they, just sent, they just sent, they sent you recipes and ingredients, right? Yeah, yeah. Then you make them yourself. Like, yeah, which well, sounds like, like said, a fun similar. thing to do. Yeah, that sounds really fun. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. And he used I, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as I'm not drinking it with Brown Table, because he's a whiny little bitch. Wow, he's a whiny. I like Brown Table. He's all right. I don't know but how these are. Have, ooh, have these no this, this is I think Brown Table is a Chad. I wouldn't go that fucking far. Wow. I think that you need to. That <laughs> word means nothing from you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you you think Cruella is a Chad? No. You think Brown Table and Cruella <laughs> are similar? <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't know how you can have these modern problems like uh, subscription issues like this because like uh, I, I developed this a... box of wine delivered to my door is unacceptable. I used to develop um uh, e-commerce websites for like uh, six, eight years, something like that, and um, you can do all of this completely automatedly. Like you can have people sign up, sign you know, disable their credit card, delete their credit card, all that stuff. Online. I assume that was all automated. Yeah, you could, you could do this ten years ago easily, twelve years ago, uh, fifteen years ago. So I don't know why they still have these manual lock on things. Like I know for a while, you can back me up if you've ever had to do this. For a while, uh, Xbox used to do this, where you had to put in your credit card to be able to have Xbox uh, Live Gold, and but to disable Xbox Live Gold, you had to call in. You couldn't remove your subscription. You could only subscribe digitally, but you couldn't remove your subscription digitally. They changed that, luckily, but have you ever had to do that? I don't think I have. Yeah, this was a while ago. Um, it's probably like 2010 or so. But uh, yeah, I remember that was a real sneaky move because people, I, I, I think I was on the phone uh, waiting for like 40 minutes one time just, yeah. just, to, just to unsubscribe. Like they make it easy to sign up, difficult to uh shut down your account basically because they know that that that's going to break some people and people are just going to stay subscribed because it's so much of a hassle it's pretty hmm. pretty nasty hmm. technique in fact if a subscription service forces you to enter your credit card info for a free trial that means part of their business model relies mm. on you accidentally forgetting you've subscribed and hoping yep. you won't ask yep. for a refund yeah yeah 100 mm -hmm. Though these bright sellers folks seem to have taken that scam to the next level by straight up charging you incessantly without even delivering what you had originally ordered. This person oh, got nice. charged $345.26 for what was supposed to be $40 of wine. CinemaSins really knows how to pick them. With such a penchant for promoting scams, next thing you know, they'll be getting into NFTs. Oh, hi. Uh... 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 <laughs> what are we doing no. here? <laughs> uh... <laughs>
Oh. Hmm. God uh, damn it. In fairness, CinemaSins eventually decided against getting an FMC of doing research they arguably should have done in the first place. Okay. Wait, wait, they, All right. Wait, they they had a standard? Apparently, which <laughs> didn't make any sense to me, but okay, like the, that they would do that. But they did that. Uh, but there you go. That's that's the coverage for the wine shit. Um, uh, well, let's let's dive in then. Yeah, we're going we're going back, we're going back, Check back, back, back. back. This. To be original. This episode is sponsored by Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine. Oh yeah, of course. If you want to see the rest of that video, it's it's by Bob Vids. One word. Um. Oh oh, I'm really excited to see this wine ad now that we know. Yes, yeah. Oh the dark mm. underbelly of yeah. Let's see how incredible he. Sell it to be. Box that helps people discover wines that they know love. This is the right time of year cellar. to have some extra wine on hand. Nice. Hosting oh, people for the holidays, footage. visiting oh, friends yeah. and family, and of course, gift giving. That's, that's how you know it's bullshit. bullshit. You know, it's just uh, you I just know, know it's bullshit. What? Because it's stock footage. Giving, like... What? Well, if you get an ad and it's all stock footage, and, and there's no like, there's no personal like the person. Isn't well, doing I mean, he anything doesn't, with he doesn't it. ever appear on camera, um, so like it, it well, does make sense just, to me that like that would well, even photos of the one that he got because you don't you even if you weren't there personally like here's a picture of the ones that I used and this was my favorite and that sort of thing because you don't have to personally appear in it if you don't want to be in it. I mean, I, I know I, I've seen one of these before and I know that he does say that he has like his favorite wines that they sent him. Hmm. Oh, let's see. You know, oh, like when see. people Has say that, tried oh, who their favorite Ray Shadow Legends champion is. Uh, well, yeah. he probably gets the service for free, right? I probably, yeah. They're like, yeah, I mean, if, yeah, for him, I would, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they're like, yeah, we'll just give you a free subscription because we'll make way more subscriptions through you to where it's worth it. It's like I, I, the questionnaire, just... the, the questionnaire this, that this wine thing does it seems like it would be really cool to choose like a, a nice bottle of wine, but. God, I'm disappointed that they suck. Reese's and Snickers should be capitalized, right? Uh, uh, I guess yeah. it's one of those things that doesn't do capital letters because it's yeah, cool. Look all, all oh, or look, I'm I'm fucking E.E. This... E. Cummings over up in this bitch. Is this a, a website been designed by Julia Cudney? Because <laughs> she eats lots of chocolate? No, about this, the capitalization. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Went right to somewhere else there. <laughs> is and the algorithm will match you with wines that you will love and you will be proud to serve or bring to your next festivity. Once you've tried your wines, you should bring go into your, your account and rate festivity. them. This helps the algorithm Sorry. know what you did and didn't like about your recent order so that your next box of wines can be even better. I recently mm. tried Obscura Petite Syrah, a full body, ah, richly flavored wine there with hints of blackberry jam and ripe plum. I loved it. Bright Cellars Delight Guarantee means if you don't love a bottle that you receive, they will send you a replacement in your next box. I really uh, love it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so the guarantee is that if you don't like a wine, then next time they'll give you one that you like. Hopefully. That doesn't seem exploitable. Next month, hopefully, they'll give you one as long as you maintain your subscription, or... Wait, I was do, they... say, like, do, you, do you keep paying at that point, or do they... Do I have to, do I have to, yeah, if it's a guarantee, usually it means you don't have to pay, right? Like, you know, 30-day money-back guarantee or something. So, a lot of people in chat pointing out, what are the wines is called a nihilist wine? Nihilist wine. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I Packaging. I'm so sent I'm so cynical that I don't think they even tried the wine. I think they just took the took the ad deal. Well, I mean, on, well, okay. So I think the company would probably offer him free wine for this deal. At which he point, may as well. I imagine that he said yes. Like, and then you may I, as well, if, right? You just drink a bit of it at least. And yeah. Be like, right? Yeah, this is fine. I guess. I, I, if, if it was like, if it was like, hey, play, pay, you have to pay for our service, um, and then to try it. So I, I, I don't feel he would have done it then. But, but when but it's what like, if, hey, here's some free wine. Hmm? What if he saw the ideal, saw the numbers, and then he saw the reviews and like, oh, I'm not gonna try that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he saw the reviews, or if he did. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think that would have put him off. That's true. That's what I was. That's what, that's kind of what I was leaning into. Is like maybe he did see the reviews, but that's sweet. So I mean, look, look at all the people who take the raid Shadow Legends. You know, it's like, yeah. Do they really yeah. think they're promoting a quality product that definitely isn't a a, a Skinner box gambling machine in disguise? Decide that's designed to siphon all your money out of you. It's like endorphins, not endorphins, uh, dopamine. 
dopamine money farm. Which we all love. Love yeah. that. I've gotten so many Ray Shadow offers. I'm like, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. I, I had to tell them to stop emailing multiple times. They even, like, I've never told them to stop emailing me because I'm curious how much money they offer because it changes. It doesn't seem to be any, based on any kind of system. And I, and I told the story not too long ago about they offered 700 and then I told them to give me like 23 million Vietnamese dongs. And so then they said that they negotiated up to a thousand dollars instantly. Yeah. So it's it's interesting to just sort of see what they're they would be willing to pay. But then you do yeah. that during an EFAB. I'm it was during sure that's did. right. Yeah. It was. I think it was during a catch up. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, oh fuck! Are we going to say? Are you are you having it. a fringy moment? I'm having a fringy. <laughs> it's moment. It's gone. Um. Shit. And you. it's gone. And it's gone. He's out of there. <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact um is that when um if you are, you know, emailed out of the blue and it's got a little thing at the bottom saying, you know, do not share the contents of this email, that's an that's in no way binding. You can just do it if you want. Mm. Yeah, no NDA, no binding. Uh unless you sign something, you don't have to no, if if someone's emailed you, you can say well, that just that's sign happened. On a napkin and hand it to them, that doesn't mean anything either. No, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's that's well, unless there's a contract printed on the napkin. I wonder yeah. if, if there has to be a can that, can that can a contract be put onto anything? I, I imagine so. so. Why imagine is it written so, on a leaf? Yeah. Well, because I think Simpsons there's, there's a point in um, Better Call Saul. He writes a contract on a on a toilet <laughs> paper because he's rushing or something like that. <laughs> um, that's funny. Yeah, I, I that like the idea that that's tr something you can do. That's funny is recyclable and plastic free. CinemaSense fans get 60% off their first four bottle box. Whoa. That's just $38 for four bottles. Go to brightsellers.com. Which is yeah, that's fine based head. off what the wine is. <laughs> $38 for four bottles isn't, like that's fine. It's fine. I pretty yeah, much I guess. Not, wine isn't actually expensive at all. I'm just, yeah. I'm really not sold on the enthusiasm. Wow, 38 Whoa. Bottles. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. Wine. Woo. Woo. -hoo. That's 60% off. As well. I just imagine he's like the only person in the world who really likes that product for realsies. It's like, why does everybody <laughs> hate this? This is great. <laughs> this is the only reason I can get through life. Is it here? Oh, no. Aww. Okay, keep it light. Are you here for a Simpsons <laughs> video? Then you'll need this. Wine you're gonna crate. Get the <laughs> wine. <laughs> the bad taste wine. Cinema Sins to get started. The link is in the video description. Okay. Hey. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Ooh, I haven't seen this I like new that one. fancy logo. Every, everything spoiler is wrong, though, with. I was going to say, I've plot. never liked this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I've never understood why they did in this. Everything's Everything spoiler is wrong, duh, with. DC Comics. This doesn't look so bad. But what does that it's, mean? It, it, no, that? it doesn't what, work what? anymore because now well, they're just DC. You joke. Yeah, it doesn't used to work be anymore. DC it Comics be DC because Comics, it stands for DC. Yeah, it was Detective Comics Comics, which you know. Yeah, for anybody dumb. who doesn't know the meme, Not, it doesn't stand Comics for Dick Comics. Cock. Nice. But now it's just DC. So how can he do the joke anymore? Unless unfortunately, it, just he's trying to go for just. It's a sin to be a part of the DCEU. I, but why did he say yeah. DC Comics? No, he though? said DC why Comics. I think DC? he's just still I doing the meme. The meme. I, I think th the joke th is that they're not doing right, it anymore, yeah. but he's still making the joke. Yeah. I think, even though oh. the, the joke ceases to function now because they're just DC. I guess <laughs> it's like a, it's a guess. It's another <laughs> layer to the joke. Oh, what? Wow. That it's not even true anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I, dude, he would probably claim That's that. He'd be like, it's funny player. because it's not applicable. And you'd be like, okay. Oh, I, do, okay. I guess I just don't understand. Okay, right. You don't understand <laughs> his complex tire. humor. <laughs> Whenever it's, it's a failure, it's a joke. It's satire, yeah. Which is 40 chess, really. Mm -hmm. I guess when you've done like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of movies of the same exact form, uh, videos of the same exact format, you just kind of like lose the meaning of some of your. Of the meaning of life. Jokes. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there. Were, I, I'm sure the first few times he brought up the DC logo, he probably explained why it's funny, or why it's a problem, or why it's a sin. But now, just like, yeah, I gotta do it because no, he never explained it. He never does. No, but I mean, we did know back in the day that it was DC Comics comics. So yeah, just like it made sense. Just by like a lot of people call it an ATM machine, you know, automated transfer machine machine. It's the same thing, but 
sometimes uh, that's actually a problem in marketing when you when when you kind of consolidate down multiple words into like a, an acronym it kind of loses a lot of its meaning. So, and for, you know, ATM is fine, but people like to call it a machine. Yeah, it's like John oh, Ellis Push they... Push. It's like when people say the SVD Dragonov. Sure. It's, it's like, like a... when people say EFAP pause. This is yeah. a really <laughs> weird way to put this, though. Everything spoilers wrong down with. No, it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do it like that? I don't know. Why wouldn't you have it so that they're separated in a way that it's so much better for the eye? Like, oh, uh, it's so gross in terms of just being like, mm -hmm. wait, what? I, I like the neon and the noises. I don't like th the arrangement. Yes. Yeah. DC Comics. This doesn't look so yeah, bad. It doesn't work, it's got a nice whatever. bench. Got lots of sunshine. Has this little bouncy ball. This is more like daycare than prison. Also, for what? 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 Why is this? Why? What? what? So, so point what? one. I'm, it looks what? like he's in a daycare. It's like, <laughs> what? Is that, is that a joke? A daycare That's with barbed joke, wire right? and uniforms. I guess. What, That's what a is, joke. Yeah, but well, why but, is but, it a but, sin? But, but then, where is it a sin? You know, we we have to go to track two. It's like, so what is the joke? It's like. Um, and doesn't this guy doesn't uh, Savant get like ten minutes of this time or something like that? It's like some small amount of break time, isn't it? Well, like yeah. The, exactly. Presumably, this is a this is a break time. It's not his actual cell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is a break time, but I, well, I if believe it was his guard... actual cell. That would probably be pretty shit, right? Still, um, yeah, it's still not a good cell a if it were a cell. Yeah, <laughs> if it rains. When it rains, you just strange. Like if if um if he could go out here whenever he wanted, and but he had an indoor part of his cell, I guess that would be cool for him. Well, still help though, Jay. You're the expert. What's the joke? As someone who's I been to prison the joke many times, is that he's saying something that isn't true. Um, he's like, hey, you know. So, so the joke this is thing, this place isn't. Is this it, place looks very prisony. But if I say it isn't, that's kind of funny. Well, I mean, you know, I could, I, you know, I could imagine myself saying this to you, like being deliberately unreasonable for like just doing wombo speak, right? Uh -huh. It's like, you know, I, I can imagine you saying it to me as well, I was like, fucking, hey, he's complaining about being in prison, but he's got a ball, you know, that's, you should, you know. That he's, so it's more the delivery about? that we're, we're having an issue with then, because the, the, the I joke guess, yeah. I mean, he delivers everything work. pretty flat. Mm -hmm. Rags, you were saying about going the, to prison? That's the joke I'm interpreting out of it. Well, I assumed that Jay was going to be our expert here because he's been to prison many times. Yeah, I have. True. I've killed seven men. That's Jay is nice Jay is what we call hard. Right now. Yep. No, oh, the sunshine. It's because we started talking about daycares. More like daycare than prison. Also, Folsom Prison Blues is playing, sense. and the ball bouncing uh. is super close to being on the beat of the song, but it's just off enough that it's driving me crazy. Michael Rooker appears in a James right. Gunn film cliche. Okay, opening your Do okay. Wait, is it? Well, so, and you're just so being what, is there something wrong with that? Brass tax honesty. Use, the Sid is, is Michael Rooker turns up in James Gunn stuff. It's like, okay. That's a, I great, assume he does that's a great comment. Thank you for contributing. <laughs> I assume he does this with Johnny Depp and Tim Burton films. Yeah, he probably or does it with Samuel I mean, Jack yeah, and Quentin Tarantino. Uh, Nathan. Or just any number of frequent collaborations. Yeah, who's the, who's the other one? That, oh, well, Sean Gunn, I guess you could even point out. Yeah. Your movie uh, with the two of this Prison cafeteria ran out of apples. Cool hero. Sorry, what was that? Oh, um, this is running joke of um, someone eats an apple to show they're an asshole. It's it was like a trope for a while, um, and now yeah, I remember that one. He Here's points, he's pointing Gunn it out. Cliche. Opening your movie. So now he's pointing out this guy isn't eating an apple. So it's like, what? Why isn't he eating an apple? He's an asshole. Kind of goes back to my point. It's like his jokes have gotten so as abstract because he's made them so many times. I well, guess. yeah, I was gonna it's say without, without that context. Yeah. What the fuck is this statement? <laughs> like without yeah, like, true, like, like in a hundred years when he's still doing you... this because of course he will be. <laughs> it's this is just gonna be such an abstract well, show that like someone walks out of their house in a movie and he just says like, "Whoa, there's no trees here," and that's it. That's the content. <laughs> well, I mean, I think, imagine I think, this is, well, is this an Enya album. You're just going to be totally lost on this one. It's like, wait, what are you saying? Well, no, you're not, because what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be... Your, your brain is going to be glazed over, and you're going to be waiting for the next comment. <laughs> you glazed that's, over. That's how, <laughs> that's how I watched it, like, when your I was back in the day. <laughs> I, I think in, 
I do like the idea that your average person hears the movie opens with like the death of a bird. Why is the prison cafeteria out of apples? <laughs> You're like, I don't. Not often I don't... we get to hear the word avicide though, so that's yeah. neat, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, in thirty years you'll just be like saying weird alien noises, like, "Hey, quibble, quibble." Yeah. <laughs> Want to see cinema since get to that point where something happens in the movie and it's just. <laughs> Are you? You sound like a stim. No, I would unironically like that would be a, an improvement. It would, yeah. There would be less lies per minute. But still, still at the bullshit. beginning, it'll, it'll be it'll still be at the beginning. Uh, DC Comics. <laughs> Your movie with gratuitous episode. Uh, prison cap. He did blur out the neck of the bird. He blurred out the neck. Oh, someone in chat said if that, and is... I was like, really? Oh my god, he did. This is. This is just like the who did the uh the the blur cinema, on the cinema wins, wasn't it? The cinema wins. He blurred out the Joker when uh, <laughs> he blurred, De Niro. He, he gets blurred shot out the blood blur, splat, but not the bullet the, wound. Yeah, I was about to. I was about it's, to it's say the, though. He, man. He, look, he's done the same mistake here. He blurred out the neck, but he didn't blur out the blood on the wall there. See, it's the same mistake. Also, it's okay if a bird dies, I guess. Like he, I in guess this you know. Aspect? I guess he's just trying real hard not to get demonetized. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I think people are just so paranoid, paranoid about the the I get the the bots. I guess you can mm -hmm. say. They pick yeah. up like, oh, is that well, red? That's blood. Is um, yeah, is one I had of to the stop things that the you have to tick <laughs> on uh on the on the little thing that says when you declare monetization. When no you declare what's in your video for monetization, does it, I mean one of them might be animals, right? I could see that um, being a thing, maybe. Yeah. Or like yeah. score in general, it's like it says blood, and he's like, "Well, I'm not sure if that applies to animals or not, so I'm just going to blur out the animal blood." No, how does how does those rules apply to like many video games that people play and put videos up for? Oh, and there's <laughs> one. There is a category for video game footage. Oh right, yeah, okay, yeah. And if you if you say it's just like you know violent video game footage, that's one of the okay uh, ad friendly categories. If you, as long as you just you know uh, state that up front, I guess. Have you not I... read the full money monetization declaration, Fringy? Wow. Calls himself a YouTuber. Yeah. I get the idea that even though he's um, Jeremy or whatever it is, still presents it as like his his show, I get the idea there's probably a big, a fairly big team behind his his channel now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is. And, and so the idea is like they have to do everything they, they can to make it all squeaky clean, YouTube friendly, whatever. And that's why they have the editor go in and blur things that maybe get a little bit iffy on the YouTube side. So it's all it's all very much kind of corporatized, even though he still tries to present yeah. just him. Just him. I don't even writes anymore. Do you think he even writes these anymore? Uh I don't know. Um he just narrates it. Is that all it is? It's like it like be. G4 TV and stuff when they do the oh, yeah. reviews, like the presenter and the person who wrote it are not the same person. Mm. And you're wondering, well, I mean, like, I what? Feel like the obvious Im immediate example is late night talk show hosts don't write all their material. <laughs> they oh, got no. a yeah. whole team working with them. Yeah, it, once you get once you get big enough, you can basically have everybody else do the editing, the research, the writing, the and it's still Jeremy's voice, so obviously he can't fake that. But uh, I'm assuming he basically Yet. runs runs his company and voices the stuff now, or maybe yeah, I'll get an AI he, to do his voice soon. <laughs> yeah, you probably could. By I, I mean, I was about to say, have you heard how good some of them can be for just the average person now? Um, you can like, if you get enough words, I, I don't know how many it is. It could be like a hundred to a thousand or whatever. You can put uh -huh. them into a thingy, and then it can deliver sentences that sound like you can tell it's a bot, but at the same time, you're like, that sounds pretty good. Actually. Oh fuck! They had an online uh, it's like scary Peter technology. Uh -huh. They had an online Jordan Peter Peterson uh, emulator. I remember that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember when that happened. Yeah, and it sounded just <laughs> like him. And he went. He like took it. He had it taken down or something. Yeah, and it was interesting because en enough of his uh, dialogue was online without any like accompaniment or uh, music or anything like that. And he has an interesting kind of uh, way of speaking. And, yeah, it uh, sounds like the emphasis. Frog emphasis and so it, it didn't it kind of worked it wasn't too weird you know yeah right you could probably definitely do it with for somebody like joe rogan who just had yeah hundreds I mean, and hundreds and hundreds of another thing of if hours, you can so. just keep plugging in more and more examples yeah i would get really good at it i imagine mm -hmm. oh yeah 
Apple's cool hero walk shot, but why is giant American flag? This may be an aircraft takeoff why zone, is but it's still American a prison. For-profit prisons in the U.S. do not wastefully spend any money, let alone on something as stupid as an American flag. Okay, having an American flag, I think the, the contention would be why is it so huge, not the, why is there an American flag. Yeah, I think there would be an there are American flags everywhere in America. What he's like, asking? Well, he so I guess he but is something as stupid as American. Oh, sorry, he says as big as a football field. All right, fair enough. Um, but I I I I don't really have anything for why there's a giant American flag. I don't know if you guys do. You know what's bothering me no. more than it being there is um, the fact that the the blue box with the stars in it is slightly misaligned vertically with the uh, the I stripe. See it. Stripe. I <laughs> see it. I well, thanks it. for that. Yeah, this flag is <laughs> That's something um, on football field size. Uh, like a, there's actually a uh, car dealership down the street from where I am that has a gigantic flag that's actually hanging. And it's uh, you don't realize how big it is until you realize that you're driving and you're like a mile away from it. So it's probably about that size. So that's something right, that... Yeah. that, yeah, that yeah, are, the stars, get... are the stars properly aligned with the stripes? <laughs> I haven't looked <laughs> at it that closely, no. Um, the, uh, yeah, we get car dealerships around here too, and they got big flags, big, yeah. big flags. Yeah. I think, so, like, all you need to square this away in your head is just the it's Bell Reeve, right? Is the prison just like they they just have a giant American flag? I guess. Um, obviously, it's more symbolic than narratively relevant, but at the same time, it's like, can you justify it narratively? It's like, fucking, I don't think so. It's just something they have, I guess. It's like well, it's um, it's not plot relevant. It's for the shot, I guess, which makes yeah. it less less damaging. But I mean, I guess it is still. Yeah, I guess you know what? Fair nitpick, right? I'm I so. sure, but it is a nitpick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just don't care. No, nobody would yeah. care. It was really like, fine. So, and we agree with it. So it's not a joke. There we, yeah, there we go. It's true. Yeah, He's yeah. being very serial. Flag as big as a football field. Casting your brother. That flag a isn't as big as a football field, but yeah, I mean that's that point that, I assume, really, really I assume exaggerate. that's the joke component of the accurate criticism. Casting your brother as a weasel, I, I, I guess. Just... No, casting your brother as the weasel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is a big win. That's a big win, not a sin. You're right. It's a big win. <laughs> that's a, a big win, win, not a sin. I <laughs> wish I could be a big weasel one day. Yeah. yeah. Turn it around. Yeah. No. Yeah. Put it in there. Now you're safe. When the mutated weasel has a better understanding of how seatbelts work, you should... You don't know that he, someone didn't do that with the thing for him? <laughs> Maybe it was Nathan <laughs> Fillion that strapped him in. <laughs> how yeah. to put his little seatbelt in, you okay, weasel? <laughs> 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 He's an Afghan hound, right? So it's pretty familiar with him. You really start to question your value on any team, let alone one that may depend on you in life and death situations. Also, discount Nathan Fillion. Oh! Wait, so was that like an actual point then? That he's like... Man, if you can't wear a seatbelt, you can't figure out how seatbelt works. Then you can't survive in combat. Okay. <laughs> interesting. interesting what if it's like a, like a tricky seatbelt? It could know? literally just yeah. be one that's he's just it's a bit awkward. Or maybe it doesn't work it's properly. You know, I, I'm gonna say it. I've used seatbelts for most of my life, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I I don't I don't remember a time for in my life before life, before I learned how to use a seatbelt. And the I, majority of the like, hours of your life have been in seatbelts. Yeah, belts, it's the experience I go through, happens. like, I used I'm to go through belt a right now. Like, yeah. yeah, I got one for me too. Semi-regularly, right, <laughs> I put on a seatbelt. And sometimes I struggle to find a little hole to put it into or get it in the right way around because they all work differently, you know? It's not something you can learn. I have to wear in the same it. Way that, the in the same way that, like, you don't know, like, if you go into someone like else's shower, you don't, by default, know exactly what do. all the fucking dials and shit yeah, do. Yeah, true. Oh because yeah, or when you're in a hotel, how does yeah. this? Do Jay, do you, have you ever been in a that. hotel where they have the where the fa the way that you switch between the faucet and the shower head is there's a little ring underneath the faucet head, uh, like the spout, and you have to pull it down. Maybe I, I honestly I'm not sure. I I, I didn't keep a note of it. If I was. All right, I think you would remember this because this because when we uh, like the last family vacation or whatever, we had stopped like halfway at a hotel and no one could figure out how to make the showers work because it was this weird kind of thing that you had to pull on the faucet that didn't look like a thing you had to pull to get it to. It was a nightmare. It was no one could figure it out. We are smart people and we could not figure it out. But I, I share. I sure, share you're your... smart. It sounds like you got outsmarted by a faucet. 
Go no, on. we were. This thing was a, a, an well, awful. You know what that sounds like. You know what that no sounds sense. like. That sounds like that you are not prepared for combat Jay, situations. If you can't turn no, on a faucet, I'm not prepared Jay, for don't combat call it a situations. Faucet. Call it a tap, okay? A, a tap. Uh, a, a well, tap? We call, honestly, we a faucet is a better speed. word to me. Because we call the tap. It. We call taps the like the sink. A sink has a tap, but a shot, but, but a bath has a faucet. A shat. A shat. <laughs> we we sh That's the room where we we shat. However, Ew. it's a faucet in the bath, a tap on the sink. So that's I how we generally refer to it here. Hmm. I call them both faucets. I think of I think of tap as like a you know beer on tap. Personally, but. yes, a beer. Yep, uh, a beer is on tap as well. You don't if you have a a beer on faucet, then you're thirsty. <laughs> 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 Mahler, I guess you are the person here who spends the least time in seatbelts because you don't know how to drive. That's what you're wrong. I also Rex. don't know how to drive. Uh, oh, when we watch the really? book of Boba Fett, I have to strap myself in because I try to escape <laughs> semi regularly. Because <laughs> it's oh, so exciting. <laughs> Let me go, yeah, please. Mahler <laughs> trying to get out. Like, yeah! Oh, <laughs> you see, see, I, I assumed it's because. To escape. Yeah, I assumed it was because it was so exciting, and you just you were strapped well, in like a roller coaster. It's crazy because like people are like, oh, you know, thanks you you and Fringy for doing the editing. People like, you have no idea how difficult it is to edit out all my screams. Like they are really distracting. <laughs> it, it, it can be real tough. Like you got to do a lot of trickery to get mm -hmm. that to work. Yeah, you have to put his screams on their own audio track and just delete <laughs> them. Yeah. Speaking of, oh, which, yeah, you, we have to record we... a separate audio track for you now because. Um, if it's on the rest of the file, it just, you know, it covers up too much of the rest of the commentary. Whenever, <laughs> whenever you're not speaking, you're just screaming. And we uh, need to get our commentary heard, so it's not yeah. good. Speaking of Boba chat, Fett. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> no, speaking of Boba Fett, when are we going to get Book of uh, Weasel? No. Book of Weasel. They don't have the balls. Well, there was the old <laughs> show, I Am Weasel. If any of you watched that's that, right. Back I in remember the day. I Am Weasel. I, yeah, it was like that was the cow and chicken people who so made that's that. That's a live action remake. Is I Am Weasel, but it's Weasel from the Suicide Squad. Is it like I Am Legend, <laughs> but with Weasel? That sounds, <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like <laughs> when, the, uh, when the little mannequin <laughs> is like there, I Am Mother, but with Weasel. Well, no, I just, I'm now just thinking about. <laughs> you have to repopulate the world with Weasels, and then when the Weasel <laughs> sees the mannequin, he's moved. He goes like. Wah! <laughs> pointing at it. We can just picture that grand gone. moment of an army of those vampire zombie things chasing him, and he's just like, <laughs> I, mean, I just like Jason here like with I am, I am mother with weasel instead of the robot, just the weasel <laughs> taking care of, of a fucking child. That would be great. Oh, you see, metal. And oh, they and I, like, weasel you and I we went care to different children. places. <laughs> we, we went to different places. We, I, I assumed that. There was a different facility for every animal that needed to be repopulated, so the robots would have to grow and 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 raise the perfect weasel that would then become the weasel mother of the rest of all of the other weasels before the door opens and thousands of weasels run out into the forest. <laughs> we went to completely different yeah. places. Yeah, we've got so many interpretations. All of those can be adapted. Disney, take your pick. Yeah. My my idea well, was they're gonna like be a, it's gonna be a trilogy of all three of those ideas. It's gonna be made. My idea was like uh similar to Boba Fett, where he becomes a crime lord and uh, he oh, runs the crime. He... That's Book of Weasel. That's different. Yeah, Book <laughs> of Weasel. Whereas like he becomes a crime lord, but he still speaks like Arr! and like somehow he runs the crime organization. Yet nobody can understand what the hell he's saying <laughs> except <laughs> Fennec. Under... Fennec knows. Do you understand <laughs> that if Boba Fett did nothing but make <laughs> noises the entire show, nothing would change? Yeah, no, no. No. <laughs> and I think I'm being serious when I happening. say that. It would be better. <laughs> so that's a change. What they have to do though is have to replace his like jagged, pointy teeth with like pearly, pearly whites, like oh, pearly yeah. dentures. <laughs> I don't think that would be a bold artistic. I decision grew up surrounded by that. weasels. <laughs> 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 it just shows Kamita with loads of weasels. <laughs> <laughs> weasels that were running down the halls. With, look, if Boba Fett went to live with the weasel people, I would be much more convinced. Of his, uh, of his <laughs> it's way better than the Tuscan Raiders. I want to see the weasels. The weasels. Yeah, they, they teach him about native I mean, rights, the weasels. They try I, to raise his friends. He's going so long for the weasels. Jumping. Oh, the gun tray, the weasels. Are <laughs> <laughs> the weasels have lived in these sands for a thousand generations. The weasels lay <laughs> ancestral claim to the Dune Sea. We, <laughs> you owe protection, buddy, to the weasels. 
We need a line that's like <laughs> weasels, huh? I I grew up in a place we are. full of weasels. Surrounded <laughs> by weasels. Money for the weasels. Can you imagine the weasels coming around <laughs> to like all of the little laundromats, just like? <laughs> It's like, wait, what's the weasels are one party. That, the weasel party. Incredibly emotional scene where Bo was walking through a field of dead weasels because he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just piles and piles of, of weasels. weasels. Yeah, and half of them like uh, get back up afterward. He after. Yeah, you, well, you, know, you know who didn't corrupt? Fine. You know who didn't corrupt? Surrounded by water, weasel. Wow, that's right. He's in Very the desert. True. Oh, the he little, almost died um, surrounded by water. The Tuscan Raider dance. Instead, it's just a load of weasels going, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> and then Boba Fett is just like, nyeh, nyeh. doing their weird caterpillar like run around a fire. <laughs> the weasels grew up on Camino. It'd be a terrifying experience the whole time. Yeah. Just, <laughs> Don't just to be clear, <laughs> just to be clear, just to be clear, we are improving Book of Boba Fett. Oh, absolutely. Uh, with, with every I example we gave. Yeah. I yeah. also think it's oh very interesting that none of us know what a weasel sounds like, and we all have our own different version of what weasels <laughs> do sound like. Well, I That's think we fine. pointed out the potential with weasel is through the fucking roof. It's yeah. way bigger than Tuscan Raiders. I could see the expressions on the yep. weasels' faces. I could tell them apart. They're not just all wearing the same fucking thing, making weird grunting noises. Kamina would be a perfect prison planet for a weasel because he can't swim. I am Boba oh. Fett, and I speak for the weasels. <laughs> and that's what's so powerful about it. In fact, it's about family. weasels. I like the idea that speaking for the weasels is like the. Tr you know how, like at the UN or at like international meetings, they've got those like translator things that they wear, and so you got the one person who has to translate everything into weasel <laughs> on behalf of weasel. You got like a human sitting there just going like, "All right." <clears throat> <laughs> and then the weasel sit there like, rah, 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 rah. like he's just getting it. He's it's writing stuff down in his little book. Universal language, everyone understands. And some translators, do they actually genuinely need like huh. someone who speaks like that many languages um, that they can I, I, translate what everyone is saying into one language? Well, I don't think you have like one guy who's doing it for everybody, but I think you see those things where the people. Are but like, no, but you'd have one guy doing it all for one person, right? Which means they would have to I, translate from loads of different languages. Um, or do I, they, or... I don't know. Potentially, yeah. I've never thought about it. Well, they, they, uh, they have like now. right. So they, I assume they have someone in their ear who I don't Trans know. Maybe, yeah, I, there's got to be, be a system. Maybe it'll be one person translates it all into like English, and then one, and then another person translates the English into the specific language. Or alternatively, it could just be that you have like. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I've never thought Wouldn't about it. Wouldn't it be really, should, as, a, as a translator in that weasel. situation, you have a lot of power to fuck with people. You really you do. You could power, shape the world, like, yeah. Could you <laughs> if you just did it for a laugh? Like you just Well, there, there was that news there was that news story not too long ago about that one guy who just bullshitted his way oh, through yeah. sign language. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, I oh there's been plenty of examples. Oh yeah, uh, there's loads of those. Uh, yeah. Doesn't like one, a, one of them uh, tried to justify politician. it as he was schizophrenic and hallucinating wildly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that certain. Imagine it was true. <laughs> like, how do you ex you can't explain that to anybody? They'll believe you. It's not gonna happen. The recent one that comes up, there was one that at the Man uh, the Nelson Mandela Memorial, and the guy was just doing fake sign language. <laughs> there was a Tampa police spokesperson. So that uh, apparently they had someone who's just doing fake sign language. What? This oh, is a no. thing people do. Why do they not get, think? What? I, do they like, not think that it's something people actually speak, and they could just? They do they think it's made up anyway? Yep. It, it's really <laughs> weird to me. This this is the one of those. This is the one thing that keeps happening. So there well, are loads of systems that could be exploited that don't. Like a lot of the time, right? A lot of things that people could fuck with. They just no one it just doesn't really happen. Fake sign language, that's a fucking epidemic for some reason. People just keep going to do that. Because <laughs> it's funny, Jay. <laughs> it's like an interpreter could be caught. You just pull people, up and, you know, Google People translate. just hate the idea of the deaf understanding things. <laughs> <laughs> they know too much. Well, it's a great, yeah, easy, it's a pretty easy maybe, thing. To maybe they're all yeah. plants set there by the subtitle industry. According to ebony.com, I go there often. Um... <laughs> It is this. Is, so the person who did it with the Tampa Bay Police Department, uh, Daryl Roberts, she had been convicted of fraud on several occasions. Oh, damn. And uh, I, 
I like I like when the news article says things like, and while she damn sure couldn't properly pay the play the part of a translator, she made sure to look it. This is why <laughs> I come to ebony.com. Oh yeah. Good sign. Good sign. Look punto. <laughs> Uh, that, that. Also, discount hmm. Nathan Philly. Holy sh! What does Savant do again? It's Brian. Why is it a sin? Is that another it, running gag? Makes, it's just he just made a joke, and he has to run the dinger after he makes the joke. Those are the rules. I think you mean Maybe. he has to run the dinger after he says anything. Yeah, well, run yeah. my dinger. Because it's like, oh, discount Nathan Philly. Oh, it's the actual one. Sin. Yeah, that'd have been funny. Yeah, yeah that's reverse. when you don't have a sin. When you're like, oh, never mind then, and you don't put the sin. Yeah. That's what you'd assume you'd do. Yeah, he used to reverse a sin for that. It's like, oh wait, it is him. Zink. Wow, you thought this meme was good enough to post, Mel? It was. Let me see this. Let me see this shit metal meme. Hey, Dude, both of these metal. These are great. Thank you. Oh, well, that's a good meme. I mean, I, I didn't make them, meme. but thank you. The first <laughs> one's good, and the second one is good. They're both good. I appreciate They're the first great. one because Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze is in it, who is the greatest adaptation of Mr. Freeze. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. I think someone on my server the other day posted <laughs> an extremely high quality gif of Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze, like saying one of his puns. And it was like 60 frames a second and super HD. I was thoroughly impressed with the quality of this gif. Mm -hmm. And it was not at all squandered on this incredible character. I think it might have been an animated PNG. I think he's. I don't. Didn't he influence like a, he's he's like part of the reasons why Lord of the Rings is such a great character, right? And I think Mr. Freeze is. Of course. Jackson did a lot of influence from. Uh, his trail. It's pretty cool. As didn't, he would say, uh, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't cool. Saruman say, say something like, uh, "Hey guys, chill!" Before he like chill. you know struck. Yeah, which uh, at the Casa Doom and caused to be Gavlin. fair. We're at the point where I consider that a little bit stolen. Uh, Peter Jackson gets a lot of credit where I think it should go to Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm just glad that we're clear on that. Also, discount Nathan Philly. Holy sh! What does Savant do again? It's Brian Derlin. He's an expert in weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, thank you. Now that I know Savant is basically good with guns, I'm sure I will have no problem understanding what he brings to the team that is different from the likes of Deadshot, Deathstroke. Oh, I can explain that. The different people. Yeah. <laughs> like different wait are you well, saying like, like okay, different so different characters by by him being a different person he has the unique ability to be in a different place to the place that deadshot is in not just no, no, that, no. I, that's a big thing but not what? just that he'll have different values he'll have what? different experiences that will define his choices <gasps> also, Lisa, Lisa, do you write out. movies how do you have this know. incredible inside knowledge? I, I, I've. I mean, he's. Either, been, been I guess he's. Either, is he talking? You think he's talking in box. universe or out of universe? And it's like, what do they think he adds to the team that the other ones can't? It's like in universe, why would they ha add well, him? In universe is even less of an he... argument because they just need mercenaries. They also yeah. have two different teams in this movie, but, so they need more people with better gun, better well, that, gun capabilities, anyways. It, it, they even make a I was joke like, out of it later in the movie where he's like, you do exactly the same stuff I do. I, like, well, well I was actually going to bring that up too, but like, it, it, take for a second, this is like, oh, aliens, yeah, okay. Hudson's good with a gun, I guess. Oh, Hicks, he's good with a gun. Vasquez, apparently she's good with the. What the fuck is the point? You'd be like, uh, they're all Marines. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm speaking from a lot of uh, military experience when I'm, I can guarantee you that they only have Are you one a Navy SEAL? In, yeah, I'm a Navy SEAL with tons of experience. Wow, that's and, awesome. And uh, I'll say that the army only recruit has one person that's a specialist in guns at a time. Yeah, that's, that's all I really you. That's all you really need. So, um, yeah, like I don't really get because he's got Deadshot, Deathstroke, Peacemaker, Rick Flag, Blackguard, Harley Quinn. That's a. I feel like that's just broken well, your point. <laughs> because like yeah, Harley Quinn shoots a gun, but I mean, Harley Quinn and Deathstroke. Ah. They well, bring I, the same I remember, shit. Um, I remember when he was saying, what is it with Fantasy World? Like, uh, uh, he always just like um, pads out his lists with stuff that doesn't fit in them. Because um, I remember him saying, yeah, I know. I, I remember him saying, um, what is it with like Fantasy Worlds and always inventing some kind of fake sport? Um, and the examples I remember him citing are Quidditch and pod racing. And pod racing is literally just racing a vehicle. Like, it's not really a fake, yeah, well... It's not really a fake sport, it's just 
hey, we have a Racing vehicle, let's real? race it around a track. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know if you could, could, could you abstract Quidditch to the point of sport with a ball or something? I don't think you could really. It's got its own, you know, rules and, and stuff and... Pod racing is literally just, hey, oh. we have this vehicle, let's race it around a track as, as you would any other vehicle. I'm not, I not, not I to devil's advocate too hard, but like, pods, if we're calling them that, pod racers, I guess, the idea, like, there's going to be so many standards that come with what ones you're allowed to use and not allowed to use, and they're a fictional sort of vehicle. So I think you could argue, I think, if you're going to be that specific, that it's uh, fictional, but I see what you're saying, that like, racing is... But the point then that you want to have like racing a vehicle in Star Wars, right? You wouldn't have in the Star Wars universe doesn't have any of the vehicles we have. Uh... Well, they got bikes, hover bikes that are, look like fifty scooters. Uh... I don't think we have hover bikes. No, but we have scooters that kind of look like that. There you go, Jay. Ruined. Exactly. Like Grandma. Oh no! <laughs> I am Grandma. <laughs> Is that a movie too? I am grandma. I am grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song. Uh, I am your grandma. It's this weird thing. Ooh, ooh, I can't remember who made it. And I can't remember her name. But yeah, she did that. It's worth looking up if you want to. That was a good story. See Jay. Good Thank story, you. Yeah. I thought it was going somewhere when I started, and then I was like, it, it's not really, is it? No, no. I was still no. kind of hoping something would develop. <laughs> Weapons in hand to hand combat. Yeah, thank you. Now that I know Savant is basically good with guns, mm -hmm. I'm sure I will have no problem understanding what he brings to the team that is different from the likes of Deadshot, Deathstroke, Peacemaker, Rick Flag, Blackguard, Harley Quinn, and basically 90% of every Suicide Squad we've ever seen. Such a weird point to make, because, um, 90%? Uh, wow, 90? That's basically. <laughs> he, he was already He was already far enough off that he had to resort to listing <laughs> Harley Quinn as having the equivalent skills to Rick Flag. <laughs> and Did Death your stroke. mic change? Yeah, Jay, Jay, your mic is like, your gain is going up somehow. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I'm just near on the mic. Um, uh, yeah, that was angry. Deathstrike has regenerative capability, so... So he's like Harley Quinn? Like, yeah, Harley Quinn. Quinn can like... <laughs> so he's like Deathstroke. So he's like I'm sorry, God. is Deathstroke in any of the Suicide Squads? No, uh, but he's in... No. He's, uh, he's, uh, but in the BBS. comics, he's sometimes in the Suicide Squad, yeah. Wait, is it, he was I, in um, the end of Snyder Cut. Yeah, yeah, but 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 like he is sometimes in the Suicide Squad team. Yeah, uh, but the, the thing about him though is just like how the fuck do you connect him with Harley I Quinn? Don't know how like, we connect... like no, they both shot same. guns before. You're like, shut up. I'd almost mm -hmm. argue that uh, in the in the kind of missions that they're sending the Suicide Squad people on, like a weapon specialist is probably one of the most versatile and just useful abilities. Well, it, like, you know, you... it's it's a soldier. If your operation yeah. is to break into Jotunheim and destroy the evidence there, and it's like, right, so you can only take one of these two, and it's like, one of them is a weapons expert, just mainly with rifles, pistols, and has experience in the military, or a crocodile man. You're like, I'll probably go with the guy with the guns, the honestly. The crocodile man, how good is the crocodile man with guns? <laughs> it's like, oh, he's terrible with guns. Well, like, he's awful. So, guns. I'm thinking, he's saying 90%, he's saying that this is 90% of the Suicide Squads, all the Suicide Squads we've ever seen. It's like, what's the first one? That's Rick Flag, Deadshot, and Harley Quinn apparently counts. But then it's, it's what? Then it's the fire boomerang. guy. <laughs> And then Captain Boomerang. Crocodile yeah. Man. Yeah. Boomerang and a bullet are like the same thing. And except, Enchantress. <laughs> um, any, are there any more like than that that I'm missing? Oh, uh, Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. I said that was the first one I said, yeah. Slipknot and fires that shit well. from like a rifle, so he counts. And oh, okay, Croc, there you go. who doesn't use a gun. But and of course, you look at this team, and it's like, okay, so we got we got rat catcher. She doesn't <clears> use guns. King Shark doesn't use. Maybe guns. her rats can use guns. Polka dot man oh. fires polka dots that are kind of like bullets, so that counts. Oh, basically so guns. Same thing, yeah. It's basically, but like guns. you know, the so ninety percent of every suicide squad we've ever seen, it actually means like a couple of members. Thirty. Forty-five percent at most. Well, I'll give them, but even that, I think that's exaggerating because you're including people that shouldn't be. Were you including Polka Dot Man in that? And Harley Quinn, I don't think should count alongside yeah. Deadshot, Peacemaker, and Deathstroke, and Rick Flag, and Black Guy. Well, no, can... she's not. Well, that's the thing is, Harley Quinn doesn't really have a skill that that's put her on here. It's, it's kind of a problem <laughs> of why she's just she fucking. She has right. a baseball bat. She does. Because is she a weapons expert? Does she actually know about combat? Because uh, 
She's an like, expert in having the plot work out for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, because so far she has just been good at everything she was thrown into, so... She had the mallet and the baseball She's... bat with her things, right? I guess she is a weapons expert, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... Right. She's, got the most... She's got the most weird skill set, because technically, like, she shouldn't be at all trained in combat whatsoever no all she well, was she, basically she's like a therapist Joker's or whatever crazy. Right? psychiatrist so. yeah, yeah she, she was yeah, yeah, just they like know a former a psychiatrist <laughs> former psychiatrist turned crazy joker girlfriend basically that's like obviously she's been involved with you know crime whatever so she would gain some skills from that but yeah <laughs> none of you guys brought up katana <laughs> How could we forget her? Oh, she fuck, can, you're right, forget. Katana. The soul. Oh, I would advise not getting killed and by her. The bet. soul traps the souls of its victims. Excellent characterization. Oh, man, I forgot. I forgot. Katana. You, I love that she literally Katana. gets on the plane, like, last. Yeah, off, like, yeah. Oh, by the way, Katana's here. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> this Yay. is Katana. She's got my back. <laughs> I mean, Katana and... Uh... You know, Savant are basically the same because a gun's a sword like weapon, right? Kinda, yeah. That's what we've learned. Mm -hmm. They're all. Why do you say 90% is 100? I don't know. Because he's wrong. Because that's what he does for a living. Wow. Let's just be wrong. Good meeting, everybody. Just our normal, casual morning meeting. Did Discount Nick Frost really need to come up with a cover for this? Nick Frost. Nick Frost. It's a stretch in it. Did he just wanted to call this guy Discount Nick Frost? Does he? Did yes. he think that was so funny that that's the only reason why he stopped the film here the, to make a thing? Discount comments can be funny when I feel like you're actually onto something, but that guy is saying he looks like Nick Frost is like, no. Does he? <laughs> no. He has a beard and he's a bit large. That's not nice. And that's it. That's fat. <laughs> that's fat shaming or something. Well, that's what that's what Jeremy was doing then, I guess. But didn't they have to be a little bit more interesting than is fat has beard? <laughs> I feel like that's me. Like, that's literally me. Yeah. I feel like they described like thirty percent of male adults nowadays. So, wow. <laughs> what if we called him like discount the quarry? Discount metal commander. Got to have a longer beard, otherwise I'd still be like, nah, cheating. Just our normal casual morning meeting. Did discount Nick Frost really <clears throat> need to come up with a cover for this? I seriously doubt that Waller gives a shit about some office betting pool. When I think that's the indication she doesn't give a shit. But why would you admit yeah. that we're betting on the the fates of our fucking mercenaries? That's just probably not a good idea. Yeah. She is the one sending the subjects of said pool to what is clearly advertised as almost <clears throat> certain death. But that's the point of the pool. It's the, which one do you think may live or die? What's... Also, just because that's your, like, betting is a whole other thing. Just because that's the system in which you are, like, sorting out, doesn't mean that you'd be okay with people betting on it. Especially when they're supposed yeah. to be working. That's just like, that, that goes for everything, by the way. Like, if someone's just, uh, our office job is literally just printing, printing the letter P on, on fucking pieces <laughs> of paper. If everyone's betting on it and they're fucking on time, you'd be like, what are they doing? Like, but you, you set up the system, I don't know. In fact, considering she literally holds the key to their brain-blasting button, I'm amazed she isn't using her insider knowledge to get in on the action. Your name is Letters? My name's a Letters, dickhead. Boomerang would be amazing at CinemaSense. No, he, no, no, he's way better than you'll ever <laughs> no, be. He's, he'd be really well, funny. No, no, he would then. Yeah. So he would be good no. at it. He oh, would, act, you would, act, he would be another, good at it. You that, are not. That's just another thing he still does. I remember this particular joke from like five, seven, whatever, whenever I watched them ago. Like, that's just another thing. Oh, that's you would in be good videos. at CinemaSins? Well, yeah. This yeah, character no. would be good at CinemaSins because he pointed something out that is kind of. Yeah, he does it a lot. Just to be clear, it, thing, like, what CinemaSins is, out, um, is a result of the, what he's doing. Like, so Boomerang would be bad at CinemaSins as it stands, but the idealized vision of CinemaSins, maybe he'd be good at it. But the, th mm -hmm. the thing is that this um, this thing started mm -hmm. out as a way to point out lampshading, right? So it's like a, someone lampshades, and he's like, oh, this character would be good at cinema sins because, you know, they're pointing out a genuine flaw of the film in an attempt to lampshade it. But he's moved it on to just a character <clears throat> made a joke. Oh, they'd be good at it. Like a character uh, pointed out something that another character said was stupid. It's like, yeah, characters are allowed to say stupid stuff. Yep. The characters. Um, and then that's what this example is. It's like he's making a joke in response to like something that someone said, um, which, yeah. 
it's not really it's, it's not it's not an example of the sin that works and it'll do it for like American anything now American women all love accents we do because we don't got none that's Texas Did anyone I don't get it um we don't got none is well, yeah. that supposed to be like a grammar joke? Well, I'm assuming the joke is that there are, uh, uh, like, she assumes that the American accent is almost a default one rather than an accent. So yeah. Texas thinks, why, why Texas? Are there a lot of people in Texas who don't realize that the Texas? Oh no, it's, is... he says Texas because it rhymes with sexist, right? He's trying to do a pun. Is, is it? That's Texas. Is it? That's I think that's what's what he's the trying pun? to do. What's he connecting with? What? Um, I, I'm, Texas it's another abstraction like, of a cinema sense joke. It is all just abstractions of his old jokes that made sense like once. Accents. We do, because we don't got none. That's Texas. Yeah, Texist. 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 Uh, um, he's trying okay. to do a pun on sexist, and he's calling it sexist because a running cinema sense joke was to just call everything racist or sexist whenever it's any, any kind of like prejudice, I guess, or like not so, necessarily. Oh, so Texas has nothing to do with this. No, Texas is just okay. um, a part right. of America that sounds like sexist. You sure? I thought, I thought the reference here is... was that her accent is American. Yeah. And he's gone into well, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it has to be a place in America, but uh, Harley's not from Texas, is she? I don't know. No, no. Uh, that's, not, that's not a Texan uh, accent she's got. I think, I think she's well, she wouldn't to have to have a like Texan a accent to not be from Texas, right? She's True. trying to do like your your stereotypical like 1940s New Yorker kind of thing, I think, right? Or your yeah 40s, but like your very. Have you guys even read the lore? I have. I, I haven't read the comics, but uh, yeah, he used to do that thing all the time where he would use racist as a placeholder, like uh, comically as a placeholder for any sort of bigotry. Yeah, so, like uh, that was just his thing. So now he's I guess gotten a little creative by making up Texas. All right, I don't really get it. Did anyone check on where the weasel could swim? Regardless, how about somebody just gives him a hand anyway? You know, just in case he is, in fact, drowning. That would be a very bad idea when he's flailing yeah, in the water. It's, um, it's it's one of the things that you learn about, like, uh, when it comes to rescuing people, right? It's like the people who are the most responsive and capable of, of being saved are the people that you save first. Um, well, is there anyone else there who needs being saved? Well, no, it it's not about the idea that it's it's the idea is how dangerous will it be for you to try and save that person? And I would imagine that trying to save the weasel from drowning while he's flailing around wildly is probably a bit dangerous. It's just common that if someone's flailing around and panicking, they can drown you. Um, yeah, yeah, so, you yeah. you can't you have to come up from behind them if you're going to do it at all. Because uh, if they're if you come up in front of them, they will they will push you down to try and That's, save themselves. It is an instinctual mm. thing that people will do when they're drowning. Yeah, that they will try and leverage whatever they can, and in that case, it may be you. Um, not to mention, not to mention if flailing bucket. around. You know, not to mention if they're flailing around, they could hit you in the head with their elbow. Yeah, knock and you out. to be fair, this all happens pretty fast. I could totally see yeah. a whole bunch of them having just landed and re just sort of jigged themselves, and then they're looking over and like, the fuck is going on over there? I mean, that one was pretty unambiguously just not a joke, right? But he's actually saying, like, why aren't you helping him? Yeah, that's like, people floor. should go and so save him from drowning, and that's a flaw. It's like, and I mean, right. Savant does say... Once, once he's... Say. Yeah, once he's not flying anymore, Savant goes for him. <laughs> Savant yeah, waits until he is f***ing sinking before finally deciding to help the poor rat bastard. Why no, is that? Yeah, go. about lines up with what you probably should do. I mean, it's obviously mm. preferable to get him before he's fully drowned or whatever, but, like, this is... I think uh, with well, the context... That's perfectly fine. Oh yeah, yeah you guys... might just be baffled. You weren't ready for that. <laughs> like you and, like and also, we all weren't ready for that. In the context of these are basically prisoners on death row waiting to die. They don't they their only drive is to stay alive. They don't really care about each other. Well, was, but I mean I, before. I actually would want to like it was startling. Nobody was prepared for the yeah. idea. Well, yeah, and, and Flag was clarifying even, if he could even like, swim. Obviously. Understand what he was doing. Like, what is he doing? Is he like afraid of the water, or? <laughs> and also, like, had you not thrown him into water at some point, you you can't understand what he says. You wouldn't have known. So it's actually kind of it's both silly, comical, but also kind of makes sense because they couldn't ask him if he could swim. Yeah, and they don't yeah. care about him, obviously. 
Yeah, they don't care about the humans. It's a funny oversight because you didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just whether or not it can swim. It's a good joke. Yeah, it's a great joke. army only appearing on the screen now. Um... I thought, isn't this the first time that we see the screen? That, like, came in? I was actually, I, I don't know if this is, is this the, I, I don't know. I'd have to check to know I the answer to this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we don't know where the uh, where the sensor is. Is it on the people themselves? Maybe they have to be within proximity. Uh, we don't get that explanation. It might be only that they can detect the bodies when they have a sensor close enough. Who knows? Now, this monitor seems to be hooked up to a UAV, but what's the point of sending it in after your team is already at the place that you are UAVing? Harley survives all of this. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit lost on that one. I What's think the, the point, point that he's trying well, to make it... is like, why didn't we see yeah. them before if you had a UAV that was in the air? But my immediate thought is, wasn't the idea that we only see them like a mass there, or what, do we see the screen before? That's kind of what I need no, to. No, know. I think the, the the point is that why aren't they alerting the team when they have a UAV over the area they that can see them. the enemy? Yeah, they should know, yeah. But you, they're already you on the beach. Should have seen this, this a long point. time ago. Yeah, but like, the, they would have been waiting before you drop them off. Yes. Yeah, this might be pretty in. fair. Um, yeah, I yeah. think this is a fair. Yeah, I would say to so, add to it, yeah. we've we said like the way they ambush the Suicide Squad is pretty stupid as well. It's pretty stupid. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how they immediately know how the Suicide Squad is there, but from uh, what's her name, the the leader of the Suicide Squad operation, I forget her name right now. Waller. Uh, Waller. Yeah, yeah. Waller. She wouldn't. This this whole thing was just a distraction. She didn't really care about these people. They're basically throwing. What did we did we conclude that we had a big I old argument about really. if it yeah. were because there's there's reason to believe this was her just dealing with the fact that this has happened or that she knew this was going to happen. I think it I think it makes more sense that it's her dealing with it because why would she send yeah. Rick with this team? Yeah, I can't. Why, like, oh, you can't justify Rick, why yeah, she would have sent Rick if this was planned. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we we I'm pretty sure we said it was because. Uh, it happened, and she has to and tell the other team something. Yeah. What do you she's tell the kind of, She's the kind of person yeah. who would cover up her her mistakes by saying it was intentional, and she doesn't care about yeah. these people. So yeah, that makes sense. Because obviously Blackguard was the one that sold them out. I don't know that... I don't, I don't think it was Waller and Blackguard working together or something. I think Waller was surprised. No. But she dealt with it instantly, because that's how she does everything. Oh, right. Blackguard is the traitor, right? That's That makes sense. That's... <clears throat> Yeah, so this wasn't intentional. It just went south. Because someone in the chat yep. said Waller likely knew. It's like I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure there's a that. scene where we see her concerned about it. I would need to check, but I'm. I, I got the feeling it, it was a surprise. Of sending it in after your team is already at the place that you are UAVing. Harley survives all of this, mostly due to her plot. True. Correct. Yeah. Hey, and I would like to that? highlight. Um, <clears throat> Bob Vids' response to that is that the Quarter Maltese soldiers have explicit orders to not kill her. There's no fucking way that she is no. dodging like that. No. And that no they way. they don't know you know, like the idea that they're aiming away from her is like no, th those are easily hit. There's so many. There's explosions. There's so many like all she had to do yeah. was walk in the wrong place and she's dead. I doubt that that's not exactly. that doesn't imply to me that they're taking care to avoid shooting her. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. One soldiers yeah. are the soldiers are trained to kill, they're not trained to pretend to kill. Yeah. You but, would um, have to, yeah. a lot of things would have to go perfectly for all of that to line up. It's not like you're, these guys probably don't have very great training in the first place. And to tell them in a situation like this, okay, this one that looks specifically like this, in this environment with all this gunfire and everything and potentially getting attacked by people, shoot around her. But don't actually hit her. Well, but shoot the rest all the other people. Hit. That's all you have to do. She's pretty useless anyway, aside from her RPG, obviously. <laughs> the Vickerson, the Vickerson, I don't see being sent here. Maybe he will at some point. How did Blackguard get the communication through? Uh, it's prison. Being in prison. They have calls. They can meet people. They can have visits and stuff. It's There's plenty of ways you can get communication out in, in prison. <laughs> but these guys are like known as extremely dangerous uh, super villains, basically. So. You think they'd be all completely tapped and no presumably no uh, even if you tap you can just convey messages yeah, you, in subtle ways with code words and things that people don't know yeah i'm not saying there wasn't a way to explain it it just like it, it went by completely unexplained so if you want to send something that's probably a, a, a juicier target i would say 
yeah, I, I, there's so many ways to get messages and orders out through prison, even with surveillance, that I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. After your team is already at the place that you are UAVing. Harley survives all of this, mostly due to her plot armor. Honestly, I'm not prepared to allow my brain to process this. Harley, take this one for me, will you? What the f***? What, I you, what, what, what does that mean? That's a sin? <laughs> Why is that a sin? It's oh, a, maybe he said oh, something, so it's a sin. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I'm pretty sure it was meant to be a joke. Why did I oh, watch this back in the day? What is wrong with me? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Across <laughs> sneaky team too, Batman. I am fully aware of how toxic. So, Wait, so that an event happening is he's like cinema wins. <laughs> what yeah, do we call this? Cinema uh, things, oh, this right? Where they just yeah, cinema yeah. things, yeah. <laughs> Across sneaky team too, Batman. I am fully aware of how toxic some office workplaces can be, but this movie seems to be going to extreme lengths to make sure these people are as unlikable as possible. Celebrating their winnings is gross, but I can kind of see it. But why is this guy flipping off the pictures of the deceased as well? Why, movie? Why do you? Well, I mean, you might well, sorry, just hate like all the criminals. I don't know. But also, <laughs> well, the immediate observation would be that this is a pretty cynical, like, the Suicide Squad as a concept is like a pretty cynical thing. Yeah. Um. And I can imagine that you would totally become desensitized to this, or that you would need to in order to be able to deal with the work. Well, this especially because... Yeah, and they all know they're working with convicted criminals, so they're probably like, fuck those guys, I don't care if they die. I mean, yeah, like if to if it's to be taken literally and seriously that Weasel killed 20 something children or whatever, um, yeah. I could see myself doing this pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Weasel killed 27 children. Well, I think if it was like the, they missed the point, right? This is the Suicide Squad. It is a group of criminals that have got bombs in their heads that you send on these crazy covert black ops missions. I can totally believe that they would do a gambling pool also, on these uh, people. Also, a lot of people are highlighting, and I guess I, I may have missed that. It, you could probably tell from the way the money's transferring, but he lost the bet, apparently. That's why he's angry. Yeah, so that's why he's yeah. mad. So yeah, the, there you go. There's two huge reasons that easily explain but this. I, I guess Jeremy's criticism is just, it makes him unlikable. Okay. I, Jeremy... know, makes me I can believe that they would absolutely do a pool on who's going to survive the longest if there was a suicide squad that existed and it was comprised of a fucking bipedal weasel. <laughs> but is he really trying to make us, like his argument really like, oh, people who, for their day jobs, send people out to die without, <laughs> without any recourse. Is they, are there supposed to be likable good people? I mean, that was the first thing we said. It's like they're going to be desensitized. They're going to be cynical. Like, yeah. yeah. People who co like people who have signed up for a job where they like coerce criminals into doing black ops missions by putting bombs into them. They yeah, should be a bit exactly. nicer. They should, they be, should nicer. be nicer. I, I do like the idea that these guys they organize like a morning tea before they go off on the mission. We've got brownies. Freshly cooked um, cupcakes and, you know, tea, coffee, whatever you like. Come on, let's tell me about your day. Really uh, uh, good luck on the deadly mission, by the way. <laughs> really should have, well. should have started the movie off with uh, Waller saving a deer in the forest or something. A zebra? Yeah. No, it's a zebra. zebra. Yeah, <laughs> get it fucking That's right. what I meant. Jeez. God damn it. Messed up the reference. You want me Fucking to hate idiot. these people, especially since they end up saving the day at the end of the movie. And with this bird, I, don't well, hate I, them. I think that that's actually deliberate. It's the they get pushed yeah. to their limit and they realize, man, you know what? These, these they're trying to save the world. We should help them. Yeah, exactly. Also, it would be oh, different look, if the blood. Suicide Squad was full of good people. Who yeah, are, uh, like, like I doubt yeah. that if it was the Justice League, they would do, be doing bets. On <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, no one, well, maybe they the would. Justice League in this universe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <In> this universe. <laughs> they'd be bet whether or not Superman will kill them. Yes, and they all start crying. Wonder when we get to head chopped off. And it's like, oh, <laughs> finally, <laughs> retribution. No. Oh, oh no, hate. my head is gone. The ills you committed in 1984. You guys know that Gal Gadot is playing the evil queen in the Snow White remake? Yeah. yeah. She's gotten all the jobs. She's such a fucking atrocious actress. What? <laughs> I don't get it. That's, That's mean. That's right. crazy, right? You said that was mean. I guess, I no. To look like, actually, Gal Gadot is the evil queen from Snow White. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least now that she's appropriately <laughs> playing the <laughs> evil character <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> been trying to lie to us. Because they're not dwarves anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're they, magical, they're magical creatures. Magical creatures. Uh, magical I was, creatures. <laughs> I was actually going to before this EFAP upload uh, a video on it because uh, I, I actually made two uh, on different things. But um, yeah, where are I they? was rent. 
I was rendering it, and I guess my my the drive I was rendering it to didn't have enough no. info. So I woke up and uh, thinking that the render was done, and it was like, uh, no file cur- file is just not right, so we can't do uh, this. I'm like, sucks. ah, fuck. So but definitely guess, tomorrow, though, right? On dog bites. Yeah, tom- yeah, tomorrow, and then another on Monday. I found an oh, article boy. that was really fun to talk about. It was written by a, a little person. I don't know what they're spo- I don't know what they want to be called. Dwarfs, little people, midgets. I think dwarfs, dwarfism, li- dwarfs, dwarfism, and little dwarfism people the thing, are right? the acceptable ones. Del- right? Devils, devils. Well, <laughs> well, it's called dwarfism, right? That's that's what. Yeah, yeah. Midgets, them, but it's midgets, one of midgets those... I think, is considered offensive. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to and say that. Little people. No. Yeah, but you uh, can't. You're not supposed to call. You're not supposed to be called mentally retarded people retards. Yeah, I was so I don't know if you can up. call someone with dwarfism a dwarf. I don't. I don't know what. The, I don't know in this. I don't know what. No, uh, dwarf, dwarf, is dwarf, dwarf is the dwarf is considered to be the acceptable one. Uh, well, don't, so, they don't. Yeah, what's the thing is they don't use mental retardation as a as a like diagnosis. No, anymore. now it's called something else. Uh, but I mean, now dwarfism, it's called according to exceptional Wikipedia, exceptional individual. Dwarfism is a trait of an organism. Uh, is a trait of when an organism is exceptionally small. Lives in a cave. Mines. In humans, it is sometimes defined as an adult. Uh, <laughs> height of, <laughs> it, in humans, it is sometimes defined as an adult height of less than 147 centimeters, so four foot ten inches. Um, so the average height amongst people with dwarfism is four in, uh, four feet, not four inches. That would be <laughs> that would be like, that, That's like that's like the borrowers. <laughs> Like, for example, to be to be to be set hours, so we do to be classified as someone with dwarfism, you don't actually have to have like the genetic condition, you just have to be short. Well, well so yeah. well, apparently the common and recognizable form of dwarfism comprising 70% of cases is the genetic disorder uh a chondro a chondro flight a chondroplasia, uh where our limbs are diminutive, uh, and then growth hormone deficiency is responsible for most other cases. Um well, I don't know, right? Because it, like the average height of like an even an adult female is like five foot four, right? So that's yeah, like dwarfs. a good. Well, that's above that, right? So was well, there a different male and female dwarfism height? Because that would make I sense. would assume that male dwarfs would be taller than. Height. Would would male dwarfs on average be higher than female dwarfs? I be high, have never be higher. Looked into it. I couldn't tell you. Higher, taller. <laughs> I, I guess because my brain doesn't associate like three and a half feet as tall, so I, I just and people don't realize how much of a range okay. there is in dwarfism. Like if you compare Peter Dinklage to the guy to uh, I forget his name right now currently, but the the guy who played Mini Me, uh, Peter Dinklage is literally twice his height. Like uh, there's a huge right. range. Like uh, the Mini Me guy was like two foot two or something, and uh, Peter in Dinklage the land like, of the dwarves, Peter Dinklage is king. Basically, uh-huh. he's only like five inches yes. within the five inches of the maximum height. He's um the... he's significant like uh, like, like he, he is significantly taller than a lot of other dwarves out there. Oh, yeah, I mean that's height. So, that's so it's heightism but... that got him his job. Maybe he looks down so, on other wait, dwarves. So, but so like if if, <laughs> if dwarfism describes something that exists in reality, like a dwarf is not. You know how like like a, a gnome is a is a fantasy creature. <laughs> I love gnomes, but like a, a dwarf <laughs> is not a fantasy creature. Like it's so okay. Are, yeah, calm down, people. Well, so well, I guess I'm asking like they're magical got, creatures, he, he not said fantasy that it was a, creatures. Because he said it was a backward story, right? About the idea. He of said it was a fucking caves. backward story. Well, what he, I found interesting he, was he that thinks they live in caves. So he's <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I don't remember them living in a cave. Like they, he I said they, they live in a cave. It's like no, they live in a they live in a house. They work in a cave. It's very different. Yeah, they were miners. <laughs> they were miners. They were they like they the dig 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 cave. They mine the whole day through. That's the no, song. No, you're a ca- you're a cave dwelling mystical creature. <laughs> you work in a mine. <laughs> I, I have a picture here. I'll I'll give you the picture of where they live because I have it in the video. Because <laughs> yeah. Peter Dinklage clearly doesn't fucking remember the movie that he's talking about. He thinks that the seven dwarfs lived in a cave. That's what's the This is the house. This is the dwarf cottage. Yeah, it is a house. Look at that. It's It's a nice house. It's it's a really nice idyllic cottage in the woods, and there's butterflies and a lovely river or in a stream. Uh, And what's what's interesting about this image is that it's used to contrast with the horrible, terrible, scary part of the forest that Snow White escapes from after she runs from the house. Well, sorry, now I'm thinking of like are they gonna do CGI? If they're like now magical creatures or whatever, what do you what are you willing to like? They CGI the dogs in Cruella. What if they just make them like Bosnians. little CGI characters? 
it's going to be so cringy looking but they've done it before like i remember uh, time bandits had a a full crew of uh, small people. Oh yeah, Time Bandits. Oh, I fucking yeah. love that Time was, Bandits, dude. That was a really fun time movie. Bandits. Return yeah. what you have taken from me. I need me. to re. I need to rewatch <laughs> that because I only scene... watched it when I was really young, and it's well, just, like, it was like a trip, a fever dream in my it memory. Is. So, like, so I um, need to see it again. There's um like I, I was watching that film, and the scene where like a ba like a brigade of dwarfs are running down a hallway from just a face screaming, "Return what you have taken from me." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, this the, I'm enjoying this film." <laughs> Fun fact: uh, Time Bandits was directed by Terry Gilliam. Who yeah. did the animations for Monty Python? He's also their like their main. And now writer, that explains too. all of the questions in your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he directed all the Monty Python stuff too. He was like one of their key. Weird enough, he's uh, American, but he was one of their key key uh, uh, members. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but like the the idea of like seven dwarves living in a cottage isn't un impossible. I, I'm reading a story about a an Indian family where nine out of 11 of the family members were born with, with uh, dwarfism. Um, Some in the well, water I, don't, I don't need an explanation to believe that there are a group of seven dwarves who live in the forest and work I do. in a little <laughs> fantasy world. And it's like, well, it, that's because you're bigoted, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just, do you think, it's um, just so do you think Pim's dad would appreciate being called a magical creature? You can call me a magical <laughs> creature as much as you want. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't understand, like, I don't understand from what he said what his criticism is. I um, think his criticism he thinks is that his... something to do with uh, the fact that they're doing, like, different casting choices for the film. Uh, that, like, the lead is Latina. Well, yeah, and, and so Peter, he thinks that Peter this so contributes was... to people looking at dwarves as, like, lesser than human or weirder than human rather than human. Yeah, like you were saying, it was kind of like half assed representation or something. Yeah. That it's he like, thinks got that the depiction of dwarves in the 37 in the film is, like, horrifically negative when it just fucking Even though they're, isn't. like, the good guys. <laughs> they are the good guys. They, they are um, not wasn't perfect, a part of, um, virtuous, and they have and hobbies and personalities and they talk to each other and they live productive well, sleepy. lives. Wasn't sleepy? Like, um, sleepy? I don't know if it hero. was him that said this, but I, I've just, the, the, co the quote has come back to me. It was like, um, like all the dwarves roll, all the dwarf roles you can get are um, comic relief, <clears throat> fantasy creature, or dr like drunk asshole. And he's like tired of being typecast or whatever. Um, what's, yeah, didn't I he guess, get his fame guess, playing a character in Game of Thrones? Who, well, that's true, but like... Who's a drunk? Well, I, I, mean, guess, I, I still I, imagine that that is predominantly true of dwarf roles, right? Um, but a lot of them are going to be comic that. really. But I guess um, the thing is, is like when we're talking dwarfs about... Are funny. When you're, well, I, but when we're, when we're talking about like adapting a, a story that was written, like... How old is Snow White? That was like... That 18, was one of, that was one 12. Of, yeah, so it's one of the, those ones. So it's like 200 years old. The film is nearly 100... Dude, the film is nearly a hundred years old. Like, it's getting there. It's almost old. there. Hey, um, just to, hey, it, I'll do you one here, Fringy. Even though the original story was from 1812, the sort of the version that Disney kind of used, I think, as a blueprint or a template, was a play that was done in 1912. Man. So in a way, the story is essentially over a hundred. By the years way, old. I pulled up like the film because now. I, I, I want to rewatch Snow White. I would the love Seven to rewatch oh, Snow White. Like, it's, it's such a gorgeous movie, and it was like the first. That movie is so important. Like it, it feels like we often don't talk about how important that film is. Yeah, imagine like a full color uh, Disney spectacular two D animation, almost a hundred years old. That's insane. Ah, damn. Well, yeah. That's you know what else? Was... You know what else is important? Is the first Disney live action remake. Uh huh. What's Very important first? film. I think Cinderella Cinderella or Scott, whatever. Though. Which one was the first film? Whichever, yeah. whichever one it fucking was. It was. Was it the Jungle Book, right? Or was that the first one? No, Cinderella was before before that. Yeah, I think it might 101 have been 101 Dalmatians? The live action 90s one? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to call, if you want to count that, I, I, if you, I consider it like a previous gen. Yeah, I know you, you're splitting them into eras, yeah. which makes sense. But yeah, I guess that I mean they've probably even done um, ones before that uh, Dalmatians. Then, if you want to count all live ac live action adaptations, I assume this is true. By the way, it's just really funny. Star of Ted Two, Tom Brady is retired from the NFL after twenty two seasons. <laughs> the star of Ted Two. That's what he's mostly known for. He's, known for. <laughs> he's most Tom Brady is mostly known for his starring role in Ted Two. Wow, that reminds me of. 
It reminds me of the uh, of what the, the disgusting film tweet of like oh. Home Alone two star Donald Trump is kicked <laughs> off Twitter. Oh, and what I was the one that said like four star Anthony Hopkins? It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I think that oh, one was no. legit though. Like the, 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 these ones, I think are, are tongue in cheek. Like someone's linked one where they right. said. Uh, Parks and Rec star Joe Biden has been cast as president of the United <laughs> States. <laughs> wow. He will replace Home Alone 2 lost in New York. You think star Joe Donald Biden Trump. currently you, I, I can believe that Joe Biden currently believes that he's on like some crazy movie set. Kind of like uh I can believe what, myself. Remember that remember that trend in like the mid-2000s where uh, all these kids in the White House movies? I forget I forget half of them, but they're like was oh. Corey in the house that uh yeah what was, there you go. that was the one yeah there was a ton What's of that, what it was called I I, I vaguely I remember think Corey it. in the house yeah I think it was the name yeah. of the show it was one of those it was in the era of all that in like that's so Raven yeah it was that what that happened period. to her what happened whatever happened Didn't to they Raven? Do a reboot of that show that was like they did a follow up show that had her in it. Was it is it On that Plus? so Raven? So Raven Simone played Raven Baxter. I guess they. I guess they yeah, really a lot of shows do that though. Raven, where it's like like, uh, oh my god, I can't believe I'm blanking. Two I type in her men. name and click news. What happens? Um, four weeks ago, uh, Twitter reacts to Raven Simone being robbed for minor mistake on Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, let's see what happens. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Sunday's Celebrity Wheel of Fortune starring celebrity contestant Raven Simone had the internet reacting to her attempt at the missing or, or attempt at the missing 70s song lyrics to the Bee Gees staying alive staying alive but unfortunately she lost out due to a minor mistake in her answer which the show does um you have to be very explicit with your answers in that show um oh i got to do that disable ad blocker thing fuck let me just reload and scroll before the ad pops up works every time mm. let's see the show's latest episode uh, saw host Pat Sajak warn the actress to be real careful before guessing the presented puzzle. He was also adamant about not influencing her decision to take a shot at the answer or to spin again. Unable to decipher what he was suggesting, the singer and actress decided to continue spinning to avoid getting the answer wrong. A lot of tension here, Sajak said. Um... The Ravens' home star was confident in her answer to the song lyrics on the board, but incorrectly guessed. Uh, but incorrectly guessed, ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Sajax told her that he couldn't accept the answer, which left her in shock. As she placed her head on the podium in disappointment, Raven, Simone, who had been donating her clothes to Goodwill since her teenage years, was playing to donate her winnings to Goodwill of Southern California. Um, so let's see what the answer was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, e Bless you, uh, you were. Oh, OK, so here it is. You were going ah, 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 instead of right. ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. That's it. That's why I was urging you yeah, to be fair. careful. Mm -hmm. Sajak said I did my best to help out, Raven. I'm sorry it didn't work out. This is in line with stuff I've seen in the show before. They are, but you have to be very explicit in Wheel accuracy of Fortune. Accuracy is important. We're not going to teach the children of the world that they can just get away with any mistakes, okay? And this is a very important yeah, song culturally. So yes. It, yeah. But yeah, th this seems to be in line with Pat Sajak in the past where he is, uh, or he, I'm sure there's compilations on YouTube of people misremembering things or getting a word wrong or pronounce, uh, pronunciating things incorrectly. And so it doesn't count because this is a game about getting correct answers. What? Um, That's possible. Some people in chat are saying it's unfair. You, you guys are wrong. Okay, it's very important that we get these. Things I can't right. wait to see what Twitter has to say about her being wrong. Huh. In fact, she should have been punished, possibly jail. I'm not sure. I'm I'm sure it's probably a hate crime. Hmm. Absolutely. I love hate crimes. Me too. Favorite favorite kind of crime. Crime. Yeah. Say that. Jay and I are two of spirit. Do you guys do you want to appreciate the map of Wombotown or Tawan? <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. check it out. Map of Wumbo Town, Tawan by Happy Nihilist. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got the wine. Um, mm-hmm. Volun- <clears throat> Volunteer Fire Company. They make fire. <laughs> we make fire. All right. The Resourceful <laughs> Whammon's Homemade Asteroid Defense. Then we have the Delirium Cafe. Looks nice. We keep going past Fireworks Pizza. And then up past Shoes Cup and Cork. <laughs> okay. And you make it to Trungos. Look at that icon for Trungos. It's now like it's like a, a dead thing. It's a dead <laughs> stomach. Oh, no. Dead stomach. It won't kill your stomach if you come it's to Trungos. Cup and, cup and Cork. Is that like a pun on <clears throat> Captain Quark? Captain Quark? Is that... No, I don't think so. But I think it seems to be a shoe with a cork in it, and also a cup. Yeah, it's shoes, cup, and cork. So the shoe has a cup, and it also has a cork. Yeah, I mean, I understand that, but what is the what is the joke? What is the point of it being? There? Maybe the joke is that you would assume that if you had to put a cork in a shoe, you would use the hole that was designed for foot entry, but instead. They have taken Maybe. an alternate strategy of simply placing the cork precariously perched on top of the shoe's um, toe section, and you can even see it leaning in the image. That's 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 what we call tension. That's suspense. I just call it art. The whole thing, gorgeous. This reminds me. This reminds me like speaking of cork. Did you guys know that Salah Adin Yusuf Ibn Ayyub the first of <laughs> Crusade no. fame? Did you know? That he, on his uh, expeditions and such, going about the deserts of the Holy Land, uh, he would have this massive wagon that was just feet thick, of that was made of cork, so that he could have ice with him that was gathered from the mountains and stuff. And they, they'd fill the wa- this massive cork wagon up with ice so that he could have ice, even in the heat of the desert. All right. Mard. Pretty cool, bro. Anyway, this I was going to give another fun fact earlier. I feel that was an appropriate time. We we said he said avicide before. All cinemasins did. It's from the Latin word for bird, which is avis. How very exciting! Okay, that's Epic. where we get that avian from. Yeah, I hate these people. An aviary. especially since they end up saving the day at the end of the movie. And with this bird vengeance, I present to you the only thing that comes close to a fully realized story arc. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> mm. I don't even know how to take this. I'm like. I, uh, is it a joke I, again? I guess he thinks. I guess Cinema Sins Man can watch the, the Suicide Squad, and I suppose just not notice the movie. Yeah, this is like High Top when he watches Spider Man. <laughs> well, because <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, the, there's a shit ton of arc arc philisms happening in this movie. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Some so of them, I, like Polka Dots, was ex. Explicit. I mean, look at look at blood sports. The movie ends with him stroking a rat. Like, hmm. There's hmm. so many to choose from. Did you just genuinely not notice the film? I don't know. I I, I don't it's know how to deal. Question. This is one where someone, if someone in chat was like, "It's obviously a joke," I'd be like, "What's the joke? <laughs> What's the <laughs> joke?" It's like yeah. someone saying there's no characters in Lord of the Rings, and you're just like, wait, wait, "That's so funny." What? And then you, you double check to see because your mind instantly goes to, oh, I must have misheard that claim. That can't be something that anyone would possibly ever say. Let's reread that. Because it must have been an error on my part. I'd say Surely. like, maybe he just is so unobservant that he has to have a literal person smash a bird and a bird then eat his head later. <laughs> but at the same time, like... <laughs> the subtle <laughs> visuals, yes. But like the other payoffs are extremely visual, like like Muller just said, the petting the rat at the end. That's extremely visual. Pay, that's an extremely visual payoff. So I remember, he didn't like rats. Remember? No, I don't remember, remember that. Remember? Is he the only guy cleaning this entire prison? <laughs> Kids. No. Oh, what? Uh, sorry, that went he's so waiting. fast. What, what, what happened? Pro- yeah, he's probably not the only person cleaning the entire Is prison. The, this it's a. I just don't get it. Is he the only guy cleaning this person? Like, probably not. Next. Why not? We're just, he's just, an, he's important for the development of the events in the film, and he's an important central character, so we're going to follow him for just a bit. And he's cleaning if that's the okay, prison If currently. that's okay with you, Cinema Sins, I guess. He's probably got a we'll section pull. to do. 
you know, whole section. Like section no, the whole thing, maybe, whole maybe, thing, Baller, top to well, bottom, left you know, to right, the, every the, day. The, the point is that he's the only guy in frame. We see him doing a lot of the cleaning, and maybe that's too much for one man. Well, then Are the you... film's broken. There's also the thing that, like, if you tend to do something well, people tend to pick you to do it because they want it done well. Um, there's also fun fact to all you people at entry level job positions: be careful to sh uh, when you show your power level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Use that selectively. <laughs> I only use twenty seven percent of my power. I've um, barely begun to understand how the computer system works. I mean, there's uh, so many explanations for this. He could do this. Could be his turn to clean this whole area. Maybe it rotates. Uh, yeah. Maybe other people have different duties. We don't see him mop. I don't think so. Maybe somebody else does that. Prisons also, have different sections as well. Yeah, and also just from a character's uh, standpoint, we see this is a great visual representation to show that A, he's obviously a prisoner, but B, it looks like he's trying to reform. And that makes him a bit different from some of these other, other people that we see. So, I mean, it, it is his job, but it, he looks like he's trying to do better. Do better. I just don't know do why we have better. to see more people cleaning in the frame. I'm fine with it being just him. That's okay. Yeah. No, we need why more people just cleaning in the frames. Phones? Oh, I'm sorry. Such Only an idiot's clearly a joke. Entire prison? <laughs> Kids. No. Parents. <laughs> Kids. God. Stop it. What, what is this? That's very funny. I don't uh, get the workshop them. Just workshop the jokes. Spend a little bit more time thinking about them. This is hilarious. No, he has to make a video. I'm going to make like two videos a week, Fringy. I was gonna this say. is Did very I make funny. Two videos a week? Why are you not laughing? Did I make two videos a week, actually? I think so, yeah. Well, if, uh, if, you're, if your only job is to be scripting it, like he's got a team, I feel like you could do better. Feel like you could do better. <laughs> do better? <laughs> Sit him, shit. Yeah. God damn it, who am I supposed to be rooting for in this damn movie? I don't only care that you got caught. I care that you got caught for stealing something as stupid as a f***ing TV watch! He does other things too! <laughs> <laughs> good. He did find it funny. That oh, was fake laugh, okay. though. Okay. That was definitely yeah, a fake the, laugh. The fake laugh line is famous for laugh. being shit. You gotta gotta work on your fake laughs, guys. He hasn't right? worked on it for this long, so why start now? It's a really it's why a now, really uh... valuable thing when you do the the YouTube and the video stuff. A fake laugh. I'm gonna give everyone listening to this some important advice for video production, right? Liar. Record record yourself at all times, twenty four seven, and I'll <laughs> tell you why. That means whenever you do have a genuine laugh, yeah, it is recorded. It. Yeah, and then you can use that later. So you don't have to fake a laugh. You can just put the genuine laugh whenever you need to appear like you're laughing genuinely. And boom, is it a lie? Eh, it's a gray area. Don't worry about it. You got your laugh. Move on. Well, get it's a, like, okay, so I, I put laughs in my videos sometimes. Lying. I don't feel that, like, I don't feel that people, when they think about it, are genuinely going to think that I was really finding it, like, funny to to in in this scripted thing that i'd already seen that i was genuinely laughing in response to something like that right i don't well, know I mean, sometimes i do of, find like sometimes sometimes i do like find i was about to say like, like readings funny and yeah it, can, it could be to make it work yeah just because it's scripted mean? doesn't mean that you didn't find it funny in that moment and at least part or all well, like, of the some, sometimes, well, sometimes i do find stuff funny in the moment but like um I, 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 I guess what I'm trying to say is I think there are moments where it would be clear that it has to be a fake laugh for it to work in the script. Like, if it's something where, like, the script would, like, what you can see is a script that would call for me to laugh for it to work, then I think you can probably tell, right? You probably guess. Yeah, like, the, you're not on the microphone. I don't know. At the, at the time, you realize that that was really, really hilarious. Because... So, like, it's to do with the specific way that you make videos, Jay, that I'm not sure sometimes. It could be that you had, like, a portion of the video that's going to play, and then your response includes your rebuttal, but then when you play that clip, you laugh before explaining the rebuttal. And no, I'm not realizing, like, some of, my, some of my clips do have a lot of, like, there are a lot of genuine laughs in my videos, um, especially because I just like to, um, I find that a really good way to um, build up to do actually just to do my narration is to just speak while smiling. Uh, and that just, you know, that lends itself, as soon as you start doing that, you feel, you get in a laughing mood when you're talking about something you enjoy, you're enjoying talking about, and there is something funny, and you're already smiling. It can it can flow real quick. But I'm talking about the kind of thing where it is, like, 
what Jeremy did there, where he just the whole point uh-huh. is that he just laughs out of the blue at a joke to demonstrate that it's funny. Like I'm pretty sure people are going to be able to tell that kind of thing is a fake laugh. You could still do better. You I should laugh like... better, Senator. Yep, and you don't need to. I mean, you probably want to have a few different laugh tracks, and maybe do a different one every once in a while, or mix them yeah, up. Yeah, um... you're doing when you're doing this many videos, people aren't going to notice if you use a laugh you did last year. They're try not the, really going to um, notice. Try the Jared Leto like one, a, right? Uh, uh, uh. Well, instead of, oh instead he, of um, laughing, remember, it's like a door opening. In the cinema sins, the cinema sins did a video on the Suicide Squad trailer and called that like the best joke of laugh of all time. I think yeah. oh, it was certainly me. very complimentary about it. Oh, oh, fuck me. Uh-huh. Fucking, I, funny. I'll take the Heath Ledger spoken laugh. The ha ha ho ho. Oh yeah, I would, I would take <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything Heath Ledger over that. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe that's uh, not fair. Yeah, not even in the same league. But uh, speaking of reusing old clips, did any of you uh, catch the uh, YMS live stream uh, clip from when he discovered that the uh, Lion King remake reused uh, audio tracks from the United States? Yes, I did. I did see that one. Isn't that I did not nuts? see that? Yeah, he actually found that that uh, some of uh, Mufasa's lines were actually pulled from the '90s version. Oh wow! Like, wow. The actual recordings, yeah, isn't it insane? Yeah, because that old man just sounds like he's just done. Let him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he just let him enjoy his final moments. I don't want to instead of <laughs> trapping him in a studio and making him say yes, making him say <laughs> ah. Ah. What the fuck uh, are they going to do in uh, the Kenobi show? Is he voicing Vader or is it going to be Hayden Christensen with a filter? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, indeed. God. Yeah. God. Disney's already got him. They're going to they're gonna milk him for every sweet word they while really he still probably draws breath. should, I guess, because he's, he's... I don't even know if he's long for doing voice acting, you know? <laughs> like, he'd probably be like, no, I'm all right. After hearing his lines in The Lion King, I he just doesn't... He's... You can hear it in um, in Rogue One. You can you can hear it's like old Vader rather than Vader. Yeah, I mean it's hard to keep up with the same exact voice for after like. Well, yeah, course. yeah. Oh, um, your voice your voice just ages like your face. It's unavoidable, really. Yeah. What if you Ming No Wen? Shut up. She's twenty five. Always. She's twenty five. She's lying to the world. <laughs> She's lying gonna kill his kid and so begins the apparent redemption of the most f-ed up office team since no they, they, killing a child is different from killing weasel the child yeah. killer <laughs> this is different uh, we still don't know the context in which he killed those children Mahler. true 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 Thunder are you trying to cancel weasel Mahler? no I, I, yeah Mahler. i literally like it's sponsored by weasel okay you kill a few dozen kids and all of a sudden no cancel you had to do <laughs> <laughs> 2005. But why are Waller's tactics so shocking to him? He's been here long enough to be betting on which Z-list DC character- I suppose he just never thought she would kill a child, and this was the first yeah. time that it called for that as an option. Yeah, I can't imagine that really comes up often. No. <laughs> like how, many, how often do you think it's a tactical advantage to kill a child? I think I mean, that most of the that Suicide often. Squad members will often agree to this, because they'll probably well, be confident about kids. their- uh, Operation or whatever, but it seemed like Bloodsport had a bit of a knowledge of the Suicide Squad's missions, and that's why he was like, fuck that, I ain't doing that. And so she used his daughter. There you go. ...character dies or survives each mission, but the fact that Waller would use a child to blackmail an inmate onto the team is somehow shocking to him? She's f***ing playing the hits right now! You- well, to be fair as well, in the scene, they question if she's serious. They're not 100% sure, but they're very worried that she is. Which says something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Having a laugh. What? You just said each member of the team is chosen for their unique abilities. He does exactly what I do. I'm gonna pause for copyright. You never know. That's what would be dead. Would be... Would be bad. Wait, Bloodsport would be Deadshot at Cinema Sins. No a joke about how he's better. similar to Deadshot. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Except he has a. He's like Deadshot if he had a character. Deadshot at Cinema Sins. Does Ratcatcher 2 keep her orange juice at room temperature? And why does Ratcatcher... Is that orange they don't juice? Have a... I can't even see what it is. But they don't have a fridge in their cell, I, I believe. Yeah, so what other choice does she have? <laughs> it's I, mean, like, I it's guess like, oh, it could last yeah. for a while. Even then, it's like, okay, so we've just entered this room, and yeah, she has some orange juice, so like, the sin is she has a drink. 
<laughs> How long be, does it take for like, orange juice to go bad? How long does it take for you to drink a little bottle of orange juice? I have Probably no. Like, I've never thought about this before. <laughs> I, guess. I don't know. It could so be something like, I have like, some like I, I I have some juice in my room right now. Jeremy came in and was like, "Wow, you keep your juice at room temperature?" Well, like, no, like you I got freak. it from the fridge. Freak! I don't. <laughs> you don't keep. You don't put it back in the fridge, fridge between you know? drinks. Walk in between your fridge every time that you want to drink something, or I guess that would be fun. I can, fridge. I can imagine imagine Jay doing that. He he gets up, walks over to the fridge, opens it, grabs the orange juice, closes the fridge, walks back to the desk, sits down, opens it up, takes a drink, closes the lid. I just have a um, stands just back up. Really no, 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 we're not done yet, Jay. We're not done. Yet. We're never gonna. We're never Please gonna finish. Him, Jay. Do it. Jay Jay, Jay stands up from his desk after he We're gets his drink. He walks shots. over to the fridge, opens the fridge, places the orange juice Sorry. inside, and then closes just the fridge you. again. And then he walks back to his desk. We really At this point, he decides he wants another drink. So he stands have, back up once more and turns around, and he goes to the, to the fridge, fridge opens the door to yeah, the fridge, I figured that would be the grabs the orange juice idea, bottle, like, and then he closes the fridge again, turns around, walks back to the desk where his computer is. Difficult, And then... No, I'm really down. good at suction. He opens up the lid would. of the orange juice and then takes it. Might be difficult drink. for a lesser person. Awesome he though. then closes the no. lid of the orange Maybe juice. Maybe better to keep like a slide system. And then he stands up, turning around, and then he returns the to the refrigerator. Slide system. Oh, yeah, like, like, um, and then he places the juice back like into the refrigerator and then closes the door of the refrigerator. Yeah, like the orange juice just slides down the back to the desk. And then he sits down. back to the fridge? And he's satisfied. I guess it doesn't say cool then as well. Maybe if the slide was refrigerated. You know who keeps their uh, if their orange <laughs> yeah. juice. Yeah. You know who idea. keeps their orange juice nice and nice and cool is Trungos. Who? Trungos. Trungos. Be nice. Well, I mean, we already yeah. knew that. You no want, room temperature room orange temperature juice there. Juice. Yeah, that's that's just not. Yeah. Unless you specifically requested room temperature orange Actually, juice, but even then, they wouldn't give it to you. They just spit at you. Like, do oh, you no. think it says something about a person if they got like a fridge just to put it next to their computer so that they can have all of their cold beverages right on hand? Yes. Like, well, I guess it's. Would you judge someone harshly for that? Oh, or would I'm, you be I'm, like, I'm, you know what? That's or, just savvy. Um, I, I think it really depends on, like, I don't know. It depends. Depends on stuff. What does it depend on? <clears throat> Wait, for doing what? I think it depends. Do, do I... I think it depends on if they are otherwise getting like good exercise and stuff. Because like if they're a so, fit and healthy so it person, is, it on how healthy you are. I, I actually, me. I actually, I, I don't know. I think if they are a highly sedentary person who is looking for a, a way to move even less, I feel like that's that's what if a, they are fat but they have a bunch of like salads in there. No, no Red Bull, no Coke. It, no, just not in their nose in their mini fridge next to their desk. Hmm. You answered that so genuinely. Fun. Yeah, I'm just saying. Brings an honest person. He's not lying to you. Hey guys, I've got a really, really good explanation for this whole orange juice debate, right? Mm -hmm. Orange drink doesn't need to be refrigerated. Oh my god, you've blown the case uh, open. That's cheating. <laughs> you need to keep your go in a fridge near the PC. You've you opened know, the, the lid. in the dungeon. Um. I, I guess, but maybe for the future, that's a good. We point, have dungeon actually. refrigeration, you, right? Yes. You in a dungeon, good old dungeon fridge. I do. I do a lot of my scientific lab work in in the dungeon. Yes, it's it's good to have specific places to do different, you know, jobs. Right? You don't want to mix and match. You don't, you know, you don't yeah. put your desk in your bedroom. Don't shit what you eat. That sort of thing. You have a separate room for that. <laughs> What's that? A dungeon does have somewhat negative connotation. Well, I don't know whose fault that is. Um, I'm just saying it does. I, I'm not yours. Agreeing or disagreeing <laughs> with you. A goo well, dungeon uh, just when I hear the words goo dungeon. I I not, like the words goo, goo dungeon, dungeon, I'll be honest. It, is, it's, it it's sounds not like a goo dungeon. Place. It is it is it is a dungeon in which I work on the goo. Um and other things. It's it's not a it's not a goo dungeon exclusively. Dungeon. Isn't dungeon very I neutral? I feel like dungeon is I mean, neutral. in and of itself, a dungeon is is really just a space. Right, but there's I don't think these biases that you come into it with, Rags, mm -hmm. because of whatever biases you have against dungeons that you no, have I, examined. I don't think I have to have a bias to recognize that a word has connotation. No, I'm saying that the connotations that you think it has are a product of your own biases and not reflective of everybody's perspectives. Well, I'm not uh, saying everybody. 
everybody thinks a certain way, but I think it's accurate to say that dungeon has a negative connotation associated. I, no, with it. no, Look, uh, no, not again. if you're a gimp. <laughs> the, the definition literally means underground prison, so of course it has a negative. Oh, negative. prisons are somehow negative now. Is that yeah. actually the definition of a dungeon? Kind of narrow mind. Yes, underground yes, prison. underground prison. Yep, that's what dungeon means. What? What are the? So what, Rapunzel what are... wasn't kept up. So she couldn't have been kept in a dungeon. That's no, because I never, I've never heard that referred tower. to as a dungeon. I thought, I thought that she was, was in like a tower. Of... Yeah, it was yeah, called a tower. That's what I'm saying, but I think I've heard it referred to as that. But even though it was high up, it was like a tall well, tower. Those people never, are wrong. I never heard of it. They are. I. They are clearly because a dungeon is an underground prison. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it is. That's the definite. Okay. Then I guess uh, it probably would best be described as my underground laboratory in that case. Because because Dungeons and Dragons, right, when that was established by Gary Gygax and everyone back in the 70s, I think it was 74 or something like that, the dungeon, it was more of a dungeon crawler, which means you went into so dungeons. So it's a prison cell crawler. So I, I don't so think... So Shawshank Redemption is a dungeon crawler. Well, I don't think that <laughs> they were necessarily prisons that were you went into. It was more no, to no, describe the kind ground. of facility ground. you went into. Yeah. It is above ground, yeah. Um, huh. Yeah, I mean, it, I, you, you can probably blame D and D for kind of fantasizing the dungeon into being just any uh, underground, any underground, generally right. stony, yeah. small rooms with small hallways, kind of. So um, honestly, like D and D, kind of almost brought more of a positivity to dungeons because dungeons used to be where you sent your worst enemies to die basically under the castle. And now, now it's just a place full of horrible monsters. Some some yeah. of the chat has said something that was my immediate thought. So I was thinking of uh like if I had a goo lab, that my immediate thought is it sounds a lot like gulag, you know, but if you're an American and <laughs> be gulag, like a goo lab. Um, but that it, it, I assure you that any any connection that you would draw there would be your own tenuous fault. at best. You know, Honestly, at fault. Best, yes. Yeah, well, as, a, as a gamer a myself, interpretation of reality. <laughs> lag already has negative connotations because I'm a gamer, so I'm fine calling right. it a gulag. Well, I'm just saying it's a gulab and a gulag. They're not the same. A gulab? Right? Do you work a in a gulab well, or a gulab? We, well, we don't call them laboratories. Um, Speak for yourself. That's not what they're called here. That's you, true. I, I, I've never, I have many friends and none of them are labradors. Uh, yeah, it's not called Newfoundland and Labrador. You're right. Is it called Labrador? Or am I am I mixing up? No, it, it is Labrador, right? Yeah, New, Labrador. Newfound, Newfoundland Labs. and Labrador. It's a. I like the idea. It's the Newfoundland, and there was just a Labrador standing there, like "Hello," and What's they up? called it Newfoundland <laughs> and Labrador. Important that we mention that part. I mean. Well, I mean, it's important, the etymology of uh, an obscure Canadian province, you know? <clears throat> it's a lot more creative than Northwest Territory, I will say. Yeah, the naming department, they were a bit, they must have been under budget that quarter. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure what the Northwest um, Territory is not even the most Western Territory. I think it's... Uh, that makes it more the, creative, the really. How to lie? Well, it, <laughs> that it, that yeah. it's just not true. Or, uh, I mean, Northwest yeah, I Territory would be a West. really creative name if it was in the Southeast. <laughs> yeah, it would. Um, that would be. But alas, it's not what it's called. Uh, that's not where it is, actually. Anyway, uh, the Suicide Squad. What? Orange Seriously, juice. how did we get here? How did we fucking get <laughs> here? Orange, orange juice. juice. Orange juice. Is orange juice. juice. That oh, was obviously. it. Right, yeah. of course. These orange are the tangents you pay for with the, the Northwest Territory. <laughs> 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 Got here through way of orange juice. Does Ratcatcher 2 keep her orange juice at room temperature? And why does Ratcatcher 2 have a hamster ball? A rat won't even Because you can put thing. rats in it. Apparently rats won't fit in it, but well, couldn't you? I mean, rat, you rats come in a lot of sizes. Yeah, oh, rat, rats. A little mouse in there. I guess a right. mouse and a rat aren't technically the same thing. Well, yeah, maybe you should cut a bigger a hole rat in of unusual it. Size. Maybe it's a custom one for rats. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's for baby rats. Rats and baby rats could run in there. Yeah, that's true. Maybe she has a fucking hamster. <laughs> maybe she I, does I, have I, a hamster. This would be like right? this level of commentary is so frustrating. <laughs> like, why? It's also yeah, it's uninformed like... because rats are notoriously able to crawl into tiny spot uh, places. Uh, put two your fingers together. Uh, anything with a gap of that size 
or larger a rat can fit through. I've put two of my fingers together and there's no gap there because they're together. <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think what he might Checkmate. be referring to is the width of your two fingers together. Yeah, width, width of your two fingers. Uh, However, right. that is very funny, Jay. Thank you. Maybe yeah. he's referring to the tiny little, tiny little bitty, <laughs> little teeny, little teensy beansy so, little space that might be between like the base of your fingers. Maybe a rat can like liquefy and oh. slug itself through there. Slug. Rat. <laughs> That's Googled. the onomatopoeia that I invented for the moment. I googled can a rat fit in a hamster bowl and it said when you put your pet rat inside of an exercise ball their sense of direction will be limited which can be dangerous. But the fucking my phone has decided it wants to answer the question too. Shut up. <laughs> Do not listen to the computer Mahler. I am going to help you. The real answer. The phone just like oh I know I know I know. Just like, shut up phone. It's like oh. Aw. So it, I'm just it, helping. It ends with saying, uh, yeah. the sense of direction will be limited, which can be dangerous for a small pet. And then it says, additional question, are hamster and rats the same? Uh, <laughs> just, well, what's the answer? Uh, <laughs> we need to know. Perish the Actually, thought. What, we don't have time to do that. No, what ads, please, what answer does it give? Uh, I don't know. Well, let me have a look. Ah, uh, yeah. Now I'm curious. I'm just trying to find it in the article, I guess. Uh, this is going to be a long one. Are hamster it? and rats the same? <laughs> the answer is, hamsters are indeed rodents, along with other popular pets such as gerbils, guinea pigs, mice, so, and rats. That, that is not a real answer. It's like saying <laughs> yeah, rats and a lion the same. Well, they're both mammals. It's like, yeah. Well, they're both chordates. It's, it's very funny. It's, it's such a shitty fucking point to make in this little article. This is, this is literally oh, it. Well, elephants and palm trees. <laughs> that is so short. Are you hamster and rats same? <laughs> it's just not. It's it's it's. What's amazing is that this is a two-letter answer, and instead their answer is that long, and it doesn't even answer <laughs> the incorrect. question. Yeah. <laughs> Which it is better, a rat or a hamster? Hamsters versus rats. The conclusion, some would argue, that rats are much better pets as they are more intelligent, clean, and love to interact with their owner, but also much less likely to bite than hamsters. Hamster lovers would Thanks. remind you. That hamsters are kept alone in much smaller cages, so are cheaper to look after. Well, that's a good answer if it's about yeah, pets. Are John sure Cena and Hitler are, uh... the same? Well, you know, they're both white. <laughs> they're both vertebrates. <laughs> I'm pretty sure hamsters are not allowed in Australia. You can get guinea pigs, but you can't get hamsters because they're not a native species. Yeah, that's it, it. It, look, I didn't realize this was here. Would you, you, can you put a rat in a hamster ball? Hamster balls are recommended by the manufacturers for use with hamsters, gerbils, mice, degus, degus, I don't know, degus, I, I've never seen that word before, and small degus. rats only. Uh, they should not be used for chinchillas or guinea pigs as their size and body structure are different from small rodents, posing a serious hazard to them if placed inside. So small rats can indeed use a hamster ball. Get BTFO'd, Cinema Sins. Research! Hamster do balls it. Definitive a research. Well, no, if you put a rat doing the research a rat wouldn't ball. help him get more views, right? Because, like, as a random viewer of this video, you don't know that a, a, a rat can't fit in a hamster I ball, I think everyone probably. knew that. Everybody I think a rat should be ashamed of itself if it can't fit inside of a hamster <laughs> ball. Can you fit inside a hamster ball, Rags? Me? Feel shame. How big is Feel a hamster shame. ball? If it's dog sized, yes, I can. <laughs> if it's not, then no, I cannot. Because well, there's only not... one size of dog. Correct. Well, there's one size of me. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Anyway, uh, oh, the answer that. is rats can go into hamster balls. Mm -hmm. Turn them into rat balls. Get wrecked in the sense. Why would you do your big mission presentation in such a way that the deep reefer shadow blocks part of the presentation image? Because she's walking around. Shut the fuck up. She's walking Fine. around and they all have papers. Each all one the important of them parts can be seen because they're front and center. So, like, this is just how projectors work. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They have clipboards. Each one of them has clipboards with info. And if it's, if it's really important that they see the whole image, then she can move out of the way. <sighs> Sorry, what a... What a... Uh. It's like, um, my school, you know, used projectors, um, and... Many did. Yeah, so, and the teachers, you know, they could stand some in front of them sometimes, and then there'd be a shadow on it. Movie Insane. ruined. Insane. My Jay, life has a plot hole in it. Jay, whenever you were a child and you were in school and the teacher was like telling you something that you didn't like, did you say you're just projecting? Yes. 
I remember I remember someone nice on Twitter calling me a projector and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> because he takes some of the money projects. from the prison's giant American flag fund and put it into better projector setup. The projector setup's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Yeah. Country has been ruled with an iron fist. Hey, that's a Marvel property. Don't you need permission to use him? You're Wait, what? what? I get it. What? I get it. It's Iron funny. Fist is a Marvel character, so yeah. Funny. That's the mission is to infiltrate Jotunheim. Of all the names and all the collective I history know. of humanity, why did the writers pick Jotunheim? It's as if they Probably thought, hmm, everyone cool. loves those Thor movies. Everyone loves those Thor movies, so we'll go with yeah, Jotunheim. We'll what? Go with Jotunheim. <sighs> Man. Okay. <laughs> Jotunheim <laughs> means the realm of giants. Seems suitable. Seems pretty suitable indeed. I love his assumption. This fucking Thor was so influential that they're just stealing names from it. Like, <laughs> what? Huh? That's it. Everyone who saw this movie when they heard Jotunheim thought, oh, "I need to go see Thor again." Do I have a Disney Plus membership? Jotunheim. And that's, that's like what, Thor, and that's what yes. Warner Brothers wanted. That's what you. That's what Warner Brothers wanted. Why'd they hire <laughs> Peter Capaldi? Are they obsessed with Doctor Who? Is that it? To be fair, Peter Capaldi is pretty great. He is pretty great. Maybe we could steal some goodwill via osmosis. That is an overhead. He, does he honestly believe that? Someone would be like, oh, it's a joke. He'd be like, okay. <laughs> steal some goodwill via osmosis. He doesn't but, have hmm, honest beliefs. Loves those Thor movies. Maybe we could steal some goodwill via osmosis. That is an overhead projector. Do you ever use it anymore? No, not really. So why don't you just throw it away? Ratcatcher 2 would be- God, all of these fools would rule at CinemaSins. No, they wouldn't. They'd do way better. I suppose maybe they would. Well, they would rule at CinemaSins then. Maybe they would. Well, they would rule at CinemaSins, but he's terrible at being himself. <laughs> that's, so that's the conclusion, they would be yeah. Better, I guess. What well, I want to know they... from this image of them like sitting in the chair, let me pull it back just a little bit. Do you ever use it anymore? I'll no, explain not really. what exactly I mean so here. Why don't you just throw it away? Right, I want to know what is what is King Shark's like his sitting arrangement right now? Oh, like, right, because of the uh, he's those lifted the arm up. He's... Assuming Does he like it? No, 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 no. You can't lift the arm up. The, the, it's the lecture chairs that have the yeah, uh, the little the swinging things yeah, that you put as a desk. It. So he he broke it. He would have had to have taken them out. Yeah, just sat and destroyed them. <laughs> I can believe like that. Fully that believe that he sat down and destroyed the chairs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can absolutely believe that he did that. But if he destroyed, was he? You know, was he just sitting on the floor? Like he broke the armrest and just fell to the floor. Maybe. Those things are pretty know. secure, I imagine. Those things are bolted to the- He ripped the off ground. the armrest and sat on the seats. It's fine. Yeah, like he ripped them- I just want to see that scene where he goes up to them and rips them <laughs> he off. He tries to sit down away. and he just- Yeah. Do he I settle could. this in my crack or do I just like, what What do I do? What's, yeah, what's like he I just looks here? at it silently for a couple of seconds, just thinking about what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he sits where like kids in the theater sit. Where they have the chair, it's still folded up, but they sit on it like that because it's Maybe. taller for them. Oh. And then at one point they go wee, and then they just kind of like slide down in it, and the yeah, 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 no, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, we, we're, we're, Fringy and I are fun havers. Mm -hmm. We know all about. His butt that. looks too low for that. His butt is too low for that, so maybe that's what he did, and when he fell down, it broke the arms. I don't know. I need an explanation. Someone tweet to James Gunn and ask him <laughs> how... These are uh, the important questions about the Suicide Squad that we need to know. Did he I break the armrest? Uh... What's going on? What's going on? Who would be God? Oh, oh certainly they would have really had cool. to think about it, right, when they were when they did the CGI. Like, did they get there and they're like, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Don't think about it. It's off screen kind of things. Or like, mm -hmm. just don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't think about it. But anyway, let's, let's, let's press on. You know what I did? I think liberty is just your excuse to do whatever you want. America. You. Well, wait, wait. Uh, fuck off. No. Okay. no. <laughs> fuck off. Just fuck off. All right, no. <laughs> fuck off. The German, the German guy is the most upset. <laughs> like, so fucking stupid. Fuck. I'm the only one fit to carry my traveling. Oh, fine. It's cool when the British guy says it, but when I. Oh, no. Br British oh, guy? No. Was he on the javelin team? 
British guy. He's not British. He's not British. Is that a joke? Is that another one of them jokes? Okay. <laughs> So let's listen so to the whole thing and figure groups. out the joke. I said the exact same thing in college, it somehow meant I was being a creepy jerk. Beating a dead corpse. The titty monkey is something. But when I said the exact same- One fit to carry my traveling. Oh, fine. It's cool when the British guy says it, but when I said the exact same- No, I don't see how that's a part of the joke. Um, maybe it's- Maybe if he continues to do it throughout the episode, then maybe it's like- in. Or maybe Has he's he just done consistently it wrong, which would be more no. in character. Because he hadn't done it well, before. Well, said, said stupid wrong things, yes. Well, so this is the thing, chat. We were actually at the point where he says something so stupid <sighs> that we can't tell if it's on purpose or not anymore. Yeah. Like, because it's so it's stupid, stupid, like... It's not the kind of thing that you get wrong on purpose to be funny. So yeah, he I said British, but he's actually German. <laughs> Got him! Nice. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> and this is a two-parter, too, because we have the Javelin College thing. So you get the Wombo combo of just... I mean, so I just checked to make sure the, the actor Jumbo is Wombo. German, too. So he can't be referencing, you know, the actor being from Britain or something. Is, or, is, or is it this simple that he doesn't understand? He, he mistook it for a British accent. I was going to say, could the, could the simplest explanation be he misunderstood the accent? I think that's yeah. probably what happened. I think that's what happened legitimately. Yeah. I don't think... I, I have think a so. sneaking suspicion I'm... he didn't go back and double-check his commentary to see if it was accurate. Or alternatively, I'm... it's like, oh, this is British, it's not American. Well, so someone said he did, he did Texas, now British. But Texas can make some sense in that it's an American state. Yeah. Te Texas was was very clearly like... Uh, there was a, I don't think this is the same thing. For that. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go one step further and say that the researcher slash writers uh, completely messed up, and he didn't even watch this movie, and he just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I, I I I mean, when you think about it, think about the pipeline here. He he probably pays people to watch the movie, come up with material, write a script, uh, apparently proofread it and double check facts. Which no, I'm he doesn't pay them to do that. <laughs> and then and then he's given he's given the script, he signs off on it. And then he says the words. He doesn't have to watch any of this stuff. He might see the final cut and say, okay, fine. He may not have even seen this movie. I'm, I mean, when you think about it, it's just his job. Even so. from the clip in the video, I can tell he's German. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's, that's the crazy part is that the editor would have been able to tell at least. But Do you think he watches Smiling Friends and is like, oh, yeah, I love the big yellow guy and his British friend? <laughs> but, but here but here's the thing maybe the re researchers got it messed up the writers got it messed up and it Stop got all the it, it got, researchers it, yeah I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I say that with the loosest loosest term possible but by the time it got to the editor he's like wait this guy's german uh who cares i just i'm gonna collect my paycheck because because by that time uh jeremy had already voiced it so when you think about it that that's that's pretty plausible that just the the low paid. There are some people in chat who are saying it's a joke. It's a sex joke. It's like guys, well, yeah, we're we not talking that. about the joke. Yeah, the, the sex Catch the God. fuck up, seriously. What? How? <laughs> we're not talking about what? It's also a shit joke. Yeah, I don't we're care about the that. joke. The joke is crap. I'm talking about the fact that he thinks the German guy is British. It's very funny. Yeah, I found that very offensive. You by are, the way, you were the only that. one fit to carry my javelin. Oh, that could, that's like dick. Penis. Javelin um, <laughs> is, I guess, because the javelin is open. long and Cock. sort of cylindrical. Cock. And that's vaguely the shape of a penis. Cock. It, yeah, it's it's it is pokey shaped, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like if you could sum up the javelinist character in one word, it would be foreign slash. Mm -hmm guy who has spear <laughs> but foreign as in not, not even not even you know uk us but foreign as in european like the the rest of europe you know what i mean like i i didn't immediately isolate that he was german but i could tell that he was some sort of language like that you tell he's not fucking british he's definitely not british definitely not british no. somehow meant i was being a creepy jerk <clears throat> he's eating a dead corpse the titty monkey is sometimes called as opposed to a live corpse is it meant to just be applying words of beating a dead horse? Is that I guess, I think, yeah. I think that's the joke as far as it goes. It's, yeah, but unfortunately it. the joke is breached because a corpse is dead. So, mm. like, the wordplay doesn't really follow. Mm, I got nothing for you, yeah. It's just, it's just crap. Um, now he's doing Titty Monkey, because <laughs> Titty Monkey, Titty. 
African Americans with right. a fondness for breasts are vocal social creatures. Why? Know. What's the why? A, by ignorant Americans with a fondness for breasts. It's a look. Mm -hmm. If you call mm -hmm. something a titty monkey, people are going to call it the titty monkey because that's funny. Yeah. Well, it's the same as Uranus, right? Everybody <laughs> yeah. else is that, nice. Right? <laughs> Woo! Uh, hey, you guys, <laughs> hey, hey, you guys, you guys want to go swimming in Lake Titicaca? Oh, 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 titties. <laughs> That's titties and caca. Oh, Lake Titicaca. <laughs> that is a, that is a funny name. In my admittedly dated experience. Anyway, I, I think I need to hop out here. Unfortunately, I'm not that I'm not having fun. I, I much stayed as long as, as I We're can. Fun with Titi Kaka. Are you a yeah. tired? Is that it? I am a tired. Um, you know, in particular, more that I've stayed up today several hours longer than I have stayed up in a, a long time, or at least the past couple of weeks. I don't see so, how that's my problem. Mm -hmm. It'll be your problem when it's your fucking stream that I'm on. No. Anyway, I'm going to hop out so all right but bumbo everyone it's yeah. been Let's good fun it. being on here nice, yeah nice kicking time thanks Kick. for coming uh, have uh -huh. fun bye nice, nice bye. fucking bye. toodaloo bye all right experience of slumber parties i always found it was a good idea to expel one's polka dots before settling in for bed especially in mixed company well you, you got woken up by it being uh, just bad Heavily dated experience of slumber parties. I always found it was a good. So I guess this is like an attempt to make this a relatable experience that we have to expel our polka dots when I'm it isn't really. I'm assuming his point is do. probably should have done this before trying to go to sleep. Well, yeah. It wasn't like that before he slept. Though. Well, it's the thing, and he doesn't like doing it. So when he does it, when it's getting close to capping out, mm. yeah. is this a masturbation joke? Oh yeah, that too, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a mess. Oh, I, oh, thought it was just, I, I thought even, it was just for peeing. Yeah, I didn't even connect the dots there. Oh, 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 no. I, saw oh. It. I got that one, though. Good job. Okay, let's talk about this sequence of events oh. here. Polka gets overflowing and goes into the woods for a colorgasm, but that wakes Bloodsport. Then, separate from all that, King Shark just happens at that moment to be trying to eat rat- Well, what if, what if King Shark was woken up by the polka dots as well? Wouldn't that just explain it? No. Yeah, he's like, oh, yay, food. Yeah, seems simple <clears throat> enough. Catch her too, but her rat Sebastian is able to signal Bloodsport just in time. And besides, yeah, that means that the rat would have woken up Bloodsport anyway. Yeah. So, it all works. Phew! That is a couple loads of bull. I know, friends. Same to Nawe. Same. Oh. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. Good. <laughs> all right, calm <laughs> down. <laughs> so, is, the, is this. I, want is, to I, I, I just friends. want to. I, I just want to know if this is going to be a plus on a sin counter or a minus on a sin counter. No, it'll be a plus. <laughs> the cinema sins it'll doesn't. Be, it'll be a plus. Yeah. If I die, yeah, it's a plus. <laughs> yeah, me, there it is. It will be worthy then. Uh. But you'll never know one way or the other because you'll be dead. Would it not be less risky to just take turns taking watch instead? You know. Just uh, in case sorry. Count. Oh, sorry. I mean to pause, but I think I'm. This might be evidence of my theory. It, it's Nanawi, isn't it? Nanawi. The Nanawi is what they say. No, the Nanawi. In the in the film, it's Nanawe. Yeah, Nanawe. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just check in the pronunciation. Well, wow, have you seen the film? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit. shit! Big nerd. Big nerd. All right, it's fine. Jaw's stomach is bigger than his heart. Oh my god! I'm... I mean, well, I mean, they're still gonna keep an eye on him, but like, yeah, she's saying, "I'm gonna take a risk on being your friend because yeah, that's who she, catch that's her is. who she is." Mm -hmm. And you're like, "Nah, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's who she is." <laughs> Good at my job. <laughs> I found him. Seems more like maybe if Cinema Sins took more risks on being people's friends, he'd have friends. Okay, well, let's see, because there's potential for a criticism here. Watch instead, you know, just in case Discount Jaw's stomach is bigger than his heart. Oh my god, I'm good at my job. <laughs> I found him. Seems more like the computer found him or the satellite. You were literally leaning back drinking soda, so I don't know how. Well, it's they something that he would have had running, right? right? Yeah. That that is hilarious to me. That if you do something on your computer, it's like when well, the computer did it. Well, really. yeah. <laughs> when the computer finishes rendering my video, I'm like, my video's done. I I'm fucking it. rule. No, it's like, it. well, yeah, it doesn't really fun. count, does it? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a really weird. You were criticism. literally leaning back drinking a soda mola, so oh, I don't know shit. how you did anything. True. You lost one sin to your life. If anything, you should one be paying the computer.
how you did anything. How? How? How are these two chuckle f still standing around? Is it just a success? I just like that he didn't even talk about the thing that that should have popped up way earlier, anyways, because of the yeah. Whole... The, this this whole scene, everybody's hearing it goes as far as about half a meter. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I don't mean this. I mean the one with the radar, because I think we talked about this in our coverage. That what? Why didn't the this? Why, why, why was the signal around the whole time? Like there was no reason for it to not be around. Yeah, yeah, it's not quite clear how they're in and out of detection for some reason. Yeah. Like, Rick Flagg goes in and out of detection. As if blood sporting and peacekeeping was happening mere feet behind them. Oh, God damn, this movie is funny. And these assholes, okay. too. Sweet well, galloping I, plot conveniences. I don't believe you believe. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm just so convinced. Set the difficulty on this mission to off. <laughs> Man, this guy's got lungs. I haven't seen someone blow this hard since Jamarcus Russell. This all mm. I don't know I don't, who's, I don't who's know who Jamarcus yeah, Russell is. So. Hold on. Let's let's Google Jamarcus. I don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, you know what, actually? That's a good point. <laughs> He's a football quarterback. So the oh, first result is... Not how, be very good. Yeah, uh, the first result is how bad was Jamarcus Russell actually? Uh, one of NFL's biggest all-time busts. Recent history of NFL players going broke, but that's all NFL players at this point. Um, Jamari Blank, uh, Financial Doomsday, Raider Blowout Bronco. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I maybe uh, pick a more relatable reference that if you want to get people to yeah, I, I, understand your jokes. Well, maybe you yeah. would no, know. I, if you I, were a I actually, person. I don't, I don't know that I would actually even advocate that you can't do obscure references as jokes. Yeah, I mean, I you it, well, it's just a sacrifice that a lot of people would get what you're saying. Yeah, sure, but I, I guess I'm just do, saying that I don't think fun. there's anything wrong with it. It can be really yeah, fun. Yeah, I agree. You don't want to do something kind of overdone because then people were not going to laugh at that because they've already heard it a million times. But finding the right middle ground between somewhat obscure, not not overdone, and but still something. Nah, I, you around. know, what? I actually, I, I would say that I'm kind of indifferent to like how obscure it is. Uh, it could be incredibly obscure, and that might be really funny. Like if you if if you know that people are going to look it up to try and figure it out, and then they find something really funny that it all just clicks. I guess so. I think you can do that. Well, like, like if, I, wonder um, if he, humor, I wonder if it'd be even more funny if he was like, I haven't seen someone blow this hard since Google Jamarcus Russell. And that was <laughs> like part like of a statement. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd actually, I'd like, yeah, you're onto something there, Rags, because I think, I like, more uh, it, yeah, 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 like it, Jamarcus Russell, you Google it, people, something like that. Like, so I, I'd be okay with that because if you know that not, uh, imagine you said, like, who, this has a better menu than Trungo's. People be like, oh, "Fuck!" <laughs> and then you look it up, and you're like, "Oh my god, Trungo's is an actual re what?" <laughs> like, Trungo mm. does have a their min. Oh my goodness, look at this menu. They have uh, shit. What was it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <Okay>. All right. <laughs> All right. Soul Tower is polka dotted down to the ground, and no one inside the special hut where Flag is hears it. What? Well, none of the screams. The uh, head, you know, well, yeah, this, it's, it's a bizarre yeah. scene. Yeah, it's for that. Yeah, but it's funny. It is funny. Is it you not alert me of your arrival? Why does Radio Shack ask for your phone number when you buy batteries? What? Yeah. I don't understand. Again, it... he helps out rags. <laughs> Radio Shack. I don't really even know anything about that. Radio Shack. Um, yeah, it's just an electronics boutique that went out of business. <clears throat> uh, Radio Shack. Ask for your phone number when you buy batteries. So I guess the parallel reasons. here is why are you asking questions that don't have an easy answer? But that's a but she's <laughs> asking a very good question. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, taking any question uh, and responding with, "Well, why does the Earth revolve around the sun?" <laughs> um, it's like completely nonsensical, uh, non sequitur uh, retort. I guess I don't know. I'd make a deal with oh, the that's devil it. to stop them. People who say this are really underestimating the devil. Trust me. But That's I'm your commentary gonna... on this? <laughs> What's the joke? What is What's wrong joke? with you? Do you so I guess the implication is that CinemaSins has underestimated the devil? Is that a very, very deep reference? I don't, I don't, I don't know. understand. So he... say this are really underestimating the devil, trust me. Trust you. How would you, you know? Trust CinemaSins. <laughs> is that the joke? You shouldn't underestimate the devil. The devil? 
Is that the joke that CinemaSins made a deal with? I mean, they have like sort of devil iconography with CinemaSins, don't they? Maybe he's referring to his wine ad. Oh, nice. Well, that was a deal with with the the devil devil where he's bound forever to promote it. He's worked with the devil. Maybe. (laughs) I'm uh, surprised. I don't. Yeah, I this I, this I, is very much the thing, right, with Cinema Sins is that when you slow it down and like you you know you think about like every individual point as opposed to just letting it play through and then you sort of gl- well, your brain glazes over that was said before, <laughs> you start to wonder what points are being made well, ever, yeah, at all. Once you realize much Cinema of the components, like ninety percent of the components are absolute ass. It's like what was that video? It's like it was ass. It was ass. It's it's like he uh, has to do nothing but back to back zingers, and but most of them completely fail. But he's hoping that enough will will work so that there'll be like a a rhythm of zingers to keep people. You're like shotgunning jokes. Mm-hmm. Over yeah, and over yeah. Again in the hopes that go. some of them are gonna land. And it's it's almost like the when you're in like season twenty five of SNL, where they're reusing the same jokes every week. Kind of, it's got to be really tired. I mean, it's tired to watch for sure, but like he's using the same exact jokes he used five years ago when I used to watch him. So, Doctor, who was that? Project. That's Doctor Who. I don't think you can make a joke <laughs> after you've already addressed him being in it. This is like the when the first time you reference the character, you say Doctor Who is that because it's the mm-hmm. first time you're seeing them. I don't think you can reference them and show them in the film and comment on them and then say Doctor Who is that. I'm inclined to agree. Also, yes. EFAP is so bad at recognizing jokes. Like, yeah, it's like, let me stop you there. We recognize <laughs> well, that these are jokes. They are horribly bad. No, no, Mahler, this is good. This is good. This is just what we need, because this person clearly does understand jokes. So whenever we have a question about what the joke is, now we have someone we can go to, and All they right. can explain to us what the joke is. Ceiling fan enthusiast, it's on you to explain these fucking jokes to us if ever we get confused. Help us yeah, out. Yeah, because... Our I, our humor is we don't we don't in just, fact we just don't, let's we don't start get it. right now. What the hell did he mean when he said people underestimate the devil? Trust me. What's the joke? Yes, let us know what the joke Ceiling is. Ceiling fan enthusiast, please explain to me what the hilarious <laughs> joke is here. Because we can only speculate with our yeah. limited joke knowledge. Our humor I swear levels to God, are. If he says oh. like, well, because the devil, you know. It's, it's, <laughs> Someone's like, you're making chat look bad. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn on a comedic level very much, but I think I actually had a better joke on the your guys' original live stream for Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. When uh, when the thinker came up, I uh, I think I posted a picture of, um, I forget his name right now, but that, that actor is Doctor Who, right next to that actor is the thinker. And I did uh, on one side Doctor Who, on the other side Doctor What the fuck, and it's just like it was a. I thought that was a better uh, a, a better joke than at least better joke than what Cinema Sense did. I think that's a better joke too. I have to pee. I thought I filled the gap. Remember to do that before you go to sleep. All right. Top tips with uh, Cinema okay. Twins. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if he's going to pee, I'm also going to go to pee. I well. figure that that's. Time for me to. So uh, right, it. it's potty parade. Our, our timeline's looking great. Uh, he said, "My point was that you were bad at realizing when he's joking, not under not understanding what the joke means. So yeah, we but, don't understand but, what this joke means. Yeah. So we that's not helpful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, of course, this is this is something, right? Like, it has to be a joke because it's not really a point at the film." Like, there was no observation here about the film itself, so it has to be a joke. Like, yeah, but what is it? Because someone always says, is this a joke? I'm not kidding around. Is this a joke? Yeah, unfortunately, this is, like, the big problem that you run into with, like, cinema sins is because sometimes it's like, well, it's satire. Like, I, I don't know what... What am I meant to be taking seriously and what am I supposed to not be taking seriously? Like you say, like, oh, you just don't even get jokes. It's like, what is the joke? I feel like the thing of, of you know, when, you, when you're, like, watching a story and there's clearly a theme that's being gone for, but we don't really acknowledge it. We just start trying to talk about, like, the mechanics of it. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, this is the theme. It's like, yes, yeah, we, we're past that point. But what is it? Like, uh, what exactly are we doing here? 
I guess it's, it's right. got to be a reference to the CinemaSins brand, but he never ever talks about any sort of like hell, Satan, devil stuff in any of his other videos from what I recall. Uh, this is, you, you have to kind of, I think, set that that recurring joke if you're ever going to do something like this. If this is indeed a joke about sins, the devil, whatever, like as if he has some sort of connection to the devil because he does cinema sins, I don't know. It just, it doesn't, it pretty, it falls pretty flat, I think. Yeah, what I'm getting from chat for the most part is he's previously made a deal with the devil is the implication of the statement, I guess. That's all we got. Yeah. Okay. That's so... <laughs> is that it? Like, all right. That goes for a joke these days. You're right, I can't recognize it. Someone said, like, they're just so low tier, they don't even register. It's like, yeah, basically. <laughs> the Jokomatic 3000 just can't detect these things. It's like the Richter scale for jokes, the Jokter scale. Mm -hmm. just doesn't... It's too low. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm back. Cross me. That's... Doctor, who oh, was hi. that? Project Starfish. And the hot dog flavor water? Oh, Limp Biscuit. I get it. Nice. Is that lyrics? Project that's Starfish? That, that's their and... album. Chocolate Starfish and the hot dog flavored water, I think it was. Okay. Sweet. Oh, that's unpleasant. Baby Mario Kart racing D bags are cold! That's all of the ists. Put this on. Mario. She is completely tied up. How the fuck is she supposed to change clothes? Forget oh, that. Correct. Good mm. job. Yeah. I guess, also, I guess they would have untied her afterward. The, the scene ends, so. Yeah, I get. I don't. It's weird. They leave her in this dirty hole, all tied up, and they throw a dress and a bag to her and tell her to put it on. And like, you wonder what happens after the scene ends. Like, yeah. what what occurs? I'm guessing they get one guy to go down there. Wait, hold on. Let me go down and actually cut you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. We can think sorry. this through. Sorry. <laughs> the scene's over. We, we the, the dramatic effect has been achieved. Do you think we need to get her out of the dirty hole? No, no, I like to watch her dress mm. in dirty. Mm -hmm. I like it when the queen. And that suspiciously large amount of smoke coming from that guy in the corner cigar. Also, we'll that is apologize. about as much smoke as a cigar makes. I, I mean, don't... yeah, they make a lot of smoke. So. Yeah, they're they're smoky. That's also. I mean, it's in the light with the light beams coming through it. It probably just makes it seem more apparent than it would in a dark room. It's also a cinematic trick for atmospheric haze. It creates a lot of depth between the the subject and the background. So <laughs> <probably right. laughs> well, whatever. We're just talking about how he's smoky. <laughs> smoky, smoky man. Passing for something you have complete control over. Seriously, Luna. Clear Fun fact, by the way, if you are a cigarette manufacturer and instead of like a paper to wrap your cigarette in, if you rack it, wrap it in tobacco, it is technically a cigar and not warrant to the taxes. Apply oh to cigarettes. So. Mm. Forget my appearance, Senorita Queen. And that's suspicious. EFAB171 commenting on a dude commenting on a movie. EFAB has no content. Oh, I mean, this is yeah, episode one. Is... We've done this over a hundred times before. This is sort of our shtick. <laughs> so I think, I... Yeah, I was going to say, it's, we're probably up to 200 or something with the amount of videos we've covered. But Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite streams was when you, when you uh, covered like somebody covering Hassan covering somebody covering <laughs> Hassan or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it can get intense sometimes. <laughs> large amount of smoke coming from that guy in the corner cigar. Also, apologizing for something you have complete control over. Seriously, Luna clearly arranged for all these people to be here for Harley's arrival. And now he's acting as if his anaconda don't want none and wasn't thusly prepared. Yeah, so he's, um, he's doing this on purpose and then he says, sorry, you know, I didn't mean for you to see all this this way. It's like, yeah, he's orchestrated that way. Because he wants yeah. to marry you. It's in the movie. I didn't no. get that from a novel. I swear. Not the novelized version of the suicide. I thought you read that. No, this is in the movie. He's like, ah, oh, Holly Quinn, you're, you're, you're a doll. Let's marry. So yeah, he he did. He was he was he was not telling the truth there. He actually did this oh. on purpose. Yeah. Oh, I see. The that would explain a lot of mm. a lot of the details seem to line up now. All right. The evil dictator doesn't tell the truth all the time. Yeah, well. If the previous regime was at least not directly offensive to the American government, but this new regime the U.S. hates, how is there a turkey on this table? Does the South American island of Corto Maltese have native you goddamn turkeys? You think you get turkey? turkeys from America? Thus, just America? Wait, where, where, where else do turkeys come from? I, I, I don't know why we can't just assume we had a turkey. I don't fucking know. I mean, you know, turkeys, I think while they're native to North America, they could probably live in a variety of places. And uh, plus, well, I don't think the U.S. Mexico, has an issue. 
Belize, Guatemala, yeah, lots of places. I've just yeah, I'm, I'm sure that even if he had to get a United mm. States turkey, if they're the best turkeys for whatever reason, which they probably are, um, <clears throat> uh, I'm sure that no company would have an issue just like sending a turkey over. I don't know why he could oh, just have. I got his own. Yeah, there's probably turkeys in Corte Maltese that they have. Well, I mean, you yeah, can get they're, turkeys they're, here. Uh, you big know, like, you why are we them? talking about this? Like, <laughs> just they're, just, they're, just, they're just I don't know. I think for some reason, when he said that, my immediate thought is, "Wait, hold on, where the turkeys come from?" And then it's like, well, "Wait a minute, <laughs> where did down. chickens come from? Not Australia, but we got chickens here." <laughs> also, <laughs> like uh, once you once you can freeze something, you know, getting anything to any part of the world is is pretty trivial. Also, here's another layer. Uh, maybe he set this whole American style cuisine up. To help woo her. I mean, if he planned this whole thing out, I see Americans easily... love the turkeys. They do. Yeah. They do. I mean, literally, we eat one every year. Magnum Maui's. Greedy fuckers. Because <laughs> I don't damn think they do. But also, I choose to believe Harley chomping down on a turkey leg is a direct reference to Flag voraciously biting a chicken leg in Suicide Squad. I don't even well, rem remember that, but all right. I don't remember that one either. <laughs> Okay, but um, I don't think I don't, it's I'm a not... reference. I think oh, so that's, that's a sin. People... Yes, oh, of course. Oh, okay, I guess it's. Why bad. do you have unsins? If wouldn't that be a good just, thing? I don't know. It just needs to be movie things. God damn it! Is this all the same Points. day? I think this is all the same day. Is this all the same day? You can cool, go so... on a balcony and then go into an aviary in the same day. That's actually say, not like, impressive. If you think about it, literally, yeah. they had a meal, then they walked outside, maybe had a chat, and then he showed her his birds. Why wouldn't that happen in the? Couldn't that happen in the same day? I guess is the question. I don't know. That's... Yeah. Yeah. How far away? Is it? Yeah. It's this is not v actually very impressive at all. It's it seems like totally normal. Mundane. <laughs> it's, it's all, to, it's all in the yeah, same it's building like... as well, as far as I'm concerned. So. Basically, yeah. yeah. Does know. Jeremy live in like a? Uh... Persona world where you can only do one activity Persona per world. Uh, quarter of the day, like one activity for afternoon, one that, activity that must be it. evening. Yeah, maybe. How did it. you get from that hole into the ground into this aviary in the same day? I'm just <laughs> waiting for him to ask whether time is linear in this. It's like, yeah. Are you a witch? <laughs> you, are you, a, you are a witch. This is why, people. This is why I'm always going on about overcandling, leaving your pistol unsheathed during coitus. That's. Why? Pistol I don't know. Sheathed. I tried to ignore it. <laughs> so I guess he's like, you didn't use protection. You're using your pistol unsheathed during coitus. Um, I guess that's what he's trying to say. You know what? We don't have to speculate. We have an expert in chat who could tell us exactly what he means. <laughs> I think you've already <laughs> nailed it. And again, it just didn't register on the joke o -matic. The joke dar, the hum humor dar. I was, like, I was arguing for the joke dar, like Richter scale, joke scale. I like the hum dar. I don't know why. You <laughs> just sounds like it might be real. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fun. like five thousand condom Jeez. joke. I guess. All right. Came here seeking asylum after World War Two. I swear, if you counted up the total number of leftover Nazi scientists that are out and about doing sketchy sh in every movie and TV show since nineteen forty-five. You wouldn't be able to go to a fucking Walmart without bumping into one of those bastards reverse engineering Twinkies to travel back in time to poison church and No, no, they wouldn't be a Walmart. They they didn't go to America, except for the ones that did and got us to the moon. That's a different story. But the, most of them, went, they just didn't go to... They went hiding. They said they wouldn't be in a Walmart. Well, he's saying that if they're so widespread, that you'd stumble on them in Walmart. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, if you get every movie in existence, apparently... As if, I mean, yeah, if all those well, yeah, you, you can say the same for plot point too commonly. There's a lot of movies, so obviously it's gonna be like that. You can say the same I mean, for all kinds of yeah. enemies in, in and it's gonna fiction. be a, a a ding for this, even though he's talking about all the movies. Yeah, <laughs> but this movie gets this in. It's like what? Like, e evil scientist is a really useful trope <laughs> to put in your story, and I can't think of any more famous evil scientists than the Nazi ones. So it's kind of obvious that people would use that as a yep. common reference point. But I mean, he's just pointing that out, and that's fun. Okay. It's, yeah. The fun. It's fun. Way. Yeah, it's sort of fun. Hello, Netflix. What the actual... What, 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 huh? I don't understand. I'm not sure. Was that the end of that joke? Virtual. 
sweet. Oh, he's saying that his little, like, thing oh, about poisoning oh, Churchill oh, could end up being yeah, a yeah. thing on Netflix. I get it. Hello, okay. Netflix? What the um, actual f is this movie's issue with birds? Uh, Did a rogue macaw sh on James Gunn's lunch? What is it? I suppose, um, that's similar to our, our criticism was just burning a whole Killing bunch of birds, how evil of you. Yeah. Yeah. No point. Like, why you don't want to keep these birds? Like, it's they're nice. Well, it's just there's no reason to do it. Just let them go. It's yeah, so yeah. It's just, we need to show to that do. this guy is evil too. He'll burn all the birds. Uh, the yeah, that's a pretty big dick move. I, I guess he's mm -hmm. evil. It's, yep. It's an interdimensional virus. Oh. They're closing the boxes for all of you. So <laughs> you I mean, I, mean I, I guess I agree in the sense that I have no idea what that means, but. Yeah. It's, special, it's a special virus. Mm -hmm. Blend in. Lady, none of these people are blending in because of clothing. This is just an excuse to put them in silly outfits, and while I can appreciate the humor, I still have to sit it. I think they could certainly blend in much oh. better without the uh, costumes. Or the armor or the weaponry, having it so that it's just yeah. normal clothes is... Yeah, so I don't know. I think All if right. these people... You might remember seeing them if you were told to recall, did you see these specific people, but I don't think you'd really bat much of an eye if you were walking down the streets of Corto Maltese City and you just saw Rat Catcher in normal clothes. Mm -hmm. you, wouldn't even, you wouldn't think twice about it. Damn. Damn? You nailed it? Your golf hole simulator is a drinking glass. It's bound to act strangely. I guess you wanted to keep it in? Yeah, so... You wanted to hit it with the correct amount of strength to where it... Lands in the cup. That seems to be a goal, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The military must have put signal jammers around the city. Your comms are down, but we could still activate the bombs. Convenient brain-blasting bombs that ignore signal jammers because the plot needs them to are extremely... We don't know if it's real or not. We yeah, don't we, know we, lying. we can't know if she's lying about that, and they can't know that either. So it's they obviously the do the safe move by assuming yeah. that they yeah. still work. I, I don't... I've, I've only seen this movie once, and it was when it came out, and I remember yeah. this. I, I don't know. So it's, it's just a little weird? Just a little weird. Well, you wouldn't need to have seen the movie to even say what you just said. I suppose well, you're true. I, I gave myself. I guess it was, it's okay. just he's assuming that every character is telling the 100 percent truth. Yeah, there's no reason to. Well, how is she communicating with them? She's doing it over like a CP radio. Or well, whatever, so this right? is the part of the film where it's it's a spotchy, blot, blotchy. What word am I looking for? Spotty, I guess. Um, she's coming through and leaving. She says like, if if uh, it blanks out completely, we can still blow you up. Is basically what she says. Okay. I wonder if there's a skin for Left 4 Dead that turns Bill. You know, see where I'm going? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The f is this not dangerous? <laughs> Shark is giving the finger to the rules. He's in plain sight. Why are you... I mean, a little bit. A little bit. You're not gonna, like, it's still... Even if you saw that quickly drive past, what are you gonna think? You'd do a double take and you'd look back yeah. and you'd assume that wasn't actually a shark. A in shark. The it's a little <laughs> fight, yeah. Truck, probably. Yeah. Now, if someone came up to you minutes later and said, did you see, this will sound strange, but did you see a shark in the back of that blue van that came down the road here a few minutes ago? And you'd say, you know what? Now that you mention it, I did, but I assumed I was seeing things. Mm -hmm. The figure to the rules. He's in plain sight. Why are you so afraid of rats? The plague, mostly. We leave the the plague is because of the fleas. Yeah, the rats get all the blame. Yeah. It's not fair. It's rats are skip. great. Oh. What? Oh. Wow. Wait, oh. what happened? Okay. All right. He's, he's, oh. That's probably the most offensive part the of the video the now. Rules. He's in plain sight. Oh. Why are you so afraid of rats? The plague, mostly. We leave the homeless in the streets of... Skip! Still considering wow. the rats... What? Are what? He's Man. skipped oh. his story. Wow. Okay, well... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> That's your choice, I suppose. No, it's just funny if you if you pair that with there are no ox in this film. Yeah. I guess yeah. You skip them all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I can fault the state here. You have already used the rats as a weapon in the last couple of days, so why the tears? You remind me of my daughter. F you, dude. You made it clear in the earlier scene that you barely knew your daughter. Barely knew her. Wait. But you wouldn't have to know anything specific about a current day-to-day -day life to know his daughter. like, Or to yeah. be reminded of her. Or to be reminded of her, yeah. What a strange comment. <laughs> I don't know anything about Bob Vids, but he reminded me of Tonald's voice, and I don't really know either of them much. One more than the other, but that's not how that, that works. Yeah, like, 
that's just not how reminding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can also like I, I could I could see something that's like, huh, that reminds me of somebody I saw on the street two weeks ago. Like literally, it does, you don't have to know anything about something to be reminded of it. <laughs> yeah. This person I saw that one time reminds me of this other person I saw that one time. Huh. John Cena dancing. Why is that, that is that a I, I can't uh, I, so yeah. genuinely right. You remove the sound of the sin. I wouldn't know if he's saying that's a fun, cool thing or a cringe, bad thing. Bad, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, and with it's the sin, I'm like, oh, so it's a bad thing then. It's like, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's difficult to say. This is one of the most disturbing scenes ever filmed. Like, will YouTube's content filter even let us post this? Is this suitable for advertisers? I've got a great one. Is this a joke? Cause I think it was a joke. Laugh. Yeah. All right. Thing I said to my college girl, remote controlled or not, this is still just one f***ing rat. How was it able to knock this guy down and resist being launched into next week's Ratatouille? Yep, I felt like there should have been definitely yeah, more than yeah, one. Dumb. Yeah, it should have been more than one rat because... There should have been more than a, one god, too. Yeah, a, a, when it, when it, on a, in a 1v1 fight, a rat will not beat a human. Probably and not, a, no. In a 1v50 fight, the odds are starting to even out a little bit. No. Yes, these guys are assassin guys. Borderline superhero issue with abilities, but they can still die in a horrible rollover crash. And yet they intentionally kill the driver, then when the passenger takes over driving, they take him out too. It is Peacemaker specifically that does that. Um, though I still think that's kind of dumb on Peacemaker's part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this needs to be... We, we could definitely refine this plot part, uh, really a lot of them, of the movie. <clears throat> but yeah, could definitely... Yeah. If you have it be the driver and the passenger both pull guns to try and shoot them then they shoot them it's just like well that's reason enough i suppose but the uh, peacemaker kills him when he's literally trying to level out the car it's like you should you probably have investment in him driving it but yeah yeah it's fair enough Ooh, yeah, I guess. what the sh you're torturing harley quinn they all seem to know who she was by name but if they're tasering her to get her to talk they don't know sh about harley quinn what do they know about Harley well, I mean, Quinn exactly? Why not? World? What does that even what does that even really mean? You can't taser someone to torture someone if why would Does she have a reputation where she's just immune to torture or pain? I was going to say I, I don't I was almost going to respond to the point as though it's true but then I was like wait, Harley Quinn's representation like rep reputation is that of you can't torture her for information. Well, and even if it was, they would crazy. still do it. Well, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, you're right. If 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 someone said that's just true about her, it's like, yeah, well, she hasn't met me. I'd expect any everyone to say that. Hard. Yeah. Didn't we see uh, Harley Quinn get like kind of tortured and brainwashed in the original Suicide Squad though, by a Joker? So well, yeah, you, well, he like fucked her. up her whole head. I don't know if that's evidence that see you won't get information out of her. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, that's a really strange point to make. I figure that even if they were told explicitly by very trusted sources, you'll never get information out of her that they would try. This is absolutely making her day. Don't leave one of her own. I don't think it was. She was like in a lot Why of agony. Why would she not escape that she escaped? So clearly she wanted to do something else. Behind. Yes, you f***ing do. That's the whole point of the damn team. Or else it would be called the Leave No Person Behind Squall. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I don't... Man. Let's just... Let's just... Let's just <laughs> let's just move right along. Playing emoji uh, charades at work. Also emoji charades. I mean, if you're gonna be strangled okay. again, okay. much has been made about how Margot right. Robbie apparently did this using your foot to unlock the chain scene herself, which is admittedly cool as f but it's I'd give cool, all but... the sins back if she got that key into the I, lock. Only really? <laughs> I think it's cool. Yeah. You don't think that that's impressive. I didn't say that. What did you say? You just don't think it's cool. I just, I just didn't think it was cool. So it's impressive, but not cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they, they, well, they, I'll let I'll let everybody make up their minds on that. Let's continue. It's impressive to eat a thousand eggs in a minute. Is it cool? Uh, no, it's cool. I I get what you mean, Rex. I think. Thank you. I feel this is I, not I, eating I, a thousand I, eggs in a minute. What is uncool more? about this? I I just I just don't find it cool. Why? Cool. Cool is cool is a nebulous thing, and I don't think I can necessarily put a definition in a list. But but you can definitively cool. say that this is not it. I yeah. It, I just don't. I don't. I don't think this is cool. I'm just it, I'm fine with you thinking it's cool. It's totally fine. But I just don't find this cool. As messy as Harley Quinn is a character, I think her doing gymnastics to get out of uh, a, situ a bad situation is probably about as on character as you could get. It's the coolest thing she's probably done. 
Yeah, I mean, she we've seen her doing all these kind of weird acrobatic ballet. I think I would agree with you. Style. It's the coolest thing she's done, but it's not cool. No, I don't <laughs> find it cool. I'm fine if you think it's cool. That's totally fine. I have no issue with that whatsoever. I Not the key to her cool chains, but some random other key, like the dude's locker at the gym. Okay, yeah. You're... I think oh, the so real sin of that scene was just her being able to escape in the way that yeah, she did. Yeah, it's, it's just absurd. Nonsense. It's it absolutely Well, yeah, sense. that one piece is like the only thing that's good about the whole thing. Yeah, like it makes sense that she can do it. I don't have any problem with that. It's how we got to this point. Also, he the had no commentary on the 69 but... joke. It was that bad that I even Cinema not. Sense... I thought he would... <laughs> There's no way he wouldn't seize that joke. You'd think. You'd think, right? I was I was curious before we started. What what is he gonna say about the sixty nine joke? Because his humor is very mature, so I figured he would really enjoy it. I think he I think he probably or he, he or his writers, quote unquote, probably avoid anything too saucy or too quote unquote. I, I mean, he's even toned down his whole lap dance thing now, hasn't he? I think he removed kind of, it because it's too controversial, too sexist. Yeah, too many sexisms against women, I think, is gonna get him in hot water with some people or with YouTube or whatever. At least, at least he thinks so. Um, so yeah, I think I definitely sense less, less horny jokes <laughs> in his videos as of late. Mm. There's an argument in chat right now between a couple of people where, like, I'm just asking Mola to make a video. Stop I this saw that. I was about... <laughs> hangout circle jerk. <laughs> Like, motherfucker, was... this is about a maximum of 10 hours of my week. All right, chill. I should be allowed to do this and make videos. Videos You're are being allowed... made. No, you need to make videos for every waking moment of your life. You're not making yeah. videos 120 <clears throat> hours. I love as well where uh, me and Free have been edited out all of the. We got five completed for the Boba Fett. Make content and stop hanging out. <laughs> 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 Go to your like... editing dungeon. Yeah, we like just that. got out of our editing dungeon. It, literally, yeah. And then it's like, once this stream's days. over, and I process everything, put it all into the right place for release. Going back to the release. editing dungeon. <laughs> Going back, I need to record more for my current video being made because it's not done yet. It's getting there though, and I and you know, if you enjoy the other ones from me, you'll you'll like this one. I'm pretty sure. So don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, why? Stop hanging out with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please. But some random other key, like the dude's locker at the gym. Okay, yeah, you're probably not supposed to be gambling on company time, but I still think- Holy f that handgun is pointed directly at this card-playing fellow on the left! I can understand the first- I mean, yeah, it's a bit dangerous. Be careful. Yeah, you shouldn't point mm -hmm. guns at things that you don't maybe intend to threaten or destroy with bullets. It happens all- it's one of the biggest sin- gun sins in Hollywood is people constantly pointing guns at each other. It wasn't Stop though. it. It wasn't. It wasn't pointed at him though. He was like a, at like a forty-five degree angle from him. I mean, I, I wasn't gonna point that out because just the fact the guns on the table should be, you know, no need to put it on the table. You know, just, just let's put it somewhere else. Just you know, just be safe. But ultimately, I don't really care if they do that because they're fucking gods and quarter multis. I don't. I don't care if they. I don't think that's out of character for them. Yeah, I'm fine with them doing it in their position. You know, if this. It's different than if a if a gun safety instructor did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guards yeah, being don't... caught unawares, but despite the gunshots, the rest of them continue to walk in. He's absolutely right. This scene sucks. Yeah, yeah this whole right. scene is mm -hmm. absurd and stupid and nonsense, and it's embarrassing. This One whole time, scene is embarrassing. Out of a Pez dispenser. <laughs> no one will be seated during the John Wick Harley Bellum portion of the movie. Come on, without. Come on, within. You'll not see nothing. I don't know the reference. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Like the fight Quinn. I guess the key to not cutting your fight scenes to hell and back is to hire Margot Robbie to star in your action film. Between Birds of Prey and this film, she's clearly one of the best actors who can do stunts working in Hollywood. Um, uh, maybe? based on uh, this scene, maybe. Um, I this scene is saved by the. It's not saved by anything. It just gets worse the more that you think about it, and the closer. Uh, the, the camera being where it is and being super close to things and not thinking about any of the logic of the soldiers trying to kill her. It, it, none of the scene works. Nothing in the scene works. I like the, the style. I don't the like style the style is armor. good, but insane plot armor here. People just flat out refuse to shoot her. Bird. Now, now it. Stay off the comp. Why did you even give him a two way radio? So, just... I suppose because he's know, a lookout. Yeah, I yeah. suppose.
His job is the same as Polka Dot Man's. He's supposed to be looking out, but he's just fucking gonna comment about birds yeah. and stay off the radio. Just because the Thinker Guy is driving, these idiots open the gate without even looking inside the weird new large vehicle that Thinker Guy is suddenly driving. None of them are like, why is he driving such a large vehicle? Or why is he I feel like he's been working I mean, there for you, decades. Th th those are suspicious faces. That's a suspicious face right there. That's like, it's a yeah. strange thing for him to be driving. But ultimately, whatever. This is vehicle. I don't see, I don't know why they would be like, more definitively interested than that. Those poor guys in those outfits. Uh, Corto Maltese is probably a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty hot place. And they got mm. the helmets on and the masks on and then the balaclava parts on and the gloves. No skin showing. I hope it was a cool day in Corto Maltese for those guys. Is yeah. it... Hang on. He never really leaves. Why is he returning at all when he never really leaves? It's like, well, he's going to have to return if he leaves, right? And he's left previously, which wasn't suspicious, yeah. so he's returning. I don't, why? Yeah, why? he has to come back. He, yeah, that's. I guess it's a generally a just a it, it's a given part of just movement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <there's, laughs> just want to explain that one, some, like, yeah, logistics if require. Leaves. I don't think he sleeps they return. there. Right? He's got a he's got to sleep and eat and things, right? <laughs> Also, like he's, he's, he's like the he's like the head honcho. Of course, they'd let him in. Mm -hmm. he, he's like the yeah, literally the leader of this place. So, For us. everyone knows that angels don't splooge; they annoy. Okay, who f with the white balance okay. setting on the sun? Do you have any idea how long it takes me to get that sh dialed in? All right. The director said, "Please be sure to stare directly into Cinema Sin's soul while taking a bite of this apple, so he knows how big of an asshole he is." Because what? you said that. Biting, well, eating said, an apple is something that his, bad his people do. His meme is that uh, bad guys eating apples is a cliche. She's terrible. She's a horrible person. Harley Quinn is bad. The director said, please be sure to stare in the direction of Cinema Sin's soul while taking a bite of this apple so he knows how big of an asshole he is. Does he not think that Harley Quinn's a terrible person? I don't know that that comes into the what statement at said, all. Because here's what I'm thinking. I thought this is in reference to him thinking that bad guy, you show someone taking a bite out of an apple is something that bad guys do. And so in his mind, if he doesn't think that Harley Quinn's bad, this is supposed to be like, oh, they showed me. That's not the case, even though I, I said it earlier. I guess the logic that she's the protagonist, like she is a protagonist in the story, regardless of whether she's a good or bad person. You know, like POV, right? Or their role in the story, maybe. I guess, he's, um, yeah, I guess he's just saying it might be a reference that James Gunn did to Cinema Sins. I doubt it, but yeah. maybe, I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, this will show him. I don't know. The squad slaughters the soldiers outside Jotunheim in the rain, but I refuse to believe that means anything about their abilities. I mean, it was raining really hard. The bad guys had to squint, even. Okay, Milton is here. It's bizarre how bright it is. It's a bizarre it's scene, uh... All the soldiers seem to be perpetually confused and unaware while our whole team is just dominating for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a strange scene. Here with them right now as they enter. King Shark is even behind him. Flag and Polka are abreast of him. The movie makes a big joke soon about how no one knows who he is. They put him yeah, they don't realize. They're fucking con they're, they're very... They're busy, alright? Yeah. They're yeah. very busy. Now! Why would they have given the emergency front door lock code to the scientist working on experiments? He's the boss of this area. The only person he answers yeah. to is literally the fucking president. Yeah, yeah. He seems to he's in he is in charge of this facility. Essentially, he is the scientist. He's been working here for how long? A L long, very long, long time. Isn't it like thirty years or something? He's something an, like I think that. he specifically yeah, says long time. no one knows how to control Starro but me, and so he's like, well then. So yeah, the, the, he has a lot of the run of this place, yes. Inside the building. This is a military-run facility. Good thing they literally left the front door open. If God you um, I guess, they, yeah, they, the military rushed out of the building. I don't even know that it would be hard for them to open a door. It, it looked like a normal door. I, I... Yeah, I assume it normally probably just isn't locked. People, mm. random people generally probably don't make it that far anyway for that to be much of an issue. Yeah. Existed. Will this be proof that he wasn't good at all? Well, no, actually. God's goodness, at least biblically speaking, from a New Testament perspective, is not something that prevents all human suffering, but rather something that offers grace and redemption to all those who have suffered. Uh, that would already no, be the that's... argument for why he's not good. <laughs> the yeah, fact that he created yeah, the system that way. Yeah, I, yeah, this doesn't work theologically, no. but carry on. 
Character backs away from something scary only to be jump scared by something horrible behind them cliche. Oh, fucking hell. All right. <laughs> Gosh, you make it sound so succinct and, and easy to understand. Flag pulls out a single hard drive and a wall of rack computers and servers and somehow decides it's the one he's after. And it appears he's right. Um, I mean, that's, this, this, that's like fair and unfair. It is some data. Yeah. You know? Data. Peacemaker would never want to let anything get out of here, and for all we know, this has what we need. We don't know for sure, but I mean, it's probably a, a safe bet that there's stuff on this that's incriminating. Mm -hmm. I don't see why it would. Yeah. Like, what are you going to end up with? Just papers that don't, or like information that doesn't relate at all to the whole project? It's like, I doubt it. There's probably a lot of stuff that's useful on there. 30 years of what we are led to believe is agonizing torture and Space Patrick kills the thinker guy this quickly? Damn it! Where's my tentacle based revenge? <laughs> He pulls him to pieces. Yeah. yeah. It's all star I'm so glad you blurred the other deaths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's probably wow. not going to get you in trouble at all. <laughs> you kept that. Listen, yeah. listen, if this doesn't get you in trouble, you don't need to fucking blur the little fucking bird, you moron. He's got Jeez. Doctor Who Holy. is splat. That's his commentary. Like, what? That's... <laughs> That's not even funny. It's not anything. It's... No. Flat <laughs> killed with a ceramic shard. He crazy aided him. Okay, Breaking Bad reference, and we'll just move on. Okay, but it's what's wrong with that? But like, what? is that bad to get I've killed by a sharp it. object? No, it's just a reference. Oh, yeah. so the sin is that it is that he made the reference. So if he wouldn't have said anything, it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, the sin comes from the commentary from Cinema Sins. It's very interesting. Oh, oh okay. Thing. Maybe next time, don't. It's so, uh, he skips over so much, too. Like, it doesn't... He does, yeah. That whole fight is... Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he has time for this shark jumping side to side while the fish mimic his shape bullshit. I'm not sure we'd have time for this crap in a movie titled... So, remember how you said there are no ox in this film? <laughs> Remember <laughs> how you made a joke about how you don't have friends, ding, and <laughs> that was the thing that you highlighted about how maybe you don't have friends because you can't share in the happiness of other people. Maybe that contributes to why no one would want to hang out with you. Because I'm side happy side. that Shark is happy. I'm, I'm happy also, that Nanali's I like this scene friends. quite a bit. I do yeah. too. While fish mimic his shape. He was a really nice guy and he sacrificed himself to help us. He did not. At best, he sacrificed himself to set up this attempt at a comical exchange about no one noticing his existence. He was so helping. If he, was, he, was carrying, he was carrying the explosives. He sacrificed himself yeah. to help them. Yeah, he didn't have to come. He did it knowing what the risks are. Yep. And he died in the job. I mean, it's, it's kind of part of why it's kind of funny. It's like, yeah, in reality, this guy actually put a lot on the line, but no one cares because. We didn't get screen time for him, which is just kind of how it works in stories. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, he was helping quite a bit. A worthy cause, indeed. Well, worth the cost of admission. From this point on, what with the building falling apart and flooding, I'm just adding 40 sins for everyone who survives this baloney. Also, so I'd, have, I'd, have to, I'd have to see what the baloney are, is in particular. Oh, there's I'd, plenty I'd of blood the, on there. There, are, here, but there but is like, baloney. Sure, there is baloney, yeah. What is yeah. the scale here? It is worth about half of the sins that we've done so far. <laughs> I'm sure he you took know, a while to figure it out for you, I'm sure of it. However, yeah. Harley Quinn gets only one sin for plot armor. <laughs> and that was yeah. on the beach. He didn't even he didn't even really say too much about her in the whole because their whole fight getting out of the palace place You're right. prison is just He's... insane. It's got more plot armor than this. Her whole scene counts as one. This whole scene counts as forty. It's like Okay. Like, I think it should be reversed, <laughs> if anything. Yeah. Fake all, and he wants his climax in a collapsing building shtick back. <laughs> like, I give a sh**. I know. What? Oh, oh, fuck you. you. What? Fuck you. off. You should go and go. This is why you don't have friends. Wow. <laughs> It's so funny to compare because all of us were distraught when King Shark started yeah, getting bit. I was like, like don't die, don't die. Me. I had so much suspense. My little doggy heart was at the edge of its seat, proverbially. We were worrying because of the so blood tense. that they were going to kill him. Yeah. We were like, please, please yeah. don't kill him, don't kill him. I know, yeah, we saw, yeah. We saw bullets literally bounce off of him, and then all of a sudden these things just like are drawing blood immediately, and we're like, oh, mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> oh, God. He thought these things were his friends, and now they could finally be together, and oh, God, they've betrayed him. Mm hmm we all love King Shark, but the amount of bullets being unloaded into him is enough to take down a tank. So He's bulletproof! So this is the thing. 
the the teeth of those creatures are apparently thin and sharp enough that they can get through his skin, but bullets can't. That's the yeah. idea. I'm fine he's with, yeah, he's leave. bulletproof. And so if bullets can't get through his skin, it doesn't really matter how many are thrown at him. Let alone a super strong sea animal. Why stop the f***ing car here? There's still a ton of debris falling around you. Yeah, I'd probably keep going further than yeah, that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, just, it's, <laughs> it's a funny one, yeah. Some bullshit. It killed car- Huh. Uh, um, I, it depends on what, it depends on the nature of the bullets fired, honestly. It's not bullshit, I have to- I guess it's bullshit that two bullets managed to hit well, each other instead of- That's probably, if they're both aiming at each other's, like, between the eyes. And I assume dead- Ugh, I keep getting- I them. would say it is unlikely for two bullets to collide in midair. Of course but That's the, the biggest that, problem But, but yeah, I you have to consider context. These are both larger-than-life, absurd, accurate people, yeah, yeah, and they're both aiming for the center of the head. So, yeah. is it possible at that be... point that the bullets are going to line up? And it's like, I think so. Possible. Sure, it's possible. Um, yeah, and I don't know what the nature of the blood sports, because I keep, it's, I just it's keep blood, getting yeah. them mixed up. Yeah, Blood sports, bullet, his, he clearly has like magic technology. <laughs> so, I'm fine with the idea that his bullet is a special bullet that he shoots. Yeah, well, yeah, so specifically, if we're just talking about the bullets connecting... I assume the logic is they're both aiming from like eye down to center of eyes, and so it, they're both hyper accurate, so they both shot. The bullets doing that when they connect, apparently it's because his bullets are nanotech and they're stronger and smaller, so they can break apart his bullets, I guess. That's, that's what we're supposed to think of that. Sure, yeah, if that's the nature of his bullet. Now, if it hits another bullet and doesn't do that, now we have a problem. But like that, that in and of itself, I'm okay with. Yeah, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, those those bullets look pretty sci-fi, but uh, rags. I, I would I would uh, guess that Peacemaker's bullet is more of like a uh, like a uh, what do you call it um, hollow point, more so, where it's meant to more make more of a massive impact on a fleshy target, whereas uh, the other bullet seemed more of like an armor piercing, meant to be more of a penetrating bullet, right? From what, yes. Uh, yeah. So. Size wise and shape wise, it kind of makes sense to me. Now, two bullets yeah, hitting each other is insanely unlikely, but there is actual historical evidence of there's like there's I think there's in a museum once that a uh, two bullets that had hit each other midair. Mm, yeah, uh, it's like extremely rare, and obviously we haven't found many examples of it, but it does actually happen. Sometimes. Yeah, oh, it ha yeah, it it happens. It's bound to happen with all that lead flying around in certain places. Yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm fine with blood sports. And I, yeah, and I just want to clarify, to it's that. not completely random as to whether or not these bullets will hit each other. There's a little bit more of a reason that they do it than that, but at the same time, it's still, like, with how everything works, that it was, it was of a low likelihood, sure. Yeah, if this was up to this point, if this was, like, a Saving Private Ryan, I'd be like, this is bullshit. But yeah. because this is a comic book elevated reality, I can kind of, I can kind of take it sure people want us to mention as well of course it is a play on what was said earlier in the film where he says yeah. i hit my targets more in the center yeah another story arc oh my god yeah. no yeah. We, we don't have these here it's just set up and play on it's not really a story anymore. doesn't it well, count yeah it's grumble, bullets. Grumble, grumble. I, yeah, brr, brr. you wanted to share this with the press this is the pronoun game but it's pronoun confusion because the way she phrased this suggests it was peacemaker who wanted to share the hard drive with the press uh, it's pretty fucking obvious it wasn't peacemaker that she's <laughs> referring to but fine yeah. she's she's clearly distraught she didn't she didn't think that maybe it could be confusing when he, she says he but it was flat I know this would be quite the anticlimax, but why does Cornell not tell his people to immediately open fire on the discount not so expendables? As far as he knows, they're that's a risk. Um, but I suppose because they're fleeing this building and some weird shit is going on, he just didn't think to shoot them at this time. But um, yeah, especially if thinking that they're American agents and all that stuff, and he could capture them, and that could there's I am fine with him not immediately saying that especially they're with just what's just from... happened and their state of escaping it's a it's a this moment a lot of things are up in the air at this point especially with the the this like earthquaking happening at this point yeah. i think definitely a confusing building. moment and even if he did know they were running from starro the f difference does it make shoot them isn't that why you brought out the entire army in the first place i don't know i think it genuinely is just they're all looking at what the fuck's happening and and you know absorbing it with shock 
The last starfighter here steals the face-hugging technique from the Alien franchise, and I am not okay with adding this to my very specific list of face-impregnating night terrors. Reference. Straight up murder. Yeah, those guys in the room were dumb. And they would call it a revolution, the people who shot them, I think. Mm-hmm. Which they do. Listen to me, people. Do yourself a favor and never, ever Google the phrase armpit ejaculate. Let my pain be enough to cover us all. All right. Okay. Still better than the Rampage uh, movie. Bloodsport is off okay. mission. But why? You can't set him up as the asshole father who has had all the goodness pulled out of him by an equally assholey father of his own and then spontaneously decide that he... Oh. That's the oh. Oh. Man. Mm. What are we doing? Oh, mm. no ox of the film. No arcs to the film, even though he says it, and it doesn't even work with a sin because that's not part of the mission for him to do that thing. That works yeah. against the point that you said earlier. The entire point he he joins the team is to save his daughter, right? Because I would argue has... <laughs> that he is a good man when he's talking to his daughter. He just tells her to get the fuck away from him. He doesn't yeah. believe that he would be a good influence for her. He's got a heart. They keep saying that throughout the movie. He's got a good heart, and he's like, no, I don't. And the idea is that he would have been a really good person, but his dad treated him so horribly that he ended up a much more, like, rock-hard mercenary. And that's why it all comes to a head when he's walking away, and you can just hear the screams of the people who are getting killed by Star Starro. And he can't deal with it, so he turns around. Just gotta pay attention. There's, there's plenty of references. Some of them are pretty blatant. This is probably the most blatant arc in the film. I don't even know yeah. what would beat this out. I don't know. And so, like, is this a joke? <laughs> like, I'm assuming it's not a joke. It has a heart all along. I mean, you can, but it's some bullshit, and you shall be rightfully punished as a result. Uh -huh. I knew Sebastian sensed good in you for a reason. I'm sorry. This is nitpicky even for me, but the for a reason here in this sentence is bothering me. It's completely unneeded and actually makes no sense. She sensed good in you for a reason. He sensed good in you for a reason. I suppose she's arguing that it's more it than... It wasn't just no point at all. He yeah. didn't just like you. But, um, okay. The rat, Sebastian, sensed good in Bloodsport, but Bloodsport didn't believe it. So all she has to say here is, I knew Sebastian sensed good in you, and that's it. He didn't sense good in the man for a reason. The rat didn't know there would be a pivotal no, climactic he, if you can, if the rats, If the rat's characteristic is the rat can sense good, then... We don't know what the reason for that sense working is, other than it seems to be that he can do it. But she's arguing your decision to help these people when you're not necessarily going to benefit from that is evidence of good being sensed for a reason. Yeah, it's and the fine. Was correct. It's and totally it fine. Yeah. I totally fine. And also, like some of her lines, you could explain that she isn't a first uh, English as a first language. She's French, so. She might be not as articulate as some other people, or not as uh, non-redundant, I suppose. I'm not sure it is redundant. I'd need someone to tell me if it is, <laughs> like, because I'm not yeah. familiar was, enough um, with English I don't to know. know. That you would be, I don't know that you would be worse off for cutting it, but I also don't think that it's a big problem that it's... But, like, like I'm not... The, well, because... Simpson's breaking down tiny little dialogue details like this. Well, he did say it was a big uh, pick, so... He, he, I'm you know, fine. But so... he, like, misses huge points of, like, gigantic points about the movie structure, and then he just... But it wouldn't... A line of dialogue. If she said, I knew Sebastian sensed good in you, it was like, well, she already knows that's true. She can literally speak to the rat. It wouldn't make... You know, like, Sebastian can confirm to her, yes, I sense good in him, which is... She said that already. So wouldn't... Don't you need... I assume that... For a reason? Well, I... I assume that still, if, if she can communicate with the rat in that direct a manner, in that deep of a way, like another person, that would still be the rat conveying its opinion to her, which there could be room for error, but this action here can confirm it to her thoroughly that the rat was telling the truth. I'm wondering if, like, if she said, I knew Sebastian sensed good in you, I, I guess in my head I might be like, oh, she that was in doubt? I thought that she'd confirmed that already. Well, yeah, that that's kind of a silly sentence because, of course, the rat sensed good. And if if she's able to talk to rats, then if the rat says, "Hey, this guy's good," then that's that's already confirmed. 
the rats stated his opinion. I think it was his but... man. I I actually don't care about this point. <laughs> I just, I'm happy to. The rat was like... right. Okay. You're welcome to not Ugh. care. I do. I'm thinking about the scene where she says, "Um, uh, you have a good heart." Going to the rat, and then he was like, "I think Bloodsport is like he's wrong, or he doesn't see it, or whatever." It's like, so at that point, yeah, she she would know it. Um. I'm curious if if this sentence is actually fine. Is you point. could rewrite it a million ways. Like uh, Sebastian always has the best, you know, the best sense of character or something like that. All right, if, the lines, I knew like, Sebastian was right. If, you could say that this is vindication if, yeah. on her going... belief of what they're. She believed the right, rat, so but this is if, confirmation that it's true. If we're gonna have it, we need to pull it all the way back. Sentence: I knew Sebastian sensed good in you for a reason. So I knew Sebastian sensed good in you. What does that mean? I believed him when he sensed good in you, and then you add for a reason on. What does that mean? Like, for it, a reason, why, well, like, did he sense, well, it would be, did the rat sense good in you, and that was important in and of itself, that he sensed good in you? That was, it. Well, know, yeah, like because that, had he not saved the people, that would have mean, that meant that Sebastian sensed good in him, but it's not for a potentially a good reason. Yeah, like, uh, now I'm actually very confused. <laughs> on... Yeah, I mean, this it is con work either way, because, like, if, if you do think that the rat has some supernatural ability... Wait, sorry, uh, maybe pull it back. What's CinemaSin's point? What was good his in you point? For a reason. I'm sorry. This is nitpicky okay. even for me, but the for a reason here in this sentence is bothering me. It's completely unneeded and actually makes no sense. The rat, Sebastian, sensed good in Bloodsport, but Bloodsport didn't believe it. So all she has to say here is, I knew Sebastian sensed good in- No, oh, he's fucked well, up. Make like, he's, yeah, totally, he... he's totally made a mistake here in terms of the point that he's trying to make. The point that you could be making is, what does it mean by for a reason? What, what does that mean for a reason? Like, all you're confirming is that the rat is means... good at him. I assume that it means it's like a replacement right. for it's true. Um, sure. Yeah, that yeah, might yeah, be yeah, right. that might like, be my not... issue with the sentence is that we just need to change. She's like she's just saying Sebastian was think, right, that sort of thing. I think yeah, like I think the thing of for a reason doesn't really. I I don't I don't it's know an what awkward. What that means, yeah, I think odd... I think I think that the sentence does need that sense, like in some way or another, the sense good in you because. I think the audience audience might need to be slightly reminded well, that that's what so happened. The, so I think the reason why I'm struggling is for a reason. It's like, what is the reason? The reason has to be for the sake of it, right? Because that's just what the rat did. The like the the fact that the rat sensed good in him is actually irrelevant to the decision that he's making here. So is like, well, so the, the reason is that his decision to risk his life to help the Cortemontese people, which is a, a big altruistic move. Which is what I'm guessing is the argument from her would be that the rat is detecting that that's the kind of thing he would do, and that would be the reason for good being detected. You know, she so she already <laughs> knew that the rat sensed good in him, right? Yeah. She already believed that. Yeah, so she, it wouldn't yeah. be it wouldn't be good enough if it was just I knew Sebastian sensed good in you, actually. I That's guess she didn't do that. I think this there, is like, a sense. She's yeah. glad because this confirms as true, true the thing she Yeah, believed. exactly. The reason is that it's true. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. But, but I, this yeah. isn't even important. It's a, it this is very is totally slightly fine. awkwardly worded, I think, but that's the most you could ever possibly yeah, take Yeah, there's, there's a bit of clunk to it, um, but I was just trying to check well, if it... Decide, the point is... Right I, about you, that's, I think you the know, point is clear. Be, that yeah, I think yeah, that's that's the perfect fix. Person, Sebastian yeah. was right, or something like that would have yeah. been great. There we go, I nailed it. Was Thank right you. About you. Yeah. Thank you, Cinema Sense, yes. for uh, opening up this dialogue. <laughs> what, what a great yeah. Hey, look, he did say it was a nitpick, right? <laughs> I, I'm yeah, not even. I'm not. Even, I haven't even said anything critical of him. I've just been thinking about it. That's all. Than you, and that's it. He didn't sense good in the man for a reason. The rat didn't know there would be a pivotal climactic moment. Yeah, the reason was well, that the, there was no, some no, no, mechanism. No, no. <laughs> Damn it! I thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reason is that he's right. That he was right. He sensed good in you because you are good. That is the reason. Moment where it wasn't bullshit. Yeah. 
He just sensed good in him, the way Luke sensed good in Vader. Imagine Vader throwing the Emperor over the ledge and down the shaft, and Luke rushing up Look, to Vader saying, rats, I knew he, I sensed he good lived, in you did a little for a jump there. I'm like, yay. That wouldn't not make sense. It would just be really clunky. That would make, that, yeah, it would make total yeah, sense, it, because there's a difference sense. in your belief in something, and when you in get fact, confirmation that it's really true. That's why she's so elated and happy, because we she get knows that. the things she believed in was true. That happens after that scene. He says to Luke, you were right. What do you think he's saying when he says that? Oh, man. Vader is saying, you sensed good in me. You were right. You were right. <laughs> like... Rails are a little bit low. It makes no f***ing sense! Yes, well, lots of sense. did the right thing morally in incapacitating her and allowing the squad to live and fight. But the movie glosses over how all of them will end up in Gitmo with no names, fingerprints, shit. Not true at all. They them. have... We don't, um, have... well, so the beginning of Peacemaker, funnily enough, the girl who hit her goes to prison. Um, the rest yeah. of them get put on, like, a probationary job, which is what is looking after Peacemaker. <laughs> I always imagine, though, that the what had happened because she didn't see who hit her, uh, that nobody ratted each other out. Yeah, so nobody did, so... Presumably there was a security around. camera then. I don't know. I would imagine that there's CCTV for that room. I don't know. But either way, um, if... Like, the, the, what, the last we see of them is her dealing with Bloodsport over the, um, the information, and then I think she glares at the team, and so I always just yeah. would have assumed it's like, who knows what she's going to do to them. Yeah. She could do anything to them. She could kill them all, just out of spite. The bucket they're given to poop in. Man, what? you have to oh. put shitty... I was gonna say... What is put... this? Where's the actual music That's from not the, the music, yeah. <laughs> Because well, I remember then, the music. I like the response. So, he has nanotech! So yeah, the, 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 it's like, what the fuck nanotech bullshit is this? Like, nanotech? The stuff <laughs> <in> the <laughs> film? Nanotech, nanotech yeah. The <sighs> this is just it taken up to a is this bullshit? degree. Looks like blood... But it, what was that music? Because he wouldn't even play the clip for that long. He didn't need to switch the music. All of them yeah. Up in Gitmo with no names, fingerprints shaved down, mumbling into the bucket they're given to poop in. They've got the sound effects, though, so what... Yeah, what happened? He must have, he, he must have gotten a, uh, a version of the... He chopped out the music the and added his own track, but why? Uh, YouTube is really bad about... Um, no, I've got... This clip no, is actually in my next like, video, I, I, so I already know yeah. that you can get this past loot YouTube. Yeah, I mean, this is only a couple seconds. You could have easily stuck this in. I'm thinking maybe his editors and stuff are just over-cautious. You don't need to be this cautious. You can do, like, three seconds. That's fine. So I'm thinking that just has been overly sanitized just so he has they must no have. He really chance. must have thought that the track would have gotten him clipped or something. Yeah, must Probably, have. Probably, yeah. I see. So, uh, some the people will be yeah, like, "Oh, so the next video is gonna be about." It's like, no, you can't guess shit. You can't guess shit from me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> what in the nanotech fury is this bullshit? Looks like blood sport it's was awesome. Looks cool as shit. Graduate from. So, I mean, that part was badass as fuck when he was loading yeah. up that gun. I almost wanted him to keep uh, adding pieces. <laughs> just get bigger and bigger. Just built a tank and then a <laughs> tower. It's like a big like ant artillery at the end of it. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> Um, like a naked gun. What was it? A naked gun where it st uh, starts building like the gun, or was it another movie? It could be. I can't remember. What in the nanotech fury is this bullshit? Looks like Bloodsport was the sole member of the squad to graduate from the Prometheus School of running away from things. Running to the left or right in that scenario might not actually be better because he was right next to the leg, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So like, because the hey. whole reason you run forward instead of left or right is that forward is going to give you the most distance the quickest. The problem is if the thing is only moving forward, then you can easily save yourself by going left or right. But that's a big chongus leg. Yeah, um, and it has to be moving. Of a living than you. thing that can oh. react to what you do. Yeah, I'm fine with him running forward in that moment. It's not like yeah, Prometheus. I, I, it's not Prometheus, no. <laughs> also, yeah, Prometheus the is different, definitely. <laughs> That's what Prometheus well. is most well known for is that fucking <laughs> dumb woman who doesn't know how to run away from an object. <laughs> this is this is way way more sensical than Prometheus though, because Prometheus was like a big open field. Yeah, this is they're kind of trapped in a in like a street with like two walls. Got so, someone in chat's like it's a running joke. It's like and it's inaccurate. I know it's a running I care, joke. Running yeah, I don't care. Well, oh, oh, it's a oh wait wait it's a running joke. Uh, running. Uh, oh, whoa, nice. well, you know what? Yeah. Us talking about it is also a running running joke. That's true. Yeah, <clears throat> it was Super just we were just satiring. So there, ha ha. Yep. Uh, got him. As always, next time, guys. Honey, 
Take the high ground. What? She has a spear. You have guns now, and grenades and arrows. I thought the same thing. I think we actually discussed this. I when I first watched it, it made no sense to me that you're sending her to the high ground with a spear. But then if you think about it, the whole point of her getting to the high ground is that he's likely told her to use that spear to pierce its eye. There's, there's a good chance, because I don't know what else her fucking tactic is going to be. Yeah, because she, she was to told die. specifically by the the javelin guy is that the spear can pierce anything. And I, so. I just assume that's what Bloodsport told her to do when as they were getting here. He was like, plans for everybody. Yeah. You get to the high position, see if you can get access to getting into its eye. That's, that's, I, I imagine that's why she did it. He's a Star Wars fan. Why is she taking the high ground? I mean, yeah, it works out that she jump stabs the Starro thing in the eyeball, but he didn't know that when he gave this order. He may very well have, and I think if we're going Neither. to be good faith, we should assume that that's what the situation is, because it makes more sense. This is a terrible order. I bet nearly one third of this film's entire budget went to the CGI of the climax. Taking your D is that a problem? That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It's a skin? It should have. Sh are you saying that it had too much of a CGI this budget, a or that it wasn't dispersed throughout the film evenly? But why would it be, right? If the third act why. has this know. enormous stuff, I'm just questions. <laughs> I just I'm don't question smaller. I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I can't help you. Oh. I mean, it's too expensive. Come on, stop it. This film's entire budget went to the CGI of the climax. Taking your preteen daughter up to deadly heights just to teach a lesson about purpose. Also, how the f- I don't know. Okay. First off, teaching your daughter a lesson about purpose, maybe don't- maybe- maybe don't understand- understate the importance of what that could have implication-wise, but I assume they are both very good at climbing to where he believes that this isn't that big of a deal. I assume they do this a lot. Um, That's what I would assume too. In order to get up this high, you must be pretty skilled at it. And yeah. But sure. Okay. Did they even get up there? They're not Batman. I don't exactly know how they got up there, but I'm assuming since they are inventors, they've got a lot of possibilities for how they do it. I don't know. Uh, you may be tempted to marvel at the underwater gracefulness of Harley and the rats. I'm here to remind you that this is not water, it's eyeball juice. Um, I think this was actually from the Bob Vids video, but, um, eyeball juice is, like, got a higher percentage of water than... Than water. Well, so, we I think so, yeah. A lot of water, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a really funny thing to say, considering, uh, she'll be I mean, fine. like, what, I'm, yeah, it's gross. I don't know, was there any confusion as to what would happen when she went into the eyeball? Well, yeah, I'm not sure what his point is. It's just like, is it just gross, or is it that you think she'll be harmed in some way? Because I'm sure the rats are fine with this, because they're rats, and they're just they're just fine with a lot of things. But I guess she's, I don't know, she's a she's freaky. You know, Harley Quinn is just weird, so I think it's gross. Uh, many people did, but I guess the of course the rats are fine with it, and I guess Harley Quinn's just weird, and she thinks it's beautiful and whatnot. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes sense. I um, was happy. It is alien eyeball juice. I don't know if they have the same, but yeah. I don't know why we wouldn't assume it's just fucking water as well. I don't know. So uh, at the end of the job, staring at the stars. Legit one of the best villain lines of all time because it sympathizes him instantly. I'll not our main characters. Fuck them. I was going to say, you yeah. noticed that, but you didn't notice anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I know whoever sees the inside of a prison, it goes public. So I'm just going to pause. Um... The insides of at least normal eyes and in, in of most Earth creatures is aqueous humor, which is ninety nine point nine percent water. The rest is sugars, vitamins, proteins, and other nutrients. So it's basically harmless. We don't know about the alien. Obviously, alien could be different, but it's pretty much water in the inside of an eyeball. So it should be fine for her to swim through. There you go. Wait, what if your daughter goes on a mass murder spree and kills 16 people by strangulation? Whoa. I don't know. What if she does what? go on a mass murder <laughs> rampage and kills Wait, 16 what? people for strangulation? What, what, what just happened? But what was that? So, so his point is, like, you've got a blanket ban on her going to prison, but what if she ends up going to prison because of a crime she commits that's, like, totally fair or whatever? It's just like, yeah, you'll have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. I don't think Bloodsport is going to release it the second he finds out in a very contextless way that she's in prison. If it turned out she'd murdered like a bazillion people, be like, oh, yeah, it's probably going to change his mind about what should happen to her. Why even make that point? He knows we double-crossed her and she's getting back at us by saddling us with this 
douchebag. Dude, you're lucky to still have your head in the same continent as your torso, let alone still be f***ing employed after the shenanigans that went down with Waller. She's willing to sacrifice Bloodsport's child for the sake of a mission, but these f***wits get a free pass because- Ah, oh, screw it. They don't get a free pass. He's still, he's still pissed. pissed. Why wouldn't- And also, you might not want to kill them if they're good at their jobs. I don't yeah. even- But look, all we have to do is argue, why would he be complaining instead of just saying, wow, we're lucky we have this job? It's like, well, because he doesn't want to have this job. Yeah. Yeah, also he thinks that what they did was morally correct. No one exactly. likes to be punished for doing yep. something they think is morally correct. Or maybe mm -hmm. you do, and that's why you don't have friends. I don't know. It's, it, who knows how deep it goes. I'm out. Oh, well, there we go, we did oh, it. We're d yes, we're done! <laughs> oh, we're at the end. Nice. <laughs> yes. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Oh, All right, oh. we're at the end, we made it. How wonderful. Always, uh, always a pleasure mm. to try and decipher a Cinema Sins video. It's, it's a hoot. Is. It's always a hoot. Now, who's worse, actually? I'm not even sure anymore. Cinema Sins or Cinema Wins? I don't like to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes my brain hurt. I find Cinema Wins more insufferable. I think it annoys me that Cinema Wins gets less flack just because it's positive. Like, I think yeah. that might actually... But I, I don't know that that makes what he does worse. It's just that's an I know which one I prefer. Or at least I... Yeah, I... I... Well, the, yeah. Which one would you rather be forced to watch every video of Cinema when they come out? Sins, Cinema Sins. I'd rather watch yeah. Cinema Sins's. I think so, too. Because at least he could be correct. Yeah, he's occasionally has, like, an okay point. I'm like, yeah, that is true. The, you saying Cinema Wins doesn't... Is. I don't know, like, it's just saying I like that a good point. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I, I don't even remember, like, I've, I've only watched, like, a couple of, of his videos, but from the, the I think it was the Black Widow one we watched together, oh, uh, that one was just that. very superficial, just blasé points that are just, had no actual weight to them. They just, well, I hate using that expression too, but <laughs> at least CinemaSins can occasionally point out a, uh, an actual plot hole or a flaw in the story i guess i think that's fair yeah um it's uh, maybe if we watched enough cinema sins in a row that we'd be like no wins is better yeah <laughs> maybe mm. just bounce between the both of them but yes what a video what an experience one bullet time is there anything else can be said about that it's just it's like well it's cinema sins so it's just the same as always, like, oh, this is clearly a joke, you morons. It's like, oh, what is the joke? Uh, I need to go. This is, <laughs> like, or, or they explain something that's like, well, the joke is like, you know, paper is like, thin. Uh, yeah, oh. oh, okay. Funny. I just, I just hate how the, the fence setting where it's like, they do this big long takedown and talking about all the horrible plot bro broken parts of a movie and how the bird eating the guy's eyeball is the, the the one character arc that was successful in this film but yet they still are on that kind of fence sitting thing where it's like oh but this movie's still enjoyable or if somebody were to like criticize them or call them out on it like they have that kind of wiggle room where they they can be mm. focused nothing on but just pedantic nitpicks here and there while missing huge parts of the story or getting massive things wrong with their their analysis uh, so they, it's like, I don't know, it, it's like a, a way to appease people who want to hate on a movie for whatever reason, while also not outright saying it's bad. Hmm. It's a weird, it's a weird line they draw. Someone in chat just said, if I was closer, I would go to Trungo's. <laughs> nice. They are that Me far too. back I'd in the stream, I think. <laughs> Which is great. Um, <laughs> or maybe they are just, they're just hungry and we're just talking about Trungos now. <laughs> I, would, I mean, honestly, I would invite all of you to go to Trungos with me if, if that mm. was something we could do right now. Yeah, when we fun. have a US meetup, we'll start at Trungos and mm -hmm. we'll just make our way. It's scary oh, that's a possibility. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to say before we jump into the Super Charms. About this video? I don't think oh, so. No, I'm I think glad I'm so. good. Put it in the <laughs> rear yeah. view mirror. Yep. Alrighty then. Um, well, I guess I should also offer us, like, um, does anybody want to go to sleep or jump out of this podcast for any reason? You're welcome to. Nice little breaky area before we start with Super Chats. I, I would love to jump into some Super Chats, but I probably have to go pretty soon, so... It's all right, mate. Uh, do you want to do you want to tell people what you're up to, Mister? Talks about cyberpunk or whatever. No. 
Yeah. Well, like I, I finally, I don't know if I, I think I'm going to finish it after our last podcast together, but I finally finished Cyberpunk Part 3. Um, it's a big, it's a big chunker. It's like two hours, 15 minutes or something like that. Um, brings the whole series up to about four and a half hours so far. I think I'm going to do two more parts eventually, but not anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, just all things, cyberpunk books, comics, animation, philosophy, hacker culture, virtual reality, uh, the matrix, Blade Runner, all the stuff. Just to, if you like cyberpunk as a genre, I'm not talking about uh 27 7 but the the genre itself um that's a great place to start uh and i also did a um i did a podcast i r very rarely do one but i i did a, a podcast with uh g-man lives i don't know if you've ever um watched i'm aware content. of the, this man yes yeah cool dude we did a podcast together where we, we basically talk about the matrix uh series dark city and um we ran to, for a while about how terrible Matrix 4 was. It was a lot of fun. Um, that's also on my main channel. Um, I do live streams on the side on my second channel, and I'm working on a retrospective for the somewhat obscure 1990s uh, Japanese RPG developer Quintet, which should be out in a couple few months probably. So if that sounds interesting, go check out my channel. We Well, link is in the description wow. and in chat. Uh, thank you so much oh, for yeah. joining us, sir. Look forward to yeah, next thanks. time. Thanks for inviting me on. See you guys. Two Bye. Bye. You gonna you gonna hang, Mr. Metal? Yas. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Alrighty then. I think I'm gonna play some some Super Smash Brothers melee. Melee. More lore. If I can get it to hook. Do it over. There. Oh sweet, it did this time. Real quick. And hook. Alrighty then. This one says, Give $10 to Metal and tell him I don't know... I didn't know he was so cultured as to watch Nile Red. Hi, Rags. Yeah. Hello. It's a good channel. It's good stuff. Show me. Show Hello. Me. Recently watched the cinematic Venom EFAP on Lord of the Rings. Sweet Jesus, you poor men inspired me to rewatch the films, though. That's good. Oh, sorry. There was a full stop there. Sweet Jesus, you oh. poor men. Full stop. Inspired me to rewatch the films, though. Which, yeah, great. Do it a thousand times. They're fucking. <sighs> yes, they are very good movies. <laughs> I would like more, but I don't think we will get more. I don't think we will either. Just be glad we got what we got. There's the thing about um the whole bunch of there was supposed to be a release with about was it forty minutes of extra footage or something across the three movies extended stuff and it's just Ooh. like. Oh man, I don't even care if it's bad. I would just like to see some stuff. It's <laughs> bad. Uh, today's animal of the day is the Galapagos tortoise. A ghost tortoise. All right, look at him go. Oh, that's not like a long, long neck there, or is, it, is that how long are their necks typically? That seems longer than usual, right? Yeah, I think it's longer than normal. I don't think they typically have a neck that long that's pretty neat he's like it's like he's trying to do an impression of the the long neck dinosaurs those are some interesting creatures those uh tortoises they are interesting um an inspiration for your prefab animal discussions look up quetzalcoatlus a giraffe-sized pterosaur that hunted dinosaurs and flew. Terrifying. All right. Have a look Quits at this. Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah, it's a big. Oh, I remember this from one of uh one of the dinosaur books when I was a kid. This was on one of the covers. This was one of... here. I'll I'll uh, give you post a picture. This was one of those creepy ass scary dinosaurs that gave me nightmares. Holy shit! How mm. big is this thing? Very large. Is it huge, apparently. boy, or is it? Looks like a wow, that is a big boy. That is, mm. fucking hell, that beak. Fuck that. God, see, so this is the kind of creature. For some reason, this doesn't apply to T Rex for me in my head. But if I saw this walking around, I would, I would be like, "Am I dreaming? No, nope. fuck is I'd that? Like, nope, nope, we're not <laughs> living here. Fuck this planet. <laughs> I'm out. Bye bye." That's, I uh, wish I could find a... this uh, book of my youth that had this 
that it had this creature in it because it's one of the images that I remember because I, I remember it just being scary. I'm like, oh, imagine if I was around when this thing was around. It's ugh, terrifying. It's okay, Rex. You have guns. Guns will win. Look at those. Yeah, I guess my guns. little my little person <laughs> brain just didn't even think about. Oh, but you have firearms. Like, no, I just imagine myself as a kid. And this, <laughs> ugh. The next one says the animal I have found for you today is the vampire deer. And it's like, why? How, is everyone doing this now? <laughs> <laughs> just like, Apparently so. Oh, yeah. Vampire deer. Oh, the Siberian musk deer. Yeah, let me get you a picture. Oh, I can't. I've got them. I can't show people once I've started up a game, though, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, wow. Others. Yeah, it's like yeah. saber tooth deer. Yes. Yeah, I had no idea old. this thing was That's a thing. That's badass and scary. Just imagine, it's like, oh, look, it's a deer. That's nice. And that, look at this face. Like, oh, fuck. It genuinely looks like an OC who is like, my deer has fangs. Yeah, like, my fangs. Deer has fangs. <laughs> yeah. like... Cool. Um, Fuck you, little Timmy. Your deer can't have fangs. Also known as the Chinese water deer. Sorry, I didn't find one with a funny nose <laughs> for you guys. That's okay. Jesus. Okay. Um, for EFAB 193, you should rewatch Cinematic Venom with a fresh group that hasn't seen it. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Just double dip on that video because people <laughs> like it so much. I don't know that you can get that video anymore. I think he took down his channel. Obviously, I don't know if people wanted to re-upload or whatever, but I still think that would be strange. I wouldn't be, I would not be approving of that. The interesting tidbit of it, I guess, is the fact that Fringy hasn't seen it, but, um... Yeah, that's true. I don't know, I don't know if that's enough for us to have a complete repeat of a, of a watch of a thing. Seems kind of strange, right? Um... Hi, Rags. Hello. <laughs> have some medium rare chicken on me. Be sure to eat it with oh, your gloves thanks. on for the best possible dining experience. Oh, no. Of course, because you have to eat chicken with your gloves on. Of course. Those monsters. I Friendly. often wonder the actors and actresses who who were just, they, they have gloves on that are just their, their daily gloves that they wear <laughs> for wearing. And they're eating chicken with their gloves on. And odd, yeah. I... You've got to be wondering, do they say anything? Like how fucking weird this is? Was it Dinosaur Cove? Let me take a look. I, I don't think it was... Uh... Books. No, it wasn't Dinosaur Cove. These were... I don't think they were... Now, at the time, they were like science books on it, on the subject. Or at least advanced enough for adults or maybe high schoolers, but to a kid. I can't remember if they were like legitimately textbooks or if they were just informational books about dinosaurs, but they were not geared towards kids. And so as a kid, that could be all kinds of things to your kid brain. Mm. But yeah, they had some just really <clears throat> spooky dinosaurs in there. Well, the, the fact that this thing was described as like a dinosaur killer or whatever, right? Um, <coughs> I just the idea that it flies around and grabs up all the ones that are... <laughs> Scary as well. Like, oof. Um, fictional evolved human of the day, Asteromorph. A lot of them today. Yeah, we've had loads. Well, this one is fictional evolved human. Asteromorph. Oh, what is this? No, gross. Ugh. Looks like. F doesn't flaps. <laughs> Lots of gangly. Gangly. <laughs> Ew, I don't like evolved humans. Ew, scary. All right, next one. <laughs> next one. Oh, someone sent me a, a picture of a, the book, it might be Encyclopedia of Dinosaurs and Other Prehistoric Creatures. This might be it. I'm not certain. I'd have to kind of thumb through it and look at it. Uh,. It, it might be, because I'm only working with memories from a long, long time ago. But mm -hmm. the, the cover image certainly seems scary enough to, because you have like a, a big dinosaur yelling at another big dinosaur that's got like flesh in its mouth. And you're like, yeah, this is pretty fucking scary. Very true. If I saw some pages from the inside, maybe I'd be able to tell. 
do not know. Maybe. Um. Hey, Longos. We got hey. all of us. So hello. Yeah. What's up? Right. Hello to you. Um, Rags, please say a peacemaker line as Boba and a Boba line as peacemaker. It's not for a video, just to be silly. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, hello to you. Uh, I mean, let me look, look up some quotes here. I cherish peace with all my heart. That sounds like something that the new Boba Fett would say. <laughs> <laughs> it does. So true. <laughs> And so, and, and then a, a Boba Fett line is John Cena. I don't even know if I could do that one, because I'm just not... John Cena's voice, is it that dis... I guess it's distinct enough, but not in a distinct way, if that makes any sense. Hmm. Do you mean you um, don't know, like, what accent to put on or what kind of... Yeah, I don't know if I could do it. Uh, maybe if we had one of those... Do you know who I am? I'm Boba Fett. Yeah, just kind of like a gruff man sort of voice. I think that's good enough as an attempt. It's kind of hard to do John Cena. Or at least I find it hard to. Um, just got a PC. What are some good games for me to try out? Preferably free or cheap. Also, hi, Rags. Hello to you. Preferably well, currently, free or cheap? Go currently ahead. Steam sale, so <gasps> now's your best bet to get some cheap-ass games. Yeah, Dishonored 2 is like four bucks or something like that get that you don't have to worry about playing the first one uh mm -hmm. it is good though but i would recommend it but dishonored 2 i'm more familiar with and that's excellent of course left for dead 2 always a mainstay absolutely um i would recommend that you get you play the deus ex games um there is the old one of course there's also human revolution and mankind divided um uh, it might help to play a game that you played on the console to kind of help you illustrate, be illustrated the difference, especially if modding is a thing. Uh, what are the things that I recommend? Um, Dusk is a, is a really good kind of retro shooter. Same thing with some of the old games like Quake and whatnot. Uh, but that, that should get you started. Uh, the Dead Space games uh, are good on PC. The first one might need a mod to, to work well. Also, let's but... not forget Xbox Game Pass. That's a that's like a tenner oh, each, yeah. each month, and you get like all the games. Yes, get so, Xbox Game Pass. It's amazing. That's probably your best bet, actually. Mm -hmm. Get Xbox Game Pass. Do it. Well, there you go. Um, there's a lot of free-to-play games that are pretty popular. You're gonna have to have a look around and maybe put yeah. some hours into a couple of them to see what you think. Of course, MOBAs are fa famous for being, like, the bigger and more content-rich free games that came out for a while, but at this point, I think a lot of games are free. I mean, Halo is free right now, right? Halo multiplayer is free, yes. Yeah. yeah, so you could jump into that, um, see what you think. But, uh, this is the thing. PC gaming right now is at a point where you just fucking anything you want, it's there. Which is pretty cool, actually, because thinking about it back in the day, PC gaming was nowhere near as, uh, refined. Mm -hmm. It was taken a hell of a lot more seriously now, which is really cool. Oh, yes. Um... With guys like Razor... Oh, uh, yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's the next one, so? Nah, you're go ahead. You go ahead. I'm assuming Carry yours on. is about the topic we were just on, no? Um, yeah, I was gonna recommend, uh, of course, uh, Soma and Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Mm -hmm. Soma's probably on yeah. sale now as well. Oh yeah, so it'll take too be long like to beat. Nice and spooky, very yeah. atmospheric. It's not a horror game though, and they'll give you <laughs> no, think stuff. You'll you'll think things. So that's pretty. Yeah, neat. thinking him good. Mm-hmm. Uh, with guys like Razorfist getting dumbstruck for past content by YouTube, how would you guys go about platforming in the future? Would you guys consider reposting or streaming on new tech platforms like Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, etc.? It's a great question, because I really don't know what I would do. If YouTube banned yeah, me outright, I I'm not sure what I would do. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, I have to think, consider my options, see what's going on. I think if YouTube banned me, I'd just be like, well, I'm just doing books then and stuff. That's it. <laughs> I I don't know that I have much of an interest in doing it on another platform. 
I think I would set myself up on another platform, but I would I'd probably lose. keep streaming on Twitch at least, but uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know that any of these companies really have any capacity to compete with YouTube. Um, and frankly, a lot of the time these, these platforms become hyper-partisan because it's typically for political stuff that you get banned on a... Well, I guess barring the more obvious stuff, and then it just sort of becomes the platform that the people who got banned off YouTube are on, so... Yeah, I, I would want to look into a whole bunch of them and see how they're doing, um, and then consider it, but uh, it might be a bit of a like, well, I guess it's time I'm going to wind down on YouTube stuff and maybe look into doing some more other stuff. Yeah, I probably, or even just, yeah, like, I feel like that would be, that would be the, the, just a change in whatever it is I'm doing. But I've got everything that I've ever done backed up on this computer, so it would all just be put onto a different site, more than likely as an archive. At the very least. Uh, love you massives. Thanks for all the laughs and objectivity over the years. Rags, Mauler, Fringy, and Metal. Thanks to you all. I am an... I'm an upright... I'm upright and healthy. Oh. Nice oh, that's good. I'm glad we could help in some way with health. That's pretty neat. Whatever way that... Yeah, Maybe they're listening to us. To I that. just picture they're listening to us in a gym. While you're that's exercising. How I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or it's our great health advice. Well, that, that was, that's <laughs> mostly you then, but uh, hey. Hey, yeah, well, got good stuff on that. Uh, some way. Assuming that's it, but uh, keep up the good work and I'll be here trucking along. Scratches for rags. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, good stuff. Fictional science-based alien of the day, the Birin. Oh, the double R. All right, let's have a look-see. B-I-R-R-I-N. Birin. This is an odd one. Hmm. This is a. That is an odd mm. one. It's a very odd one. Got These a, look got like an image of it with a gun. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what this is even from. Uh, Chronicles of Krira, Krira, Krira. <laughs> 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 Well, wait. Uh, Alex Reese's Biren Project. A vision of non-humanoid alien world by one of the artists of Subnautica. Oh, all right. Um. <laughs> this is an interesting one. At Waller, do you ever plan on making a response to Jack Saint and his review about your content? Well, well. I assume you may be a newer viewer, but uh, that's EFAP. I think it's early 10s. It's around EFAP 20. I can't remember if it's like 18 and 19 or something, but um, we did a live response and I had timestamps for all of my videos with slotting them in here and there to show what he did. Jack Saints, not exactly a. Didn't do a very good job. That's where our conclusion was. Um. Hello, gentlemen. I've recently come to the realization that the movie Gangs of New York would never have been created in modern, modern Hollywood. Plenty um, of movies like that, unfortunately. I, I'd be curious what they're referencing with Gangs of New York specifically. I haven't seen that movie. I need to re -watch. I haven't seen that one. Because, like, Tropic Thunder and Team America are very much overt to me as to why they wouldn't be made now, but yeah. I'm not sure about Gangs of New York exactly. Um, Lord Longbong of Mewshlington Abbey. Have you given any more thought <laughs> to a Kong Fap of Peter yes. Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on, it'd be a hilarious and legendary movie Fap. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I just don't know what you're going to do when that happens. You know, can't stand that anymore. Uh, won't make any sense. Um, can't have that. But, um, yes. One day. One day. Uh, how do you think Earth would react if it was suddenly in the Star Wars galaxy during the prequel era? How do you all react to these news? Um, Wait, what was that? Sorry. If we were in the Star Wars universe, we're gonna we, we haven't got much of a space force, you know. Oh. So. Yeah. Oh my God, I've never seen that before. It was a giant Goomba. <laughs> in all my years of playing this game, I don't remember ever seeing a giant Goomba come out of a party thing before. Neat. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think that would be very bad news for us, because 
we would be expected to join, I guess, the Republic or the... I'm not sure exactly, because they never really go over, like, as the neutral planets and what they do, but... Yeah, Earth is, um... In a, in a bit of trouble. It could be taken quite easily, and it's got some good natural resources, so... I don't know. It would be a bit panicky. Yeah, we can't fight any sort of interstellar military. We just... There's no... There's no way we could put up a fight. Yeah, so... Um, I think we'd be terrified if we got randomly put into the prequel era Star Wars universe. I assume, mm. though, that we would just be made a part of the... Well, that's the thing. What, what, happens to, what happens to all of the clearly sapient races and civilizations that haven't achieved faster than light travel yet? Or since, like, warp speed yet? What happens then? I, Cause, I don't think we're told it at all, right? Like, yeah, you know, that's sort of why I ask, because you, you do wonder. Like, because there's got to be races out there with... I, I guess everyone's just sort of been brought into the fold in one way or the other. Or are they like the Tusken Raiders in a sense, where they're just, they hang out on Tatooine, they don't have light speed technology, but I guess they could buy a taxi and leave if they wanted to. You know, it's just that their race hasn't done that for themselves, but they can partake in all the technologies and the commerce of other races. Which I assume other races would be happy to do because this is, you know, now X billion more people which is a, a, a hot new market for all of these different things that you would want to, you know, have them be a part of. At the same time, there's a good chance that our planet would be, like, the prime one to grab for possibly either side, I guess, in terms of resources. In terms of Separatists or Republic? Maybe. Uh, maybe not Republic. I don't even know. Uh, but maybe Separatists. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If, if there's no strategic importance to it, maybe we would just be one of countless planets that just sort of exist and are out there um maybe which is pr probably what would happen if a war was going on it's like do you really have any reason to this this planet that was discovered that doesn't have any bearing at all on this war whatsoever oh god it'd be terrible if we were like in a good position as a sort of base planet you know that would be bad yeah it would be very bad <laughs> if we appeared in a strategic location during peacetime that could be really good. Mm -hmm. If we occur in a strategic location during wartime, not so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Though luckily, wars seem to be wars of that nature seem to be quite rare in the Star Wars universe. Yes. Um, the 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 original trilogy, Galactic Civil War and the Clone War, definitely seem to be very closely linked to each other in terms of time. Because in before that, there were thousands of generations of peace so that's sort of the odd thing out is to have these interstellar wars maybe mostly conflict here conflict there probably but nothing so grand scale which is good you definitely don't don't want grand scale things mm -hmm. happening that involve death and destruction if you're Rags, coward what Hi. are your favorite comedies the suicide squad that's one of my favorites. I definitely like... Hmm... I like Spaceballs and the History of the World Part 1. I like a lot of the Mel Brooks humor. I am a big fan of Thor Ragnarok. I think that's very, very funny. Um, That's that's some for you that I really like. So that, that should get you started. That's a decent list off the All top right. of my head. One of them even super topical. Uh, also, Fringy, I had friends that visited Australia and said no one knew how to cook bacon there. Is this true? I don't, I don't believe that. That's what do you mean no one knows how to cook bacon? <laughs> Put it on a hot pan and then yeah, it cooks. Then you don't have one to... of the easiest thing to, things to cook. So. That sounds like yeah. one of those yeah. bullshit you things where everyone agrees to say that in front of Fringy and he's just like, where, where, are you, where is everyone getting this from? What is it? Where, like, when, when was yeah. this a thing? Like, just put it on a hot pan? What? I don't understand. I... The only way that yeah. you could mess up bacon is to eat it raw or to leave it on until it just burns. It becomes charcoal. Yeah. It's basically impossible to ruin bacon. They're like mushrooms. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. Would you recommend okay. watching Orville, Irax? Not seen it. Hello. I don't I don't have personally much of an interest in it. I think I watched a few episodes. It was okay. Yeah. That wasn't really very funny though. I've seen um, clips but... and I wasn't very like moved. I would 
I wouldn't watch the Oroville if I could devote that time into finishing like Deep Space Nine or Star Trek Voyager. If I was going to watch that kind of show, that's what I would be watching instead. Yeah, fair enough. Or maybe Stargate, one of the star, the good Stargates, SG One or something. I'm on a search for some good action RPGs with satisfying combat. Any recommendations are appreciated. Also, high ranks. Hello. Action RPGs. Mel, I feel like you're action... more familiar with that form uh, genre than I am. Action RPGs. Mm. Oh, um, yeah, Deus Ex games would, uh, they would definitely fall under that category. They have very fun stealth. That's how I played through yeah. Human Revolutions was no kills. The combat was stealth. improved a lot in, uh, in Mankind Divided, though. It was much more yeah. viable. That yeah, game, it was so. it was fine. I just was like, nah, this is I just I it just yeah, I that's like not stealth how I games. Play it. Yeah, I like stealth games without shooting anyone. I think it's more of a interesting a self-imposed challenge. challenge, and it makes the game it does drag the game out, make it longer, uh, and it's very satisfying to play. Uh, it can get very tense that way. Um, it's kind of uh, let's see other action RPGs. Mm -hmm. Well, Mass Effect would count. Mass Effect, yeah, is an action RPG. The first one is the most RPG of the bunch, for better or worse. Um, I would say, a depending on the combat style, like, like I would consider Guild Wars 2 an action RPG in a way, based on how the combat works. Um, Isn't that an MMO RPG? Yeah, it's, a, it's an MMO. Um, an, an action RPG... Maybe um, Vermintide to a degree, because you do have different characters that have different classes, and each class has different weapons that behave differently, and you have talent trees that you could, you know, choose the talents of. Um, so that's more on the action side, but it sort of fits the bill because RPG is more, it's more mechanics than role playing now. When people say that, odd as it seems, it's sort of kind of changed its meaning in a way. Um, Action mm. RPG. I would say Dragon's Dogma has really good combat, but I haven't played it, so. Well, and, I mean, Dark Souls, I suppose, is going to be thrown in, assuming you. That counts. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. That absolutely counts. I guess God of War 2018 is kind of an action RPG as well, because you have, mm. like, stuff in there now. That's obviously a big recommend from me. Yumbo. Uh. Oh yeah, Borderlands one and two. Both of the two one, uh, the first two I right, played and yeah. really enjoyed. I haven't played the third one, uh, but the first two I would definitely recommend. Even the first one I think probably holds up pretty well. Those are action RPGs. The second one definitely seems to be more RPG-like in terms of the way you can level up characters, and they have branching paths for uh, essentially skill trees, and so you can make healing-based characters and DPS-based characters. Yeah, that's. Um, but now that should get you started, I yeah. think. Oh yeah, Fallout New Vegas, of course. Uh, Fallout 4 with mods, I would definitely recommend, too. But you, you've got plenty of good options. Um, it all started with Lego and Boba Fett's starship. Quit being dramatic, they said. They're not gonna change it. Screw Fire Spray. Kick J. High Rag. Hi. It all started with Lego? Do you mean just the specifically the fire spray thing? Because yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't know. I, it's like I just like it's simple for me. I don't I don't know why I'm not that pissed off by that. I'm just like I'm not calling it fire spray. You can say it as much as you want. It's flavor one. Yeah, it's flavor one. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't know. Um. Hi, Muller and Rags. Hello. Hello. I'm using my monthly membership thingy to to recommend Deep Rock Galactic. Good. That's a that is a it, it, that is a really good co-op game. I would highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. DRT is good. We really do need to play that for EFF games or something. Hey, we need to play a lot of things. I'm watch a lot of things. Shut up. Do you know how long it took for me to watch Arcane? Like, everyone was mad at me that it took so long. You know. Well, I know, hmm. right after you made me watch it. What? No, I didn't do yeah, that. You, you totally did, yeah. You like begged me to watch. You are like, oh, watch cartoon for children. Uh. 
uh, no. Which I think is very rude, by the way. You're rude. Oh, look, it's when the, the bot like gets this. stuck in this map because it doesn't know what to do. It's stuck down there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at him go. <laughs> He's just Thanks. continuously trying to... <laughs> Eventually, he'll, uh, he'll hit the underside of that little thing and kill himself. Hmm. Watch everybody as Star Fox himself fucking kills himself. What a fool. And his own ship. Yeah. Can't you change his angle his when you go Star farther Fox, back? By the way. His name that's, is Fox McCloud. That, Christ. that was the joke, you fucking. No, it wasn't the joke. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe it either. I can't believe you've done his name this. Is goddamn Fox Cloud. Like He's not a cloud, idiot. He's oh. not a cloud, he is McCloud. Not your cloud either. <laughs> McCloud. <laughs> McCloud. 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 <laughs> this feels like we're a bunch of children making a prank call. I hope Trungos makes a lot of money. Your name deserves it. I hope so too. True. T -t -t Trungo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We had a snowstorm here. They're probably closed. Oh, maybe. Hope not. The good people over at Trungos. 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 Ah, I got them. Fucking tomato. Suck. Um, you guys are objectively massive. Long live the long Whoa. man. Also high ranks. Oh, hello there. P.S. <laughs> I love you, Aileen Heston. All right, well, Aileen, you know, you got a guy out there who's uh, very invested. Come on. Or a stalker, we don't know. We're just reading things. Oh, I, I always hope for wholesomeness with these things. Yeah, I know. I'm sure, I'm sure he's and a really nice guy. You know, I mean, I mean, just you know, just go on that date. Just try it out. Just one. Come on. It's wild world. It. Just be careful. <laughs> do it, Aileen. Aileen, very unique name. It, it, it is, I'm just thinking, it, speaking of names, it, it would be pretty unfortunate to be a fox and be called Fox the Cloud and lead a team called Star Fox. It's like, you don't make it. does seem a little egotistical. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, well. Uh, well on fair, your ship, your ship the, the team, Great Fox? To be fair, the team was founded by his dad. Who was also uh, his, a fox guy, right? <laughs> yeah, but his name is James. So well, James he named, named his fox himself. child Fox. Yes. Wow, James. And, and presumably Falco's dad also decided to. But call Falco him. is a real name. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's I, fucking pretty damn close to Falcon. It, to be well, it, that is. It, it's funny to think about that because like Andros, that's just like a name, you know. Like it doesn't really have anything to do with the fact that he's a uh, an Andros. Um, no, but, not an Andros. <laughs> I'm fine with. I'm fine with. You're Falco. not an Andros. <laughs> At, at least Falco is a, is a real, actual name. What about Pigma? You happy with that one? Pigma? Well, wait, what uh, makes it a real... What if, a, like, there's probably a guy out there called Fox. Called Fox? Yeah, maybe. It's just that I mean, he's it's not a, a Well, fox, it's a so real, it's it's a real surname, that's the thing. It's if... Well, like, McCloud is a real surname, and that's I'm fine fox, with the yeah. McCloud. I think we're all <laughs> here. I think all of fox. us are fine with the McCloud pot. Leave McCloud alone. Is little, <laughs> the foxes the are... The fox part. McCloud? Fox oh, and of course, Wolfo Donald. He's just Wolfo Donald. Yeah. Dead. They both got real last names, but kind of but silly last names. O'Donnell. Yeah. A Pigma Dengar. Dengar? Oh, That's Dengar. a bounty hunter. <gasps> oh my goodness. Can you believe it? And uh, Slippy Toad and Peppy Hair. Hmm. Kermit Frog. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is wrong. Stop with your wrongness. Wrong. Uh, Mola, use this money to buy Trungos for EFAB. I don't think we can afford it, but I'm not against the idea, okay? Mm, Trungos. I want Trungos for my birthday next week. Oh, yeah. Aloha. Somebody make it happen. Aloha. Uh, I recently rewatched the films Evolution with David Duchovny and Contact with Jodie Foster. What are y'all's thoughts if you've seen them? If you haven't seen any of these films, I recommend both of them for different reasons. So Evolution's a weird fucking movie. I'm pretty sure it's a comedy. Um, I can't remember the plot. I think like a comet crash lands and it starts... It's like creatures that are evolving and doing weird things. I really can't remember. Um, I think this is 
I, I, I haven't seen that movie since it came out. I don't know what my thoughts would be on it, even remotely. Any of you guys uh, know what Evolution is? No. <laughs> no. No clue. Well, uh, second it's film. Sorry, okay. Contact with Jodie Foster. I remember that, and I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, don't know what else I would say about it. I think, I think Jay likes Contact. Um, that's yeah. That's all I got. I don't know if anyone else has anything else. I just remember uh, yeah, the I don't, name. I, just don't, I don't think that. I've seen it. Um, Guten Tag, Rags. Oh, hello. Bonjour, German. Uh, uh, uh croissant. Bonjour. Ooh, I don't think they like it when you say that. Well, well, I like croissants. Croissants are great. Yeah, that's nice that you like it, but they don't. Croissants. Well, well, stop making them, you freaks. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Hello all. I believe in the multiverse theory. Not many people do. Are there any are there any in unproven theories you guys believe? Um unproven theories that we believe in? I mean, mm. science doesn't prove things, so that would be all of them, but I think I know what you mean. Um I get unproven theories that we believe in. Um I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta think for a moment here. I mean, the Earth does feel uh, a little flat sometimes. No, I mean, Mewp. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if there's anything that's like an unproven theory, it would be that I find it interesting, not necessarily like simulation one. Like I find yeah. it interesting, but that doesn't mean that I buy into it. I try um, to not believe in things that don't have a good amount of evidence well, for them. Well, yeah, uh, if it was like the easy one, right? I don't need to know what happened before the... Like, it's okay to be, have no... Like, I don't know what was before the Big Bang. I, I don't have anything. And anything yeah. that I presume... It's I like, mean, like, oh, I, well, that might be interesting, but I, I don't know, and it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't believe Epstein killed himself. But... I mean, it's... that That's... Did you that even, one, I like, feels like you only wanted to say that and then you didn't know what else to say after it. Yeah, like, I, it's, it's just got quiet and here we are, you know? Got quiet? I thought um, you were going to make a point, like... <laughs> no, that, that was just sort of it. Um, that's a good point, chat. Australia might be real, which is interesting to theorize. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not some weird solipsist or i'm not religious or i don't really i don't think there's any conspiracy theories i really cling to um yeah, yeah. I, i'm not Continue. yeah i'm just i guess i don't there, there's not really any of that sort of thing no it's not something i generally think about though yeah i've not really got any that i can think of off the top of my head um yeah. sorry maybe I if one pops up I've seen a bunch of theories now because I've watched a lot of Kurzgesagt videos. And it's like, oh, that's interesting, but then well, like, that's where it stops. Which one are you thinking about? <laughs> Someone said, I believe in Fa Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, what about ghosts? we have any ghost believers, paranormal no. activity believers? No, here? not really. No. Because I, I don't believe no. in ghosts either. But that's um, not a scientific theory. That is just like superstition. The supernatural kind well, of. Well, I'm sure they would they would happily include it, right? They'd be in like, the realm, I guess, of the I, spirit of the question, no. ha, so to speak. Nice. nice. Um, Pogland. Uh, I mean, I like a lot of the Eastern philosophy <clears throat> stuff to do with like, you know, like Life. Taoism and stuff like that. But I just like it. Like, it doesn't mean that I think that it's like actually reflective of the way that. The universe actually works. Hmm. Or that, or that whatever it's useful for is like interesting in terms of how you can transplant it onto an existence, but probably doesn't have much of a reason behind why it works the way that it does. Rags Death believes in ghosts. They put that in all <laughs> caps. It's like, no, I, I really don't believe in ghosts. No, I. What really about don't. now? Well. After careful consideration, I suppose. I knew it. I, I, I've really come around on the ghost question after the, the yeah. three seconds that I re perhaps I spoke too hastily. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm happy we 
we could clear up Ghost Gate today. That's great. Yeah. I guess one of the, the one that was brought up in the super chat about like multiverse is like, yeah, I guess I could I could see that being an explanation for stuff. Maybe. <laughs> I, but there I mean, are, I don't there are many things that are sufficient explanations. That doesn't mean we have evidence for them. Well, I, but... it would be the idea that it's it's kind of like when you're working backwards, right? It's like, well, why would we assume that there is only one universe? Like, why is that an assumption that we, we would make? And it's like, well, we only have one that we know of. Can observe, yeah. yeah. But, but it's kind of the same as, like, I think, it would, I think it's actually, like, legitimately unreasonable to believe that, like, aliens don't exist somewhere in the universe. I guess um, that's one. I believe that there is other intelligent life in the universe. But that's, that's, I don't know that that's like a theory or anything. It's more just that, that it seems like there are way too many planets. And yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's, in the universe, what was the paradox you know? called again? F the Fermi, Fermi paradox is, Fermi, yeah. Uh, the Fermi paradox is essentially the idea that why can't we see any? Like, yeah, even how many planets there are. And the big thing is the time scale, because the universe is yes. like 14 billion years old. So if we've had that much time, we think about how long it took for humans to get from monkey to uh, to where we are now. Why can't we see any aliens? Um, well, I, th I think there's probably plenty of reasons why. Uh, um, well, the logic would... I, I think that there are plenty of reasons why. The yeah. big one is interstellar travel just may not be viable. Like, legitimately. Yeah, it, it yeah just because if, be if you think on through. a... If you think on a cosmic scale, li uh, light speed is not that fast. <laughs> light speed is pretty slow. Yeah, um, yeah it goes it was so one of his big... dead slow. Yeah, um, but, and, and, you know, even getting to that point, right, isn't there a lot of things talked about in terms of, like, the gravity and stuff and weight and everything? It's, it's mm -hmm. really... I think it's, like, the problem with, um... I... Science fiction is really cool and it's interesting to think about all that stuff, but, uh... Unfortunately, it seems like the way that reality works, there are a lot of things that we would like to have be possible that just may not be. Yeah, well, like, but then there's other things possible, that we... thousands of years from now. Yeah, but then again, there's other things that are possible right now that we just don't do, like True. these uh, these uh, uh, what were they called? Those, those those propel thingies that you put in orbit and they just fling a spaceship Death away star. with skyhook. Skyhook, yeah, that's the one. Well, I mean, it's I one. I found of the, that really interesting. And it was like, oh, there's actually no real reason we don't there, build them yet. There is stuff that we should we should be doing. The big one is why aren't we going to the moon permanently? Like, why? Yeah. This weird obsession with Mars. It's odd. Like, yeah, the moon. The moon's the moon. really close by. It's really close. If anything goes wrong, we can get to you very quickly. As exactly. As opposed to a six month journey once every three years. Like, it's it's. I don't know why we're not. As interested in going to the moon and setting up infrastructure and permanently doing things on the moon. Yeah, um, like space stuff is like kind of ignored. I feel a like a lot of space stuff lot is of ignored, stuff that... despite the fact that our infrastructure in space is incredibly important to the modern yeah, world. Exactly. I don't get it, but but it's like Mars. Everybody's really <clears throat> interested in Mars, and I I don't know. I don't get it. No, I guess um, it's because it's an, uh, it's because like it's, it's, it's a planet. Planet, thing. yeah. Um, and we haven't been, we haven't sent people to Mars, but we sent people to the moon. It's like, yeah, like seventy years ago. Can we, like, wow, well, yeah, not seventy. It's, 50 it's years weird ago. because can we, we do it would, again, please. Because you would think it's like, oh, we went to the moon, cool. Now we should probably build something on there to do uh, more stuff. Too much money, too much money at the time. But now, where yeah, we're but at now, now we can do it. Well, we could, and I think NASA wanted to set that up by 2024, but I don't know how the plan's been affected with everything that happens in the last two years. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that makes sense to me. I don't, I don't... Going to Mars before trying to set up permanent infrastructure on the moon feels like getting ahead of yourself a bit. A little um, bit, huh? Because a lot of it is also practical. What is, what is <laughs> the utility of going to Mars rather than going to the moon? It's like, well... There's shit on the moon that's probably incredibly valuable and useful to us. And it's a lot closer. We can do a lot of the research there. We can use the moon as a place, as like a place to launch missions out to the rest of the solar system because of low yep. atmosphere. Uh, low gravity, low atmosphere and all that. And it's like, yeah, Mars is really far away. Venus is closer than Mars. Um, but, you know. Um... But, of course, Venus is kind of... Well, I guess we could terraform in a few thousand years, like Kurz Gassan <laughs> yeah. said in their very good video on terraforming Mars. Mm -hmm. um, legitimately, though, I, I think it would be really interesting if we had, like, orbital stuff in, in Venus. That feels like it could be a cool idea. Yeah. Mm. I don't, space is really cool. Just... Yeah, so I believe in aliens. Uh, 
And so, but I don't even know if it's, I believe in it. It's just like, it seems statistically unlikely that they don't exist. Yeah. So, I That's my belief in them. I guess it's when people say I believe in it. Well, I believe like... in crocodiles, you know? Well, a, a belief is an acceptance <laughs> of a proposition to be true. Yeah, shut I the fuck up, Rags. I already covered it. Is that it? I believe in crocodiles. Yeah. <clears throat> and none of you seem to be challenging me on that, so I guess, yeah. Maybe I too it. share your belief in crocodiles. You know, someone Some else in weird, chat yeah. just pointed out something that's very true. People are too focused on colonization, like the utilization of the resources and spaces. Mm, it's all that yep. British influence, man. Mining. <laughs> well, it's just, you gotta Thanks. mine stuff, you know? <laughs> mine stuff in there. Uh... Yeah, okay, that's our coverage of contact and evolution. <laughs> like, there, there you go. go. Um... Oh wait, well, uh, anyway, uh, gosh dang, that's a big sausage. What a moment to turn on the stream. Oh. Yeah. Hey, did EFAP and Robot Head have a messy breakup? He hasn't been on in forever. To be fair, I was actually looking at the guests for this EFAP, and I was like, the thing is, I, I was a little late with grabbing guests for this one. But, I did ask a couple people, I got uh, a few declines, I was looking at the, um, the EFAP.me guest list, and I was like, man, there are loads of people we haven't had back on. It's just a matter of sort of scheduling or topics. The big one that I feel increasingly guilty about is uh, Rakita Media or Rakita Law or Rakita or Nick Rakita or Rackets. Yes. Right. He has a lot of names. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. Still, I've spoken to him and I've been on a stream with him. It was just like, it's going to happen at some point. <laughs> oh, he was supposed to have the Act Man at one point again, but it didn't work out scheduling wise. Um,. Obviously, we'd have ER back on if we could, if the right topic came up, and he was, I don't think he's around much right now. Um, we didn't, uh, uh, Anna, when we last had it, we were like, can't wait for you to come back on and talk about whatever the thing. It's like, I wouldn't have told you it was going to be one year until we see her again. <laughs> it might even have been more than that, I'm not sure, but, oh yeah, sorry, it was two years, because they said 101 was the last time she came on, right? No, wait, that's Damn. one year, sorry. What, year and a half. My brain is, yeah. Um, it's all a blur. So yeah, we'll, um, Internet Historians, another one, yeah, the, it was a surprise, I was looking at the list, I was like, fuck, we haven't had so many of these people back at uh, different times, um, Cynic Snacks, another one, CJ, we haven't had in a while, um, and then of course is the goal of having new people come on as well, um, so, you know, it's just a matter of sort of rotation, it can get awkward sometimes, but, uh, we'll try and get you guys the bestest guests in the wholest of the world, or sometimes, I'll be like, hey, free, rags. We can handle this hey. ourselves, and you guys are like, yeah, we can. Oh, you bet, you bet your ass, we can. Um, yeah, I usually try to. I, I really want to get it on people on subjects that they're actually familiar with, because there's a couple of people who are going to come on this episode, but they were like, I haven't seen Suicide Squad, and I was like, oh, well, that doesn't really work. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we'll try again another time. Um. Sausage, yeah, okay. Uh, does R four have a Roomba function? R four, the um, R four D four, or one... oh me, me, like oh, the robot yeah, the rags. Robot image, I remember. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not an. I learned about him today, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm <laughs> I'm legitimately not sure. I do not know. Fucking Chansey, that's the Pokemon I get. Really, thanks. Ah, uh, yes, the. Pokemon of gambling. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Evolution in reference to that last question. Hi. Hi. Oh, they're saying that evolution is the scientific theory they believe in. But well, we we have it's basically an established fact, though. I'm I mean, to piss off to doubt it. Oh, isn't right? isn't <laughs> the common misconception that like theory, scientific. Doesn't the the theory, theory of the evolution way, the through natural theory. selection is the theory, but evolution itself is a fact. Mm -hmm. We have pro we probably have more evidence for evolution than fucking gravity. Like evolution <laughs> is like the, the it's the foundation of biology. It's you just you can't evolution is shockingly proven at this point. Neat. Shockingly proven. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to describe it, yeah. <laughs> oh, you Fuckers, I could have used that bomb. Um, have any of y'all watched the original BSG? 
BSG. The original one, Battlestar Galactica, I guess. No! I recognize some of the stuff, like the Cylons and things, but I didn't. I have not seen the original Battlestar Galactica. Yep, I am uninitiated in such pop culture I think it was... How many uh, let me, seasons did it have? Let me check. The original had just one, two seasons? Oh, uh, you cunt. Wait, I won? Uh, <laughs> I won. <laughs> Good job. Wait, I can't tell if that cost me a life or not. You uh, well, you had all three when game when it said game, so... Well, that... Yeah, but... It might have been gone by then. Can you roll it back? Just see scroll if it up. Is. Oh. Can't no, no, I was, I was looking when it, cha when it changed to the stage clear. There were all three there, I'm pretty was it, sure. Well, was it three when I was fighting him? Uh, oh, right. I, I know what you mean now. Hang on. Let me see. Are oh, you on it? Okay. I'm trying to... <laughs> pause. Oh, you are... Uh... No, I think you had four, and now you're on three. Oh, Depressing. Yeah. Sag. And now to be bitten by this this lad here. Oh, I wanted the shell. Oh, wow, okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just... Yeah, no way I'm making it now. Peacemaker Episode 5 was actually pretty good. The show is slowly getting better. The crying scene was the worst it gets in Episode 2, by far the weakest episode. Um, I saw people discussing this in the Discord, and they said we dropped out a scene before the introduction of a favorite character that a lot of people have, oh so boy. we may very well have just left at the wrong time. Um, I don't know if we'll ever find out the truth on that. It'll have to be a matter of the show is so good that we get enough weird of mouth telling us we have to see it by the time it ends. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Aloha all again. I forgot to mention, in Evolution, you get to see the truth behind Fringle's goo. Keep it in the fridge and away from open flames. Hmm. Did you loan that shit out to Hollywood? No, this just sounds like lies. Oh, okay. Would you ever loan it out to Hollywood? Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on how if much money they're offering, or...? If the price is right. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Hi, I wanted to know if Punto would protect me from people dropping rocks from the moon. I've heard that they have the power of a th a hundreds of nuclear bombs. Um, I'm pretty sure Punto can take care of that if he can take care of like the bigger stuff. I don't think you have anything to worry about at that point. As long as you subscribe for the highest amount, uh, they'll they'll knock out anything coming your way, including the nuke hey. level ones. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll give what I can to Punto. Thank you all for doing better. <laughs> thank you for doing better. Protecting this world. We thank you and Punto thanks you. Mm -hmm. J only fans when? Rags only fans when? I don't know. I guess it's just up in the air. Mm. I don't want to, I don't want to commit to anything. Uh, five stars. I live and work in southeast Wisconsin, and Punto has saved my life many times. Even punted a falling brick at my job site. That's a really cool thing they apparently can do. I didn't even, they don't even advertise this, but just general things being thrown at you can be destroyed before they'll hit you. Very yeah. sick. Um, obviously there was that court case about the baby who was tossed between people and it got zapped, but like, that's not exactly Punto's fault. It's like, why are you throwing a baby around? Yeah, why are you throwing a baby, freaks? They got yeah. arrested, both of them. Punto got, like, I think immunity from any kind of, you know. Baby tossing. Yeah. <laughs> there was even an objection in court, and they were not allowed to use the term punting the baby mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, similarities. It's, and, it's a bit, yeah, like legally speaking, you could see that as, speaking, it yeah. creates a confusion. Punto mm -hmm. the baby. Yeah. Don't punto the baby. Don't do that. Um, Sam, I'm sold on punto. Also, hi, Fringy. Hey. They said Zam, not Dam. I wonder if Zam. Zam must mean something else, I don't know. Zam. Zam, Wes Zam Wessel. Wazel, idiot. Wazel. Zam Wessel. Wessel. At least I think that's how he says it in the game. I can't remember. Zam Wessel. Uh, the real question is, does Punto save more lives than the Eternals? Also, hi, Rags. 
Hello. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. Well, I guess you wouldn't have to have seen the movie. To... Wow, what a bad start. You wouldn't have to have seen the movie to know when your lives are saved, right? Uh, true, but that would generate... How many lives did the Eternals save? Um, I think they mean specifically as a movie, not who they saved in the in the movie. Um, oh, the Eternals as a as a film. I yes. don't think it saved any lives. Oh well, that's I don't think that's that actually not what film... they said in interviews. So I think you're wrong there. I mean, what? what a, there, there was there was interviews about how good the film is, and the the I, I can't remember if it's one of the actors or one of the producers or whatever, but they said that the Eternals is going to save lives. It's oh, that's save a lie. You, is that a meme or like? Are you serious? I'm sad. Like someone I was going to go I, into. I like someone like... was going to go into a war zone, and so they went to a theater instead, and it's safer? I feel like I failed, because I, I thought you all knew about this. It's a, been a big meme on the Friday Night Tights and real BBC side of my streaming, but... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I, no, uh, totally if, yeah. If I heard about this before, then my mind clearly has blocked it out of... It, it's well, like a, a, yeah, there's this interview safe. where they just start talking about the movie, and it's like, the Eternals, it's, it's got, like, all kinds of representation, and it's, it's very diverse, and that it's, it's going to save some lives, or something like that. It's going to save some lives because it's diverse and... Alright. Yeah, I, I like get you the clip, but I Someone who was going to murder... Like, I was going to murder this brown person, but then I saw the Eternals, and that really changed my perspective on minorities. Was, like, I think it's as, as stupid as, like, oh, to see people of your own skin color being superheroes, it'll... It'll... You won't be as sad, I guess. I don't know. Fucking bizarre, dude. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Alright. I'm telling you, man, like, Blade, he was one of those if badass If only Hitler had seen the younger. Eternals. Yeah, Blade is awesome. Eternals would have stopped the Holocaust. But it didn't. But it didn't. So, um, we'll just chalk that up to an L. I'm interested in Punto, but in it, but it, I see a troubling lack of pride representation in their backpacks. What will Punto be doing to rectify their homophobia? They will be the, the homo pack coming. Homo pack. <laughs> the homo pack. It secretly attracts <laughs> asteroids. It's all this big, oh, no. horrific conspiracy. <laughs> They're being forced to do it by big homo. A big homo, big gay. You mean? <laughs> of course, the big gay lobby. So yeah, you know, I can't say exactly when, but I think it's happening. Uh, hello, Massives. Long-time listener. Just want to say thank you all for the quality entertainment. I love listening to y'all at work, being outside, and building Lego slash Mega Block sets. Stay long. Hey, nice. Glad we can keep you entertained. So, Longy. Good luck with all of those ventures. I hope you have the fun. I finished Hill House yesterday. That ending, though. Yeah. Always mm. made me uncomfortable, that ending. It's, um... Spend the whole season telling us how horrible the, the, the situation is in that house and with the ghosts and stuff. But then at the end, it's just like, hey, it's a happy thing, kind of. Chilling. It's cool. I think he, um, he got the ending he wanted sorted ahead, far ahead of time with Bly, I think, compared to Hill House. But who knows? Uh, ooh, Anyone? what should I say with my free super chat? I, I don't oh, know. I don't know. Oh, man. I, I can't tell you. You could say all kinds of things. You could say hello, or maybe you could ask us a strange question, or a, or would you rather this or that, or some animal that exists to... that I've never seen or heard of before. Yeah, and I'm you, could... by. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, know, you don't even have to ask us anything. You could just say, "Ah, oh, have you checked out the blue-footed booby?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, we talked about that in Bo Boba Fett." It was you great. talked about that in Boba Fett. We all discussed it. I had before to find that image and put it on the screen because you said that, Rags. Do you even appreciate the amount of work I do for your random things that you say? I do, actually. Oh. You can because wait I for think it the with the fucking conversation about Grimace. So what's interesting about the blue-footed <laughs> booby is that they, they often have, like, blue faces, too, like blue beaks. But they're named for their feet, not their beaks. Hmm. You could have a, you could have a blue-beaked booby. <laughs> or a, a, a blue-faced booby, maybe. But it's... I guess they're... I guess their feet are more consistently vibrantly blue, so fair enough, I suppose. You were glad when you looked up the blue footed booby and you saw that. Oh my god, it's got blue feet. I, I was so glad. I was the gladdest. Gladdest? Gladdest. Yes. 
I was trying... I've been trying to become a member. I don't see the join button. The link sends me to your channel again. Any help would be welcome, Longman. Hmm. As far as I know, it works. And we've had new members this stream, so I, I don't see how they're doing it if it ain't working. But let's go incognito to my channel. I'm assuming I don't need to, like, have a profile to click things. Hmm. Hit join. Oh, you have to sign in. <laughs> well... I guess I can't test it, um, but like I said, we've got members coming in, so apparently it's still working. At least as far as I know. Sorry about that, if it's not working though. I, hopefully it fixes itself, or whatever. Schrodinger's satire? Nice. That is Cinema Sins indeed. Um, yeah, I guess. Fun fact, Joss Whedon told James Gunn to make Guardians of the Galaxy 1 weirder after seeing Nicole Pillman's script, and that's what he did. Wow, neat. I think it was it, it was kind of weird when I, you know, compared to the other Marvel stuff, it felt like a breath of fresh air. Uh, I wasn't happy with Phase 2, as is now very well known. So, I remember Guardians, I was like, fuck, that was cool. Give me more. And we're gonna get more, as all of you probably know, and everyone keeps talking about how James Gunn said, the third one is the last time we'll see them together. Oh, yeah, I saw that. At least in that capacity. Which, uh, yeah. Big flum's gonna happen. A big flum? Ugh. Mm -hmm. Nasty. No. Fine. Slurp. Nasty. 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 Um, I used to listen to their podcasts and they have better opinions there. Still lots of goofy opinions as a team, though. Who was that about? It wasn't Punto, right? I guess... Does Collider? Does have a podcast? We mentioned Collider at one point. Maybe that's who it was about. We mentioned... Oh. Yeah, <clears throat> you. Maybe. It could be, but I'm not sure. Uh... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was... I don't know which one. That would have been good to know <laughs> when we started this Well, time. I'm sure it made a lot of sense at that time. <laughs> I Yeah, I don't doubt it. Even if we got it at the time, we we would have been wondering, which one do you mean? Probably. So we mentioned a couple, I think. Giant Link is scary. Yeah. Giant Link? Kill him. I'm trying to, Mel. Give me more encouragement. Kill him! Ah, now you're scaring me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, fuck. Um, hey, Jay, how did the 13th Doctor survive falling through a train roof from the upper atmosphere? Not even being disingenuous, I was totally confused to how she did that when I watched when I watched your video. Love you guys. Yeah, that's one of the things that... Jay um, asked me the exact same question. The only answer, because I actually discussed it with Jay at one point, is that um, it was just after regeneration, and so the Doctor does, just after that, have a lot of uh, boosted healing in post-regeneration immediately after. So I suppose they could try and get away with it with that, but I don't think that Chris Chibnall thought about that at all. I think he was just like, it would be cool if she crashed into a fucking train. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, train. It does seem like the sort of thing that you might, you know question a little bit someone falling from space and being okay mm -hmm. I do um, it all the time rewatching Daredevil right now and absolutely loving it like what they do with the Punisher and wonder if it's worth wonder if it's worth watching the, his show oh yeah um well I have ah, no idea no all I've heard is that season two is much worse than one so. I haven't watched season two of the show. Oh, you you watched all season one, did you? Uh, of Punisher, yeah. Not a huge fan. Hmm. What's it What's it like? like I can barely formula? remember it honestly. Oh. Um, well, it's, it's full serialized for like the whole season, kind of like the other shows. Who's this bad guy? Uh, I think it's the Jigsaw. It's safety, man. Daredevil's big nemesis is safety. No, man. no, 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 not Punisher. Punisher, Punisher. Punisher is yeah. is the uh, his super nemesis is the Forgiver. 
<laughs> nice. He's not very intimidating. Not really, yeah. <laughs> but he does he does indirectly also create a lot of long term damage to society by being overly forgiving for a wide variety of heinous crimes. Man, why is there a mode for the bots that's just cowardly? Just like go to the furthest side of the map possible whenever you get near him. I suppose it keeps it, you know, interesting. Um, do the Sherlock movies. If you're talking about the Guy Ritchie ones, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm on board with that. They're quite fun. I feel like they could work for EFAP movies. I'm not sure. Um, just take the wine, you winner. Damn. Didn't use language like that. Take win the winer? Mm -hmm. Um... What does this say? This wine thing is a scam. There's a free app called Vivino that basically does this without you needing to buy it. And it's more detailed on the wine. Hmm. Well, um, like I said, from the Bobvids portion, felt like that you should really be careful with that wine thing for many reasons. Sounds pretty scummy. Yeah. Um, Bob's second CS vid is mostly bad. Oh, starts off with a really solid thing with a lot of proof CS lies about being satire, then devolves into all that matters in a movie is feelings, and accuses oh. CS of sexism for nitpicking Harley. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> that's true, then fuck off. <clears throat> so, that is true. But the thing is, he makes a lot of good points as well. Like, so, it was actually something I meant to mention, I forgot. Um, You know when CinemaSin says, how'd they get up there? You know, about the, um... Uh, Ratcatcher 2 and 1. Yes. So, Bob Vid's response to that is like he's flabbergasted that CinemaSins has missed the point of the scene. When, and I was listening to that and I was like, I don't know that he he has, he's just commenting on that specific thing. Um, you know, like, it, it's almost a little bit unfair to, like, if, if someone's, you know, like, if I said, like, oh, it's a bit weird that uh, Luke says that the place he's in is unfindable. Then someone says, do you even know what his character arc is about? Like, well, I'm just talking about that specific element. Um, mm. Though I suppose it's worth mentioning that CinemaSins doesn't, uh, like, acknowledge it, and then also says there are no character arcs in the film, so... That can make you think that he has missed that. Um, makes you think. So, you know, like, on one hand, I'm like, you may, you may be a little bit harsh there, but then on the other, I'm like, well, I guess you have some reason to bring up that you think you may have missed it, so... I don't know. Um, as for the sexism one, I can't remember what the context of that one is, um, but I I seem to have some memory of it, yeah. I'm trying to Harley think Quinn's of... making me a little more sexist every time I see her. It might her be fault. because of the fact that he says that Harley Quinn shouldn't have had, survived that scene, and then he's like, some of the men have done it or whatever, and so why are you picking on them as well? But I'm pretty sure Sinva Sins did. Well, he gave he? more points to the whole crew surviving the he did, yeah. the flood than he gave to Harley Quinn's and there's, entire there's bullshit two men, three men in that scene, compared to the one woman. Yeah, so. I don't know. I uh, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, the but... man ratio is way out of whack. And so yeah, conclusion: Bob Vids makes a lot of good points. I'm pretty sure he made a lot of the ones that we did. Um, but he also, I guess, this is the difference between someone like him and someone like me. It's like. He's doing the thing of, like, didn't you fucking understand that this, 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 and this, this, this? And you're like, yeah, those are the things, the correct information, good job. But then you'll be like, who cares how they got to this location? Do you know what this scene's about? I'd be like, oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, you know, like, you, you're doing, like, so why bother defending anything logistically, why? you know? I mean, why have a movie? Just tell me what the point is. Just email me what the point is, and save me the time if it doesn't fucking matter. <clears throat> yeah, that... It's always felt just weird. Just email me and tell me that revenge is bad or violence begets violence. Just email me that love conquers well, all or that. Just, just send me an email. Just tell me. It's especially What's strange if you spend half the video correcting logistical points, you know? It's just like, why are you bothering if you think that that doesn't matter? Shouldn't you just say, like, wow, what a fucking nitpicker? Which he is. <laughs> but that's also, like, we here on EFAB don't actually mind if you nitpick. I don't yeah. mind at all. Sometimes it sparks some interesting conversations. I'd prefer it if you didn't own Epic, but you know. Yeah. 
Um, best stone toss meme. So many. Um, this there's a couple of stone toss memes that I think are really good. Um, there's ones that I think don't think are particularly good at all though as well. Like it's, it's a mixed bag for me. It's a cartoon mm -hmm. making. The it's the 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 guy at the 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 guy like giving the presentation about selling video games or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Not and there's sure. like, how will this help us sell more video games? And he's like, video games. That one. All right, that's what it's used for. Let me let me try and find it. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. I can probably find it in a second. Oh, the 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 boobs ass guys shaking hands and they look over at the deformed <laughs> <feet> guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that meme format is fantastic. I think they did that with like ja uh, Heath Ledger Joker and Joaquin Phoenix Joker, and they look over at Jared Leto Joker. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking here. Oh, here it is, yeah. Copy image. This one here. Because it's, it's edited often to change context for a, you know, a relevant thing. Right, 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 yeah. It's used for video games and all the time. <laughs> Burger? <laughs> um... Uh, and this person said GOP now versus future is her best. Wait, is Stone, Stone Toss a girl? Not that I, I ever had any reason to think I otherwise, don't. but I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Oh no, the um, answer. Yeah, I'm not sure if I know that one, but uh, plenty of good ones. I love your stream. Oh, that, that's that's nice, nice and wholesome. It's all right, I guess. No, it's the, it's the greatest one. It's the best one ever. Hmm. I was looking at the images and reading some. It's pretty funny. It's pretty fucking funny. Uh, you guys should talk about how bad the jokes are. We couldn't even fucking tell if they were jokes. Which makes them pretty bad. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is, this is on the scales, <laughs> we're looking, looking bad. Uh... What the hell? Savant killed one of Fringy's people with a ball. That poor bird. <laughs> also, bonjour to Jay, who has a long Logan Paul haircut for some reason. Logan Paul haircut? What is that? I'm trying to think of... <laughs> what is that? I need to Doesn't stop have... looking at these Stone Toss comics. They're making me laugh too much. <laughs> Doesn't he have, like, normal <laughs> hair, Logan Paul? Or is he not? I think so. I, I guess I never thought to... I've never thought of his hair as Logan no, yeah. Paul's hairstyle or something. But what would I know? What would I know? Nothing. Wow. Um, NFT is wife is shared, but you have marriage license. Oh, they're saying NFTs are the equivalent of having a shared wife, but you have the marriage license. Um, I don't even know if it's the equivalent of that. I wouldn't even pretend to understand NFTs. I never will and never want to. Yeah, I just don't know anything about them. I know enough to know that I'm never going to probably ever get one. Yes. Hello, EFAP. I need some motivation to lose more weight. Since I consider Rags to be the best at insulting people, can he fat shame me? Also, hi, Rags. Maybe you should... Yeah, <laughs> hi there. Maybe you should get off the fucking couch, you fat fuck. Oh, come on. You can do funner ones than that. That was boring. Yeah, well... I don't get banned from YouTube. Wow, so colorful. you have to be, you have to swear and say horrible things to be funny, huh, Rags? I thought better of you. Um. <sighs> you know, stuff wow, like. Wow, you're so, you're so fat. Um, if you don't go swimming or else Spain may see you in the water and claim you as a new world. Oh, you don't want go. that. You don't want to speak Spanish, do you? You know what the Spanish did to all the people over here? It wasn't nice things. All right. Do you want joggers to run around you for exercise? No, that'd be embarrassing. Don't be fat. <laughs> be healthy. Don't be fat. This is motivational speech. 
Imagine how much better you're going to feel when you're not lugging around all that extra weight. <laughs> so and maybe if people walking up the stairs more... makes you wheeze, you slovenly hobbit. <laughs> slovenly <laughs> hobbit. <laughs> That's great. You will feel you will feel better, not just physically but mentally if you exercise a little bit regularly. And it doesn't have to be often. It doesn't have to be a lot. But I remember <laughs> in in high school I was just uh Every Friday for ROTC, we would just do that was PT day, and even just doing that once a week for that one class was enough to make a physical difference in my in my body. And it, it if you just do a little bit a day, just being consistent with it, it it will make a difference. It will give you something for your schedule that will make you feel productive and responsible, and it will be good for your body, and you will feel better. Once you can, you know, look at yourself and be a bit more proud of how you look and know that you earned it because you can't cheat your way to that sort of thing. Two, two contributions from chat. First is you're so fat you'd have to be a foot taller to be round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's good. That's good. I like, I like that one. one. That's good. And then uh, like Doctor Cox quote: uh, "You are what you eat," and you clearly went out and ate a great big fat guy, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind rewatching Scrubs. That'd probably be a fun thing to do. Probably. Um. Rags, I just noticed hey. that my plushie of you has a sideways foot. Did the mailman do this to you? I know your human told you to stop chasing the mailman. A sideways foot? Let me look at mine. Uh. It shouldn't be side like. Like, are you saying they put the little paw pads on at the wrong orientation? Because they should be facing upwards. So no if idea. they if they put them on going left to right, then yeah, I guess they, they could be that, you know. But maybe you just yours is just extra special. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fringy starts saying assume the correct way. Also, Fringy pronounces saw as sore. So And I confuse it with sore as in S O A R. So I didn't even know sour uh, was a word. So 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 Well I don't yeah, I don't know what more I can do. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. It's like I don't know what else to do. The reality of the it. Australian. <laughs> <laughs> uh Bring you go to Wikipedia and look up lists of ghost towns in Oregon and read the classification of the type of towns and give your thoughts. Ghost towns in Oregon. I will post that just in case you lose any part of this adventurous adventure. Uh, hold on. And there are categories. Is that what I'm actually looking for? Go to Wikipedia? Okay, here we go. Uh, a website. Yeah, so there's the classifications. There are three classifications, A, B, C, D, and E. How Let's many are there? One. I'm sorry, what? So the, the, there are classifications for the distinguishing features of the towns. All right, a, then. No apparent remains, remains or former settlement exists. Uh, in some cases, site may be marked and or contain a cemetery. B, dilapidated buildings and or remnants of buildings present, along with rubble and debris. C, no population, but structures are still mostly intact, may be actively preserved. D, area is sparsely populated, it may boast period structures and or cemetery, but no operative town proper. E, has retained a small population and historic structures, though not as substantive as in its heyday. I mean, this feels like apt. It's not bad for three classes. Five. Oh, right, yeah, I must have missed. That's weird, I don't know why I, I thought I heard. I literally thought I heard you say there are three classes A, B, C, D, and E. And I was like, the you fuck? did, Mahler. You did. He, I, he absolutely did say that. I thought and I he just rolled right, right along. That, okay. That's my comment at the end. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> I thought you was trying to tell me that the first class was A, B, the second class was C, and the third class was D, E. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> it was very strange to hear that. Yeah. 
have you seen Arcane yet? Hi Rags, play Soma. Hello! Uh, that's true, you should play Soma. Soma's yes. really, really good. Yeah. Everyone here has, except... <laughs> except... Bring Fuck. <laughs> oh. Fuck. <laughs> uh, as for Arcane, I have seen the whole thing. Fringy has seen the whole thing. Metal has yep. seen the whole thing. Rags oh, has seen it. up to episode 5. <gasps> yes. Yesterday, I started watching Arcane. And I would have finished it, except today is EFAP Day. Mm -hmm. And I would have finished it today if it wasn't for EFAP Day. So I imagine that tomorrow at some time, Mahler and I will watch the rest of it. Wow, thanks, Aoife. And now you're going to have to not look at chat for a while, Rags. That's okay. Because they're going to say things. That's all right. I'll just uh, <clears throat> click on another tab, and uh, that'll take care of that. I'll mm -hmm. sort itself out right proper. One thing that James Gunn and CinemaSins have in common is that they don't know how to end a joke. Also, hola to Rags and the Australian Mosquito. Hola. James Gunn and ending jokes. I'm trying to think of... Is that something we've noticed before, or...? James Gunn and... Like, he, he doesn't he know how to end jokes. Is he bad at ending jokes jokes? sometimes? Or is that... Is it, who was the... This definitely is triggering a memory. Who's the person we felt doesn't know how to end jokes? Oh! It came up with the uh, Ghostbusters 2016. Whenever they had a joke we thought was actually okay, they ran it into yes, the ground. Yes, right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes a joke can get over... It can overstay its welcome. Yeah. Um, but James Gunn, I'm, I'm trying to think of times where that was... What, what do you reckon, chat? Let's have a look. I'm trying to think of times that's happened. Uh, well, I'm gonna, not going to count Peacemaker for now, because I don't think that was a problem we found, right, Fringy? Um... It, well, it happened a few times, but... Did it? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. The fucking, um... Yeah. The stop talking now one. It, well, that one, yeah. I was actually thinking... So, so I can't remember if we said this in front of you, uh, Rags and Metal, but... No, wait. Metal was... No, Metal was not there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there eventually. It's fine. Um, So his, his pet eagle's called Eagly. And then he like uh, yeah. that. That in and of itself is not a particularly great joke, but it's fine on its own. I'm like, all right, yeah, you know, we can, we can, yeah. Um, so like he comes into um, the restaurant, or whatever the fuck the the meeting. Um, one of them is like, you named your pet eagle eagly. That's like naming your daughter daughtery, or naming your pet dog doggy. And you're just sitting there like, yep. I thanks for letting me know what the joke is. Yeah, because um, I I real I didn't catch it, and I'm really glad that you explained it to me, because I wouldn't want to have been left behind. Yeah, because really everyone else in the theater was just laughing their asses off, and I and I wanted to be a part of that, so now I could join them. A little late, but you know, better late than never. Well, I agree with the commenter just there. I don't know if you guys will, but wouldn't it all be kind of funnier if it, the name of the eagle was just Freedom? Yeah, that yeah. might be funnier. I think you can you can wick that into a lot of jokes as well. Like take, we're doing this for freedom or something, or you know just yeah. weird, weird play. You could do a lot of it. Um, Mew, I was laughing so hard when Rag was reading out the site I made. Tism, my <laughs> granddad recently passed away, and your content has been really helping. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that, but it's a very nice website. Um, yeah, if you're talking about, uh, uh, Punto, like, it honestly looked great, <laughs> like, considering. It did look really good, yeah. I could believe it. <laughs> where, where did that even start? Like, I don't even I, know how I missed that. When did Punto like happen? I think it was the the Spider-Man High Top Brown Table uh, stream. I think that was Punto. Yeah, because we're talking about, so the, the joke originates with how he's like, save the planet, everybody. It's morally a good thing to do. It's like, you're, you're, you're being paid to say this. It feels very hollow. And then it was like, imagine there was like a service that literally stops comets from slamming into the earth. that You have to pay a subscription. And I think <clears> we were just joking about how the description could have nothing to do. Yeah, so that was the birth of Punto. Hmm. Punto. Punto. Um, two hours in and we're only just started, but enough about the Snyder Cut. EFAP is on. 
Oh. Is that even a... I'm trying to think. Snyder Cut, when does the story start, quote unquote? Yeah. I guess you could say it straight away. Yeah. Like, it's not... I don't know that our criticism of Snyder Cut was that it took too long to get going. I think the whole thing is slowly paced, but, you know. That's what happens when you include everything. Yeah. Even though, wasn't it something like a, there's a fucking 40 hour cut of that movie, probably, because of how Zach's uh, shoving shit in. Yeah. What a horror show. A little bit. Yeah. Hi, Fringy. Sorry you lost all your money in the crypto crash, or at least I assume that's why you were sad and salty on the recent Super Chat catch up. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I was making an observation about the market in general. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you, you're you not really into crypto, right? Or are you? Not particularly. Fringy's afraid of progress in the future. Fringy, are you really afraid of progress in the future? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, no. <sorry. laughs> Uh, would you accept gaining the entire knowledge of Wikipedia, but all the hair on your body is now cooked spaghetti, and your sweat is marinara sauce? <laughs> no. Oh. No, I think that's... So, oh, Jesus Christ. Cooked... <laughs> I think I'll take a big old pass on that one. <laughs> because I basically have the internet at the tips of my, my paws, because I'm a dog anyway, um, yeah. I don't really see why I need to have it all remembered Having much? all of Wikipedia in my head, that's a tough decision on its own. Because I feel like that's going to change me. That's a lot of information. Yeah. You wouldn't maybe it's one of those... Probably. Maybe it's one of those like selective memory things where you never think about it unless you go and fetch for it mentally. Or is it like... Sorts of I, I, it's something I have access to but it doesn't necessarily change anything about me. Because that's because that's most of your information, is you you, well, you just recall it when. You know, like reading about the Fermi paradox or something like that. There's once you read enough of them or different ones or different things at different times, it can like change your outlook on different things. And I, yeah. so and so like if someone said you know you, you get all of the knowledge of this one book, I'd be like oh that's probably mm -hmm. not too much. But all of Wikipedia, there's gonna be stuff in that fucking website that's going to change your mind on loads of things, i got to, got to imagine. Yeah, probably. Um... Hmm. Um, but if it were, if that's the point of the question, it's just knowledge you can call upon without the use of the internet and stuff. It's like, okay, yeah, that'd be cool. But I don't know if it's yeah. worth spaghetti here. <laughs> and marinara, and marinara <laughs> sauce, <laughs> uh. I guess you could shave, but oh no, the Marinos. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm alright. <laughs> I'll have my phone. <laughs> That's all I need. Yeah. Um, why does everyone call Fringo a bird? He's clearly a green rhino. Hmm. Well, that's not correct either. That's interesting. That's. You guys, if he, if Fringy's a rhino, it's possible he'd have quite a weak jaw, but yeah. I, <laughs> He's just the horn is just nothing beneath it. It's just the horn. Maybe that's why you yeah. hated Tasm 2 so much. You thought the rhino representation was embarrassing. I mean, it was, but not because of me. Uh, what are you talking about? The rhino rep stuff was great. How it happened at the very end, and we didn't get to see any of it. And it was in the trailer. Mark, I mean, it was in to, the be, trailer, to be which, perfectly honest with you, is, though, like, the less, the better. That Like, if you're embarrassed, how embarrassing that was. Like, Russian Paul hey, Giamatti in a big mech suit. <laughs> hey, we could have gotten Russian Paul Giamatti in a big mech suit in No Way Home, theoretically. But they didn't even give it to us. They referenced it, though. That's why it's so fucking cool. <laughs> it's such an embarrassing moment, but they were like, you know what? It's funny. It'd be I funny if they yeah. say like, "Oh yeah, you fought Rhino. How did that end?" He's like, "I, I can't remember." Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I must have done okay. I guess. <laughs> Presumably, I made I it. Suppose I, I did all I right. Just blacked out. I don't know. You literally blacked out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, get a dimensional cable to watch Twelve Angry Weasels. Oh, <laughs> that'd be pretty good. Um, tell Jay to calm down, his mic's cutting out. 
Jagus gets really fucking angry in, in EFAP streams, I think you guys have noticed. So just, all of us have to awkwardly just watch. As, we have mm. to show up for EFAP like an hour early and get him in a call just to get him into a cheerful enough disposition that he can even get online. There's always something Jay's incredibly furious about, and we so we talk always about that something. for the first hour, and it's like, it's really not that bad. Oh, my deal. toaster broke. Oh, I saw a guy wearing Crocs and socks. Mm. Oh, I had to go fill up my car. Oh, my favorite socks are dirty. It's always something with him. Always something. Always something. Uh, do you give any thought that a line from Urukai and Helm's Deep implies real menus and restaurants can uh, can and do exist in Middle East? <laughs> or meets like back, meets on, the back on the menu, boy. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know why Urukai and Orcs wouldn't be aware of taverns, and taverns may have a little crude menu, you know, for some stuff. Items are off the menu because the they're, they're no longer being served by the staff, and there is a point where that food item returns to availability, and mm. it can be returned to the menu that is then given to patrons and there's nothing about any of that information an orc couldn't comprehend their access to it is you do wonder about the urukai going from birth to like fully formed personalities like do they are they born with like knowledge oh i can't remember isn't it like the corrupted elves or something something you do something wonder how like they that. learned about like when whenever does the concept of a menu for, for ordering food at a restaurant ever come up in their education <laughs> slash like, growing process. So I was like, this is a sword, this is a shield, this is a menu. A menu? Tell <laughs> us more about this item. Why is it you? a weapon? Is it a shield? No. Is it a tome of dark knowledge? <laughs> it's a list of food. Oh, for what purpose? purpose? For, for <laughs> This is information that's useful if you go to a restaurant. A restaurant? And it goes down this deep rabbit hole and they learn about <laughs> civilization. And during this process, they don't want to fight anymore. Maybe I would like to open up my own restaurant. No, That sounds nice. I don't want to fight anymore. I'll go back I, home. I really decide. I think that Middle Earth is beautiful <laughs> and I'd like to explore it further. Jerry oh, yeah. would like to open up hair salon. But no, he has to torture hobbits. Just rewatched Bly. I cried many times, but how come Jamie knows Viola's backstory? Or is she just making it up in 2007? Ah, oh, I can't quite remember what the... I think that's that's one of the options. Um, the other is that because of the possession that... Um, Danny would have had some awareness of it and maybe told her. I can't quite remember i'd have to rewatch the show it's been a while now which is uh and there's there's a time difference between the retelling and the event so you never know if this story was uncovered or they looked into the history of it or they put things together i'm not sure well i was gonna say to... um what i ultimately it doesn't do much story wise it's because it was just a story she was telling all those people at the wedding who are probably gonna forget it in the next week I didn't forget it, and I didn't even go to that fucking wedding. Yeah, because we got visuals that were way more in depth. That was my favorite episode of that show. Which one? The flashback episode, or the story episode. No, I, yeah, I remember the flashback. I, I, we were talking about the, when she's telling everybody at the wedding what happened with all of the, you know, just that that event in general is not like super plot important uh, to make anything particular happen. Um, Metal, you have a forge now. Does that imply you're a Dwarfenheimer? He's thinking about it. Hang on. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, it's a very difficult question. You don't want to answer this one wrong. We'll make it easy. It'll be multiple choice. I will a, say as yes, B no, C somewhat, D undecided. Well, Mel, what do you think? Hmm. Do you think he tries to stealth leave and we've caught him at one of them? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, makes you wonder how often does he do yeah. this and so you don't notice it because he's quiet and generally. He spends got he you, pulls a Hassan man. and it's just a chair there. <laughs> yeah, Chili, speak for him. Mm hmm Well... We'll see about asking him. Well, I, I mean, I don't know what he's going to say, really, but... Yeah. I'm sure he'd agree. 
I, I'm sure he loves the name. Uh, often get sleep paralysis. Woke up last stream mid arcane talk. Desperately willed my body to move to mute the stream because I hear spoilers. Took 20 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Wow. What a terrible time to have that strike. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Did we have we talked spoilers about arcane on an EFAP? I, I don't I do think so. you actually have. I could have sworn that me and Fringy gave like a very spoiler free review. You know? Yeah, I I did take my headphones off just in case uh, for for most of it, but oh yeah, I, I guess recall. we would have said like who our favorite characters are, which can be interpreted as a spoiler to a degree. Um, but hopefully nothing is damaged anyway. But yeah, um, sleep paralysis is a very scary concept. Uh, for me, obviously, I've never had it, but the idea that you're fully awake, but your body doesn't respond to your commands, like that's terrifying. Yeah. I'm too used to it being the other way around. The body does respond. Um, this one just says I hate snow. Well, I, I like snow. That's who does they do? The super chatter hates snow. They yeah they say they hate snow. It seems excessive. I mean you know leave snow alone. What snow do to you? Yeah. yeah. Um, hi Rax. Hello. All hail the long man, green bird, and rest of the panel. Well, that'd be metal. He's not here. Mm -hmm. He's out fishing. Fishing for bitches. Um, which is objectively the best in Ernest P. Worrell's series of films? Elaborate why. Ernest P. Worrell? Let me take a look. I don't think I have ever heard that name before. Ernest. Oh, P. it's fucking Ernest. I just didn't know that was his name. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I know of the character, but I've never watched the... Yeah. Um, I've only ever caught parts of his films. I've never actually watched one. Yeah, I'll give you a second. Sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass that over to someone other than me. I don't know either. All right, Mel, you do it. No. <laughs> All right, chat. Looks like it's up to you. Tell us. What your favorite Ernest movie is. Ernest P. Waddle. I feel bad now. I can't even elaborate. Can't even can't even yeah. can't even do anything. I got nothing. Uh what do you guys think a Sherpa is? Uh, please tell your answers and then look up the definition. A Sherpa, isn't, isn't that Sherpa, like the, the Nepalese like guides up the mountains in the Himalayas? See, so my brain was first going to like, is that just another name for a shepherd? And then I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's like a guide. Yeah. That's that's but all my smart. knowledge goes as far as is. Uh, Rags, what's a Sherpa? A Sherpa? Mm -hmm. I assume a Sherpa is an ethnic group that's uh, based around the Himalayan region, northern Nepal, around Nepal, I guess. I think in, in their, they're very... Uh, there are there are hardy, rugged, mountainous people who are often uh, hired as guides to help people climb Mount Everest. That's the only context I really ever hear about Sherpas. Well, it's guides going up Mount Everest. Google says the Sherpa are one of the Tibetan ethnic groups native to the most yep. mountainous regions of Nepal, Tingri County in the Tibet Autonomous Region in the Himalayas. Nice. All right. Or maybe it's just a guy and he does a lot of good work. I don't know. It's very, mm -hmm. very tough to say sometimes. Uh, but, also, yeah, it's, it's... as is customary on EFAP, Fringy will be wrong. That's the prediction from the Super Channel. Jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's hard to believe that that prediction once again came true. So. Mm. Yeah. Fellow Washingtonian, where did you grow up in the state? Are they talking? Was that Indigo who said that, I think? Right? Oh. He's gone now, so. Oh, did he say he was from Washington? Did he say he grew up there? I can't remember what he said, actually. I have not been to Washington, Washington State. I have uh, been to Washington, D.C. But I've also been to Washington, the person. Uh, I, I visited his grave. <laughs> um, Did he give you permission? While, while we went. No, he didn't. Well, wow. his permission was implied. Oh. Uh, so I, I, so I've, I've been closer to the, the person than the state. Um, I'm giving up on media for the time being. My channel would indicate otherwise, though. Goodbye, modern movies, TV, hello, classical literature. 
Goodbye. Well, hey. Have fun. No spoilers I for suppose. the Odyssey. Um, though, check out Arcane before you give up on all media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least yeah. brand new stuff. Just give it, give, it, give it a little shot, you might like it. I will not let those damn short people take dwarves from us. Dwarves are fantasy, just like orcs and goblins. Piss off. Dwarves are cool, not you, Peter. Um, now, I don't know if it's a time period thing, or if it's supposed to differentiate between fantasy dwarves and real dwarves. That's what but I thought. It's Snow White. It's no. It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, not dwarves. Right. So, I don't know what the reason is for that being the plural. I don't know is either. It, I, I, I don't know. About that one. Oh, I thought sorry, there were just two ways to refer to plural of dwarf. Um. Hmm. Well, um, yeah, I thought that the, a human with dwarfism and a fantasy dwarf are two very different things, but... Very different, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, because yeah. we know that they definitely oh, are in some IPs, because, yeah. like, some of them literally can do magic, or some of them have, like, you know, really heightened strength or something. Like, like if someone said, I'm tired of elves being portrayed as blah 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 because it matches some kind of like the name of a disease or so, or um, a state of being I'd just be like oh that, 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 I don't think so um there were no dwarf actors in Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit it's an interesting thing about it that is interesting because someone could be like wow that's bad for representation or whatever and it's like is it when they're not people with dwarfism? Well, because hobbits aren't, yeah. And hobbits got, like, giant feet. Well, no, it's not about hobbits. It's about the dwarves in The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, right. Because, you know, you're a human being if you're alive on Earth, you know. Um, if Dinklage is mad about dwarves being typecast, he should look at Irish roles. They're either drunk or violent, often both. Um, well, I mean, I, I imagine all you'd say to that is that's bad, too. Yeah. Um. I figure. Yeah, you know, it, it's an unfortunate reality if he really does, like, when he's looking for jobs, only get offered the drunk one, the crazy one, the funny one, as a, as a yeah. dwarf. But, I mean, I think one could make that argument for fat people, right? They're typically uh, yeah, comic relief. I guess maybe to a lesser degree, though. Yeah. Like, but, but yeah, I, I'd say that's probably true as well. Um, at least this isn't one of CS's videos on an animated movie. It's frustrating hearing him use real-world physics to sin cartoon physics. I think that can well, be depends. valid depending on what we're dealing with. Yeah, it depends on the cartoon, obviously, because not all um, cartoons are going to, in, in, into outlandish spaces or whatever. Well, Especially if we have a cartoon that does have death in it that relates to people falling or getting crushed mm -hmm. by something. It's like, ooh, uh-oh. Like, if you're going to establish that, for it to be meaningful, it means that all the other examples have to have the same level of damage sort of thing. So, you know, it'll depend. But from that little thing that um, uh, Fring said about his Wally coverage, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Run. Um, Muller, I just spent a week on your Star Wars sequel essays. Job well done. Also, I have to watch the Black Widow one again to note all of the what the fucks. Um, well, have fun, I suppose. <laughs> but yes, quite a quite a series of events, those sequels. It'd be really weird if we fast forward X amount of time, we really do get another set of trilogies. Like, yeah. I don't know what Disney are thinking exactly, but you'd have to imagine they're going to want to try another trilogy at some point. Probably. Also, I had to grab a thesaurus to get through them. Love your style. Hashtag Mauler for president. I don't, know about being pre I don't want to be president. I want to watch movies and talk about them, you know? I suppose I could do that while being president, but I just, I don't know, I'm not tempted by being president. I'm just going to be honest. Fringy can do it. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Oh. Metal can do it. Nah, uh, okay. There you go. Fourth Reich. Fourth Reich. I don't regret my money funding these conversations. Hi, Rags. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> um, 
<clears throat> I'm sure he would have said hi. Uh, can the trope of a character having a near-death experience leading to an immediate character 180, like in Book of Boba Fett and Peacemaker, even work? Ever work? Definitely can work. I think it can work, yeah. I didn't even know that was what people were saying about Peacemaker, that he goes from being, like, very stalwart and specific, principled, uh, piece of shit kind of character, to a bumbling idiot who's not sure about himself at all. Thanks to the- it's not even the near-death experience, right? It's the- what he did to- Rick Flag, that's the argument. Yeah. The fact that he nearly died, I didn't know that that... Maybe maybe in the later episodes they've been saying that. I don't know, I haven't seen it. But uh, you definitely can do that. Um, it's just, like we've said, it's about execution. Because it really frustrates when people are like... So you think a person can't change when they've like gotten 30 years older. Like... But that's not what we said. It's like, you think a person can't change after having a life-threatening experience. Like, no, it's not like that either. Mm -hmm. Just looking for a through line, you know? Uh, the J has been kicked. Give five dollars to Metal. Hi, Rags. Woohoo! Hello! Ah. Just in time. Uh, when making a historical drama, can historical inaccuracies impact and objectivity? My argument is that, depending on the inaccuracy, it can. Um, if the historical accuracy in question, I suppose, would coincide with a logical inconsistency or a potential contradiction issue, it's possible. But I don't think an inconsistency, for its own sake, is in the in the in the way that it would be an adaptation. I don't, I don't know if it could. I'm definitely open to having my mind shifted on that, but you might have to provide me a, an example. Um, so, uh, what, what do you think? Um, so, of course, we'll just try and get some easy ones out of the way. So it's like, you know, Hitler ends up winning the war because he makes a, a deal with an alien. And you'd be like, well, that's not, that's not accurate. You'd be like, you're right, that isn't accurate. You're right. <laughs> like, that is, yeah. You nailed that one. Would it but, not uh, be fun to explore that idea? But yeah, I think everyone um, would be clear on the fact that it's like, well, this is alt history. This is a cool idea that they're playing with, you know? Um, I but, feel like maybe the person who asked that super chat, maybe they have an example in mind while they were writing that. If you're in the chat, well, let us know what that might be if you're still there, because maybe if you could provide an example, that might sort of help. Well, I only got it. through one, Rags. Jeez. You didn't give me a chance, you, you piece of you shit. Going. Absolute. You keep going. I ain't wombo. stopping. I'm not gonna rain on your parade. My parade. No, Loud it's Hitler. all rainy. This is all, this is all wet. Oh, <laughs> Why man. did you pee on my parade? <laughs> so annoying. Uh, so I was gonna say. So then, let's get a little harder. And it's like, you've got oh, references to real guns, and there's a scene where they're just like, um, I'm gonna take out all five of them because I have, let's say, it says the MG42. It's all ready to go, and then he uses it like an RPG and kills five people. Is that a problem, or is that just, in this universe, the MG42 is a fucking RPG, I guess? Uses it like an RPG in the sense of... It fires a rocket and kills them all. Oh, damn. Yeah, that would be a... I think that would be a substantive break with what we understand about reality that warrants an yeah. explanation in the film. Because they're appealing to real-world knowledge, which all films do, and that's totally fine. But if you do that while also breaking it without any kind of, like, acknowledgement or understanding, it usually... We usually categorize that as a problem, I think. Um, like if... Um, you know, you reference the strength of Kevlar, and that's why your character survived X, and then you know that they can't survive that with Kevlar in real life. Then you'd be like, so why did you even bother referencing Kevlar? You should be talking about some kind of sci-fi material. Yeah. Or do you go the direction of, well, no, Kevlar in this universe is clearly capable of doing that, then. I find it complicated to be exact, and I would probably prefer to work with examples uh, from, like, actual things. To think about how... I feel how like we have a pretty good system, though. Oh, yeah, I, uh... I'm pretty... I think we're more lenient than a lot of people when it comes to yeah. historical accuracy. It's just a matter of trying to separate out what is historical accuracy versus what is accuracy to just how things fucking work. They definitely can, you know, link up and coincide, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> evidently, Cinema Sin's deal with the devil was a shite one. Oh. Well, no, it makes sense, right? The devil's probably like, you will have a successful YouTube channel. It'll just be thought of as pathetic by everyone. Like, oh. And, you know, I could see him making that deal. Uh, we, the chat, do not claim ceiling fan enthusiast as one of us. Wow. <laughs> He's God been ostracized damn. by the chat. How cruel. How cruel. Excommunicated. Excommunicador. Um, it's like John Ellis Bush Bush. It's my name just a meme to you, Mola? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good meme, though. Top tier. It's on the highest shelf. Um, if you claim it's satire, by the definition of the word, you're claiming the humor is being made to push a point rather than not making a point at all. Well, so I'm assuming part of the explanation with people saying stuff like that is like when you go, that's not fucking funny, and you go, that's the point. It's a joke about how things aren't funny, or something like that. They're like, haha, I win. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what that one's a reference to. Uh, EFAP reacting to Suicide Squad deleted scenes? I think we talked about one or two of them. Um, there's the one of... Uh, Polka Dot Man shooting... Uh, the Thinker in the ear. Yeah. Which was interesting. And, um, I honestly think a scene like that was missing from the film. Think of doing something that, um, regards his intellect more so than just knowing he's worked on all this. Like, fuck, like, I could totally see him as being the perfect character to be the one that, like, fucks with them mentally, the team, especially because he's a villain. Yeah, tries to pit him against each other. Yeah, yeah. Uses their insecurities against themselves. You know, manipulates them. Mm-hmm. Does a charisma roll. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some cool deleted scenes. We are the chat. Also, disavow that guy that was complaining about you not making videos. That's that's okay. It's okay. I just find <laughs> it funny because you get them every once in a while. I think it's even may even be like people who have recently subscribed. They see that this stream happens once per week and they're like, is that all he does now? He just streams once per week? No work at all? How could you have done this? It's like, don't you even know about the Boba Fett videos? Gosh. Mm -hmm. I remember Boba Fett. I do think there's plenty of people who watch my videos who would love to see those Boba Fett videos, but they just don't know they exist. It's Maybe, like, yeah. I don't know how to help you guys. Mm -hmm. That's why I usually throw them at the end of a lot of my like main videos. I'm like, look, this, is, this exists if you want to see us laughing at how bad all this shit is. Which I mean, you great. Do. Bow, bow. Um, Wings quote of the day. Uh, ban the word Muslim, please. <laughs> <laughs> ban the word Muslim, please. Bonus quote. If you door dash me food and there's no drink, I'm just going straight. It's going straight in the trash. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ungrateful fuck. You never. He never turned down. I was gonna. Food. I didn't even know Dream that I believe that quote. Why? Like he would. He would never do that. Look at him. That seems out of character I for him. Was there some other context that I'm aware of? Um. Oh wow. Do do NFTs are cryptocurrency with associated data file, visual, audio, text, much like bills with art and serial numbers. Hope that helps. Also, high rags. Hello! I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm sure that's an actual very helpful explanation. But it's already gone. It went right into my brain, right back out. <laughs> I don't know what it is about NFTs, every piece of information I ever have about them, it just dies immediately. Yeah, I've noticed something a bit similar. And, um, I don't have a passion to care about them, so it doesn't, like... I think that might be the problem, is that the fact that it seems so, like, complicated almost intrinsically makes me doubt that it would ever be... Beneficial to spend anything, the right? energy. Well, because you explain a stock, it's like you own part of a company. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. How do you earn money? Well, either the stock will appreciate in value and can sell it, uh, or alternatively, they may pay dividends based on how much money they made in a year. It's like, oh, okay, that's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Options get more complicated, but... 
Yeah, then we get the NFTs and it's like fucking magic blood rituals, and I'm like, I just don't. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm I have this five dollar bill that says it's worth Imhotep. five dollars. I. Dude, just it's just simple. a plug from South Park. The guy's like, "Why would I buy an investment? I can't even. That's stupid." <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking moment. You know why it's stupid? <laughs> Stuff like that, I feel like, is so much more common to come up in South Park and, like, smiling friends. Like, yeah. the... The people who make it seem to be more invested in dialogue that is incredibly authentic. As opposed to dialogue that can become less authentic by the fact that you're trying to make it all, uh, very much pointed and useful. Yeah. Like, well, it's so kind of like... The reason why that I did not care for the Godfather yeah. conversation in Family Guy works so well is because yeah. it feels like a real conversation that was recorded. Um, gave up a seat at my wedding, or at a wedding, so my brother could bring a plus one. So now I'm fagging outside. When my real family let me down, I still got fag time bros. Aww. Yay. We'll but also, always oh. be your fag time bros. It's true. Bro. We'll be here. Whenever. And besides, weddings are boring anyway. Yeah, go outside, listen to some stronger. podcasts, appreciate the scenery, you know. You'll hear the I do at some point, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Uh, take any character with a T in their name and swap it with an N, it'll be funnier. For example, Tigger. That's, uh, you might that's see, you know, that's not that, that you know, I, I can see. That's bait. I'm just thinking about, like, if you have who's called Captain. Like, would it be Capnen? <laughs> Captain. Capnian. Or, uh, I don't know, um... I'm just trying to think of other ones, but I'm, I'm blanking at the moment. Banman, <laughs> instead of Batman. Uh... Would it be Banmat? Oh, no, Banman. We're not swapping out the the ends for T's, it's just a a nidal wave. Wait, you're just doing any words now? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so what did chat just <clears throat> But, uh, I remember the moment I discovered EFAP, Wallace Trosfid, the clip from the stream where Shad jokes about force healing, and he says, When Ray does it, she's fine. When Kylo does it, he kills himself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's good shit. Uh, they skipped the weasel thing surviving. Oh, you mean CinemaSins? I don't, think they, I don't think they cared. Yeah, because that would be a win. That would be a huge win. Mm -hmm. uh, my first EFAP was 93. If I survived that, I can survive anything. Well, well. Yeah, I'd say so. That would be one to test. start on. Um, it would be objectively fun if you did an EFAP of Ben's movie channel's The Suicide Squad review. He hates both the movie and James Gunn. Um, well, so we've done... A decent amount of coverage for the Suicide Squad at this point, like arguably three yeah. full leaf apps of it. Um, if I do wonder now if we'll probably uh, look for some other things, maybe. As everyone in chat maybe. knows at this point, we kind of like it. It's a neat movie. Mm -hmm. Maybe Ben's got some more bangers up his sleeve. Maybe, you know, I, I never rule this shit out. <laughs> Come here, you bastard. Oh, that worked. Uh, why didn't Fringy get a plushie on the first go? Because I'm afraid myself uh, and Rags. That was around. pre. That was pre him. He was. He was a. He was not yet a host. He was still a hostess. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. That's about right. But next time, I imagine we'll all be getting a little plague doctor plushie. A trio. Beautiful. Uh, EFAP Mini, Jay has a hut bukake fetish. Kind of reminds me of the slims <laughs> from Futurama. Anyway, hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I can see the connection. Um, we get to see some hut slime in the new Boba Fett uh, episode, Ooh. so look forward to that, everyone. Jay just wants to take off his clothes, slather himself in oil, and just jump on a Java. <laughs> oil? Just slide around on it. He wants yeah, hut, so he's hut all cream. slick. Hut cream. No, you want to start off oiled. 
I mean, sure, so but he's still... Just, once don't, you just, get on him... I just want to make sure you him, mention you the hut cream, around. okay? Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Hair metal, fringy, and wombo. Hello. Yes. Hello, yeah. Hello. Yo. Uh, you don't have to kick Jay unless it is warranted. Sorry, Jay. It is warranted, so... Always is. Uh, Mauler, have you ever considered covering Interstellar? I'm gonna do a full thing <laughs> on that film one day. Oh, one day, and I'll need to rewatch it with metal. Yay! I mean, it would be it's honestly, now. Metal? it would be interesting. To, well, we, it's a tradition. We've watched that film together and recorded it. Is it three times? <laughs> Two times, I think. No, uh, why? Because I keep thinking about. It, it's. It, I can't wait to compare them. The recordings are from such different fucking eras in my life now yeah. that I know that. I'll probably have a lot of the same things to say, but I wonder if I will have said stupid things and stuff, or, or weird things, but... Um, that would be an interesting one to watch with uh, you and Fringy as well, Rags, because... I don't know what you guys would think of that movie, I have no idea. I love I it. think it's pretty <clears throat> stupid. I it's so <laughs> wonderful, I and remember emotional, it was and I love the science, called... it's so accurate. Well, just that part in the, the, the black hole... <clears throat> that was just, and also just black like, hole is my to, favorite part. The, oh, oh, so you know everything about black powerful. holes, do you, Fringy? You know the what happened? Yeah, just, Fringy. The why can't he doesn't love seem to wind. care at all about his son? <laughs> yeah, he loves his daughter, but his son, he just seems to have very little regard for yes. him. I yeah, because complaining fuck about men. like <laughs> the insane nonsense of what happens in space, I think people might not be receptive to that, but they sure fucking will be receptive to the fact that he. Is the, his daughter's the relationship with his daughter is like the core of the film. He seems to forget he has a son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. It's bizarre. Uh, first time I watched a movie with you, it took like eight hours or something. <laughs> yeah, it did. It, did so much it took to so long. It was like until 7 a.m. It was like, I'll right. sleep now. <laughs> Onnit has a pretty huge hospital considering how small a town it is. <clears throat> Sorry, nice what segue. place? The the town on it is that that's what it's called, right? In uh, Earthbound. Oh, the level you just. Did. Sorry, I was so I for a, literally up until the last few seconds ago, I was like, <laughs> "What town in Interstellar? Their town? Like they? Yeah, <laughs> there's a uh, hospital that they go to. I don't remember." Fringy, the I'm hospital's big in that town because it's a dangerous place to live. And yeah, people are always getting hurt and banged up. But and they constantly like there are more need more hospital help. beds than there are people in the town. <laughs> they just assume that they're they're, they're planning. Yeah, ahead. they want to be prepared. They went ahead and yeah, they built a much bigger hospital than they need now, right, so that as the, the town gets bigger yeah. and even more people are getting hurt, they'll have the space ready. They are a, an industrious and forward-thinking people who often hurt themselves. The, the town of on it, yeah. Is it O N I T <clears throat> on it? O N E T T. On it, on it, on it. I want to play Earth. Oh, is it on it or on it? Cool it could it, be on it. I don't know. Because my father Monet. is from a town called Monet, and, and that's M O N E T. It's Monet. not Monet. Okay. It's not Monet, like the famous painter. Hmm. Jean Claude Monet. They don't have punto coverage in that town. Well, that fucking explains it then. Mm -hmm. You need a giant ass if hospital. Everything you needed. If, would, do you, would you rather pay for a couple backpacks or a hospital so big that you're planning ahead with how the size is? I yeah. mean, I think I think that the difference is pretty clear. I don't think I need to say the answer. Mm -hmm. I would insult you if I had to. You know it must be done by Punto. Um, imagine EFAB in the 90s. Which medium would you have used if it was around then? Radio, TV, website... As a fanzine, maybe? Also high regs. Hello! Mm. Probably radio, um, right? Probably, yeah. Let's... You might have a website for Probably the imagine. easiest one. Well, obviously, if we have free reign, I would put us on TV, but I doubt we would be able to get on TV. I would put us on TV as well. So we probably have to go on radio. Um, <sighs> yeah, maybe there. Maybe if we had a channel like... Um, like Spike or G4... <laughs> Maybe. When did that become a thing? Um, I'm not sure. That was... Because I'm, I'm not sure on the timeline. But yeah, radio could work. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think we'd be I fine like on radio. I like the visual component of us, you know, 
Well, we because it would talking be, about movies and stuff. It wouldn't even be really res well. We might, you know what? It could be like we read newspaper reviews of movies and respond to them or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'd be fine We're on doing radio. Reviews back in the nineties. Now that would be trend setting. Yeah. And people are like you're we such a news, and we'd be like, hell yeah, we are. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Um, no wait, the bacon dude has a great point. Bacon is just ham here. If you want bacon like in the States, you need to ask for streaky bacon, at least in the part of Australia I visited. What it, you are... That is, <laughs> you're like, that is completely wrong. That the bacon here is just ham. It's bacon. There's ham and there's bacon. It's different animal. The same thing. Yeah, they are. It, no, no. Well, I mean, I, you you agree? Yeah, you, you agree. agree. No, 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 no. I'm doing the magical meme. agree? I'm doing the Simpsons meme. The magical animal that has all of the things. Pork meat, pork, uh, ham, and bacon. What the will Simpsons science meme. create? Surely, sir, some wonderful magical, oh, magical animal. animal. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, One day, science will bring us this incredible animal. But yeah, um, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. We have bacon here. I'm starting to it's think this is the truth and the free doesn't want us to know. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, we got bacon here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Dude, absolutely. I didn't even say it. it like that. I said it very confidently we got bacon here. <laughs> oh, you are definitely a man of confidence. I don't I, I don't disagree with you there. My favorite part of your reaction was like you cut yourself off to say you <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was struggling there. I Bring was, you was coming for you for a second there, guy. I was blown away <laughs> that you would say such a thing. Uh, Someone said the slab bacon is called Pamil. Okay. I did. I, I I'm not familiar with that. I'm a big bacon fan. I didn't. I generally don't get it. Right now, I'm sort of in a bacon phase because I make a lot of like egg sandwiches. Um, I sometimes do bacon egg sandwiches just mm, when I feel yeah, like it. It's a. I'll just eggs and put some cheese on it, and then some bacon and a little bit of uh, sriracha. And I get the nice, thick pieces of bread that's sort of the nice stuff. And that's a good that's a good filling snack to have. It's more of a snack. It's just a fucking meal. Because um, I don't, like, sit down and make full meals all together. I'll be like, I'm hungry, and I'll have this. And then maybe later I'll have that. I mean, yeah, so. Dude, there's something charming as fuck about Samus and Ganondorf both licking their little wads at each other. <laughs> 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 they make the little, like, fairy sounds as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't listen to the hate. Deus Ex Invisible War is pretty good. It is a source game. No, so expect crashes. Was that source? Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, Invisible War doesn't have a great reputation. I see. It was, um... That was one of the early examples of, like, around that era when they wanted to try and get games on console uh, that were on PC, and then they were just, like, massive. Like, the... Because I, I, I haven't played Invisible War. The big like some of the early Battlefield that, games on console. It was that just, era. Like, weird... Yeah. Like, Battlefield well, well, brand, it, but it was this strange, different thing. Well, so, so the problem here with Invisible War was that it compromised the PC experience. Um... Because that game looked real good for Xbox, but those levels were very small compared to what they did on PC. And I think uh, Thief Deadly Shadows had a similar problem. Lots of loading screens instead of having like one big seamless place because the... The shadow Xbox... settings were deadly to a console? Uh, I think that was, yeah, that was part of it too. It's just not enough RAM um, in those consoles. Um, so the rags mean sandwiches. There's no such thing as sandwiches. No, no, S A M M A C H E S sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I love me some sandwiches. Third, mm, love me some sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I love me a good sandwich. Love me a good sandwich. If you do play Invisible War, note the band Kidney Thieves is one featured prominently in clubs, and the lead singer Free Voices N G Resonance. All right. There you go. Few questions. One, you guys ever play the Mech Warrior game? I have not. 
I no, I have not played the Mech Warrior game. No, I, I think haven't. I played I hear Mech there's Warrior many. Four back as a child, or as a teenager, rather. I guess. Uh, it was really fun because you could like shoot off all the all the arms and the legs of the mechs. It's pretty pretty cool. It's but it's been a long time, so I don't know. Killer, but, right. well, I mean, I'm still German, so. Hmm. Um, can't do anything about that, really. What? <laughs> Uh, two, why didn't Fringy join in on the Resident Evil movies? Because that was before Fringy uh, started getting dragged cool. into was... old movies, basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd had enough. Mahler what? and I, we just... <laughs> See, this is all Mahler's fault. Oh. oh. <laughs> because Mahler and I, we just have to... It's just like Game of Thrones, so I got roped into all of these shenanigans. And I was his emotional support animal. And I had to deal with all of his bullshit griping. Mm -hmm. He showed me, mm -hmm. oh, isn't Tywin great? And I'm like, yeah, Tywin's really fucking great. He's like, look what they did to Tywin. I'm like, yeah, I know. They, they clearly ruined this character. You didn't ruin Tywin. What do you mean? That. <laughs> no, 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 no. I agree with you. Um, and then we just needed someone else. Metal was already completely compromised. He's crying to this day. We needed yeah, to find someone else. Up. Jay was too smart. He knew to oh. be like, nope, I'm... Uh, no, no. And so we're like, we need someone else. We need someone else to share in our sorrow. There's too much for two people now. We have to find someone else to split it up with. What about the bird guy? Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah, get that dude. Yeah, he could frown all day and no one will notice behind the mask. My God, that's genius. Well, all um, together. yeah, but there is a current movie arc that sometimes gets added to that doesn't have ring in it at all either. Sad face. That's right. <laughs> sometimes gets added well, to. Wow, <laughs> I, could, I could do with the free time. So I'm not... Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, See, the nice thing to say would be like, yeah, I'd love to join you guys for that, but you know, you know, sometimes... Uh, it's yeah, I understand to, you got yeah. your group, your friends, and yeah, it's fine. It's like, oh, I it's enjoy like some one, time away I'm from you I'm glad I'm fuckers. not a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> you filthy, disgusting pieces of I shit. I didn't say I'm glad. I just said I could do with the extra... <laughs> you, I don't know why you guys had to run off with it and get so negative. Holy I didn't shit. run anywhere. Ran I'm, off. I, I like I said, I'm, down on it. I'm strapped wow. into my seat ring. I didn't run nowhere. Quadrupled down on it. Quadrupled down. <laughs> oh man. Um, and number three, why aren't the Ari movies on Moolah's movies playlist? Because I'm very bad at updating those playlists. Oh fuck me too. I forgot. I just like reminded me that was a thing. Yeah. Falco is a real name, Fringy. Eddie Falco is the actress that played Tony's wife, Camilla Soprano. Incidentally, watch the Sopranos, you cabbages. Hi Rex. Hey. Hey, yeah, maybe you don't get to call the, the, me Cabot, the, you fuck. Whoa. Yeah, the observation though was that Falco is his first name, not his last name. So, yeah. Wow, Fringy just fucking annihilated that guy. Good job. I mean, that's, um... That's, uh... That's Top Hat's name. Wait, what? Yeah, it's his name. Oh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, but not, not with a C. Oh, I, I don't know Falco how it's spelled. Lombardi is Falco with a <laughs> oh, oh, maybe that's what. Oh, that might that changes my opinion on Falco then, because I yeah. I thought it was F A L C O was the name it was just spelled. It's if if the name is. is typically with a K, but they but, spelled yeah, it C is, for is the it? name. <laughs> oh, I see. That changes Falcon. that changes thing. That doesn't change everything, but it changes things somewhat. Oh, okay. How many spells I must I cast on you, child? Seven. Well, we're just talking about spelling. No, I was talking to Link. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was having a conversation with Link while you guys were talking, okay? Uh, Trungo's owner will be wondering why the Dawn, Tonald, and Rhino Milk are referenced in the Google reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not leave fake reviews for any yes. place. Do not, do not bother call them. the people of Trungo. Do not bother the fine, fine Trungoites, the Trunginians, Trungo the, Trung the Trunganasians. <laughs> do not, please, let them live their peaceful life with their wonderful restaurant. Please support them with patronage if you can. If, but you know, assuming their food is not, good, I fucking don't know. <laughs> yes, assuming their food is good. If their food is terrible, then, I mean, do what you have to, but do not, bu do not bug them or otherwise harass them in any way, of course. It's a funny joke. Let's leave it at that. Um, the moon is my favorite celestial object. Fringy's right. Mars is overrated. Hi, Rags. I come in peace. Accept my offering. Oh. 
I suppose your offering I can accept. I can abide by these terms of peace. Oh, lucky I've never been to Mars, I, though, I, so I, mean, I can't I, quite... I think the moon's pretty cool, too. I, I'm, I'm pro-moon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pro-moon. I'm pro-mooning. <laughs> Why did you say that? You said that. You changed it. <laughs> what, the act of being on the moon is mooning? But there ain't no well, so it tell tell tells and sing our merry tune. Futurama. Yeah. Then he ran over one of them. Oh, God, I died doing what I loved. <laughs> I just... The absurdity of the fact that they believe the that whalers on the moon are the ones that yeah. found... The whalers are the ones that discovered the moon <laughs> or some the shit. shit the whalers. <laughs> we don't know how the moon landing <laughs> happened, but we think it went something like this. Like this. We're whalers on the moon. <laughs> We carry our oh, harpoons. <laughs> it's beautiful, really. Uh, what was that it? Oh, yeah. and then I think because Fry said like that's not what happened, and then uh, what did Leela say? Oh, you didn't. I don't see that you have a degree in uh, oh, fuck, let immunology, me, let me something stupid like that. Or... Oh, something stupid, yeah. <laughs> I like how whale is on auto corrects the whale is on the moon as it would. <laughs> Speaking of scientisms, sorry if this has been asked before, but are any of... Man, someone is just saying the Czechoslovakian anaconda over and over and over again. There they go. Czechoslovakian <laughs> anaconda. Czechoslovakian anaconda. <laughs> that sounds like a, like a sexual Why? maneuver. I'm gonna give you the old Czechoslovakian anaconda. Oh, no, no, please, no. <laughs> yeah. A fungineering degree. Fungineering. <laughs> Wait, we work. We work with fungus. No, it's yes. fun. Oh, okay. We That's work with fun. Mean. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, so sorry if this has been asked for, but are any of you following what's happened with the James Webb Space Telescope? No. No clue. Not really. I only know no. that it was successful, and it's apparently really cool. But I haven't yeah. really re re read out re read up about it. All right. Maybe there's a reason we haven't been in the to the moon for so long. What if there's actually was something spooky and alien that's scared of us? How lo how would y'all react? Or that scared us off, rather. Um, I suppose uh, if it was something like they were told to never come back to the moon and there will be peace. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty that's interesting as a little story. to tell everybody, no, you don't want to go, okay? It's fine, you don't want to go to the moon. There's nothing there. There's nothing interesting. Yeah, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's, just, it's just dust and holes in the ground. It's like, oh, can we, you, can we do like... like, Iron Man style, like, develop your own technology, be able to go there personally, and you just, you try it out, and... Like you, you land and this horrifying creature just like, I thought we had a deal. And you're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a deal! <laughs> <laughs> it just screams and vomits coming everywhere. He's just like, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. It's too late for that. <laughs> you have breached the agreement. It just grows wings and flies there. <laughs> this sounds like a fucking uh, Smiling Friends <laughs> fucking meme. This sounds like a meme I want to do. the slumber yes. of the dragon of the moon. <laughs> Our hordes will tear your planet apart. This planet you think Earth will survive? You're like, I don't, I don't even know I don't even what's, hap what's happening. <laughs> Earth is only the beginning of my newfound hunger. <laughs> We have feasted upon infinite planets. Why do you think there's no life in the universe? Because <laughs> it was consumed by the Dragoon. Yeah, the characters. I just don't even know what's happening. He leaves. Like... Why don't you call yourself the Dragoon? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Um, crocodiles like are pretty cool. Mars. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Crocodiles are neato. Crocoheimers. Crocoheimers, yeah. Crunkaluncus. Oh, the Drunkaluncus? That's another Futurama reference, nice. Yeah. Rags Burr is cool. Mola, your Freeman level soothing. I'd enjoy you reading Plagueis. What the fucking Plagueis quote? <laughs> um, or maybe it'd be someone else. I'd maybe like there's a book called the Plagueis? Oh, it was, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'd like Star Wars to be retconned back to the theatrical OT, the Thrawn trilogy be made by competent creators who love Star Wars. Your thoughts? If 
they wanted JJ to make a story. Because this is the thing, we have our suggestions for like a theoretical trilogy, but you can take it in a bazillion ways for the sequel trilogy. And if you wanted that the remnants of the Empire falling to pieces all start to get rallied behind one man who's a Tywin type leader, who's a Blumen, that could be great. And like he's a, a full on threat, and you know, the, the Empire start to do guerrilla warfare and stuff. Because they've lost a lot of their positioning and reputation. They're fighting off many different enemies at once, but they're still powerful. You know that that, that right there's a story as well. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't know what the story of Thrawn is. I just know that you should all fear him being adapted. Yeah, like it's it's not cause for optimism. Nope. Uh, Metal, are you all set to watch 1992 Space Movie on your birthday? <laughs> oh, I know what that is. You've said that I... before. <laughs> I am not, and I won't. <laughs> there you go. Uh, why does it matter whether Bob Vids ignores logistical errors? Don't you know that the point of his video is to criticize cinema sins? <laughs> oh, I guess that's it. Yeah, nice meeting. That's the point, guys. Oh my gosh. But then, yeah, see, when you stop playing with logic like that, you can just do it for everything. You do it for CinemaSins. It's like you've missed the point of CinemaSins as a video, Bob Vids. While we're just like, no, I don't care if this is point, he's inaccurate, fuck you. Like, if he actually 100% genuinely believes that everything he ever said on his channel was supposed to be a joke, I'd just be like, at this point, I don't care. Also, I don't. I, well, I was saying if some kind of crazy <laughs> wizard confirmed to you he genuinely believes that, 100%. I guess you'd have loads of follow-up questions. For um, the wizard? Yeah. Well, for him, for CinemaSins. <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my, my mind is still on this wizard no, follow-up question. Well, yeah, you would have follow-up questions about the wizard for sure. Hey, fuck what CinemaSin thinks. <laughs> I have access to the wizard. The yeah, wizard. The, the, Tell the, me more about the dragon of the moon. The wizard, like, gives you that info, and then he's just like, do you want to talk to the wizard? You're like, no, 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 where did you, who are you? Like, what? <laughs> And he's like, oh, right, uh, ooh, I'm with <laughs> Ooh, I'm the wizard of infinite knowledge. <laughs> ooh, it is such a curse. You don't want to ask me questions, because I'm just going to go. He gets in his car. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to work on January 2nd, 2036. Ooh. Like, will there ever be flying cars? <laughs> and he's like, no, no, no. It's destroyed well before that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you devote. So you're okay as long as you devote your life to make sure that no one ever invents flying cars. Imagine he said something like that. He was like, "Look, you just just stop the invention of the flying car. That's all you have to do." Okay. <laughs> you're just like, what? Why? And then you go home to <laughs> how? And then you. But you're an idiot, right? So you go home and you Google who will invent the flying car, and then right as you're about to hit enter, you're like, "Oh yeah, that's right." No. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so used to Googling things. Google gives you the answer. It's like Miles Bennett Dyson. <laughs> like, oh my god. He's gonna, he's gonna put the die in Dyson, I no. guess. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, good shit. Um, giant creature of the day. Your mum. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. Oh. oh! Damn. Speaking of dinosaurs. Wow. No. Um, I only say the N-word when I'm in my car listening to rap. I just really hate rap music. Wow. You call the rap music the N-word? Yes. Yeah, EFAP on my birthday? Thanks for making it a bit better. Also, hello, Rangzi. Hello to you, and a happy, happy birthday. Old. I hope you had a good time wasting it <laughs> listening to us wow. for a third of it. That's the best way to spend a birthday, I'm pretty sure. Of course, of course it is. Happy birthday, by the way. Yes, actually, happy birthday. Yeah, I hope you got blooms. many presents. I hope you got all of the things on your, your list of birthday stuff, gifts, and you had a delicious cake or pie. Mm -hmm. Or pie cake. They haven't, or, or one of those cakes that has the ice cream in it. Yeah. Those are yummy. And I hope that you have that, that icing on the cake, but it's not the sugary icing. It's more like the whipped cream icing. That's the kind I really like. Continue. Like it doesn't harden so much, like the frosty stuff that you get on cupcakes, but it's more of a 
a very loose, airy, whipped cream kind of icing. Mm. You mean the stuff you Good put stuff. on on cinnamon rolls, for example? Cinnamon sins. Cinnamon sins. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Generally, cinnamon rolls over here are um no, sort of. I guess it would be closer because okay. this isn't more of a liquid. Like the stuff you put on cinnamon rolls is generally. It's more of a liquid, and then it, you know, kind of melts a bit on the top of the hot cinnamon roll, the white stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But this is more of, like, <laughs> it's it's more of a whipped cream in consistency. It's very light, okay, and airy, and it doesn't taste very sugary, and it doesn't get hard really when you leave it out. Uh, like how in cupcakes and stuff, you can squeeze the little icing holder, and it leaves the, like the the, the six pointed kind of pattern at the end when you pinch it off. This doesn't really do that. It's more of almost a spread that kind of goes around it. I'm just hungry Mer now. Someone said meringue. It's sort of like that. Um, I don't know. Some see people said royal icing. I'm not sure. The point is, I hope you had a great birthday. Yeah. With a delicious, <laughs> tasty cake. Or delicious pie. A pie-like cheesecake. Uh, first shad and now fringy. Why do Aussies have such trouble with letters and numbers and such? I metal. Oh, hello. That's a bit, you know. You okay? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. It hurts a little bit, but it hurts it's a little bit. Yeah. It does sometimes. Uh, what Disney animated movie would you give one Edward pass to? Edward pass. Um, What's that? One N word pass to. I mean, probably the, probably the Princess and the Frog, right? I see why you choose that, you racializer. Um, I would give it to Wally because it would make me laugh. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Song of the South. That's a good. That's a good pick. Tarzan. Oh, imagine Tarzan being called the N word <laughs> by Clayton. To establish how bad he is. <laughs> he just randomly goes on a tirade and ends by calling Tarzana N-word. And the rest of the movie is exactly the same and the producers are like, we're gonna have to cut that scene. And the director is like, I refuse to allow my work to be fucking <laughs> pissed on by you people. Yeah, either you let Clayton call Tarzan the <clears throat> N-word or he has to slaughter gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> their their blood will be on your hands. Oh, I will make him do it. We have to establish that he's a bad man. Uh, Tolkien wrote dwarves. His editor replied, it's spelled dwarfs. Uh, check the OED. And Tolkien responded, I wrote the OED. It's dwarves now. <laughs> is that true? That sounds pretty funny. <clears throat> like a well, chatty. Dwarves actually. is... Yeah, because dwarves with a V, just I thought that was just the way it was spelled, but I guess it could be both, depending. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. Def yeah, I've never looked into it, so just sort of allowed it to happen, you know. Yeah, Those plus words. it's not something that generally you think about in not the day to day. Really. At least I don't. Maybe there are some who do. Maybe there are dwarf enthusiasts. Hmm. Wow, that hit him nice. <laughs> Poor Moth. Um, boop, boop. What do you think is worse, The Last Jedi or Snyder Cut? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I mean... I think I was much more miserable watching the Snyder Cut. The actual experience of watching the movie, Snyder Cut is worse. But what TLJ does to a world I actually had an investment in yeah. is far worse. Surely, the, the, I think that the damage it does to Luke is probably going to outweigh anything that fucking Snyder Cut did individually on, like, a, like a, any yeah, one like, floor. Yeah, like, oh, it ruins the Flash. Ooh, it even further ruins it's, Superman. Oh, and I was like, I just don't really care about them or that world at all. I consider it broken and shitty anyway. But I did care about Star Wars, and they ruined Luke. Yeah, and, and like, this, this is no joke. Like, the... They assassinate a lot of characters these days, we get annoyed about it, but like, Luke Skywalker, that's like one of the most famous characters ever. You fucking ruined him. I mean, look at what it did. Look at the result was. I mean, ruining Luke Skywalker, it's very possible, it very possibly could be the determining factor in them losing hundreds of millions of dollars. 
I can believe it. I mean, it, it crippled a, the franchise. It did cripple the franchise in a way that TFA should have, but this is what it kind of took to snap so many people, myself included, out of that, like, what just fucking happened? Like, I was in a car wreck, and I'm just sort of still in a daze, and I haven't processed what's happened. Mm -hmm. Like a flashbang went off, and I don't even know how to react. So I'm going to go with The Last Jedi is worse than the Snyder Cut. I um I probably would too, but yeah, I don't know what else to add to that. That's what just I mean. something I'd have to think about for a while. I would mm. rather watch TLJ again, but I think TLJ is worse. But damn, that running well, time. Well, I, I was gonna just... say, yeah, like it, yeah. That, that feels like a choice is kind of irrelevant because of the fact that I'm choosing based on the fact that I don't have to fucking sit there another hour and a half. <laughs> Jesus, so stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, stick with it though. I'm gonna make TLJ is the worst of the two. Mm -hmm. Speaking of John Cena and Kevlar, check out the Marine 2. He holds up a Kevlar vest in front of himself to deflect bullets during a car chase. Hi, Rex. Hello. Good for him, I suppose. I mean, suppose that'll work. Look up the oh, sinking my. of HMS. Birkenhead. It's where the woman and women and children first rule first came from, and it's also where the British Army got part of its stoic reputation. Oh. Fair enough. Iron hold ship in 1845. Mm, interesting. This is tragic. 450 people at least died. Damn. The Birkenhead drill was born, which is essentially the principle of women and children first. Which these days are probably updated to... I'd, I'd wonder with the whole equality stuff. It's like children, fair enough, but... Yeah. Very, but... Sorry, ladies. You wanted equality. So get your fucking line. Well, I mean, it, you know, it would... Life boats are coming when they're coming. I'm assuming it comes from, like, a, a chivalrous assessment that, like... Yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, if that's, if that's antiquated, then, yeah, I guess it is just children first. And to be fair, there's some merit to it in the idea that, like, if there were a fucking female who's really, really proficient, or at least familiar with, like, emergency procedures and, and everything that needs to happen, like, them leaving wouldn't be good. The first. You yeah. Know? Um, for context, trolls have been door-dashing him things like burritos with nothing but onions big. <laughs> with... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine making that call. I like a burrito. Uh, custom burrito, please. Uh, large. Um, <laughs> Exclusively just, onions. Just onions. <laughs> you just be like, are you sure? And it's like, yes, I am very sure. I wonder if they ask, like, do you even want us to chop it up? <laughs> or just, just put an put onion it, in it. You want us to just wrap an onion in a tortilla? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new kind of food. <laughs> Stupid, but hilarious. <laughs> there, are, you see, there are two ingredients to an onion burrito. <laughs> two ingredients, <laughs> and you know what? The prep is simple. <laughs> That's not even all of them. That's the first one. No way. The second one is big as no well. <laughs> big, big as with no meat. <laughs> It's gonna be so disappointing. <laughs> it's just a cheese sandwich. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the full sentence is: Trolls have been door dashing up things like burritos with nothing but onions, burgers with no meat, saline enemas, etc. Saline <laughs> enemas. You can door dash them now. I really need. Uh, oh, ow, my. God. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> it is amusing though, there's nothing but onions. Oh. How disappointing oh. that would be. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you can tore it down. A saline enema. Oh my gosh. I gotta calm down. Also, big ups, Liquid oh. Richard. My mouth hurts. Um, oh. 
How about an EFAP only fans to critique adult films? I hear the NC-17 version of Captain Marvel is superior. And I believe that that's probably the case. <laughs> the plot I will be more it. coherent. I, oh. Their goal is to get I everyone naked, true. so they probably got very simple, you know, stakes. The stakes are <laughs> whether or not she's able to come. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, very important. For that genre, yeah. Highest in general. I mean, I say so, yeah, I guess. Uh, uh, give ten dollary dues for Fringy for the Futurama reference. Oh, boy. Oh, there you go, all right. Wow. Uh, would the Fortress of the Moles have underground wizards? Maybe. If, I mean, if there are moles who are wizards, I assume they would spend a lot of time underground, yeah. Well, all right. I feel like that's the, the perfectly answers the question, really. I I think it's I think it's legitimately intuitive. If you had a race of mole people, um, they 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 had a fortress underground, and some of them were inclined to magic. I assume they'd spend most of their time underground with the rest of their people. Yeah. Also, that way I just yeah. finished that. Come on, chat. That was pretty cool. Come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Oh, we got to drink. Jesus. In a zombie apocalypse, slow zombies, would you hunker down in a safe house or be constantly on the move type of survivor? It's going to depend on my resources and the people I'm with, because I would yeah, probably exactly. want to start like a settlement of some kind, but I'm not doing that on my own, or with even two or three, you're going to want a few. Um, I think the first thing is like finding some kind of good source of water, right? That's what you got to do first. Yeah, that's a big one. So yeah, it would just depend on what resources we have. But I would I would like to settle down at some point. Uh, look at the story of the Czechoslovakian. It says L G I N O N. I don't know if it's supposed to be Legion, but it's L G I N. Um, the short version is that they were on the Eastern Front, but the Russian Revolution meant they now had to fight their way all the way through Russia, the the Pacific. Interesting. That's interesting. The word German comes from the German word for German. Whoa. Is that true, Mel? That's bullshit. You're lying. Uh, I hate you. Yeah, it's like naming yourself Falco. <laughs> yeah, Damn. see? Uh, remake this Star Wars, but Ray played by Watto or Dex. Yeah, I mean, I think that would improve it, but I, I still think we've got some fundamental issues to deal with, you know? At least we're moving in yeah. the right direction. Because even if still progress. we're watching Dex to Jets to do all of those things Ray did, I'm just, I'm not happy still. I love Dex to, but, you know. I don't, want to, I don't want them to ruin his character. Looking for something more, yeah. Um, and that's it, we've caught up with today's Super Chats. Oh, wow. Are you, Oggy. Are you sure? I, I am. I'm sure. I checked <laughs> twice. Just to make sure. Um, which wow. brings us to a close for the day. What a wonderful Whoa. time. Incredible. That's yeah. something else. Now go huh. on, say short man bad. Go on. Go on, do it. At fucking I mean, short seven, man bad. Almost eight hours. Go on, chat. I, 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 you know, some of them I mean, it, You say eight is... hours. My my website still says 62 seconds, so we have a long way to go. Oh, until we reach eight hours? No, no. I, I haven't reloaded the stream since I opened it up. So it said started streaming 62 seconds ago still. Oh. It's been a really quick, long time. Um, it really was. We ended this one strong, too. Do you guys know the Big Knights? That sounds the really Big new. Knights? Doesn't ring a bell? No, oh, I don't. Is. I don't know who the Big Knights are. Neither do I. And the next one says, no, you no, now you're not caught up. Well, now we are. <laughs> Got you shot him. Um... But yeah, let's talk for a little about what things are happening soon. I'll go first. Boba Fett, episode 5, tomorrow, live, on Moolah. It'll be wonderful, you'll be able to see us in all of our splendor, talking about how episode 5 is the best of the five. How's that for a, for a bait? Wow. But what will that's, it mean? That's crazy Because a lot of people bait. in chat won't even know the funny thing about that episode, will they? I suppose they. I don't. I, I think a lot of people watch that show through us, so they'll have no idea what they're about to get. Um, 
they'll be just as surprised as we are. Oh, I'm We're already up. surprised. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, other than that, it'll be a Wednesday stream, doing some catching up, and I'll be working on my main video until I get another Boba Fett to edit. As is life. Now, Don't one Boba of you guys edit. say stuff. I will have a Dog Bites video out tomorrow, and then another one the day after that. Because I couldn't oh, sleep one night, so I made another. Um, nice. And then I'm still working on getting over the uh, hump on the main channel stuff. And then we'll uh, then we'll see what direction I take. Um, but apart from that, I guess I don't really have too much planned. I just hope you'll watch our Boba Fett coverage on Sunday, Sunday which is the Sunday, tomorrow. Sunday. Well, yeah, it's kind of the day <clears throat> for me, so oh, crazy. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, yeah. what about you, Frettle? Wait, that's like the combination of that's the my names way of there. leaving it open. Okay, I didn't More want to metal choose than one. A, a metal that's... you go first. Okay, so I I did another Metals Forge yet two days ago. It's already Sunday now. Uh, I covered the wonderful movie Jiu Jitsu with Nicolas Cage and Tony Jaa. Uh, it was wonderful. It is a very good movie. It's not. It's very bad, but it's really funny. So go go check that out. Uh, and another Metals Forge coming the in the week. Uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna cover. We'll, we'll see how that that's how it goes uh and yeah friday night i'm gonna stream into my birthday and all these massives here are gonna be here as well plus more there's gonna be all Ooh. kinds of people there it's gonna be great time uh yeah i'm gonna stream into my birthday which is on the saturday the fifth so that's that's that yeah and i'll just just streams on twitch here and there, probably tomorrow, I think. I don't think anything is happening tomorrow, so that's probably gonna happen. That that yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you. Swag. Awesome. Swag. Bring what about you? Swag. Oh my god. Uh nothing really new, just new I'm working on video in between Boba Fett. Uh Cosmoronic episodes have been going up once per week, go check them out, and uh, just working on comic pages as well, and that's all I got for you right now. This um, this tutorial Swag. is really good, I just realized, in Super Smash Brothers. It's, it's a like, very good tutorial. It's really, really straightforward and lets you know everything. Yeah, it's a really good one. It just plays automatically on the menu. Um, yeah. So much exciting things to come out from all of us. I bet you can't wait, everyone in chat. Look at you all. So excited. Yeah. Um, two more came in while we we're talking. Short Man Bad. Hi, Rags. Hello. And when is the next no. part of Gotham High coming out? That'll be up to Jay you Longbone. You will have to ask Jay Longbone. She is the wizard behind that magic. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was recorded by a lot of us in one big, long session. It was quite fun. It was very fun. So uh, we're as excited as you guys are to remember what we even said all those years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, and with that, I think it's time to say goodbye and good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for donating. Thank you for keeping us company. And we got one more that just slipped in. Fun game. Before you leave, replace one Star Wars quote with a Wings quote. Master Skywalker, there's too many of them. Man, shut the fuck up, dude. You're a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any Wings quotes, so I can't provide, I'm afraid. Don't remember enough of them exactly to fit them into stuff. Um, also, it's Drunk Stream When. I, I well, did. Friday, duh! Uh, yeah, that guy. What well, he said. Word. Yeah. On Twitch. The, on the Twits. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, everybody! Bye, bye, yeah, goodbye! Goodbye, everyone! Florms. Bilge. Nice.